Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 1 Reincarnation Calendar 102 Years Blue Star, Xia Country Jiang Ching No 1 Middle School Grade 3 1 Classroom Fuck Brother Tian, I really admire you. You can still fall asleep at this time. I was wondering why I couldn't find you on the playground. Yi Xiaotian's childhood friend and best friend Wang Hao ran into the classroom and saw Yi Xiaotian sleeping soundly. He shouted at the top of his voice. Brother Tian, wake up. Wang Hao came to Yi Xiaotian and woke him up. Yi Xiaotian looked up, confused. Where is this? Wasn't he working overtime? Brother Tian, get up quickly. The awakened personnel of the Awakening Bureau are all going off work. Wang Hao reminded again. Yi Xiaotian was even more confused. Awakening Bureau, what kind of department is this? I've never heard of it. At this time, a memory came into his mind, and he instantly understood what was going on. He had traveled through time. Fuck, did the pie in the sky finally fall on his head? After all, those who can travel through time are the protagonists of destiny. Yi Xiaotian stood up and shouted to Wang Hao, Fatty, clear the way ahead. Wang Hao rolled his eyes. There were few people in the school now, so what was the point of clearing the way? Okay, Brother Tian, if you don't go, they will really get off work. Wang Hao urged and walked towards the playground. Fatty, what talent did you awaken? Yi Xiaotian asked casually. Wang Hao was his childhood friend, and he was very strong, but he called him fatty. Wang Hao sighed and said with a sad face, Hey, it's just the sea level warrior talent rage fighting. You know, I have always dreamed of becoming a superpower. Rage fighting, Yi Xiaotian's mind emerged with the role of the rage fighting, talent. This is to go on the road of being a tough guy and never look back. Damn, fatty, be careful of being struck by lightning. Yi Xiaotian was so angry that he wanted to hit Fatty. Sea level talent has already touched the edge of high quality talent, which is the best result for civilians like them. Wang Hao was still immersed in his own world and continued, My dream has been shattered, Brother Tian, this difficult task is handed over to you, and I will cling to your thighs in the future. Get out, cling to your thighs. Yi Xiaotian laughed and scolded. You are a big and strong man, it's a waste if you don't become a warrior. The talent of a real awakened superpower is really eye-catching. Warriors and superpowers are both professions of awakened people. According to the category of awakened talents, choose a matching profession. However, when fighting, warriors stand in front and fight in close combat, while superpowers can stand in the back and attack remotely. Compared with the two, superpowers are naturally more respected. The two came to the open playground, an awakening car, and two awakened members of the awakening bureau were busy packing up, and they really planned to get off work. Yi Xiaotian, what's wrong with you? Yesterday, I told you to attend today's awakening ceremony with the most energetic spirit, but you were late. The head teacher, Lao Wang, was furious. This unlucky child was too worrying. Such an important matter was so careless. Because of you alone, the awakening staff's time to get off work was delayed. Apologize quickly. After saying that, he winked at Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was new here, so he naturally followed the advice, sorry, I'm late. It's okay, hurry up, and have dinner after get off work. The awakening staff didn't make it difficult for him. Every young person may be the hope of the future of mankind, so don't be too harsh. Follow the instructions of the awakening staff. Yi Xiaotian sat on the awakening chair, and the awakening staff helped him put on the awakening helmet and reminded him. You may feel a little uncomfortable later, don't be nervous, it will be fine soon. The awakening staff reminded him. Yi Xiaotian nodded to show that he understood, these are all necessary procedures. The awakener turned on the power, and the awakening chair and helmet began to work. An inexplicable energy enveloped Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian only felt a slight dizziness, and his consciousness entered a space. Awakener, welcome to the awakening space of the reincarnation world. 
Awakening Talent Talent Awakening Successful, Sea level Talent Frenzy Beep Beep System Error Detected, Talent Reawakened Congratulations to the Awakener, Awakening the S-Level Talent Ultimate Frenzy Suddenly, the space shook violently Beep Beep The intervention of mysterious power is detected, and the talent is reawakened Congratulations to the Awakener, Awakening the Supreme Talent Infinite Growth Chapter, 2 In 2025 AD, the Reincarnation Tower came to various cities on Blue Star. No one knew where this tower came from. Later, through research, humans can enter the Reincarnation Towers distributed around the world to awaken their talents. After entering the Reincarnation Tower world to complete various dungeon tasks, they can obtain Reincarnation Point rewards. Reincarnation Points can be exchanged for physical attributes, precious props, equipment and skills to improve your own strength. The same year is defined as the first year of reincarnation. In the tenth year of the reincarnation calendar, a large number of different dimensional spaces appeared on Blue Star. Powerful alien beasts descended on the Blue Star world and crazily encroached on the living area of Blue Star humans. A fifty-year catastrophe for mankind began. It is known in history that alien beasts descended on the world. Year In the sixtieth year of the reincarnation calendar, Blue Star humans relied on the powerful power obtained from the reincarnation world to either kill the descending alien beasts or drive them back to the alien space plane. Since then, the two sides have entered a stalemate and seesaw situation. Even today, there are still alien beasts coming to Blue Star from different spaces from time to time. There is even a new alien space being born. In just 50 years, the population has dropped by half, and the human energy of Blue Star has been severely damaged. Although I already knew this from the memory of my predecessor, it was still shocking to see these data with my own eyes. Half of the world's population, that's tens of billions, died tragically under the claws of alien beasts. Unconsciously, Yi Xiaotian's fists clenched tightly. In the memory of his predecessor, his parents also died at the hands of invading alien beasts. Yi Xiaotian's heart was filled with ups and downs, wishing he could transform into the supreme god of war, rush into the alien space, and completely annihilate the alien beasts. Today's blue star has gradually transformed from the era of technology to the era of awakeners. And the world of Samsara Tower has become the biggest reliance for the survival of blue star humans. At this time, the ringing of his cell phone woke him up. I took it out and saw that it was the information of the class group, and it was already 99. It turned out that the monitor, Han Xuyao, was specifically liking him in the group. Han Xuyao, how about we form a team to refresh the newbie copy tonight? As soon as Han Xuyao said these words, the whole class immediately became excited. Sir Monitor, have your account been hacked? School Beauty Han, don't panic, I'll help you find your number right now. Goddess Han, I have a relative who works for Fishin. I'll call him right now and ask him to help you find your number. Looking at this information, Yi Xiaotian's mouth twitched. If his account is really hacked, can the monitor still see your information? A bunch of idiots. My account has not been hacked, I just want to invite to form a team. Han Xuyao explained. The group suddenly burst into mourning. Damn it, there are still Yango in this world. It's really shocking. The most outrageous thing is that Yen Go is still Han Xuyao, which makes them even more heartbroken. Han Xuyao, recognized as the perfect goddess in Jiangqing No. One middle school. She is beautiful, has an amazing figure, and her academic performance has always been at the top of the list. Moreover, she comes from a family of awakened people, but her personality is very approachable, and she greets everyone with a smile. The most important thing is that she also awakened the S-level talent Thunder Punishment, today. This is simply a perfect woman with no flaws, and she is the target of all the boys from No. 1 Middle School to Kneel and Lick. But now, their perfect goddess has flaws. She actually turned into a pretty girl, how could they accept this? Xu Yao, let me team up with you. My A-level warrior talent plus your S-level superpower talent can definitely get a high dungeon evaluation. At this time, the second generation Rich Lin High in the class also couldn't help it. 
Yes, Mr. Hai is right. Yi Xiao Tian is a loser and will definitely hold back the squad leader. Wang Wu said. That's right, it would be a perfect match for the squad leader and young Master Hai to form a team together. Yi Xiao Tian is a loser. Zhao Lu also quickly knelt down and licked young Master Lin. Don't say that, what if classmate Yi Xiao Tian also awakens a high level talent? Lin Hai sent a message. It's just that everyone who knows his character understands what Lin Hai means. Yi Xiao Tian just watched their performance quietly. Ha ha ha, Master Hai, you really made me laugh to death. If that guy Yi Xiao Tian can awaken high level talents, I will live broadcast the handstand. Wang Wu said with disdain. Xiao Wu is right, that guy Yi Xiao Tian is a scumbag in the cultural class, and his parents are both rubbish talents. My body is like a numb stick. I can hit him five times with one punch, and he can awaken high level talents. I stand on my head to catch him. Zhao Lu immediately took up what Wang Wu said. These two followers of Lin Hai can be summed up in one sentence, they are nothing but idiots. Xiao Lu said well. Wang Wu praised Zhao Lu. Lin Hai was silent for a while. Apparently he also felt that what his two followers said was reasonable, but he was speechless. Don't speak so harshly. We are all classmates, why should we hurt each other? Han Xuyao finally found a chance to speak. It's not considered harmful, Xiao Wu and Xiao Lu are just telling the truth. Lin Hai said calmly. At this time, Yi Xiao Tian couldn't bear it anymore. Soon, a message was edited and sent out. If I awaken my high-level talent, one of them will pull upside down and the other will catch it upside down, or else you will eat while standing upside down. Everyone originally thought that Yi Xiao Tian was not looking at his phone, but unexpectedly he was actually peeking at the screen. Yi Xiao Tian, what are you talking about? Hurry up and apologize. How could Mr. Hai stand on his head and eat my cock? Wang Wu quickly scolded Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian, you actually dare to let Mr. Hai stand on his head and eat the cock I picked up. You don't even know who Mr. Hai is. Apologize quickly, or I will kill you tomorrow. Zhao Liuye yelled at Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian, I didn't say that he stood on his head and ate flying. That's what you two said. Mr. Hai, it seems that your two younger brothers have a lot of opinions on you. They want to make you stand on your head and eat flying every day. Wang Wu, young Master Hai, I definitely have no intention of asking you to eat Xiang. This is what Yi Xiao Tian said. Zhao Lu, yes, Mr. Hai, how dare we let you eat Xiang. This is all Yi Xiao Tian's instigation. But Lin Hai had the nerve to appear in the group. Now the students in the group were almost laughing to death. These two idiots. Lin Hai quickly chatted with the two of them privately and asked them to get out of the group chat. Sand sculptures are full of joy. While eating, Wang Hao warned Yi Xiao Tian again. Brother Tian, remember to team up with me before entering the dungeon. I'm going to name him King Kong. After all, given Yi Xiao Tian's physical fitness, even with the talent bonus, his combat power would definitely be very weak. Wang Hao didn't want Yi Xiao Tian to waste time in the novice copy. That's why I warned Yi Xiao Tian several times. After all, Wang Hao's body is as strong as a king's, and his rage fighting, talent, paired with Yi Xiao Tian's frenzy fighting, talent, although not as perfect as the supernatural talent combination, is still pretty good. It would be great if Han Xuyao could also be brought in to form a team. Wang Hao couldn't help but say. He was cooking before and didn't look at his phone at all, so he didn't know that Han Xuyao had already invited Yi Xiao Tian in the class group. Brother Tian, Han Xuyao likes your looks, why don't you show off your looks? Wang Hao said to Yi Xiao Tian again. Yi Xiao Tian said silently, let's talk about it then. Let's take a look at the world of reincarnation first. Okay, anyway, there will be opportunities in the future. Wang Hao didn't say anything else, but he was even more moved. After the meal, Yi Xiao Tian washed the dishes, then went into his room to continue checking the news, waiting for the early morning. Chapter, 3 Zero o'clock has arrived. The world of the Samsara Tower is officially open to them. 
the samsara mark on his wrist warmed up slightly and emitted a faint light. Yi Xiaotian concentrated his mind and silently entered the samsara world. A soft light emanated from the samsara mark, sweeping Yi Xiaotian's figure and disappearing in the room. In the samsara space, a majestic and loud voice sounded and echoed in the space. Awakener, welcome to the samsara world. Please create your samsara ID. Hao Tian. Yi Xiaotian was a little excited and reported the samsara ID he had thought of before, Hao Tian. This ID has a special meaning for him. Samsara ID created successfully. Please choose your awakener profession. Psychic. Yi Xiaotian said without hesitation. Since the awakening talent to the outside world is the warrior system's berserk, then choose the psychic profession. Anyway, his real talent infinite growth, is not limited to any profession, and he can even do all professions in the future. After all, under the effect of the talent infinite growth, he killed creatures to gain attribute points, skills and talents. The awakener profession was created successfully. Detecting the awakener's physical attributes. Generating the awakener's attributes. In front of Yi Xiaotian, an attribute panel appeared, listing his basic information. It's a bit like a holographic game. However, Yi Xiaotian knew very well that this was not a game, and everything they obtained in the Samsara Tower could be materialized in reality. Samsara ID, Haokian. Talent, Infinite Growth Advanced. Constitution, 5, Strength, 5, Spirit, 12, Agility, 5. Free Attribute Points, 0. Skills, None. Samsara Points, 0. Awakening Level, you are just a noob, completely vulnerable. Looking at his basic attribute values, Yi Xiaotian knew that his choice was not wrong. Looking at this mental attribute, he is definitely a chosen superpower. Ahem. The initial attributes are indeed a bit useless, and the body is too weak. After all, the official normal level has reached 10. The spiritual attribute can reach 12 points, which is definitely due to the soul crossing. And a strong guy like Wang Hao, the physique or strength should be able to reach more than 15 points. Those elite second generations who have been trained since childhood can also exceed 15 points in some attributes. In the rules of the reincarnation world, the physique affects the strength of endurance. The stronger the endurance, the longer the sustainable fighting time. Whether it is a warrior or a superpower, it is indispensable. Strength affects the attack intensity of the warrior. The spirit affects the attack intensity of the superpower. Agility affects the speed of action. Whether it is a warrior or a superpower, the higher the agility, the greater the advantage. The reincarnation space has only one standard to judge a person's awakening level, that is, physical attributes. And talents, skills and equipment are considered floating combat power. Therefore, the superficial combat power cannot fully judge the true combat power of an awakened person. Ding, the awakener is detected as a novice, and is about to enter the novice teaching copy. May I ask if the awakener should turn on the team function? At this time, the reincarnation space issued a prompt. Yi Xiaotian hesitated. Although Wang Hao had played with him since childhood, the secret of the supreme talent could not be exposed for the time being. This was not because he did not trust Wang Hao, but because he did not want to bring danger to Wang Hao. So after some consideration, Yi Xiaotian decided to play alone. Some secrets are better to be buried in one's stomach for the time being. He rejected the reminder of the reincarnation space to turn on the team function and entered the novice copy alone. The so-called novice teaching copy is to teach the rookie awakener how to use his profession to fight in the reincarnation world. After all, no matter how rich the theoretical knowledge is, it is not as good as a real battle. Before entering the copy, he used the novice equipment and skills issued by the system. A novice wooden staff, adding two points of spirit. A novice cloth, adding a little physique. There is also a book of the skill book of the superpower fireball. Then silently enter the novice copy. Entering the novice dungeon. A flash of light appeared and Yi Xiaotian was in an empty arena. After a ten-second countdown, a novice trial beast was refreshed. 
Yi Xiao Tian looked over. Novice Trial Beast. Constitution 5, Strength 10, Spirit 5, Agility 5. Talent, none. Skill, none. Note, rookie, this is to give you experience. Rubbish. It really deserves to be a welfare dungeon. With such attributes, if it were replaced by a strong man like Wang Hao, who also has talent bonus, he would definitely kill a kid with one knife. Yi Xiaotian snorted disdainfully and threw a fireball directly. The beast was blasted black by the fireball, but it did not fall down. Yi Xiaotian quickly threw another fireball. The novice trial beast fell down 20 meters away from Yi Xiaotian. Kill the novice trial beast, strength 1, life essence 10. Hey, the first beast gave me attribute points, not bad, keep it up. Yi Xiaotian muttered, and then put 10 points of life essence on fireball. Consume 10 points of life essence, fireball level 1. To exchange for one free attribute, 100 points of life essence are needed. So strengthening skills at this stage is the most cost-effective choice. 10 seconds later, two trial beasts are refreshed. According to the rules of the reincarnation world, the trial beasts in the novice teaching copy will double every round until the tenth round. The copy rating is calculated according to the number of trial beasts killed and the duration of persistence. If a team is formed, the rewards will be distributed according to their respective contributions, and the difficulty will increase accordingly. As far as he knows, the highest evaluation of the novice trial copy is the SS level maintained by the Dragon Kingdom Supreme Sword God, one of the five supreme beings of mankind today. And it is a solo. Sword Chi crisscrosses 30 miles, a sword light chills the 19 continents. Supreme Sword God, so terrifying. However, Yi Xiaotian did not underestimate himself. He is still very weak now, but with the talent of infinite growth, he will soon be able to stand at the same height as the Sword God. Yi Xiaotian gathered his mind and continued to fight. He waved the wooden staff repeatedly, and several fireballs floated out, killing two trial beasts. He gained twenty life essences, but no attributes dropped, which was a pity. After thinking about it, he consumed ten life essences and raised the fireball to two. After the operation, four more trial beasts were refreshed. Yi Xiaotian fired a fireball and killed a trial beast instantly. Very good, in this way, the remaining life essence can be kept first. Physique 1. It actually dropped a little attribute again. A warm current came, and the slightly tired body actually recovered to its peak state. Adding physique can actually restore physical strength, it's really magical. Yi Xiaotian no longer hesitated, and waved the wooden staff repeatedly to kill the remaining three beasts. It brought him forty life essences. Now there are 50 life essences, he did not use them, but kept them to exchange for attribute points. Two fireball is enough, attribute points are the most important, which can provide him with a constant supply of combat power. The next battles were much easier. The fourth round was eight trial beasts, which brought Yi Xiaotian 80 life essences and a little physical fitness. The physical strength was restored to its peak again, but Yi Xiaotian still consumed 100 life essences and exchanged some free attributes, which could be used at critical moments. In this way, while killing monsters, he brushed attributes. The attribute points dropped from time to time can restore his physical strength, or add a little physical fitness. Yi Xiaotian brushed the next few rounds of trials very easily. Soon, nine rounds of trials passed. Yi Xiaotian looked at his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Haotian. Talent, Infinite Growth. Constitution, 32, Strength, 30, Spirit, 51, Agility, 28. Free Attribute Points, 2 points. Superpower, Fireball 4. Equipment, Novice Wooden Sword, Novice Cloth. Life Essence, 160 points. Reincarnation Points, 0. Awakening level, a level awakener. After nine rounds, Yi Xiaotian killed a total of 511 trial beasts. The main attribute has exceeded 50 points, reaching the threshold of E level awakeners. And the total attributes of the four surroundings have exceeded 100 points. 
this speed of improvement, for other novices, at least half a year. Even for top geniuses, it takes about a month. And you have to work hard to brush the dungeon and get a high evaluation. After all, normal awakeners can only exchange attribute points with the reincarnation points rewarded by the dungeon evaluation. But he has reached it after just completing the ninth round of the novice dungeon. The supreme talent is so terrifying. Chapter, 4. Wait for 10 seconds to pass. The light kept flashing, and more than 500 trial beasts were refreshed in the tenth round of the trial, almost filling the entire arena space. Yi Xiaotian's scalp went numb when he saw it. He really couldn't imagine how the Supreme Sword God back then could get an SS rating under this mode. His talent was absolutely extraordinary. Reincarnation Space Tips The tenth round of the novice trial, persist for half an hour, and obtain an S-level evaluation. Persist for one hour and get SS-level evaluation. Kill all the enemies and get SS evaluation. It is indeed the tenth round. Look at the evaluation level, it is different. Yi Xiaotian continued to kill monsters. In addition to the fireball technique, he could now kill the experimental beasts with just a single draw. But when the attack from the experimental beast fell on him, it couldn't even scratch his skin. This is the awesome thing about breaking 30 points of physical fitness. In another copy space. Lin Hai had just finished the eighth round with his followers Wang Wu and Zhao Lu. As a second generation rich man, he had been raised by his family since he was a child, and his physical foundation was naturally not comparable to that of Yi Xiaotian. Moreover, he has also awakened the A-level warrior talent, and is assisted by Wang Wu and Zhao Lu, two losers who have awakened the C-level talent. It is normal for him to persist until now. Ha ha ha, we have now received a C rating. Everyone, please work harder. As long as we clear the seventh round, we can get a B-level rating. Lin Hai laughed. I thought to myself that when I got out, I would hit Yi Xiao Tian hard in the face. And Han Xu Yao would rather team up with Yi Xiao Tian than him. Simply retarded. Let's see how you die. I must get an A-level evaluation, or even an S-level evaluation, to let Han Xu Yao know how ridiculous her choice is. Young Master Lin is mighty. Wang Wu cheered. Young Master Lin is domineering. Zhao Lu followed. Lin Hai said with emotion, It's a pity that I don't know the IDs of other students and can't contact them. It's really a pity that I couldn't show off live in front of other students. But fortunately, there are two losers around him who can call him 66. After the refresh time passed, bursts of light flashed in front, and 192 trial beasts were refreshed. Squeezed together, densely packed, very visual impact. Lin Hai's smile suddenly froze on his face. This is too much. The numbers you see in books and those you face in real life are definitely two completely different feelings. They were a team of three, so the number of trial beasts increased threefold accordingly. Therefore, the number of strange beasts they need to face in the seventh round has also increased from the previous 64 to 192. At this moment, Lin Hai looked at Wang Wu and Zhao Lu with unhappy eyes. Although it was quite comfortable to have someone call him 66, it also brought him twice as many enemies. Three times the difficulty, three times the fun. The siege of more than a hundred trial beasts had already been done for six rounds, and they were already very tired. They had no attribute points to restore their physical strength, so soon, Wang Wu and Zhao Lu turned into light and disappeared into the trial space. Lin Hai was about to cry. He swore that he would never bring these two scammers with him again when playing dungeons in the future. I didn't feel much at first, but once the base number increases, three times it will be too much. Then he heard Wang Wu and Zhao Lu scream, and they turned into white light and disappeared. Seeing this, Lin Hai panicked and was swarmed up by a group of trial beasts, which soon turned into white light and disappeared into the copy. Wang Hao cut off the head of a trial beast with one knife, just as Yi Xiao Tian guessed. Wang Hao, who was already physically strong, coupled with the rageful fighting, talent, directly increased a large amount of physical strength, bringing his initial strength to 18 points. The initial physical fitness exceeded 20 points and reached 21 points. 
With a knife in his hand, Wang Hao transformed into a beast killer and killed a child with one knife. Soon, he also completed the sixth round of trials and received a C rating. Sai, I don't know what's going on with Xiao Tian. With his small body, his basic attributes must be very low. Even if he has talent increase, it won't be much higher. After all, the increase in physical attributes by talent is based on the percentage increase in basic attributes. The reason why he asked Yi Xiao Tian to team up with him was to make his novice period easier, get more reincarnation points, redeem more attribute values, and improve his body's basic attributes. But unexpectedly, Yi Xiao Tian didn't team up with him in the end. He had obviously told Yi Xiao Tian his ID, but he waited in the reincarnation space for a long time and did not wait for Yi Xiao Tian to send him a team application. So he could only come in and brush the copy by himself. He knew that Yi Xiao Tian didn't want to drag him down. Soon, the strange beasts in the seventh round of trials were refreshed, and Wang Hao concentrated on fighting again. Crack! A bolt of lightning fell on the head of a trial beast, killing the beast instantly. Han Xuyao breathed a sigh of relief and said to Chang Xiaosi, Xiaosi, take a rest quickly, there will be a fierce battle later. Chang Xiaosi is her best friend and best friend, and she has awakened the A-level warrior talent Golden Light Mask, which is a perfect match for Han Xuyao's supernatural talent Thunder Punishment, for completing dungeons. I wonder how Yi Xiao Tian is doing. Han Xuyao sighed. Chang Xiaosi rolled her eyes at her and said, Yao Yao, can you be more promising? What's so good about Yi Xiao Tian? Han Xuyao said, I don't know either. I just like him. I think those classmates are right. You are a face lover. I tell you, in this world, being a face lover will not end well. Chang Xiaosi reminded. Han Xuyao said unhappily, Okay, do you really think I am a fangirl? I just want to help him within my ability. After all, it's not easy to meet someone you like. While talking, the trial beasts refreshed again, and they had to cheer up and continue the complete trial. On Yi Xiaotian's side, he no longer needed to use the fireball spell, and he directly swung the wooden stick in his hand to hit. With a strength value of 25 points, every flat attack can blow up the head of the trial beast. And with a physical fitness of 30 points, those trial beasts can't break his physical defense at all. Moreover, as his physical fitness broke through 30 points, his physical fitness was greatly improved, and it was no problem to deal with the battle in front of him. Moreover, from time to time, attribute points dropped from the trial beasts. It was a pity that the attribute points of these trial beasts were too low, and even if they dropped, they were only one point. When he killed 512 trial beasts in the tenth round, his four attributes were improved again. And the life essence also directly reached more than 500 points. A wave of wealth. Congratulations to the Awakener, you passed the tenth round of novice trials and obtained the SS level dungeon evaluation. Awakener, do you want to continue to challenge? The reminder of the awakening space sounded in Yi Xiaotian's ears. Continue to challenge. There are still levels behind. But I have already obtained the SS level dungeon evaluation. If I continue to challenge, what evaluation will I get? Is there a dungeon evaluation beyond the SS level in this novice trial dungeon? For a moment, Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused. I haven't heard of this, and it seems that there is no introduction to this on the internet. As we all know, the novice trial copy has 10 levels. After clearing all the levels, you will be rated SS level and can get the highest reward. The Sword God, one of the five supreme powers of mankind at that time, only reached the SS level. Since there are still levels, you have to continue to break through. But before breaking through, Yi Xiao Tian has to strengthen his strength first. Chapter 5 Yi Xiao Tian looked at his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Hao Tian. Profession, Psychic. Talent, Unlimited Growth. Constitution, 47, Strength, 40, Spirit, 68, Agility, 38. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skill, Fireball 2. Equipment, Novice Wooden Sword, Novice Cloth. Life Essence, 5280 Points. Reincarnation Points, 0 Points. 
Awakening Level, E Level. In the tenth round, Yi Xiaotian killed 512 trial beasts, dropping more than 50 attribute points, and the life essence has been kept and not used. Adding the 160 points from the ninth round, Yi Xiaotian now has 5,280 points of life essence on his account. At this stage, Yi Xiaotian's life essence can be used to exchange attribute points and enhance skills. As for the two novice equipment, there is no value in strengthening them. Yi Xiaotian's current physical attributes can be said to be far ahead among novices. After thinking about it, he first added two points of agility, which is 40 points, which should be enough. Then he used life essence to exchange for 24 attribute points, directly added 22 points to spirit, and kept the remaining two points for backup. After that, he consumed 80 points of life essence to upgrade the fireball to 10. Seeing that the fireball can be further strengthened, Yi Xiaotian clicked it and a prompt popped up. Do you want to consume 100 points of life essence to strengthen the fireball to the big fireball one? Ha, huh, it can be done this way. A basic skill like fireball can be strengthened and upgraded? Yi Xiaotian was very surprised. Doesn't that mean other skills can be strengthened too? It's just that the consumption has soared tenfold. But seeing that there are still 2,800 points of life essence left, Yi Xiaotian didn't hesitate and clicked yes directly. This is not an online game, so there is no way to directly derive the power of the fireball from the data, but Yi Xiaotian can be sure that the power of the fireball is absolutely doubled compared to the fireball before it was strengthened. Yi Xiaotian originally thought about strengthening the fireball to level 10, and then see if he can continue to strengthen it, but in the end, he gave up. I will consider it again when I have enough life essence in the future. In this way, his attribute panel becomes Physique, 47, Strength, 40, Spirit, 90, Agility, 40 Free Attribute Points, 0 Skill, Fireball 1 Life Essence, 2700 Points Reincarnation Points, 0 Points Although his awakening level is still E, his comprehensive attributes have exceeded those of the Awakeners who have just entered the D-level. After all, the Awakening level of the Reincarnation space is determined by the Awakener's occupational main attribute. As a superpower, Yi Xiaotian's main attribute is the spiritual attribute. The main attribute standard for E-level Awakeners is 50 points, while the main attribute standard for D-level Awakeners is 100 points. For Awakeners below D-level, the main attribute cannot exceed the secondary attribute by more than 50 points, otherwise the body will be uncoordinated. As the last boss of the novice copy, the level will never exceed E level, otherwise it will be impossible to play. That is Yi Xiaotian. If someone else changes, it is impossible to complete the tenth round of trials. After all, there are more than a thousand trial beasts before and after. Even if more than a thousand pigs are lying there for you to kill, the novice who has just awakened can't kill them all. People, no matter how good they are, will get tired. Only he can eliminate fatigue and recover his state by adding attribute points like Yi Xiaotian. After getting ready, Yi Xiaotian silently recited in his heart to open the last level. He wanted to see what kind of evaluation the reincarnation world would give him after completing this last level. Is there an SS level evaluation? A flash of light appeared and a trial beast appeared in the arena. It was an ape-like beast, shaped like a King Kong. As soon as it appeared, it roared to the sky, and then kept beating its chest. King Kong Ape Constitution 30, Strength 30, Spirit 10, Agility 20 Talent, King Kong Bodyguard D-Level King Kong Bodyguard, under the protection of the King Kong body, the King Kong Ape's defense is greatly improved. Skill King Kong Strike. Young man, kill him before he uses the King Kong body. Yi Xiaotian was speechless for a long time. This guy is a typical person with well developed limbs and a simple mind. However, this physique and strength are absolutely invincible in the novice copy. Even a strong physique like Wang Hao, coupled with the rage battle, talent, will be smashed by this King Kong ape with a punch. Without any hesitation, he threw a big fireball which landed on the head of the King Kong ape. The King Kong ape was venting his emotions. After all, 
He had been in the last level of the novice copy for who knows how many years, but he had no chance to come out once. Then he found that Yi Xiaotian had no martial ethics, and opened fire without saying a word. He punched the big fireball. But obviously, he underestimated the power of the big fireball and the attributes of Yi Xiaotian. The big fireball exploded on the head of the King Kong ape, knocking the King Kong ape flying directly, and a burning smell filled the air. The King Kong ape was stunned. This is impossible. He is the invincible King Kong ape, how could he be knocked down by a fireball? He struggled to get up, but Yi Xiaotian's second big fireball came again. Boom! The big fireball exploded again, and then Yi Xiaotian's ears rang with the reminder sound of the reincarnation space. Congratulations to the Awakener, you killed the novice trial copy boss King Kong Ape, and gained two points of physique, two points of strength, and obtained the gift of King Kong body protection. Congratulations to the Awakener, you have cleared the novice trial copy, the copy evaluation is super god level, and the whole reincarnation world will be announced soon. Then, the world announcement rang in Yi Xiaotian's ears. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian for clearing the novice trial dungeon and obtaining the dungeon evaluation super god. Chapter, 6 The human leaders of Blue Star also initiated corresponding measures to ensure the safety of Haotian and allow him to grow up. Although the human race now has five supreme masters, they can only barely defend themselves against the powerful and numerous alien space planes. From time to time, they are counterattacked by alien space planes, and each time they suffer heavy casualties. The human race of Blue Star urgently needs a stronger supreme master to appear to relieve the pressure of the human race. But how can the alien space plane allow the genius of the human race to grow up easily? So after the human leaders issued a confidential order, the alien beast leaders of the alien space plane also issued a hunting order. After all, the evaluation of several human supreme masters in the novice copy is only S level and SS level. But this one has a super god evaluation. In other words, the talent of this Haotian is definitely much stronger than the current five supreme masters of human beings. Once he grows up, the supreme combat power of the human race may even exceed the supreme power of the alien beasts in the other space plane. This kind of person must be killed before he grows up. On the human side of Blue Star, the five human supremes immediately started a video conference to discuss the next security measures. Without revealing the true identity of Haotian, try to cultivate resources towards him as much as possible. At the same time, based on the existing confidentiality measures, all information about the Awakeners in this world will be upgraded to a confidentiality level. The confidentiality level of all Awakeners with S-level talents or above has been upgraded to top secret. The purpose of doing this is to confuse the audience. After all, whether it is the human high level or the alien beast high level, they all believe that the talent of this Haotian is definitely SS level. It's just that they didn't confirm who it is, and they can't confirm it. Only in this way can we keep it secret. In the end, the five supremes of the human race unanimously decided that the entire blue star would immediately enter the first level combat readiness state. One order after another was issued in the name of the Blue Star Supreme Alliance. Although Haotian only received the Super God rating of the novice copy, it has set off a huge storm in disguise. As for what kind of turmoil this storm will eventually cause, it is not clear yet. Yi Xiaotian is not clear about what is happening outside. He is now receiving the rich rewards given by the reincarnation space. Congratulations to the Awakener, who has obtained the Super God rating of the copy, and received rewards, 30, 0, 0 reincarnation points. Get all attributes 20. Get the title novice super god, and get all attributes 10 effect after wearing it. Get skills, star flame skyfall B level. Get sea level talent frenzy. Chapter, 7. In just a short while, Yi Xiaotian discovered that everyone in the square was discussing one thing. That is the super god evaluation for the first pass of the novice copy. Everyone is guessing who this Haotian is. Hearing their discussion and the turmoil outside the world of reincarnation, Yi Xiaotian felt happy. The reward given to me by this novice copy is really timely. As long as there was the trumpet of the second soul, no one would have thought that Haotian would be him. After all, 
he only awakened the sea level talent rage in the school's awakening ceremony. Even if Tongzai tests it again, there will be no problem. The second soul can not only leave alone and move around freely, but can also switch at will according to one's own thoughts. After all, if he continues to be a lone ranger, he will definitely arouse suspicion over time. It's unscientific to have such a good friend like Wang Hao but never form a team. There is such a beautiful girl like Han Xuyao, but she never forms a team, let alone scientific. With the trumpet, all these problems will be solved. At this time, on the public chat channel of the reincarnation world, all the chats were about Haokian. Some people specifically left the world of reincarnation, went online to check various orders issued by the top management of the Human Alliance, and then posted them on the public channel. A group of boring people kept shouting Haokian 66 there, which made Yi Xiao Tian feel inexplicably shy. After watching it for a while, I got a good idea. Then he was going to visit the points mall in Samsara world to see how to use the same points to maximize benefits. He took a look at his properties panel. Reincarnation ID, Haokian. Talent, Infinite Growth to Advanced Level, Diamond Body Protection D Level, Crazy Fighting C Level. Title, Novice Super God, After Wearing It, You Will Get All Attributes 10 Effect. Physique 69, Strength 62, Spirit 110, Agility 60. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skills, Big Fireball Technique 1, Star Flame Falling from the Sky. Equipment, Novice Wooden Sword, Novice Commoner. Life Essence, 2700 points. Reincarnation Points, 30, 0, 0 points. Awakening Level, A Level Superpower User. Awakeners start from D level, and every time they are promoted to a large level, they must complete promotion dungeon tasks. Every time you advance to a copy, you will receive great benefits after success. This is why Yi Xiaotian's mental attribute has exceeded 100 points, but his awakening level is still at E level. According to his current level, he can first clear the F-level dungeon, the E-level dungeon, then the promotion dungeon, and then the D-level dungeon. These copies, except for the first brush, all have a cooling time. This is one of the reasons why reincarnation points are so rare. Come to the points mall building, click lightly, and then a list appears in front of Yi Xiaotian. Nima, since it's an electronic mall model, why do we need to build such a big building here? Is it just to occupy space? Or is this building just a huge warehouse? A dangerous idea suddenly popped into Yi Xiaotian's mind. Everyone who understands understands. But soon, Yi Xiaotian got rid of this idea. This is not how to commit suicide. Fuck. Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but curse when he saw the top item. When I was in school, I heard the teacher say that everything is sold in Samsara Mall, it all depends on whether you have enough points. He thought it was an exaggeration before. But now, he no longer has such thoughts. God killing axe, 1 billion points required. Chaos clock, 1 billion points are needed. Tai Chi 2, 1 billion points are needed. Hangu banner, 1 billion points are needed. Sun shooting bow, 500 million points required. Taishu divine armor, 500 million points are needed. Destroying demonic whip, 500 million points are needed. Yi Xiao Tian looked at these things and felt a little suffocated. What about the other world you promised? How come these artifacts from ancient myths have appeared? When he received the second soul reward before, he felt a little surprised. Now that I think about it, it's completely normal. This is completely a world of cultivation based on the data of the reincarnation tower. What is the origin of this reincarnation tower, that it can even make these things? He had thought before that this so-called awakened profession was weird, not completely digitized like ordinary online games. Only the attributes around the body. The world of reincarnation reminded him once again that this was not a game world, but the real world. In this world, except for some specific copies, death is truly death. There is no such thing as infinite resurrection in games. Yi Xiaotian recalled it in his mind and found that this world did not have the familiar myths and legends on earth. Therefore, in the memory of Blue Star people, these things have never been heard of at all. It was created by the Reincarnation Tower. 
Thinking of this, Yi Xiaotian became excited. Just seeing the price, it was like a basin of ice water was poured over my head. Forget it, let's just look up from below. The purpose of coming here this time is to buy a handy magic weapon and a handsome piece of clothing. If the price is right, you can also pick up a skill or two. After all, you still need to rely on skills to win in dungeons, especially those with range attacks. It can greatly save the time of dungeon clearing. The higher the level of the skill, the greater the consumption. However, this defect is not worth mentioning for Yi Xiaotian. Without divine power, just add a little spiritual attribute. When you are tired and sleepy, drink attribute points. This sentence is not just talk. Supreme talent. It's so willful. Of course, it can't be too outrageous, otherwise one skill will be drained, how can you play? But I still choose the equipment first. I heard that the equipment and skills are more handy. He filled in his requirements in the filter bar above, and the reincarnation space accurately gave Yi Xiaotian the superpower weapons he wanted and could afford. Melting Flame Staff, D-level magic weapon, increases the power of fire-related abilities by 30%, reduces consumption by 30%, requires 200 points. Ice Staff, D-level magic weapon, increases the power of ice-related abilities by 30%, reduces consumption by 30%, has a chance to freeze the target, requires 2,500 points. Thunder Staff, D-level magic weapon, increases the power of thunder-related abilities by 30%, reduces consumption by 30%, has a chance to paralyze the target, requires 2,500 points. Star Flame, B-level magic weapon, increases the power of fire-related abilities by 50%, reduces consumption by 50%, has a chance to cause star flames to spread all over the country, requires 10, 0, 0 points. Seeing Star Flame, Yi Xiaotian stopped immediately. Previously, when he was in the novice copy, he obtained a B-level supernatural power Star Flame from the sky. If it can be matched with this B-level magic weapon Star Flame, the power will be absolutely extraordinary. Moreover, when paired with a magical weapon of the same attribute, it can not only increase the power, but also reduce consumption, which is definitely the best choice. Just for the sake of Star Flame, and Big Fireball, you have to choose a fire magic weapon. As a superpower, start with fire magic. Yi Xiaotian did not hesitate and directly chose to buy the magic weapon Star Flame. Then he entered the skill option, fire skills, starting at level B. Just taking a look at the price, Yi Xiaotian silently lowered his requirements. Damn, it is also level B, but the price of the skill is more than five times that of the magic weapon. How can I afford it? Forget it, I'd better buy some low-level skills and then slowly strengthen them. For example, strengthen Big Fireball, first and see what skills are in the next stage. He did it as soon as he thought of it. He consumed 1-0-0 points of life essence and strengthened Big Fireball, into Explosive Bomb. A D-level skill. An Explosive Bomb, shows that it can be further strengthened, so this path is feasible. Then Yi Xiaotian checked the prices of the magical skills again, and was very moved. He couldn't afford what he wanted, and he couldn't use what he could afford, so he had to give up in the end. Chapter, 8 After buying two low-level fire skill books, Yi Xiaotian left the points mall and headed for the Samsara dungeon tower. The towering tower exudes an ancient atmosphere. When Yi Xiaotian walked into the gate of the Samsara tower, the voice of the Samsara space rang in his mind. Awakener, please choose your dungeon level and difficulty. A virtual screen appeared in front of Yi Xiaotian. He looked at it and then clicked on the F-level dungeon. As for the difficulty, of course, he started from the simple level. The difficulty of the level dungeon is divided into five levels, simple, difficult, nightmare, hell, and purgatory. Generally, novices who enter the level dungeon will start from the simple level. After all, after clearing each level dungeon, they will get evaluation rewards based on the completion degree. Although the simpler the dungeon, the less rewards, but the less rewards are still meet. What's more, Yi Xiaotian is a man who is ready to pass the level with a full super god evaluation. Even if it is a simple dungeon, the rewards should be quite a lot. Enter the dungeon space. Shangxian, you are finally here. 
Yi Xiao Tian heard a surprised voice before he came to his senses. Yi Xiao Tian looked over and saw an old man in his sixties coming to meet him with a look of surprise. Many copies of the reincarnation space were learned from books. Although Yi Xiao Tian was a little unlearned, he knew a little bit. Old man, what happened? Yi Xiao Tian asked proactively. The old man said, Those damn dog headed people are gathering outside the village. They will soon rush into the village and eat all the villagers. Yi Xiao Tian understood immediately after hearing this, which was the same as what he learned from the book. The F level copy of the simple difficulty is to kill a group of dog headed people, and he has seen the appearance of this dog headed person in the book. In fact, many so called strange beasts have records but ordinary people can't see them. But some ordinary strange beasts will appear in school books. For example, this dog-headed person, now think about it, the so-called strange beast is a beast head in a human body, and still retains the fighting instinct of beasts. Brutal. Don't worry, old man, I'll get rid of those dog-headed people right now. Yi Xiao Tian said immediately. Then I'll leave it to you, the immortal. The old man said with gratitude. Yi Xiao Tian didn't say much, and walked directly outside the village. There was a place where the dog headed people gathered. When the time came, they would charge the village. As long as they were killed before they rushed into the village, the task would be completed. Of course, the shorter the time, the higher the evaluation. So Yi Xiao Tian certainly didn't want to waste time here. As soon as Yi Xiao Tian entered the dungeon, he received a reminder from the space, the task started, and the timer started. Yi Xiao Tian took the spark staff and came to the dog headed people gathering point. Cobalt, F level alien beast. Constitution 15, Strength 15, Spirit 15, Agility 15. Skills, none. Garbage. Long live the beast god, dog headed people will never be slaves. Kill him. The dog-headed people saw Yi Xiao Tian appear, rang the slogan, and then killed Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian was not polite either, waving the star flame, staff, and flames fell towards the dog-headed man. This is the skill firewall, one of the two low-level fire skills that Yi Xiao Tian bought later. The other is the fire resist ring. Since the magic weapon star flame, has been chosen, then you can only go the fire route first, and it is normal to enrich your own means. Originally, I was thinking about whether to strengthen these two skills first. But after seeing the attributes of the dog-headed man, Yi Xiao Tian gave up this idea, and it is better not to waste the life essence. A few fire walls went down, burning the dog-headed men screaming, but the range of the fire wall cast by Yi Xiao Tian was very large, and they couldn't escape for a while. In a few breaths, these dog-headed men became barbecued dog meat. Not to mention, there was really a smell of barbecue. Just looking at the dog-headed men like that, Yi Xiao Tian really didn't have an appetite. Congratulations to the Awakener, you have completed the F-level simple copy in 35 seconds, obtained the Super God level evaluation, and are awarded 200 points of reincarnation points. At this time, the voice of the reincarnation space sounded in a timely manner. Then it was notified three times in the entire reincarnation world. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian for clearing the F-level simple copy in 35 seconds and obtaining the Super God level evaluation. It took 35 seconds to clear the simple difficulty F-level copy for the first time. As soon as this news was sent out, it aroused a huge wave. There were more than a hundred dog-headed men. Even if two were killed in one second, it would take more than a minute. 35 seconds, what a man! Fuck, Hao Tian, I would like to call you the Emperor. How did Hao Tian do it? It's just an alien. Generally speaking, novice awakeners, even if their attributes are a little higher, are very limited. The attributes of the dog headed men are there, plus the number. Most of the novices can only hold on for a long time, and they can't kill all these dog headed men at all. Why don't you think about it? The Emperor Hao Tian has passed the novice copy with a super god and has gained a lot of improvement. That makes sense, the rewards for Super God Evaluation are absolutely generous. It is a qualitative improvement in strength. I estimate that Hao Tian's Awakening level has reached F-level. Just F-level? 
I think it's more than that. It's more than F level. Don't you think about how long it took you to reach F level? Although you have cleared the novice dungeon, it's not that big of an improvement. Everyone, although Haotian, is awesome for clearing the novice dungeon, you don't need to praise him to the sky. He is still immortal. Just as they were arguing, another world announcement came out. Congratulations to the awakened Haotian for clearing the F level difficult dungeon in 55 seconds and getting a super god evaluation. For a while, the public channel of the reincarnation world was silent. Then, countless messages rolled up again. Fuck. Fuck, keep the formation downstairs. How long has it been? Two minutes. He has cleared the F level difficult dungeon. How did he kill him? If they knew that most of these tens of seconds were wasted on chatting and walking, and it only took a few seconds to kill the dog headed man, I don't know what they would think. Yeah, how did he kill him? There is a dog headed lord in this difficult copy. Yes, it took me several minutes to kill the dog headed lord. The one above, are you sure it only took a few minutes? Ahem. Brother above, in my opinion, it only took the dog headed lord a few minutes to kill you. Don't break up when people are in trouble, brother. For a while, countless people began to recall their years as dog headed lords, which were not good memories. And the dog headed lord was just a matter of explosive bombs for Yi Xiao Tian. The difficult copy gave Yi Xiao Tian 500 reincarnation points as a reward, and no other items. He killed more than 300 dog headed men and gained more than 30 attribute points. Next, Yi Xiao Tian went to the nightmare copy without stopping. The number of kobolds in this level of difficulty is more than that in the difficult level, and there are two more kobold lords. But it's not a big deal. So soon, the announcement that resounded throughout the samsara world began again. This time, no one panicked, and they were very calm. After all, there are two more levels of difficulty after the nightmare level of the F level dungeon, the hell level and the purgatory level. Everyone wants to see how many surprises this super god little prince can give everyone tonight. Chapter, 9 The next F level copy is just a place to earn points for Yi Xiao Tian, and it is not difficult at all. The hell level copy has an additional dog headed leader, with attributes constitution 30, strength 30, spirit 20, agility 25. Such attributes are equivalent to hell for other novices. After all, the higher the attribute value, the bigger the difference. Basically, the general F-level awakeners only have the main attribute over 20 points, and facing the dog-headed leader with both constitution and strength reaching 30 points, it is simply a gift. What's more, there are several dog-headed lords and hundreds of dog-headed people next to them. Such a configuration is definitely a nightmare for general F-level awakeners. But for Yi Xiao Tian, whose attributes completely crush the dog-headed leader, it is simply easy. The next purgatory level difficulty even has a dog-headed king. The number of dog-headed leaders has also increased to three. As soon as the dog king came out, he shouted long live the dog-headed people, immortality of the beast god and so on. Then he was killed instantly by Yi Xiaotian's explosive flame bomb. The rest was easier. A few fire walls went down and killed the dog-headed people instantly. Only the three-headed dog-headed leader lasted for three seconds. Then the F-level purgatory dungeon was cleared directly. The three world notices once again made the entire reincarnation world boil. Everyone couldn't hold it back. Although it was known that the little prince of super god would definitely pass the F-level dungeon tonight. But I didn't expect that the first pass of the five difficult dungeons was actually super god. Even the last dog king didn't last more than three minutes. This is too abnormal. The human leaders of Blue Star were overjoyed and immediately announced that they would increase investment to train the newcomers of this class. As for the other space plane, they issued a killing order. It's better to kill than to let go. This time, they included all the new awakeners of the human race with S-level qualifications or above in the scope of assassination. After completing the dungeon, although it didn't take much time, the harvest was very rich. The reincarnation points alone were 6400 points, plus the remaining 19,900 points before, Yi Xiaotian now has 83,900 reincarnation points. 
it's a pity that no skills and talents were dropped. Although the talent of the dog-headed man is not good, the king of the dog-headed man has a talent of acceleration. After completing the five difficult dungeons, Yi Xiaoqian's physical attributes also reached Constitution 100, Strength 102, Spirit 152, Agility 103. It's just that because he didn't go through the promotion dungeon, his current awakening level is still E-level. But his actual combat power is very strong among D-level psychics. He also gained 10,200 life essences, plus the remaining 1,700 points before, a total of 11,900 points. But Yi Xiaotian didn't use it immediately, he was ready to log off. Although it was only a few hours after entering the reincarnation world space for the first time, I was a little tired. Yi Xiaotian felt the changes in himself after exiting the reincarnation space directly. He became stronger. The power gained in the reincarnation world can be synchronized to reality. His current physical fitness is more than 10 times stronger than a few hours ago. In terms of combat power, he can now beat 10,000 previous Yizaya Oceans. He immediately took a shower to wash off the impurities discharged from his body, and Yi Xiaotian lay back on the bed comfortably. He looked at his mobile phone and found that the discussions on the internet were all about his clearance of the novice dungeon and the F-level dungeon, as well as several major orders issued by the human high level. Yi Xiaotian just remembered it in his mind and did not participate in the discussion. The next morning, Yi Xiaotian went out for some activities and brought back breakfast for Wang Hao. Brother Tian, do you know what happened last night? Wang Hao said excitedly while eating breakfast. What? Yi Xiaotian also ate breakfast and asked casually. It's about Emperor Haojian. Wang Hao was still very excited. Oh, I've heard of it. Yi Xiaotian said indifferently. Wang Hao couldn't stop being excited, and continued, I really can't imagine what kind of god this is. He actually passed the novice dungeon and the F-level dungeon in a row, and both were super god evaluations. Idol, must be an idol. Yi Xiaotian's mind moved, and he changed the subject and asked, Fatty, how did you get last night? Not bad, I got a C-level evaluation in 800 reincarnation points. My current strength has exceeded 20 points and reached the F-level awakening level. Speaking of this, Wang Hao's mood suddenly dropped, and the smile on his face disappeared. By the way, Brother Tian, how are you? Although he knew that Yi Xiaotian's gains must be miserable, after all, his physical fitness is there. Yi Xiaotian said calmly, it's okay. Wang Hao immediately said, Brother Tian, don't be depressed, it's okay, starting from tonight, you will team up with me, and we will go to level up the dungeon together. Believe me, it will get better. As long as you raise your strength attribute, with your frenzy, talent, it's only a matter of time before you rise. Faced with Wang Hao's comfort, Yi Xiaotian had to say, okay, Thank you, Fatty. By the way, Brother Tian, my name is Hulk, what is your reincarnation ID? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiaotian's mouth twitched. There are so many names you can choose, why did you choose this one? Is there any obsession with green? My reincarnation ID is Yan Luo. Yi Xiaotian replied. Okay, let's team up to brush the level dungeon in the evening. Wang Hao didn't understand Yi Xiaotian's worry at all, and said excitedly. After breakfast, the two went to school together. Along the way, whether it was merchants and hawkers or the elite of the industry, they were all discussing things about Haotian. Everyone was guessing who this Haotian was. However, one thing is certain, that is, a peerless monster like Haotian is definitely not something that Jiangqing can cultivate. Everyone speculated that this must be cultivated by a top awakening family. Only those top awakening families, who have spent a lot of money since childhood, can cultivate such a genius. Coupled with the top talent bonus, they can do a feat like last night. Brother Tian, did you see that everyone is discussing the matter of Emperor Haotian? It would be great if we could team up with such a god. Wang Hao sighed. Yi Xiao Tian just nodded and said nothing. At this time, it would be inappropriate for him to say anything, as it would be suspected of self-praise. And he really wanted to tell Fatty that it was too high profile to shout out the title of Emperor Haotian now. Once the real identity is exposed in the future, 
how should Fatty deal with it? Brother Tian, what kind of person do you think this Haotian is? Yi Xiao Tian didn't want to talk, but Fatty didn't want to let him go. Chapter, 10 Yi Xiao Tian was completely numb on the way from home to school. Everyone was talking about Haotian. When they arrived at school and entered the classroom, the classmates were still talking about Haotian. Envy and admiration. Even Lin Hai, the young master, could not help but flatter Haotian. What would happen if they knew that he was Haotian? This would probably be a large scale social death scene. Han Xuyao came. After she entered the classroom, she came directly to Yi Xiao Tian and said, Yi Xiao Tian, why didn't you team up with me? Yi Xiao Tian sighed and said, Class monitor. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Lin Hai who came over. Xu Yao, why do you care about a waste like Yi Xiao Tian? I have inquired about it. He has only awakened a C-level talent. You are an S-level talent. Even if you want to team up, you should find me. Lin Hai said with a smug look on his face. In the entire Jiangqing no. One middle school, there is only Han Xu Yao, an awakener with S-level talent. If you ask who in Jiangqing no. One middle school is most qualified to team up with Han Xu Yao to play dungeons, it is definitely Lin Hai. They are well matched and their talents are also very compatible. They are a perfect match. Han Xu Yao rolled her eyes and said, Lin Hai, how many times have I told you to call me Han Xu Yao, and don't get so close to me? If it weren't for her approachable personality, she would have beaten Lin Hai so badly that he wouldn't recognize his mother. Lin Hai didn't mean to be embarrassed at all. Anyway, some words are immune to hearing them too many times. By the way, Xu Yao, what is your evaluation for the first pass of the novice dungeon? I was rated C and got 800 points. I am now an F-level awakener. After saying that, Lin Hai also shook the reincarnation mark on his wrist to Han Xu Yao. Han Xu Yao frowned. This damn guy, can he be a little self-aware and get out of the way? He blocked Brother Tian's beauty. Also, is the C-level first pass evaluation very high? I'm a B-level evaluation. Did I say anything? Am I proud? If not. Ahem. Han Xu Yao looked at Chang Xiaoxi's direction with a guilty conscience, and then breathed a sigh of relief. You can't get angry, otherwise you'll say something you don't want to say. Mr. Lin, can you be a little more discerning? The class monitor is impatient with you. Can you take the initiative and disappear quickly? Yi Xiao Tian said at this time. When Lin Hai heard this, he immediately got angry and roared, Yi Xiao Tian, who are you? Just an awakener with a garbage talent. What qualifications do you have to say about me? Oh, sea level talent is garbage? Yi Xiao Tian just asked lightly. Isn't sea level talent garbage? Lin Hai didn't think much at all, and followed Yi Xiao Tian's words. The atmosphere in the classroom was quiet. After all, the majority of people in this world are those who are talent awakeners below sea level. Lin Hai's words have knocked down a large number of people. It's better to keep this kind of thing in your heart. If you say it so bluntly, it will make people hate you. Obviously, Lin Hai also realized this problem. But how could young Master Lin, who is so arrogant, lower his face to apologize? He went back to his seat with his head down. This time, his two lackeys were a little depressed. After all, they are also sea level talents. It's a bit hurtful to say that they are trash in front of them. Lonely legs also have dignity. Han Xu Yao gave Yi Xiao Tian a thumbs up, awesome. She knew that Yi Xiao Tian was definitely not the kind of person who had nothing but good looks. Such an IQ is comparable to hers. For the IQ and appearance of the next generation, Yi Xiao Tian is a good match. And he is a sea level talent awakener, which has reached the upper middle level. As long as you work hard, there is still a chance. Appearance is justice. Class monitor, please stop talking. Brother Tian didn't even team up with me in order not to drag others down. He went to refresh the dungeon by himself. Wang Hao, who was standing next to him, stood up immediately. If Yi Xiao Tian hadn't pressed him just now, 
he would have to beat Lin high up to let him know that sea level talent awakeners also have tempers. What's more, sea level talent awakeners are not as bad as Lin Hai said. As long as you work hard, you will have a chance to succeed. Han Xu Yao, on the other hand, did not doubt after hearing what Wang Hao said, and felt much better. Yi Shao Tian, in this case, I can't refuse your kindness. I won't look for you for the first pass of the dungeon, but after the first pass, you don't have to worry about this problem. Han Xu Yao made up her mind to give the first pass of the level dungeon to Yi Xiao Tian in the evening. After that, she can always team up with Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes, and was glad that he had a trumpet, otherwise the secret would not be hidden. After all, such a delicate beauty invited him like this many times. If I refuse again, I will be ungrateful. Wang Hao said at this time, Class Monitor, Brother Tian has a warrior attack talent, you have a supernatural attack talent, and I have a warrior defense and combat talent, and your best friend Chang Xiaosi has a warrior pure defense talent. What do you want to say? Han Xu Yao was a little confused by Wang Hao. What I mean is that when you team up with Brother Tian, you can also team me up. Wang Hao finally said his purpose. Han Xu Yao looked at Wang Hao with a strange expression, as if he wanted to confirm whether this seemingly honest guy was targeting his best friend. But after watching for a long time, he couldn't figure it out. What you said makes sense. In this way, our team is short of a healer. Do you know who in the school has awakened the healing talent? Han Xu Yao asked Wang Hao. Wang Hao shook his head, I don't know either. It seems that there is no one in our class. The healing talent is too rare. Yi Xiao Tian felt very strange when listening to the conversation between the two. Fatty, your personality has some problems. He suddenly felt that he didn't know Fatty very well. His brother was really negligent. How could such a smart person like Fatty be regarded as honest by himself? It seems that this Fatty has been hiding his shortcomings before. Then why is he exposing it now? Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused. But soon, he thought of the reason. It's because of him. As Fatty said yesterday, he originally wanted to hug Yi Xiaotian's thigh. But now he found that Yi Xiaotian's thigh was unreliable, so he could only work hard on his own. Fatty is now working hard to become Yi Xiaotian's big brother. He wants to become Yi Xiaotian's backer through his own efforts and protect Yi Xiaotian from wind and rain. Good Fatty, good brother. Chapter, 11 Classmates, there are still ten days until the big exam. During this time, your task is to brush the copy of the reincarnation world and improve your strength. Another point, all the points you get in the copy should be converted into attribute points and added to the main attribute. Because there are awakening level requirements for university admissions. On the podium, Lao Wang was reminding everyone. After all, many of the students below are orphans, and there is no adult guidance at home, so they are afraid that they will mess around. For example, Yi Xiao Tian, this bastard. What else can't a person who can fall asleep during the awakening ceremony do? He was afraid that Yi Xiao Tian would add all the attribute points to the spirit under impulse, which would be really sinful. An awakened person with the talent of awakening warriors mainly adds spiritual attributes, which is ridiculous to think about. But Yi Xiao Tian can do this. Yi Xiao Tian, especially you, remember? Lao Wang felt uneasy, and finally called on him again. Yi Xiao Tian was embarrassed. Damn, how unreliable was his predecessor to have given Lao Wang such an impression. Lao Wang's words caused laughter. Especially Lin Hai, who sneered repeatedly. I actually regarded Yi Xiao Tian, a waste, as a competitor. It's really too low of status. Such a waste is absolutely impossible to be a good match for Xu Yao. Lin Hai was sure that no matter how much Han Xu Yao liked Yi Xiao Tian, she could not really be with Yi Xiao Tian. Her family would never agree. A woman like Han Xu Yao was destined to be a good match for him, Lin Hai. In the whole Jiangqing, only he, Lin Hai, could be worthy of her. Although he was only an A-level talent, his family had already started to take action to see if they could buy treasures to strengthen his talent for him. By then, he would be an S-level talent awakener. Wouldn't it be a good match for Han Xuyao? 
As for Yi Xiaotian, at this moment, he had been erased from his list of opponents. Of course, if Yi Xiaotian was courting death, he wouldn't mind teaching him a lesson. At this moment, Lao Wang's cell phone suddenly rang. After answering the call, his face changed drastically. Okay, Principal, I understand. I will definitely ensure her safety until the Han family comes. He hung up the phone. Lao Wang said solemnly, I just received news that because of the matter of Houtian, the aliens in the other world have begun to take action. The principal called and we have killed several students who have awakened S-level talents. This time, the aliens are so cruel that they have even included awakeners with S-level talents in the assassination list. Xu Yao, your Han family's masters will come to escort you home later. From today, you don't have to come to school for classes until the day of the big exam. Also, the principal has just issued an order. From today, there will be no more classes in the school. For the remaining ten days, everyone should stay at home and don't go out. Those who have dungeon time can continue to brush dungeons, and those who don't have dungeon time can exercise on their own. Finally, the Supreme Alliance of Humanity has decided to grant everyone breathing and meditation methods. The school has made arrangements. According to the talent category of everyone's awakening, the breathing and meditation methods will be sent to everyone's mobile phones. Pay attention to check it when the time comes. In one breath, Lao Wang spoke a series of words, which directly shocked the students below. Unexpectedly, the aliens acted so fast. In just a few hours, several students with S-level talents have been killed. Everyone's eyes turned to Han Xuyao involuntarily. She was also an S-level talent, and must be the target of the aliens. There has never been such a thing before. Even if the aliens want to assassinate, they usually pick those who awaken SS-level talents, and at least SS-level talents. But this time, they didn't even let go of S-level talents. It seems that the appearance of Houtian made the aliens completely panic, and they didn't want him to grow up. So they came up with such a plan of killing the wrong person rather than letting him go. And their actions were too fast. The human race had obviously taken corresponding measures, and they could be fully implemented today. But unexpectedly, the aliens acted faster than the human race. This shows a problem, that is, there are many enemies hidden among the human race. These people have long been hiding among humans, waiting to jump out at the critical moment and give humans a fatal blow. There is just one question Yi Xiaotian has not figured out. The aliens look very different from humans. How did they hide and not be discovered? Is there any force among humans that is used by the aliens? Lao Wang paused, and when everyone's discussion was quieter, he continued, Today's incident sounded a wake-up call for us. Danger is always around us. Everyone must be vigilant. Don't think that the aliens have been driven back to the alien space plane, so you feel safe and can rest assured. I tell you, our current safety is only temporary. You can sit here and read because someone is carrying the burden for you. The soldiers on the front line who are responsible for guarding those alien space planes are fighting bloody battles every day. Your peace today is exchanged for their lives. So I hope you can all seize the opportunity now and make yourself stronger. Only by truly eliminating the aliens in the different space planes can we humans on Blue Star say that we are safe. When Lao Wang said this, his voice was a little choked. Teacher, why are the aliens so fast? Don't they need time to come from the different space planes? And how did they pass the blockade of our human guard corps? A classmate asked in confusion. As soon as this question came out, it was agreed by many classmates. Obviously, everyone had such questions in their hearts. Lao Wang raised his hand to quiet everyone down, and then said, I was going to talk about this issue next. I didn't tell you before because I didn't want to distract you. But now, I have to let you know. Do you think that the enemy of our human race is only the alien race? If you really think so, you are wrong. In addition to the alien race, our blue star human race has another enemy, that is, the traitors hidden in the human race. In fact, for the human race, these traitors are more harmful. Because the characteristics of the alien race are obvious, they can be identified at a glance. But the human race is different. You don't know who the traitor of mankind is. 
by the time you know, you may be a dead man. I can tell you that the people who assassinated the human genius this time are these traitors. They have a unified name heretics. Chapter, 12. Heresy, an organization that everyone can kill. Lao Wang defined the heretic organization. It was not Lao Wang's definition, but something that all awakened people knew. The reason why Yi Xiaotian and other students didn't know was just because they didn't want to make people panic because of this matter. What's more, students without awakening talents would not enter the site of heretics. Generally speaking, only geniuses who have awakened SS level talents or above will be told this news to keep them vigilant. As for other students, they will slowly come into contact with this information after entering university. After all, after university, they will not only brush dungeons in the Samsara Tower. They will also leave the city and go to actual combat outside the city. They may even be sent to the front battlefield. The cruel reality will be revealed to everyone little by little when they are in college. But now, because of the crazy assassination of the heretics, they have to let them know in advance. Because even the top leaders of the human race don't know whether the alien race will be even crazier. Now they are assassinating the genius awakeners above S level. In the next step, will they not let go of the human awakeners with talents below S level? In fact, as long as Houtian exists, the nation's actions will never stop. So this worry is not groundless, but a fact that is likely to happen. Teacher, are the heretics composed of human awakeners? Why do they betray humanity? A classmate stood up and asked. Old Wang showed hatred on his face and said, Yes, the members of the heretic organization are all human awakeners. The reason they joined the heretic is that they think the aliens are powerful and humans can't resist them at all. But their plan failed. We not only drove the main force of the aliens back to the alien space, but also stopped them on the front battlefield. For hundreds of years, there have been many human geniuses who died at the hands of heretics. This is a very sad thing. If these human geniuses were allowed to grow up, our suppression of the aliens today would be greater. That is, in recent years, because the main force of the aliens was driven back to the alien space, the heretic organization went from the open to the dark. For decades, the Jinni division formed by our human race has been clearing out the remnants of these heretics, but these people are like rats hiding in the gutter, making people hard to guard against. Again, you must be careful. It's best not to leave the residential area if there is nothing to do. Old Wang reminded again. The classmates all responded, and at the same time, they were full of indignation towards the heretic organization. It was also the first time that Yi Xiaotian heard of the organization of heretics. He really didn't expect that the humans of Blue Star would not only face the invasion of aliens. They also had to guard against their own people attacking secretly. It was really too difficult. But humans are humans, no matter how much pressure they are under, no matter how powerful the enemy is. As long as they are given time and opportunities, they can rise up and defeat the enemy. Too crazy. Wang Hao whispered at this time, they didn't even let go of the awakened ones with S-level talents. These people are really crazy. Yi Xiaotian said, what is really sad is that these geniuses did not die at the hands of aliens, but at the hands of their own people. These heretics can no longer be called human beings. They are worse than beasts. Wang Hao was indignant, and his emotions were much more excited than Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, then come on, wait until one day when you are strong enough, go to the front line to kill aliens in person. Wang Hao said firmly, definitely. Soon, the awakened masters of the Han family came to the school and took Han Xuyao back. Even the city guards sent out experts to send some A-level and B-level high school students back home. As for C-level talent awakeners like Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, there is no such treatment. After all, even heretics are not interested in such talents. On the way home, Yi Xiaotian and his friends saw that the city guards were patrolling from time to time in the city. Brother Tian, look over there. Suddenly Wang Hao pointed in the direction of the city gate. Yi Xiaotian looked over there and saw blood-stained military vehicles coming from the direction of the city gate. Are these the people sent by the city guards to hunt aliens? Brother Tian, did you see the logo on the car? 
Those are the people of the Night Watch Army. I didn't expect that they would come to our Jiangqing base city. Wang Hao said excitedly. Night Watch Army. Yi Xiao Tian had heard of this legion, which is one of the most powerful military forces of the Human Alliance. Their duty is to clean up the aliens in the Blue Star. Another one that is as famous as the Night Watch Army is the Land Reclamation Army. The duty of the Pioneer Army is to guard the front line, and even to enter the alien space. One is responsible for the interior, and the other is responsible for the exterior. Generally speaking, the Night Watchmen usually do not enter the city. But they are the most powerful guarding force in the base city. But now, even the Night Watchmen have entered the city from the wilderness. It seems that the seriousness of the matter has exceeded their imagination. The higher-ups are no longer optimistic about the power of the city guards. Directly transfer the night watchmen outside the city back to the city to deter the heretics. I really envy them, Brother Tian, do you know? My biggest wish in this life is to join the night watchmen or the pioneer army. Wang Hao said again at this time. Yi Xiao Tian glanced at him. He didn't expect that Wang Hao actually had such a lofty ambition. The Night Watch and the Land Reclamation Army do not accept mediocre people. At least they all start from D-level Awakeners. However, with Wang Hao's talent and foundation, it will be no problem for him to become a Night Watch or a Land Reclamation in the future. Then what about himself? What should he choose in the future? Today's events gave Yi Xiaotian a great shock. Yi Xiaotian, who had not thought so much before, had to think more about it. The humans of Blue Star and the aliens in the alien space are irreconcilable, unless one side can completely suppress the other side. Otherwise, this war will continue. And that heretic organization, a bunch of disgusting guys, if you don't get rid of them, you dare not even close your eyes when you sleep. Because of his appearance, because of the appearance of Haotian, this turmoil was caused. Speaking of which, those geniuses who were assassinated were all because of him. I didn't kill Boren, but Boren died because of me. Yi Xiaotian felt a little uncomfortable. He wanted to do something for these people. But the only thing he could do now was to improve his strength as much as possible. After returning home, Yi Xiaotian prepared to enter the world of reincarnation to brush the dungeon. He still had a lot of new dungeons to brush, so he didn't have to wait for time. The fat man was very pleased to see him working so hard. Brother Tian, I'll wait for you in the reincarnation square. When the time comes, you can team up with me to brush the level dungeon. Wang Hao said. Yi Xiao Tian had no choice but to agree. The two returned to their rooms, activated the mark, and entered the world of the reincarnation tower. Chapter 13 After entering the world of reincarnation, Yi Xiao Tian immediately summoned his trumpet Yan Luo. After some instructions, he prepared to go to the E-level dungeon. He just wanted to improve his strength as soon as possible. He still had more than 80 reincarnation points and nearly 12 life essences. These could enhance his strength. However, he did not use them immediately, because the dungeons at this stage could not pose a threat to him at all. He would keep the reincarnation points and life essences for now, and study how to distribute them after he had finished the E-level dungeons, or even the promotion dungeons and D-level dungeons. Have you heard that the heretics have started to act? Many geniuses have died in their hands. I heard that our school has suspended the senior year. Yeah, originally our school was going to give everyone a sprint in the last 10 days, but now we have to change the plan. What's the point of sprinting? There are only 10 days left. What's the point? You can't say that. Now everyone has awakened their talents and can enter the world of the Samsara Tower to brush dungeons and gain attributes. More spiritual attributes can still improve everyone's cultural performance. Damn it, I'm a warrior, and you want me to have spiritual attributes, damn you. That's right, we warriors don't need anything except strength. Uh, no way, a warrior without physical fitness is just a real man for three seconds. A warrior without agility is just a naked sandbag. I still envy the psychics, they just need to add some spiritual attributes. Who said that psychics only need to add some spiritual attributes? Don't mislead others, psychics only focus on spiritual attributes, 
but physical fitness and agility attributes can't fall too far. Yi Xiaotian looked at the chat information on the public channel of the Samsara world. At the beginning, everyone was talking about the actions of the heretic organization, and soon, the chat went off track. However, he could judge one thing from the chat information on the public channel, that is, not only their school was suspended. It seems that all the senior high school students have been suspended. Although this can ensure the safety of students as much as possible, it disrupts the school's deployment. Maybe there will be some unexpected situations in this big exam. But these are not what he can control now, so he just learned about it and went directly into the dungeon. As for the small account Yen Luo, he stayed in the Samsara Square, waiting for Fatty to join the team. What Yi Xiaotian didn't expect was that Fatty not only came by himself, but also brought Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi. Yi Xiaotian, we meet again. Han Xuyao jumped in front of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian smiled, a little reluctantly, and said, didn't you take it home and be protected? Han Xuyao said, yes, I entered the Samsara world at home. Aren't you afraid that the aliens will attack you in the Samsara world? Yi Xiaotian was a little puzzled. Once the aliens found out Han Xuyao's information. Even if they can't do it in the real world, they can do it in the Samsara world. The masters of the Han family can't follow her into the dungeon, right? Han Xuyao said, it's okay, the Samsara Square is a safe area, and there is level suppression in the dungeon. Even if the aliens want to do it in it, they can't do anything to me. Yi Xiaotian smiled, well, I don't know where Han Xuyao's confidence comes from. But now he is thinking about how to hide his strength under the eyes of Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi. This seems a bit difficult. Originally, he was thinking about brushing a few more dungeons with Fatty, and then improving his strength. In this way, even if some strength is exposed later, it won't be too outrageous. But now it seems that this plan will fail. Fatty has already brought people and formed a team. Can he still drive them away? People are here to help. It's too ungrateful to do this. If it weren't for the small account Yen Luo, Yi Xiaotian would definitely not do this. But now, it's time to show real skills. Let's see who has a higher level of acting skills. Looking at Yi Xiaotian's novice equipment, Han Xuyao said, Yi Xiaotian, why don't I buy you some better equipment first? No, let's hurry up and brush the dungeon. Yi Xiaotian refused. Han Xuyao insisted, it's okay. A sharp knife doesn't know how to chop wood. Only with good equipment can you exert stronger strength and get better evaluation. This reason is very strong. Yi Xiaotian didn't know how to refuse. After all, after they formed a team, the evaluation of this dungeon is not just about him. Everyone is a collective, and this is for the benefit of the collective. Yi Xiaotian's main account has already cleared the F-level dungeon, and he knows very well what the dungeon is like. With so many dog-headed people, if there is no good equipment, his attributes really can't help. But if there is a good weapon, it's different. Fortunately, Wang Hao and Han Xuyao didn't want to see the meaning of the attributes of the Yen Luo, maybe they were afraid of hitting his self-esteem. Wang Hao next to him looked like he had no desire to live. And Chang Xiaosi was full of resentment. Han Xuyao, a face-hungry man, really has no humanity when it comes to the opposite sex. Since Yi Xiaotian appeared, she has never looked away. And the next shopping trip was even more so. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi were fed a mouthful of dog food. Wang Hao saw that Yi Xiaotian's face changed. This guy is still better off eating soft rice. I don't want to work hard anymore. Thinking of this, he looked at Chang Xiaosi. He heard that Chang Xiaosi's family conditions were also very good. Chang Xiaosi was confused by his look and could only stare back fiercely. Yi Xiaotian picked a D-level battle knife and a D-level rattan armor. Han Xuyao originally wanted to buy him a better one, but Yi Xiaotian really couldn't swallow it. Although soft rice is delicious, eating too much will also break the stomach. Wang Hao's eyes were full of tears. I am a shield warrior, why doesn't anyone think of buying me a rattan armor for defense? Several people walked out of the store and walked towards the Samsara World Tower. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian stopped and frowned. Brother Tian, what's wrong? 
Wang Hao said puzzledly. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi, who were walking in front, also stopped and looked at Yi Xiao Tian with doubts. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, It's okay, let's go. He just got the news from Hao Tian that the situation in the level copy was not right. He didn't know if the F level copy was the same. Anyway, the situation in the E level copy was different from what he had known before. Chapter 14 Yi Xiao Tian hesitated for a moment and quickly opened the public channel of Samsara World. Seeing that there were indeed people discussing this issue inside, he changed his words and said, I just saw someone on the public channel saying that the level dungeon has changed. When Han Xuyao heard this, he quickly opened the Samsara World public channel. After watching it, he said angrily, These aliens are really hateful. The really hateful thing is those damn heretics. Chang Xiaoxi also said bitterly at this time. Yi Xiaotian seemed to understand a little bit and said, You said these were all done by heretics. Chang Xiaoxi said with contempt, Of course, only those heretics and props obtained from the world of reincarnation can change the difficulty of the dungeon in the world of reincarnation. Yi Xiaotian was so excited that he actually did such an operation. It seems that compared with these classmates from awakening families, they still have a lot to learn. Also, even the information about heretics has been blocked by high-level human beings, let alone these more secret information. It seems that if you want to understand the world more comprehensively, entering the University of Awakeners is the best way. As for the changes in level dungeons, Yi Xiaotian has no good solution now, he can only take it one step at a time. There is really no other way but to expose your strength. Fortunately, he now has a D-level sword and D-level vine armor in his hands, which have added a lot of attributes. As long as it's not too outrageous, it shouldn't be exposed. Wang Hao turned red and turned into rabbit eyes. This soft rice was really delicious. Han Xuyao's face was solemn and he said, looking at what the awakened ones on this public channel said, the difficulty of the level dungeon has now been increased by half. In the easy difficulty dungeon, the number of alien races has doubled. I don't know how much the subsequent difficulty dungeons have been enhanced. Yi Xiaotian's heart moved. At this moment, a world announcement appeared in their ears. Congratulations to the awakened person Haotian for clearing the E-level simple dungeon and obtaining the super god rating. Three world announcements in a row caused the public channels of Samsara world to explode again. Sure enough, I knew that this world announcement would definitely come, but I didn't expect it to come so soon. Yes, doesn't this Haotian student even need to rest? You need a damn rest, you think people are like us, tired as dogs after clearing dungeons, and yet they still get such a low rating. Yeah, everyone clears a dungeon in two minutes, it's so easy. I calculated that, excluding the time spent talking and walking, the actual fighting time is only about one minute. It's so scary. Han Xuyao and the others were startled for a moment before saying, this Haotian is really terrifying. Chang Xiaoxi said, otherwise, it would be impossible for the aliens to make such a big noise. You see, the heretics will definitely become crazier next, and even a bigger war will break out on the front line. Wang Hao said, okay, don't say these useless things, let's go and clear the dungeon. Brother Tian, why do I feel that your aura has changed? Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi immediately looked over and asked with doubts on their faces, is there any? Impossible, you must have felt wrong. Yi Xiao Tian immediately denied it. After Hao Tian just created the copy space, the attributes were immediately synchronized to this trumpet. How could it be possible to admit this kind of thing? Okay, stop talking nonsense. Let's go to the dungeon and take a look at the situation. If the worst happens, we'll quit first. Yi Xiao Tian quickly changed the topic. Wang Hao touched his head and said, Really? Do I feel wrong? You must be wrong. Brother Tian can never be wrong. Han Xuyao immediately defined fat man. Wang Hao suddenly burst into tears. Single dogs also have human rights. Soon, the team arrived at the reincarnation tower, and Han Xuyao entered the dungeon after a while. F-level dungeon, and it's easy difficulty. Hao Tian has come in before, and he has passed the level with an all-super-god rating, so he is very familiar with this dungeon. 
The dialogue with the village chief is unavoidable, it is necessary. Then he went to the place where the kobolds gathered. In an instant, Yi Xiaotian understood what was going on. According to the dungeon rules, if you form a team to brush a dungeon, the number of monsters will increase as the number of people in the team increases. But these are fixed amounts. But now, I saw that the area where kobolds gathered was densely packed, at least twice as many as before. What should we do? The number of kobolds has really doubled. Chang Xiaoxi's voice was trembling. The original easy difficulty dungeon, with the configuration of their team, could at least get a sea level rating, but now there are twice as many kobolds. It's not just as simple as doubling the difficulty. This is definitely doubled several times. With the combat effectiveness of their team, what can they do in this dungeon that is several times more difficult? If you can only get an evaluation below D level, then there is no need to fight at all. What the hell are you heretics? You are trying to trick us into death. Wang Hao cursed angrily when he saw this. Under such difficulty, it is estimated that very few newcomers in this field can pass with high evaluation. And low evaluation means low points. How can I improve my strength without points? Does everyone have to practice and meditate on their own? Although breathing and meditation can also improve the physical attributes of warriors and psychics, they cannot be compared with the reincarnation dungeon. Otherwise, everyone can just practice in the real world. It can be said that the main way for awakeners to improve their strength is the dungeon in the reincarnation world. And breathing and meditation are just extras. After all, everyone has a limited time to enter the reincarnation tower. Or the time to brush the dungeon is limited. Without unlocking new dungeons, you can only brush the dungeon for 6 hours a day. The rest of the time, you can only stay in the reincarnation square. But what else can you do in the reincarnation square besides chatting with others? Without points and props, you can't do anything. Of course, if you are a powerful awakener, there is another source of points, that is, the alien battlefield. The appearance of aliens is caused by the reincarnation tower. So killing aliens can also get rewards from the reincarnation tower. Conversely, aliens can also get rewards from the reincarnation tower by killing the human race on Blue Star. In other words, the Blue Star plane and the alien plane are just two chess pieces in the hands of the Samsara Tower. Everyone knows the facts, but they can't resist. They can only fight a war between the two planes, unless one day, one plane is completely conquered. Become a breeding farm for the other plane. Chapter, 15 Hit Han Xuyao said firmly. What? Chang Xiaoxi looked surprised and said, but now the difficulty has increased so much. We can't get high ratings here. Instead of wasting time here, we might as well go out first and see what the officials are doing. Han Xuyao said, this situation must have been caused by the alien race who spent a huge price. It is simply impossible with heretical methods. Although the reincarnation battlefield of alien races is different from ours, the powers are the same. The aliens are already stronger than us, and they have more props than us. I don't think we humans have a way to restore the difficulty. Chang Xiaoxi asked, are the levels of dungeons in the future going to be so difficult? Then wouldn't the human race be abolished? Han Xuyao shook his head and said, it shouldn't be possible. This kind of prop must have a time limit. Just wait until the time limit is over. The purpose of the alien race is to kill Haotian, and to kill him before he grows up. And increasing the difficulty of the dungeon is just a way to hold back Haotian. Speaking of this, Han Xuyao suddenly changed the topic and said, What's more, it's the first time Brother Tian has entered a level dungeon, how can he come back empty handed? When saying this, Han Xuyao's face showed a gentle look. Chang Xiaoxi almost vomited. Caught off guard, you can get plenty of dog food anytime, anywhere. Having said so much, in the end, it was actually because of Yi Xiaotian that I had to continue playing dungeons. I want to die. Chang Xiaoxi said. Wang Hao said, why don't we go out first? It's too sour. Yi Xiaotian was speechless, what could he do? He just looks handsome, he doesn't do anything else. Is it wrong to be handsome? 
Congratulations to the awakened person Houtian for clearing the E-level difficult dungeon and receiving the Super God rating. Another three consecutive announcements. This beast. Wang Hao blurted out this sentence, and he no longer knew what words to use to describe it. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Wang Hao maliciously. Wang Hao explained, this is a curse word for love. Han Xuyao asked Chang Xiaosi, Xiaosi, how long did it take him to get to the simple copy? About five minutes. Putting aside the time it takes him to enter and exit the dungeon, the plot and walking time, the time it takes him to clear the dungeon is at most three minutes. Chang Xiaosi said with certainty. In three minutes, I cleared the E-level difficulty dungeon and got a super rating. Han Xuyao didn't want to talk anymore. Why was the gap between people so big? She is an S-level talent, but when she teamed up to this F-level simple dungeon, she even wanted to quit the dungeon because of the increased difficulty. Moreover, in the world of reincarnation, a large number of newcomers and awakeners have withdrawn from level dungeons. For the vast majority of people, brushing copies at this time is indeed a waste of time. It's not too late to quit first and see what official actions are taken before making a decision. But this Houtian, under such difficulty, was able to clear the level in just a few minutes, and it also received the highest rating. It's so shocking. On the public channel of the world of reincarnation, everyone has become numb and has long lost the passion they had at the beginning. Before, everyone would shout fuck. Now it's all about basic exercises, don't do six. Now it seems that the actions of the foreign race have no impact on Houtian. Han Xuyao said, and said angrily, they are all freshmen, why can he be so powerful, but we have to withdraw from the dungeon. I cannot be reconciled. I, Han Xuyao, must let everyone know that I am no worse than anyone else. So, fight. Chang Xiaosi gritted his teeth and said, are you sure it's because of your unwillingness and not because of your brother Tian? Xiao Shi, no matter how hard things get, we are still good friends. Han Xuyao. Chang Xiaosi was helpless and desperate. What would she do if she met such a best friend? She was waiting online. It was quite urgent. Wang Hao also said, then fight. After saying that, his talent was activated and his aura suddenly soared. The fighting talent can enhance his attack and defense. With his current strength of over 20 points, he can definitely fight. No matter how long it lasts. After all, even a pig will get tired after being killed for a long time. Yi Xiao Tian has never expressed his opinions and is a transparent person. He was thinking about what he should do so as not to expose the abnormality. He fought against the five scum and instantly became too powerful. Even with equipment bonuses, he would be suspected. So it's better to paddle first. Brother Tian, what do you think? Han Xuyao suddenly asked Yi Xiao Tian at this time. Pfft. Wang Hao spit out a mouthful of old blood. I have all my talents and am about to go to the battlefield, but you actually said this. When Yi Xiao Tian saw Wang Hao's appearance, he couldn't help but shook his head and said, then let's fight. Hao Tian has just cleared the E-level difficult dungeon and made another huge profit. The difficulty of the dungeon has increased, and the rewards have also increased. The reincarnation tower is fair. The use of props is within the rules, and matching rules will naturally be born. Now Yi Xiaotian's body attributes have exceeded 200 points. He also had to thank the aliens. If they hadn't spent a huge price to increase the difficulty of the dungeon, he wouldn't have had so many monsters to brush attribute points. As a trumpet, Yen Luo now has more than 100 attributes in all four aspects. Such power is too strong for Wang Hao and his friends. So any of his actions may arouse their suspicion. At this time, it is better not to be too out of line, so as not to bring them danger. Then I'll go first. Wang Hao said, rushing towards the dog-headed man in the distance. Golden bell cover. Chang Xiaosi also roared, as if to roar out the stagnation in his heart. Han Xuyao raised the staff in his hand and began to cast thunder magic. Brother Tian, just stand by me and don't run around. Han Xuyao didn't forget to remind Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian was embarrassed and said, This is not good. I am a warrior. It doesn't matter. 
wait until your attributes are improved. It's not too late to fight again. Han Shuyao said calmly. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. It was only because Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi walked far away that he didn't hear it, otherwise he would have vomited blood. This double standard is too fierce. Yi Xiaotian thought that if this team continued like this for a long time, Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao would be so jealous. Eating dog food every day is enough. Although Han Xuyao said so, Yi Xiaotian couldn't do it. Although fighting might expose his strength, it's not okay for him to stand aside and watch the show. Besides, he was holding a D-level sword in his hand and wearing a D-level rattan armor. What's there to be afraid of? Chapter 16 When Wang Hao saw Yi Xiaotian coming over, he immediately shouted loudly, Brother Tian, don't come over, we are responsible here. Chang Xiaoxi really wanted to cry but had no tears. What sin did she commit? Four people formed a team, one was a weak chicken, with nothing good except his appearance. The remaining two, one was a beauty lover, and had a very serious double standard for the useless. The other was a useless younger brother. What can I do? Is it too late to leave the team now? Is such a girlfriend still wanted? Waiting online, it's urgent. Chang Xiaoxi, who was wearing a golden bell, could only kill the dog-headed man to relieve her hatred. Xiaoxi, you have to protect my brother Tian. At this time, Han Xuyao stabbed Chang Xiaoxi in the heart again. Puff. Chang Xiaoxi vomited three liters of blood. Damn, is there any justice in the world? The dog liquor will not die well. Chang Xiaoxi shouted angrily, rushed into the dog-headed team, and swung the B-level sword like a waterfall. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian silently praised, worthy of being born in the second generation of awakening, that is, rich. Not only does he have a B-level sword, but he also has a B-level swordsmanship, which is incomparable. Damn! This woman is really a waste. With a body protection talent like the golden bell cover, she actually wears a B-level battle armor. She is really a dog. He mourned for the fat brother for three seconds in his heart, and then joined the battle circle. When no one noticed, he killed two dog-headed men, and when someone noticed him, he pretended to dodge. For a while, Wang Hao and Han Xuyao did not find anything unusual. After all, there were too many enemies, and most of their attention was on the dog-headed men. As long as Yi Xiaotian was not in danger of life, they would not pay too much attention. Then the world announcement sounded again in the sky. They were numb to this. Anyway, with the Haokian Emperor here, this kind of world announcement will definitely not stop. It's just an E-level dungeon now, and there are so many level dungeons, promotion dungeons, special dungeons, etc. They still have to kill monsters, so how can they have so much energy to shout 66? After hearing these announcements, Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi killed more vigorously. It's so exciting. E-level Purgatory Difficulty Dungeon The monsters in the E-level dungeon are minotaurs. Yi Xiaotian has already cleared four difficulties before, and none of them caused him trouble. After all, the attribute gap between the two sides is there. These minotaurs are just here to give him points and attribute points. Unfortunately, the talents of these minotaurs are very mediocre, just E-level strong, talents. Long live the beast god. Minotaurs, attack. Among the densely packed minotaurs, in addition to six minotaur lords and three minotaur commanders, there is also a minotaur king. This minotaur king is half a level higher than the average minotaur. Minotaur king. Sea level talent, bull demon power. Attributes, constitution 60, strength 60, spirit 30, agility 30. Skills, Bull Demon Shock, Bull Demon Charge, Bull Demon Roar. Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised. He didn't expect that this Minotaur actually had a sea level talent. With his attributes, even the top E level Awakeners would be killed instantly. However, Yi Xiaotian looked at his own attributes Constitution 203, Strength 188, Spirit 235, Agility 193. These are just the attribute points dropped from the monster. He still has a lot of reincarnation points and life essence that he hasn't used. 
With such physical attributes, even if he uses strength alone, he can crush the Minotaur King. He raised his staff and launched an attack. Star fire falls from the sky. Yi Shao Tian shouted. Large pieces of star fire fell and fell towards the Minotaur. Those Minotaurs that were originally rushing towards Yi Shao Tian were hit by the star flames and were instantly killed. The attribute difference was too great, and there was no resistance at all. Not to mention that the B-level skill Star Flame Skyfall, was used, even the most common skill could kill these Minotaurs instantly. It was only because the coverage of the Star Flame Skyfall was wide that this was chosen. The Minotaur King was encouraging his people, roaring to crush Yi Shao Tian and flatten the human gathering place behind him. Then he saw his people falling in groups, and a pure and fragrant smell of roast beef came to his nose. The Minotaur King was furious, waving the axe in his hand, and killed Yi Shao Tian. Yi Shao Tian ignored it at all, and another star flame skyfall came down. The Minotaur King was the first to bear the brunt, but he only lasted for two seconds, and then lay down. Ten seconds later, tens of thousands of Minotaurs all fell down, and roast beef was everywhere. Yi Shao Tian stood there, feeling his body getting stronger. This feeling was really good and exciting. So he decided to take a break after this time. It's not good for the body to improve the attributes too much at once. His physical attributes have now all exceeded 500 points, and even his mental attributes have reached 600 points. It's just that because he has not experienced the promotion dungeon, his awakening level is still above E level. In fact, his main attributes are almost close to the standard of C-level Awakeners. Should I go to the D-level dungeon tomorrow? Yi Shao Tian thought to himself. This speed seems a bit fast. Forget it, just go with the flow. Anyway, there is a trumpet now, so there is no need to worry too much about safety. But he didn't know that a bigger conspiracy was coming towards him. While they were brushing the dungeon, the five supreme beings of the Blue Star Humans were also holding a video conference to discuss how to deal with the increased difficulty of the dungeon. There was no way, the impact of this matter was too great, and they had to be cautious. I think it's better not to care about it. At most, let the newcomers stop brushing the dungeon for a week. The God of War of the Polar Bear Alliance spoke first. But if it is delayed for a week, what will happen to the newcomers' exam this year? The Gaul Lion King raised an objection. At this time, the God of Law, whose sun never sets, also spoke. That's right, the exam will be in nine days, and this period of time is originally the sprint stage. If they are asked to stop, what will happen to the actual combat exam at that time? They have just awakened their talents and just passed the novice dungeon, and then encountered such a thing. If they can't see their actual combat results during the exam, it will also be a blow to them. We are aware of these problems, but what can we do? The Thunder God of the Beautiful Federation also began to express his opinions. We all know how much the aliens paid for this incident. Now they have gone crazy on the front battlefield, and the heretics have also gone crazy. Our losses are already great enough, and we cannot afford greater losses. So my opinion is that we should handle this matter coldly. Have you ever thought about the real purpose of the aliens doing this? At this time, the sword god of Xia, who had not spoken, said. Chapter, 17. What's the real meaning? Several other supreme masters expressed doubts. Could it be that the alien race is not trying to stop the rise of newcomers in this world? To be precise, it is to stop Haotian from growing up. It seems that this is not the case. When it comes to playing tricks, these big guys really can't compare with the Xia people. Zhuang, what do you think of? Asked the Supreme Master of the Beautiful Federation. Sword God Zhuang Bufan said, We all know that this kind of prop that enhances the strength of the copy has a time limit of only one week, and the cost is very high, so why do the alien races still use it? If it's just a delay of one week, they don't need to do this at all, what's the point? Everyone heard it, it really makes sense, just a delay of one week. Even if they send more killers, they may not be able to find the real body of Houtian. The risk of doing so is too great, which is completely disproportionate to their efforts. Sword God Zhuang Bufan continued, so I was wondering, what is their real purpose for doing this? 
After listening to your discussion, I realize that their purpose is to make us do this. Walter. Several other supreme masters couldn't help but exclaimed in confusion. Zhuang Bufan said, their plan can stop most of the new awakeners, but it can definitely not stop Haokian. Just imagine, if no one landed in the reincarnation world, only Haokian landed, can they tell who Haokian is? Hiss. The other four supreme masters took a breath of cold air. These Xia people are really the ancestors who play conspiracies and tricks. There are so many twists and turns in one thing. They originally thought that this matter was directly aimed at Haotian, but now it seems that their purpose is to take a detour. Aiming at Haotian from the side, once they determine who Haotian is, he will be dead. No matter how strict the protection is, there will be omissions. They didn't expect that the aliens would use this method to determine the identity of Haotian. They didn't even think of using this method. Moreover, they didn't even think about determining the real identity of Haotian so that they could ensure that Haotian grew up safely. For this reason, they are willing to invest more resources and pay the greatest price. Although the five of them have their own nationalities, there are no borders when facing aliens. Because of the strength and brutality of the aliens, they had to put aside their previous conflicts and unite together. Even though the name Haotian obviously carries the style of Xia Guo, they did not drag their feet on this matter. The humans of Blue Star are still too fragile in front of the aliens. Although the aliens have been temporarily driven back to the alien space plane, they all know that this situation will not last too long. The price paid by the humans of Blue Star is really too high. The foundation of the humans of Blue Star has been exhausted. But the foundation of the aliens is much stronger than that of the humans of Blue Star. It won't be long before they can make a comeback. Even the five human supreme masters knew that if the aliens were not united and had been fighting internally, Blue Star would have been conquered by the aliens and turned into a breeding ground for them. Now, the appearance of Haotian has given the humans of Blue Star the greatest hope. As long as Haotian can grow up, the humans of Blue Star will be saved. Because Haotian has higher potential than the five of them. This means that when Haotian grows up, he will definitely be stronger than them. This is where their loyalty lies. Even if all the resources of mankind are used up this time, as long as Haotian can grow up, it will be a profit. They know the role of the Supreme Masters on the alien battlefield very well. As long as another Supreme Master appears in the human race, the pressure on the humans of Blue Star can be greatly relieved. There is even hope for a counterattack. But all this is based on the fact that Haotian can grow up. If Haotian is killed by the aliens, all hope will be shattered. This bunch of damn heretics. One of the human supremes cursed. Although the aliens took the lead in this matter, the real executors were heretics. It's meaningless to say this now, let's talk about how to deal with it this time. Zhuang Bufan said. Zhuang, what do you think? Asked the Thunder God. Zhuang Bufan said, I don't have a good idea for the time being, so I propose to hold an enlarged meeting. Enlarged meeting? The other supreme strongmen were stunned. Then they came back to their senses and agreed, okay, then hold an enlarged meeting. There is an old saying in Xia country, three cobblers are better than Zhuge Liang. In the Samsara Square, Yi Xiao Tian looked at his attribute board and was very satisfied. Reincarnation ID, Haotian. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Diamond Body Protection D-Level, Berserker C-Level, Bull Demon Power D-Level. Title, Novice Super God, after wearing it, you will get 10 effect on all attributes. Physique 523, Strength 522, Spirit 612, Agility 533. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skills, Explosive Flame Bomb 1 D-Level, Star Flame Skyfall B level, Fire Wall E level, Fire Resist Ring E. Equipment, Star Flame Staff B level, Purple Star Vestment E level. Life Essence, 211,900 points. Reincarnation Points, 233,900 points. Awakening Level, A Level Awakener. Absolutely Rich. His current physical attributes are top notch even among D level Awakeners. Although the main attribute has not yet reached the top, the other physical attributes are absolutely crushing other D-level psychics. 
he is not in a hurry to pass the level and advance to the dungeon. There is no hurry. E-level awakeners are good enough. With a thought, Hao Tian disappeared in the reincarnation square. F-level simple dungeon. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were at the front, killing the dog-headed people crazily. Han Xuyao stood at the back and released a thunder spell covering a large area, and could only cast single-target spells. Her spiritual attribute was only around 20. However, with the blessing of her talent thunder punishment, her thunder magic was powerful, and all the dog-headed people who entered the attack range were killed instantly. So she killed the most dog-headed people. But there were too many dog-headed people, and Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were a little overwhelmed. At this time, Yi Xiaotian kept circling around the dog-headed people, and every time he circled, a dog-headed person died under his sword. But in the eyes of Han Xuyao and Wang Hao, Yi Xiaotian was still looking for opportunities, and they didn't expect that dozens of dog-headed people had died under Yi Xiaotian's sword. Chapter 18 Gradually, the number of dog-headed men became fewer and fewer, and Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were under much less pressure. They thought it was all Han Xuyao's credit. Han Xuyao thought it was all Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi's credit. After all, the two of them worked really hard. From the beginning of the mission to now, for more than an hour, they have been fighting bloody battles in the front, keeping the dog-headed army out of the front line. So that she can release lightning power in the back with peace of mind. None of them doubted Yi Xiaotian. Except for the previous period of time, they paid attention to it, but they didn't pay much attention to it later. Because they saw that Yi Xiaotian could really handle it. And Yi Xiaotian has been circling around the dog-headed army, and he didn't directly block the dog-headed army like Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. When they found that the dog-headed men were getting fewer and fewer, they turned their attention to Yi Xiaotian again. They found that Yi Xiaotian's body movements were still very agile, and he was still circling around the monsters. In this way, he was just paddling. Everyone, work harder, and we will be able to complete the task soon. Yi Xiaotian said loudly at this time to boost morale. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were already panting with exhaustion, and Han Xuyao had exhausted her mental power and could not use her superpowers. At this time, the importance of an assistant was reflected. Unfortunately, they did not find a suitable assistant. The number of assistants was too scarce. Once awakened, they would definitely be the treasures of the school. They were all selected by the Awakener team within the school. How could they recruit them? Assisting Awakeners, according to the different talents of Awakening, can add different enhanced states, eliminate fatigue, restore the mental power of superpowers, etc. Having an assistant on the scene can greatly improve the combat capability of the entire team. So assistants are very popular. Yi Xiaotian thought that if he had the opportunity in the future, he must brush up some talents in the field of assistance. He himself has two accounts which can form a team. If there is an assistant, the combat effectiveness will definitely be stronger. After Yi Xiaotian shouted, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were both refreshed, and they raised their arms that were a little bit unable to lift up. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian knew that they had already exhausted their physical strength. He could only speed up himself, and he had already thought of an excuse. He walked quickly to Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi and said, You two block it, I'll kill it. Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, can you do it? Chang Xiaoxi said, Okay, go to the back quickly and don't make trouble here. Yi Xiao Tian was not angry either, and said, Before, you were killing, and I was resting. Now I have plenty of energy, and there are not many dog headed people. Just block them. My talent is to enhance my attack power, and I have a D-level battle knife in my hand. These dog-headed people can definitely be killed one by one. When Wang Hao heard it, he felt that there was some truth, so he said, Brother Tian, come on, you can do it. Brother Tian, you can do it, but you have to pay attention to safety, Xiaoxi, protect Brother Tian. Han Xuyao behind also heard what Yi Xiao Tian said. Of course, she couldn't say that Yi Xiaotian couldn't do it, after all, Brother Tian is a man. Those who understand will understand. So I can only let Chang Xiaoxi protect him. Chang Xiaoxi. Let's not talk about whether I am a light bulb or not, 
you two are really a pair of dogs. Chang Xiaoxi urged the golden bell to stand in front, and Wang Hao also held the sword in front to hold the dog-headed man. Yi Xiaotian was floating around, and every time he floated, a dog-headed man died under his sword. At this time, his lowest physical attribute was more than 260 points, so these dog-headed men were just scum in his eyes. But he couldn't kill too happily, and had to pretend to be reluctant. Having lived two lives, Yi Xiaotian's acting skills were still above the line compared to Wang Hao and Han Xuyao. Even Chang Xiaoxi, who had a lot of opinions about him, didn't find that Yi Xiaotian was acting. He used basic sword skills, which were too ordinary, so it could only be attributed to the weapon in Yi Xiaotian's hand. It seemed that it was really not difficult to chop F-level dog-headed men with a D-level sword. But the speed seemed a bit fast. Did Yi Xiaotian exchange all his reincarnation points for agility after coming out of the novice copy? Well, it seems possible. If you don't have enough strength, you can use weapons to make up for it. Then you can increase your agility points, at least you can be a fast boy. Three seconds is a real man. That's for sure. Take a different approach, maybe you can also take a different path this way. Chang Xiaoxi felt that he had seen through Yi Xiaotian's path. Wang Hao was a little stunned, Brother Tian, you are quite powerful. As for Han Xuyao behind him, his eyes were already full of stars. He really deserved to be the man I liked, that's fast. A few minutes later, the dog-headed man was wiped out, and Yi Xiaotian was sweating profusely, then sat down on the ground, panting. Han Xuyao hurried over, supported Yi Xiaotian and said, Brother Tian, how are you, are you exhausted? Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. We fought for more than an hour, and this guy only fought for a few minutes. Han Xuyao, are you blind? Do you still have a conscience? It's worthy of being a fast boy. He couldn't hold on after just a few minutes of fighting. If it wasn't for the agility attribute, Chang Xiaoxi wouldn't believe it. I'm fine, just a little exhausted, I'll be fine after a rest. Yi Xiaotian explained. Han Xuyao hurriedly said, Then you can rest on me, Xiaoxi, look around to see if there is anything like a cushion around, let brother Tian use it as a cushion. Han Xuyao, you are such a righteous guy, I'm so unlucky to know you. Chang Xiaoxi couldn't help but burst out. Han Xuyao didn't care at all, and said, Xiaoxi, don't say that, brother Tian is really tired. For Han Xuyao, appearance is justice. In front of appearance, best friends are not worth mentioning. Chang Xiaoxi wanted to cry and burst into tears. Han Xuyao, where is your brain? Where is your IQ? We have completed the task and are about to leave the dungeon. Chang Xiaoxi scolded Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao finally reacted and said, Oh, we have completed the task. That's great. We actually got a B-level evaluation. Killing all the dog-headed men and getting a B-level evaluation was mainly because they took a little too long, nearly two hours, and almost exceeded the time limit. Hey, the rewarded reincarnation points are actually doubled, it's really great. Han Xuyao checked the information given by the reincarnation world and was immediately excited. Chang Xiaoxi didn't have time to argue with her, so she also hurried to check. Seeing the rewarded reincarnation points, she grinned. Although this dungeon was exhausting, the harvest was also very rich. Fortunately, the dog-headed men were killed in the end, otherwise it would be a C-level evaluation at most, and the loss would be great, and the reward would be directly cut in half. Chapter, 19 Brother Tian, you are so awesome. Did you use all the points of the reincarnation in the novice copy to increase your agility? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian after returning to the reincarnation square. Yi Xiaotian was silent for a while before nodding and saying, I guess so. Brother Tian is really smart. Han Xuyao exclaimed. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. Especially Chang Xiaoxi, she felt that her three views were refreshed by Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao, Han Xuyao, you just won't let go of the opportunity when you get it. Don't you know what modesty is? Don't you know what a long-lasting relationship is? If your suitors know about your licking, won't they be sad? Are you still going to continue to increase your agility now? Han Xuyao asked again. 
Yi Xiao Tian hesitated a little. Han Xuyao continued, Brother Tian, how about listening to me first and then you can consider it. Chang Xiaosi, Han Xuyao, are you really so humble? You are the eldest daughter of the Han family, an S-level talent awakener, and a future top master. She couldn't figure it out. Even if Yi Xiao Tian was handsome, what could it do? Can being handsome be eaten? Can being handsome kill enemies? Although Yi Xiao Tian showed off a speed flow in the last stage of the previous copy, so what? A fast boy is a fast boy. He can only last for a few minutes. What's the use? He will be a drag in the next copy. This is Han Xuyao. If it were someone else, Chang Xiaosi would have been angry. Tell me. Yi Xiao Tian ignored Chang Xiaosi's murderous eyes and said to Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian, your previous knife was indeed very sharp and eye-catching. But I suggest that you add more physique next time. Of course, the strength should not fall too much, otherwise your knife-holding hand will not be able to bear it. So you mean to let me add points to the three attributes of physique, strength and agility? Yi Xiao Tian said thoughtfully. Han Xuyao said, of course, this is just my personal suggestion. I think your suggestion is very good, so let's do it. Yi Xiao Tian said. Han Xuyao smiled immediately. It's worth my effort. Finally, I succeeded. Brother Tian, I will definitely chase you. What about you? Do you plan to exchange points for attribute points, or buy other props? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Wang Hao said, I'd better exchange for attribute points, so that I can improve my strength as quickly as possible. Chang Xiaosi and Han Xuyao also said that they would exchange points for attribute points. The only exchange channel for attribute points is reincarnation points. But other props can still be bought with money. It's a little more expensive, anyway, their family is not short of money, and they have connections to get the goods. The reason why it was not used before was just because the goods had not arrived yet. It is estimated that it will arrive in a few days. For example, potions to restore mental and physical strength are what they lack most at present. Potions are also the most scarce props on the market. There is no shortage of them in the Samsara Mall, but they are very expensive to redeem. Except for those big bosses, no one will waste points to redeem these things. Generally, they are bought outside through connections. As for where the potions outside come from, they are naturally made by pharmacists, and the materials come from the corpses of alien races and materials from the samsara world. It's just that because there is an extreme lack of awakened people with potion talents, potions have always been a very scarce resource. This is also a factor that has always troubled the development of human awakeners. However, the Han family and the Chang family are both awakened families with a strong network of connections, so they can buy such strategic level materials. Yi Xiao Tian was originally thinking about whether to buy some potions, but after hearing what Han Xuyao said, he hesitated again. With the help of recovery potions, their probability of passing the dungeon is greatly increased, and they can also get more points. Before, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi were exhausted, and Han Xuyao's mental strength was exhausted, and she almost swung her staff to attack. But her strength attribute, if she really went up to close combat, it would drag others down. Just thought about it, but didn't say anything in the end. Everyone was very tired this time. Except for Yi Xiao Tian who was acting, the other three were exhausted. So today's dungeon time ends here. Have a good rest and see what happens tomorrow. Not long after logging off, Yi Xiao Tian received a message from Han Xuyao. Is this little wild cat so clingy? Brother Tian, I just received news that the upper level has made a big move and may organize some temporary training camps. Temporary training camp? Yi Xiao Tian was confused. What is the purpose of opening such a special training camp at this time? To protect Hao Tian or is there another purpose? Have you heard the reason? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Han Xuyao said, the difficulty of the dungeon will continue for about a week, and our big exam is only a few days away. The higher-ups think that if this continues, this big exam will definitely be ugly. So we are going to concentrate all the geniuses worth cultivating and train them together, and form a temporary training camp in each region. 
Yi Xiaotian suddenly realized that in this way, not only can the losses caused by the increased difficulty of the dungeon be avoided. It can also better protect those geniuses. Kill two birds with one stone. But there is also a problem. Once the enemy sneaks into these temporary training camps, the consequences will be disastrous. But I think the top leaders have also considered this, and there must be a way to solve this problem. It is estimated that the school will send out a notice soon. Time is very tight. Each school has five places, and the selection will be based on actual combat. Han Xuyao is from an awakened family after all, and the source of the news is definitely not comparable to Yi Xiaotian. If it was before, Yi Xiaotian might still keep a certain distance from Han Xuyao. After all, the difference in status is too big. The comparison of family status in this world is too serious than in the previous life. The Awakeners pay attention to blood. Han Xuyao is an S-level Awakener, and the life partner who can match her is at least an S-level Awakener. So the Han family will never agree to Han Xuyao and Yi Xiaotian being together. In fact, if Yi Xiaotian doesn't know what's good for him, his life may end before the age of 20. Awakening families like the Han family have too many ways to make a low-level talent awakener disappear silently from this world. But now, Yi Xiaotian can't retreat anymore. Han Xuyao has already done this. If he retreats again, he is not a man. Let's start from the training camp. Let the Han family see that I, Yi Xiaotian, am not a low-level awakener in their eyes. Although the identity of Haotian cannot be exposed for the time being, the identity of Yan Luo is not a problem. Thinking in his heart, Yi Xiaotian has already made a plan. Xu Yao, if Haotian leads the team, can you and Chang Xiaoxi still come to brush the dungeon? Yi Xiaotian sent a message to Han Xu Yao. Chapter 20 What do you mean, do you know Emperor Haotian? Han Xu Yao replied very quickly, almost in seconds. Yi Xiaotian said, I don't know him, I just met him in the Samsara Square. This dungeon is divided into teams and solos, and he has completed it solo now. I roughly understand what you mean. It is probably because of the temporary training camp this time that Emperor Haotian feels pressured and is ready to earn more points to improve his strength. I came to you because you are not talented enough, so you can avoid exposing his identity. But if you do this, I am afraid that when the announcement comes out, those heretics will cause trouble for you. Han Xuyao's words made Yi Xiaotian look stunned. He just made an invitation, did Han Xuyao actually consider so much? Is this the mind of a person born in an aristocratic family? Thinking about Han Xuyao's performance in front of him, Yi Xiaotian really couldn't connect her with her now. The sentence Chang Xiaoxi used most often was crazy girl. But Han Xuyao never got angry. These two grew up together and were close friends. So no matter how much Chang Xiaoxi hated Han Xuyao, she would never abandon her. And the same was true for Han Xuyao. No matter how much Chang Xiaoxi insulted her, she would remain the same. As long as Chang Xiaoxi had something to do, she would definitely be the first to rush forward. The relationship between the two of them was similar to that between Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. The only difference was their backgrounds. Yi Xiaotian said, it doesn't matter. If we can really follow Haotian to brush a few dungeons, the points will allow us to take off, and the place in the temporary training camp will be easy to get. Han Xuyao said, Hey, what you said makes sense. Now everyone's physical attributes are at the same starting line, and there won't be much difference. The amplification effect of talent is also greatly limited. If we can really complete all the dungeons with super god evaluation, there will be absolutely no problem entering the temporary training camp. The reincarnation points rewarded by super god evaluation are much higher than other evaluations. I am afraid that a super god evaluation can make the newcomers at this stage surpass others by a large margin. Yi Xiaotian also breathed a sigh of relief. In this way, no one would doubt that his Yen Luo is stronger. Who made me lucky to meet Haotian leading the team? This can only be attributed to dog shit luck. As for whether the heretics will cause trouble to him, he just stepped on a pile of dog shit. Who would cause trouble to an awakened person with only C level talent? Is it that the heretics have too many people, or that the genius?
isn't the temporary training camp a real-life selection? This is an opportunity. In the novice stage, physical attributes are the only thing. As for talent, it has to wait. After all, no matter how good the talent is, it is also increased on the basis of physical attributes. As long as their physical attributes crush other freshmen, there will be no problem. Han Xuyao went to contact Chang Xiaoxi. Yi Xiao Tian walked out of his room, knocked on Wang Hao's door, and told him that Hao Tian was going to take them to a dungeon. Wang Hao was dumbfounded after hearing this. Hao Tian the Great Emperor was going to take them to a dungeon. Wasn't this a hallucination? Brother Tian, are you telling the truth? Are you kidding me? Wang Hao said in disbelief. Fatty, it's time now. Do I have the time to tease you? This is a great opportunity. Yi Xiao Tian said. Wang Hao hurriedly said, Okay, enter the reincarnation world immediately, I want to see my idol, Hao Tian, the great emperor. Yi Xiao Tian said, Fatty, Hao Tian has a special identity, don't be careless, don't tell others your ID, understand? Wang Hao also knew the seriousness of this matter. If things go wrong, heretics will target them. For his own safety and Yi Xiaotian's safety, he also has to keep his mind on the string. As for Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi, I believe that as long as their brains are not pitted, they will not expose themselves. So this matter is profitable no matter how you look at it. Yi Xiao Tian returned to his room and entered the reincarnation world. The two accounts Hao Tian and Yan Luo appeared on the reincarnation square and formed a team state. Then Yi Xiao Tian sent a team invitation to Wang Hao and Han Xuyao in the name of Yan Luo. After they joined the team, the team chat channel suddenly became lively. Is it really the Emperor, Hao Tian? Chang Xiaoxi was even more excited than Wang Hao. It seems that the charm of Hao Tian is really popular with both men and women. Yi Xiao Tian gave them their locations, and they soon came to gather. Emperor Hao Tian, please accept my knees. Fatty almost knelt down, because the record of Hao Tian was really amazing. It was simply unprecedented, and it was hard to say whether there would be anyone to come after him. Yi Xiao Tian hurriedly said, Okay, Fatty, stop playing tricks, the great god Hao Tian has no time to talk nonsense with you. Han Xuyao looked at Hao Tian who was hidden in the mist and couldn't see his face clearly, but she was not as excited as Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao. After all, she was a loyal fan of Yi Xiao Tian, a diehard one. Hurry up, after entering the dungeon, you don't have to do anything, just follow the plot. Hao Tian said at this time. No problem, master, rest assured, we will definitely not cause any trouble. Chang Xiaoxi was the first to guarantee, showing signs of becoming a dog licker. Master, we will do whatever you tell us to do. Wang Hao also quickly guaranteed. Han Xuyao frowned and said, Master, do you mean that we don't have to do anything? Hao Tian nodded and didn't say anything. Yi Xiao Tian quickly said, Okay, let's enter the dungeon now. After that, everyone turned around and entered the Samsara Tower. Soon, they re entered the F level dungeon. After a plot process, they once again saw the place where the dog headed men gathered. With one more person, the number of dog headed men reached 1 0 0, and this was only the simple difficulty. You can imagine how abnormal the number of monsters in the later difficulty dungeons will be. Seeing the number of dog headed men, Han Xuyao's confidence was shaken again. Master, are you sure we don't have to do anything? Although the master had already brushed the E-level dungeon before, and it was the highest difficulty super god evaluation. But the number of monsters in a single player dungeon is completely incomparable to that in a team dungeon. No need. Hao Tian said in a very arrogant tone, then raised his staff and directly sent a star flame from the sky to the cobalt camp. In just a moment, there was an empty space over the cobalt camp. Then, under the stunned eyes of Han Xuyao and the others, Hao Tian waved his staff repeatedly, and star flames fell again, smashing into the cobalt camp as if they were free. In just a few seconds, the cobalts were slaughtered. Hao Tian put away his staff in a chic manner and called it a day. Chapter, 21 Damn, is this how all the masters clear the dungeon? Apart from following the plot, the actual dungeon time is only a few seconds. 
Think about the situation when they teamed up to clear the simple dungeon before. Comparing people is really annoying. And before they could come to their senses, the world announcement of the reincarnation space came from the void. Congratulations to the awakened Haotian, Yao Guang, Hope Light, Hulk, and Yen Luo for clearing the F-level simple dungeon, and the evaluation is super god. Chapter, 22 When Yi Xiao Tian and the others came out of the reincarnation world, they saw the message from the school asking them to return to school tomorrow. The situation was similar to what Han Xuyao said. However, Wang Hao was clear about it. After Yi Xiao Tian explained it to him, he finally understood it. Then he said with relief, I am so lucky. I didn't expect that I would encounter this good thing again after following the great god Hao Tian to go to the dungeon. This is a real life selection, and it depends on who is stronger. If the selection is based on talent, then they will definitely have no chance. Brother Tian, what are you going to add next? Or agility? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it for a while, and then said, I plan to go the fast-paced route, with agility as the main factor, and physique and strength as the supplement. But in this way, you will be at a disadvantage when evaluating the awakening level. Wang Hao reminded. After all, the awakening level rating is based on the main attribute. The warrior is the strength attribute, and the psychic is the spiritual attribute. Yi Xiao Tian said, what does it matter? I can still play the pig and eat the tiger. But you have missed some benefits of the awakening level. Wang Hao also said. Yi Xiao Tian said, it doesn't matter. Anyway, he has the highest talent, and he can get whatever he needs by himself. There is no need to care about those benefits. Of course, he won't say that he doesn't like it. Wang Hao saw that Yi Xiao Tian insisted, so he said, okay. But it's good this way. I plan to go the shield battle route, and you go the fast battle route. The two of us can just match each other. Wang Hao continued. In the future, I will be in the front, and you will flank. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, okay, then I will rely on you. Our team is already perfect, but it's a pity that there is no support. Wang Hao said. Fatty, don't be too greedy. We have the great god Hao Tian in our team. Yi Xiao Tian said. Wang Hao said unhappily, you won't team up with us again in the future, will you? This time we were just lucky and it was just a coincidence. Yi Xiao Tian didn't explain much, I'm afraid this is the normal way of thinking. I have asked Xu Yao to ask if there are any students in our school who have awakened auxiliary talents. Yi Xiao Tian said. Wang Hao shook his head and said, I was there the whole time on the day of awakening talents, but I don't think I've heard of it. Forget it, don't think about it. Since we have decided how to add points, let's take action. Yi Xiao Tian reminded Wang Hao, after all, tomorrow is the time for actual combat selection. Time is very tight, and the temporary training camp only has one week. So yesterday, not only did they have to reserve a place, but they also had to report to the temporary training camp. There is no way, who let the aliens do this to them? Yi Xiao Tian thought about it, and finally decided to save all the reincarnation points first, anyway, he can still brush monster drops for the most needed attributes now. Strive to save enough points to buy a real artifact. Then you can really kill everyone. Your own attribute points can be dropped by monsters, and there is no need to spend reincarnation points to exchange. Others, even the Supreme Strong, can't keep saving points without consuming them. After all, if they want to improve their own strength, they can only use points to exchange attribute points. Or kill aliens. That's right, you can also get reincarnation points by killing aliens. The mechanism is similar to the copy in the reincarnation tower. In fact, the reincarnation points obtained by killing aliens in the real world are higher than those obtained in the reincarnation tower copy. However, most people still choose to get points in the reincarnation tower to improve their strength, because in the real world, fighting with aliens, if you die, you really die. But the reincarnation tower world is not like that, it will only be sanctioned by the punishment mechanism. But compared to death, it is already very good. It's just that the war with aliens leaves humans with no extra choices. The next day, 
Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao went to school. Hey, Yi Xiao Tian, you are here too. This is a talent selection. What does it have to do with you two? Are you here to humiliate yourself? On the playground, Lin Hai saw Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao coming, and immediately showed a disdainful expression. Two C-level talent awakeners actually came to participate in a talent selection. It's a waste of time. The school doesn't know what's going on. Why do people send messages? There is no need to fight for this temporary training camp talent selection. Just choose according to talent. This is a complete waste of their precious time. Have you heard about it? The Emperor Hao Tian led the team to brush the dungeon. As more and more people came to the playground, everyone's discussion gradually became louder. The most discussed thing was that the Emperor Hao Tian not only brushed alone, but led the team to brush the dungeon. Everyone envied his teammates very much. It's just that everyone uses the reincarnation ID in the reincarnation world, so they don't know who is who. The reincarnation ID is considered personal privacy. If it is not necessary, no one will shout around. Generally, only close people know. In the real world, real names are used. Of course, there are exceptions for those with very distinct personalities. Lin Hai, do you want to be beaten? Wang Hao rushed forward with a fist, blocking Yi Xiao Tian behind him. Lin Hai was not afraid at all. He was different now. Although Wang Hao looks big, he is not necessarily stronger than him. Wang Hao, what are you so arrogant about? Do you think it was the past? Let me tell you, we are all awakened now. I am an A-level talent, what about you? But you are just a C-level talent, and you dare to be presumptuous in front of me. Lin Hai was very disdainful. He is an A-level talent awakener, and he always gets a high evaluation when he passes the dungeon. Now his strength has exceeded 20 points, and he is already an F-level awakener. Wang Hao is a C-level talent awakener, and an ordinary person is trash. If he knew that Wang Hao was one of the team members led by Hao Tian to brush the dungeon, he would probably be scared. After all, the points reward obtained by the Super God evaluation is not something he can compare with. Not to mention that he only awakened the A-level talent, even if he awakened the S-level or SS-level talent, at this stage, there is no way to make up for the gap in attribute points. Yu Wang Hao was furious and raised his hand, but was held back by Yi Xiao Tian. It is too unwise to take action at this time. Fatty, calm down. We are going to participate in the training camp. Fighting with such people will lower our status. Yi Xiao Tian said calmly. When Wang Hao heard this, the anger on his face disappeared immediately and he smiled again. Yes, Lin Hai is just a clown in front of him now. If he is deprived of the qualification for the training camp because of the action, it will be a big loss. Chapter 23 You guys? Participating in the training camp? Ha ha ha, it made me laugh so hard. Lin Hai almost burst into tears laughing. Who gave you the courage to say such things? Two mere sea level talent awakeners actually dared to get a spot in the training camp. They were simply desperate. And from the tone of these words, it seemed like they could easily get this spot, which was really shameless. At this time, Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi also came. What are you talking about? Han Xuyao naturally stood next to Yi Xiao Tian, getting a little close. Lin Hai suddenly became jealous and looked at Yi Xiao Tian as if he wanted to eat someone. My goddess, why do you stand so close to this person? He is really not suitable for you. Then he took two steps forward, trying to squeeze in between the two of them, but saw Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao taking a few steps back in unison. Wang Hao's iron tower like body stood in front of Lin Hai, and even Chang Xiaoxi moved a few steps sideways. After being stuffed with dog food yesterday, Chang Xiaoxi originally disliked Yi Xiao Tian very much. But after a conversation with her father, she changed some of her views on Yi Xiao Tian. In her father's words, although Yi Xiao Tian himself has nothing, if he can be related to Hao Tian, then he cannot be ignored. No matter what the relationship between Yi Xiao Tian and Hao Tian is, their family already owes this favor. So when she saw Yi Xiao Tian today, Chang Xiaoxi's eyes softened a lot. 
Now seeing that Lin Hai wanted to disturb Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao from talking, he also stood between them. Get away. Lin Hai was angry and stretched out his hand to push Wang Hao away. He is very confident. Although his size is not as powerful as Wang Hao, his strength is definitely better than Wang Hao. But it's a pity that after his power spurted out, it was all turned back. Wang Hao was not pushed away, but he himself was pushed back several steps by the force of the push. Because he was unprepared, his body staggered a little. Fortunately, his lackeys Wang Wu and Zhao Lu supported him from behind. Lin Hai looked surprised. What's going on? How could Wang Hao be so powerful? The feeling given to him just now was that he was pushed against a wall, unable to shake Wang Hao at all. When did this guy become so strong? Lin Hai immediately thought of what Yi Xiaotian said just now. Are they really sure of getting a place in the training camp? But thinking about his weapons, he felt relieved again. No matter how strong Wang Hao's body was, actual combat was not all about physical strength, but also equipment and skills. And these are his strengths. He awakened his talent for swords, and he used a B-level divine sword. No matter how strong Wang Hao's body was, he could still break through it with one sword. He was relieved, but his eyes looking at Yi Xiaotian became even more malicious. He swore that if he met Yi Xiaotian in actual combat this time, he would definitely let him know why the flowers were so red. Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao were not affected at all and continued to chat about them. Brother Tian, I asked my dad that we in Jiangqing do have a few awakeners with auxiliary talents in this generation. Han Shuyao said to Yi Xiaotian. Oh, is there hope? Yi Xiaotian asked. Although Hao Tian can develop auxiliary talents in the future, for now, it would be best if their team could recruit an auxiliary. Hao Tian can take them to refresh dungeons, but not too frequently. After finishing the F-level team copy this time, you can't bring it with you again for a short time, otherwise you will have to be exposed. Now the aliens are looking for Hao Tian like crazy people, so they have to keep a low profile. Han Shuyao shook his head and said, I'm afraid it's difficult. The three high schools in Jiangcheng all have their own talented students. Since the awakening ceremony, they have also formed their own teams at least before the big exam, we have no hope. And this time the foreign race uses props to increase the difficulty of the dungeon. It is estimated that the number of new students who will clear the dungeon will be greatly reduced. Everyone will wait for the time for the props to pass. This temporary training camp is to make up for this loss. Yi Xiaotian said, what exactly is the model of this training camp? Are there other ways to improve my own strength? Han Shuyao said, I asked my dad, and his theory is that this so-called training camp may be actual combat, otherwise this choice will not be based on actual combat. Actual combat? Do you mean to fight against alien races? Yi Xiaotian was shocked. They were all his own children and most of them had not yet obtained the strength of F-level Awakeners. Wouldn't it be dangerous for them to go into actual combat with aliens at this time? Han Shuyao nodded and said, that's right, it's fighting against aliens. We human Awakeners, besides gaining reincarnation points through the dungeon of the reincarnation tower, there is only one way, and that is to kill aliens. This is really amazing. You can get reincarnation points in the dungeon of the reincarnation tower, but you can actually kill aliens. After all, Yi Xiaotian has traveled from the earth, so he finds it incredible. Han Shuyao said, isn't this normal? Seeing Han Shuyao's matter-of-fact look, Yi Xiaotian suddenly said, Shuyao, haven't you ever thought about why this is happening? Why do we have to think about these things? As long as we can gain power, we can kill the aliens. Han Shuyao shook his head. Well, Yi Xiaotian didn't know what to say. I don't know if it's because the soul comes from another world, so Yi Xiaotian has been thinking about this problem. That is, where does the samsara tower come from, and why does the human body have attribute data? Also, what's the matter with the artifacts of the heavens in the samsara mall? Is this a world of cultivation or a world of games? If the samsara tower is a game world, then why can you get points and props rewards by killing aliens in reality? Or, is this simply a survival game for all races? So behind this game, 
is there someone fiddling with everything and controlling the fate of all races in the world? In his previous life, Yi Xiao Tian had been teased by fate once, and in this life, he didn't want to become a pawn of fate. But living in such a world, what can he do? Or, can his awakened supreme talent let him get rid of all this? What are you thinking about? Han Xuyao asked when Yi Xiao Tian fell silent. Yi Xiao Tian came back to his senses and said, Nothing, eh, the teacher is here. In front of him, the principal came with a group of school leaders and the head teacher of the senior class. The principal and the leaders walked directly to the high platform in front. The head teachers asked each class to line up and stand. Chapter 24 Lao Wang was in a good mood because during this awakening ceremony, an S level talent awakener appeared in their class, that is Han Xuyao. And there are two A level talent awakeners, one is Lin Hai, and the other is Li Nan. And Lin Hai comes from an awakener family, so he can definitely get a place in this temporary training camp. Although Li Chang has an ordinary background, I believe that with his A level talent, he is still very competitive. In this way, their class can at least get two places, which is a great honor. You know, there are twelve classes in the third grade of Jiangqing No. One middle school alone. It is already lucky to get a place. Being able to monopolize two places, the principal will reward him well. He feels that his life has reached its peak. Let everyone line up quickly, and the principal stepped forward and began to speak. Dear students, this year's situation is quite special. After the decision of the top management, a temporary training camp will be opened. Each middle school will have five places to compete in actual combat. The winner is the king. The only criterion for actual combat selection is strength. Of course, there is a situation here that I want to explain to everyone. The students from the twelve classes of Jiangqing No. One middle school are competing for four places together. As soon as these words came out, the discussion immediately sounded below. Not only the students, but even the head teachers were confused. Aren't there five places? How did it become four again? Yi Xiao Tian looked at Han Xuyao, who shook her head, indicating that she didn't know about this situation either. This situation should be very sudden. I didn't see that the head teachers were confused. It seemed that only the top management of the school knew about this news. Silence. The principal shouted, and everyone's head was buzzing. This principal is not a scholar who is powerless, but a real awakener master. Everyone was quiet, but Lin Hai suddenly said, Principal, why is there one less quota in our school? The principal was not angry, but nodded and said, This student asked a good question. Of course, I want to explain here that it is not that there is one less quota in our school. It is that there is one less quota for you to compete for. As for the remaining quota, it has been decided. Principal, is this quota for Han Xuyao? Lin Hai asked loudly. In his opinion, only Han Xuyao is qualified to reserve a quota, after all, she is an S-level talent awakener. However, the principal's words disappointed him. No, okay, everyone doesn't have to guess. The last quota is for an awakened S-level auxiliary talent awakener. The principal said. As soon as this was said, the crowd below started to explode again. What's going on? Isn't there only one S-level talent awakener in No. 1 Middle School, Han Xuyao? When did another S-level talent awakener of the auxiliary system appear? Han Xuyao looked at Yi Xiao Tian, and then exchanged glances with Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, all with puzzled expressions. They were all there on the day of the awakening ceremony, but no. One middle school didn't even have a single awakener with auxiliary talent, let alone one from the auxiliary department. Could it be that he transferred from another school? Yi Xiao Tian suddenly said. Han Xuyao nodded as soon as she heard it, I'm afraid this is the only possibility. He was just an S-level awakener with auxiliary talent, such a freshman, how could any school allow such a student to transfer? Is it just for a place in the training camp? The principal continued, Everyone, please be quiet. This is the situation. As for who that student is, I won't say much now. When the training camp starts, the students who have obtained the qualifications will naturally see her. Time is tight, 
so I won't waste any more words. The battle allocation mode is based on the last digit of everyone's student ID, and the computer will match them. Do you see the venue over there? Everyone will go to the corresponding venue according to their last digit of their student ID and check their opponents. Due to time constraints, this actual combat selection will be decided in one battle. After the principal finished speaking, he went down the platform directly. He really made a long story short. In the past, it would take half an hour to finish. Now it only takes a few minutes to finish, which can be said to be a quick battle. Brother Tian, what is the last digit of your student ID? Han Shuyao looked nervous. If he was in the same venue as Yi Xiao Tian, he would be finished. Because they had brushed the dungeon with Emperor Haotian, they had obtained a lot of reincarnation points. So as long as they were not assigned to the same venue, there was a great chance that they would go to the training camp together. But if they were assigned to the same venue, it would be a pity. My student ID number ends with 6, what about you? Yi Xiao Tian answered. I'm 9. Han Shuyao was very happy. Finally, she didn't have to share the same venue with Yi Xiao Tian. As for Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, they were both ignored. The two followed behind, feeling a little depressed. These two guys really looked down on everyone. Can't you ask what the last number of our student ID is? After a while, Han Shuyao suddenly turned around and asked the two, what are the last numbers of your student IDs? Forget it, it doesn't matter. As long as Brother Tian doesn't overlap with me, it's fine. The two who were originally quite happy vomited blood instantly after hearing this. Okay, I won't joke with you guys anymore. I know the last digit of Xiaoxi's school ID, and it doesn't conflict with us. Brother Tian knows Wang Hao's school ID, and it doesn't conflict with us either. Han Xuyao continued to explain before the two of them could speak. Chang Xiaoxi breathed a sigh of relief. Just now, she was too angry and didn't think about it. Wang Hao grinned. Yes, Yi Xiao Tian knew the last digit of his school ID. Okay, everyone go to your own venues. I hope to see you again in the training camp. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Puff. Lin Hai and Yi Xiao Tian happened to be in the same venue. When he heard Yi Xiao Tian's words, he almost laughed to death. He really didn't know where Yi Xiao Tian got the courage to say such a thing. He really didn't even think about bragging. But it's good. Yi Xiao Tian happened to be in the same actual combat venue with him. When they fight later, Yi Xiao Tian must be in trouble. Yi Xiao Tian, I hope you can hold on for a while longer. Lin Hai said in a gloomy tone as he looked at Han Shuyao and the others departing backs. Yi Xiao Tian glanced at him and said, I hope you do the same. That calm tone made Lin Hai's anger surge again, and he almost couldn't help but act on the spot. Mr. Hai, calm down. Wang Wu said quickly. Yes, Mr. Hai, the actual battle is about to begin. You are in the same venue, are you still afraid that you can't kill him? Zhao Lu also said. Seeing Lin Hai calm down, Wang Wu and Zhao Lu also went to their own venues. However, they knew their own limitations and didn't dare to have extravagant hopes for a place in the training camp. Yi Xiao Tian, see how I deal with you later. Lin Hai snorted coldly. He had already thought about it in his mind, and he must torture Yi Xiao Tian later. In actual combat, it is inevitable that there will be any accidents. Chapter 25 Yi Xiao Tian looked calm, and was not angry at Lin Hai's words. In his eyes, Lin Hai was just a clown. It did not stir up any waves in his heart. He was just a spoiled child. He lowered his own level by arguing with a child. If the child is disobedient, just beat him up when he meets him. Beat him up a few times and he will be obedient. There are two teachers invigilating at each practical field. They are responsible for the students' win-loss records and also have to guard against any accidents among the students. Practical combat is not like other exams if there is any accident, it will really kill people. So the school dare not be careless at all and transferred all the teachers in the third grade of high school. There are invigilators in the field, and teachers are constantly patrolling outside the field. Once there is an accident, they can immediately make up for it. 
Soon, everyone started to draw lots, and then they started to fight. The first game, Lin Hai vs. Sun Lin. The invigilator shouted loudly, and Lin Hai and another student walked into the field. The invigilator continued, the battle ends when one side admits defeat or leaves the circle. No killing is allowed. Okay, the battle begins. Lin Hai has been a little impatient for a long time. He just got humiliated in front of Yi Xiao Tian and wanted to vent his anger. Unexpectedly, as soon as the teacher finished speaking, Sun Lin on the opposite side said, Teacher, I admit defeat. The invigilator was stunned. Is he so decisive? Lin Hai almost spit out a mouthful of blood. Damn, can't you fight for a while before admitting defeat? You didn't even move your hands, what are you admitting? Sun Lin, are you sure you want to admit defeat? The invigilator also felt that it was a bit outrageous. This was only the first game, and it was a bit fake and playful. Sun Lin said, Yes, teacher, I am only a C-level talent, and Lin Hai is an A-level talent. There is no comparison, so I admit defeat. Hearing this, the invigilator did not embarrass Sun Lin, and obviously felt that his words made sense. Lin Hai is not only an A-level talent awakener, but also comes from an awakened family. There is really no comparison. It is better to admit defeat and avoid physical pain. Thinking of this, the teacher admired Sun Lin's decisiveness. Knowing when to advance and retreat, knowing gains and losses, is good. Okay, Lin Hai wins this match. The teacher announced on the spot. Lin Hai left with a depressed look on his face. The second match, Hu Bing vs. Yang He. The invigilator waited for them to leave and immediately called the name of the second match. The competition was divided into ten venues. Even though there were twelve classes in the third year of high school and five or six hundred people, the progress was very fast. After all, one match determines the winner, and there is no need to take turns to fight. Moreover, the school deliberately divided some students with better talents into different venues. This method was decided after checking the student ID number. Otherwise, some students with good talents were assigned to the same venue, which would be a loophole for people to take advantage of. By then, the good ones will be eliminated, and some crooked ones will be selected. Wouldn't that be a disgrace to know? One middle school. Soon, there were only four people left in each venue. On the high platform, the school's seniors were waiting here, and the head of the senior grade came to report, Principal, something unexpected happened. Oh, what's the unexpected? The principal frowned. In this kind of thing, the most feared thing is the unexpected. The head of the grade replied, several students who were not optimistic about the original also entered the top four of the venue. Oh, tell me in detail. The principal said. For example, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, both of them are C-level talents. According to reason, it is impossible for them to enter the top four of the venue. But several students with B-level talents were eliminated by them before. The head of the grade looked a little unhappy. There are pros and cons to the actual combat method, and now this disadvantage is reflected. Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian are only C-level talents. If they are selected, wouldn't it be a waste of two places? Although this possibility is not great, we should consider things comprehensively. The principal waved his hand and said, It's okay, just keep watching. He also felt that such an accident was unlikely to happen. At this time, the teacher of Venue No. 6 shouted again, The next game, Lin Hai vs. Yi Xiao Tian. Lin Hai has an A level talent, and Yi Xiao Tian is only a C level talent so no one took it seriously and thought that Lin Hai would win. Although Yi Xiaotian had won several previous matches, everyone just thought he was lucky. Now, his luck has come to an end because he is facing Lin Hai. Yi Xiaotian, are you ready? Lin Hai looked at Yi Xiaotian with a cold look. Yi Xiaotian said, Student Lin Hai, don't you know a truth? What truth? Lin Hai was a little stunned. At this time, he was still trying to reason with him. He was really stupid. Does he want to give up immediately? We must not give him this opportunity. 
Yi Xiaotian smiled calmly and said, The biting dog doesn't bark. Lin Hai. Yi Xiaotian, I hope you can still laugh later. Lin Hai gritted his teeth. This damn guy actually dared to call him a dog. Wait and see how you die. The teacher saw the anger between them and reminded them again that they were not allowed to violate the rules, otherwise they would be disqualified from the training camp. Lin Hai held the sword in his hand and waited for the teacher to start. With his identity and background, as long as he didn't kill Yi Xiaotian on the spot, he would be fine. Yi Xiaotian also summoned his D-level sword. Seeing the sword in Yi Xiaotian's hand, Lin Hai's eyes turned red again. He was sure that Han Xuyao had bought it for him. Yi Xiaotian himself couldn't afford it at all. In addition to the D-level Rattan armor on his body, Han Xuyao really spent a lot of money for him. As for Yi Xiaotian himself, he definitely couldn't afford it. The classmates watching nearby were envious when they saw that Yi Xiaotian actually had a D-level sword. Just now, Yi Xiaotian was only wearing Rattan armor and holding a novice wooden sword in his hand. Now he took out the sword. It seems that these two guys are really going to fight. Yi Xiaotian, you are a guy who relies on women. Lin Hai gritted his teeth again. He also wanted to eat soft rice, but unfortunately he didn't have the teeth. He could only blame Han Xuyao for being blind. She couldn't see his advantages, but fell in love with Yi Xiaotian, a waste. No matter how beautiful this skin is, it will be a one-shot deal in the hands of aliens. The battle begins. As soon as the teacher finished speaking, Lin Hai raised his sword and rushed towards Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian dodged Lin Hai's attack and started to walk around the venue. Lin Hai chased for a while, and seeing that his speed was far behind Yi Xiaotian, he shouted, Yi Xiaotian, don't run if you have the guts. Yi Xiaotian stopped and said, Okay, then come on. Ah, look at the sword. Lin Hai was overjoyed when he saw it. This fool actually fell into his provocation. Seeing that Lin Hai's long sword was about to stab Yi Xiaotian, Yi Xiaotian was not in a hurry, but raised his sword and flicked it, then turned around, went around Lin Hai's back, and kicked him. Lin Hai couldn't stop and rushed out of the battle circle. The whole audience was silent. Chapter 26. Lin Hai's sword was about to pierce Yi Xiaotian, and even the invigilator was ready to rescue him. But unexpectedly, the situation changed suddenly, and Yi Xiaotian kicked Lin Hai out of the circle with a flick. This means that Lin Hai was eliminated. This result is unacceptable to everyone. Lin Hai's two followers had already finished fighting, and they came over and saw this scene, and they were stunned. What the hell is going on? Their boss was eliminated by Yi Xiaotian, a waste, doesn't that mean? Yi Xiaotian, you waste, dare to kick Hai Xiao. Wang Wu looked angry. Yi Xiaotian, you are dead. Zhao Lu also said. Yi Xiaotian said to the two, you two said I am a waste. Wang Wu and Zhao Lu said in unison, you are a waste. Then what is he? Worse than a waste. Yi Xiaotian pointed at Lin Hai who was still lying on the ground and said. Wang Wu and Zhao Lu stopped talking immediately. Lin Hai lost to Yi Xiaotian, isn't that what it means? The classmates around him were all holding back their laughter. Lin Hai was lucky not to be pissed off by these two funny guys. Last time, he told Lin Hai to eat shit in the group, and this time he said Lin Hai was worse than trash. Although he was tricked by Yi Xiaotian twice, his IQ really needs to be recharged. The invigilator was stunned. He was stunned and forgot to announce the result. C-level talent defeated A-level talent. How can he explain this to the school? Teacher, it's time to announce the result. Yi Xiaotian reminded. The invigilator looked like he had eaten a dead fly. He was bound to take the blame. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, he couldn't violate the discipline and had to announce, Yi Xiaotian won this game. The patrolling teacher hurried to report to the grade leader. This was a big deal. Ah, Yi Xiaotian, I'll kill you. Lin Hai finally woke up, jumped up from the ground, and rushed towards Yi Xiaotian with a sword. The invigilator was startled. The incident happened too suddenly, 
and he was a little late to rescue. Yi Xiao Tian slashed with his sword, knocking Lin Hai's sword away, and then kicked him in the chest. Lin Hai flew out, and when he landed, blood was already flowing from the corner of his mouth. Yi Xiao Tian was not polite with this kick. People are going to kill you, and if you are polite, you are a fool. The sudden change made all the students present unable to react. Then everything was over. The invigilator finally reacted, came over quickly, and shouted, Student Lin Hai, you violated the selection rules, and now you will be expelled from the examination room. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes, Teacher, you should have a limit to your partiality, right? Wang Wu and Zhao Lu hurried up and carried Lin Hai away, without giving Yi Xiao Tian a chance to say more. The invigilator turned around and said to Yi Xiao Tian, Student Yi Xiao Tian, do you have any opinion on my punishment? Yi Xiao Tian was silent for a while before he said, I reserve my opinion. The invigilator narrowed his eyes and then said, Okay, the selection continues, the next one. Soon, the news here spread to other examination rooms, and everyone began to talk about it. Of course, the most discussed thing was how Yi Xiao Tian could become so powerful. As for Lin Hai being punished, it was equivalent to nothing, but such things were not something they could comment on. Principal, Yi Xiao Tian, a C-level talent in examination room no. 6. Eliminated Lin Hai, an A-level talent. The grade group leader was a little anxious. This Lin Hai is a genius second only to Han Shuyao, and can be said to be one of the faces of their Jiangqing no. 1 middle school. And he is a rising star carefully cultivated by the Lin family, but now, he was eliminated by a C-level talent. Where can I go to reason with this? Then another teacher came to report that Wang Hao also defeated his opponent and advanced to the venue finals. The opponent he eliminated was also an A-level talent. There were only a few A-level talents in Jiangqing No. One middle school, and now two more were eliminated. How could he complain? What he couldn't stand the most was Lin Hai's elimination. Principal, what should we do if this continues? Ask the grade leader. The principal said, do you mean that these two C-level talented students can get a place? Principal, according to the news I just got, Wang Hao and Yi Xiao Tian are very strong among the students of this class. Those invigilators are not blind. Although Yi Xiao Tian has been hiding himself, Lin Hai's last sneak attack made him reveal a lot. As for Wang Hao, it was even more so. He didn't even think about hiding it. Even if he fought against an A-level talent, he would be defeated in one round. What talents do they have? The principal was a little surprised. I just asked someone to check the records. Sea level frenzy, and rage, the grade leader replied. Upon hearing this, the principal sighed, what a pity, what a pity. These two talents are considered very good among warriors, but unfortunately their grades are a bit low, and the increase is limited. If they can be upgraded to A grade, that would be great. If they are S grade, the principal shook his head and sneered at himself for being a little whimsical. Let's see the result first. If they really win, we'll talk about it then. Obviously, the principal also felt that it was better to let two C grade talents represent no. One middle school in the training camp. I am afraid that by then, everyone will think that there is something fishy in no. One middle school. The head of the grade group said, Principal, after the selection, they will leave in the afternoon. We must prepare for it in advance. After hearing this, the principal thought about it and nodded, that makes sense. Then you can make some emergency plans. Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao didn't know that because of their sudden rise, the school management was very passive. As for the remaining Han Shuyao and Chang Xiaoxi, they were not unexpected. Han Shuyao is not to be mentioned, but she is the only S-level talent awakener in Jiangqing No. One middle school, and she is from an awakening family. Chang Xiaoxi's background is similar to Han Shuyao, and her awakened talent is also A-level, and she is also very strong in close combat golden bell cover. This eldest lady of the Chang family, standing there with the golden bell, no one can hurt her at all. At least among the freshmen at this stage, no one can break her defense. A few minutes later, the top ten came out, and Yi Xiao Tian, Han Xuyao, Chang Xiaoxi, and Wang Hao were in sight. 
except for the four of them, the remaining six students are all A-level talent awakeners. This is all arranged. There is an A-level talent in each venue. Only Han Shuyao is S-level. The two C-level talent awakeners are sandwiched in between, which is very eye-catching. When the results came out, the students who didn't know the news before started to discuss it. Even C-level talents can get a place in the training camp. What do those two A-level talents do? Chapter 27 The head of the senior year group came to the principal again and said, Principal, do we need to change the rules for the next game? The principal was a little hesitant. If the rules were changed suddenly, unnecessary trouble might occur. Forget it, let's compete first and wait for the results. The principal hesitated again and again, but still did not plan to change the rules. The head of the grade group also knew that it was difficult. After all, if the rules were changed now, what if the Lin family came to make trouble? It's better to continue, and we'll talk about the results later. If Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao really get the quota, it depends on the means of the families of those A-level talents. Soon, the second round of the finals began. Ten people fought against each other in pairs, and the top four were ranked by points. There would be no mistakes in this way. To be honest, such an arrangement for the school can be said to be foolproof. Who knew that Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, two outliers, would appear and mess up the school's arrangements? The grade leader came out and announced, Next, the top ten players will fight against each other. The winner will get one point. The players will fight in turn according to their numbers. No. One Li Yao versus. No. Two Fan Jin, no. Three Chang Xiaoxi versus. No. Four Chenghua, no. Five Diu versus. No. Six Yi Xiao Tian, no. Seven Hao Yi versus. No. Eight Wang Hao, no. Nine Han Shuyao versus. No. Ten Sun Ming. Head on, the battle begins. Yi Xiaotian's opponent Du Yu, the two walked into the venue, Du Yu said very coldly, Lin Hai is really a waste, he can't even beat a C-level talent. Yi Xiaotian was speechless, are these second generations so noble? Okay, I'm too lazy to talk nonsense with people like you, let's start. After saying that, Du Yu took out a staff and was about to cast a spell. Start. The teacher gave an order. Bang. Do you screamed and flew out of the battle circle? Do you paid the price for his nobleness? Before the start, he didn't even have a defense. There is not even a defensive spell. Yi Xiao Tian will not be polite to such a person, and kicked him out of the battle circle directly. Do you staff fell to the ground, and he also lay on his back, but his eyes were closed, ashamed to see people. Teacher, did I win? Yi Xiao Tian reminded the invigilator. These teachers are really irresponsible. Let them invigilate, and they all know how to slack off. The invigilator woke up, cursed in his heart, and then announced, Examination room no. 3. Yi Xiao Tian wins. Examination room no. 2. Chang Xiaoxi wins. Examination room no. 4. Wang Hao wins. Examination room no. 1. Fan Jin wins. Examination room no. 5. Han Shuya wins. Soon, the remaining four games were decided. Hearing that Wang Hao and Yi Xiao Tian won again, the heart of the grade leader began to beat unconvincingly again. Why are these people so unconvincing? Let two sea level talents advance so triumphantly. Do you look good? These guys are too arrogant on weekdays, and none of them take Yi Xiao Tian seriously. They have come to this point, but they are still so careless. He quickly went to tell the invigilators to be careful when fighting Yi Xiao Tian. And Wang Hao, he is tall and strong, and has amazing strength. Now he has awakened his talent as a warrior. It can be said that his talent is a perfect match for his body. It's just that his grade is a little low, otherwise, he will definitely be a tiger general in the future. What a pity. As for Yi Xiao Tian, there is really nothing to recommend him, at least until now, he has not seen it. From his several battles, he won by taking advantage of tricks. 
At the end, Lin Hai sneaked up on him, and he also felt that it was because Lin Hai lost his mind in anger, so Yi Xiao Tian took the opportunity to do it. As for Du Yu, he is a complete fool. What's the point of such an important battle? He didn't even have any preparation. A superpowered person who is facing a warrior, and at close range, without any preparation, is not a fool. He was kicked out of the battle circle, right? A precious point was lost just like that. Soon, Wang Hao also won. At this stage, Wang Hao's combat power is absolutely very strong. Not to mention these A-level talents, even Han Xuyao, if she is not careful, will be chopped by Wang Hao. And Han Xuyao also won quickly. She did not make the same mistake as Du Yu. As soon as she came on the court, she put on a protective light shield with lightning flowing on it. Her opponent saw that she was so well prepared, holding a B-level staff in her hand, and with the blessing of S-level talent, there was no chance of winning, so he just hesitated for a moment and gave up. If she was really injured in the battle with Han Shuyao, wouldn't she suffer in the next battle? After all, they have to fight several games in turn. It's good to save a little effort. In fact, so far, those who have faced Han Shuyao have basically given up directly. Even if they fought, they were just pretending, and then they gave up. Next, it was a turn. Next, Chang Xiaoxi vs. Yi Xiaotian. Chang Xiaoxi faced Yi Xiaotian first. Then as soon as the teacher announced the start, Chang Xiaoxi admitted defeat. The invigilator was confused. What happened? Chang Xiaoxi was a student that the school's top management was very optimistic about. How could he admit defeat? If he had admitted defeat when he met Han Xuyao, it would be understandable, but it was not acceptable when he met Yi Xiaotian. But Chang Xiaoxi had already said it. After the teacher confirmed it again and again, he was sure that he was not wrong, and then had to declare Yi Xiaotian the winner. Yi Xiaotian was also confused and asked Chang Xiaoxi, why did you admit defeat? Chang Xiaoxi glared at him fiercely, and then walked to the next battle circle. Then Yi Xiaotian met Wang Hao again, and Wang Hao gave up without hesitation. The invigilator was even more confused. What's going on with these people? Then Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao faced each other. They both admitted defeat at the same time, and the invigilator almost fainted. Han Xuyao, why did you admit defeat? The invigilator couldn't help but asked. Han Xuyao looked at Yi Xiaotian and said, because I can't beat her. Yi Xiaotian said, teacher, I will admit defeat first. No, I said it first. Han Xuyao said, teacher, all the students below heard it, and I spoke up first. No, I said it first. Yi Xiaotian said. The invigilator's head hurt and he was stroking his forehead, not knowing what to say. This is a training camp selection, not a game for you to play house. This kind of spot is extremely precious. Can it be given away like this? Over and over again, how could anyone do this? Okay, you two have a fight to determine the outcome. The invigilator said. Yi Xiaotian said, Teacher, there is no need to compete. I admit defeat. Then Yi Xiaotian walked out of the battle circle directly and walked to the next battle circle. Chapter 28 The invigilator's mentality is a bit broken. This year's students are really difficult to lead. What are the regulations for each one? He didn't take him as the invigilator seriously at all. You can decide who wins or loses just by talking to yourself, so why do you need me as an invigilator? But Yi Xiaotian left immediately, what could he do? In this round, Han Xuyao wins and gets one point. The invigilator announced quickly, fearing that something would happen again. Seeing this, Han Xuyao could only accept it helplessly. Fortunately, both Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao had already admitted defeat as previously discussed. Based on the attributes they exchanged with the points they obtained from playing dungeons with Hao Tian, their strength is definitely the best among the new students. Only Yi Xiaotian was the weakest among the four of them, so in order to ensure that Yi Xiaotian could qualify, they discussed that when they met Yi Xiaotian, they would just admit defeat and let Yi Xiaotian accumulate more points. Han Xuyao's plan was good, but she didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian would move faster than her. As soon as the teacher announced the start, 
Yi Xiaotian was the first to admit defeat. Next, Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaozi showed both teachers and students what a crushing force was, except for Yi Xiaotian who relied on speed to hide his strength. The others all won by violence. Han Xuyao was lying on his side all the way. Wang Hao held a novice sword in his hand and could hardly defeat the enemy in one attack. It could be said to be a sweep. Chang Xiaozi's whole body was golden, and the golden bell was not closed at all. She was standing there, and no one could break her defense. The higher-ups of the school were shocked, how could these students be so much stronger than others? This is not common sense. Yi Xiaotian is normal, winning with speed and trickery, which is a bit despising. But Wang Hao was so fierce that he beat the students who considered themselves geniuses to the point where they lost their temper. Although I am very unconvinced, my strength is not as good as others. However, they don't think Wang Hao is really much stronger than them, just because they are still in the novice stage and have just passed the novice copy. I was preparing to level up the dungeon and redeem some attribute points to strengthen my body. Unfortunately, there was another dungeon enhancement issue. There is no way, they can't clear the dungeon, they have no reincarnation points, and they can't exchange attribute points. And Wang Hao is because his body is very strong, like a calf. However, they believe that in terms of potential and future achievements, they can definitely crush Wang Hao. So when the top four came out, they contacted their families one after another to see if there was anything they could do. But little did they know that their family had already started taking action. The top four were announced, needless to say, Han Xuyao, no one was surprised. Chang Xiaosi also makes sense. After all, the A-level talent Golden Bell is there, and she will be a female war goddess in the future. But Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian really exceeded everyone's expectations. If the two C-level talent awakeners really went to the training camp, it would be time for other base cities to laugh at Jiangcheng. So not only the parents of these students, but also the school's senior officials, and even Jiangcheng's senior officials are struggling with this issue. According to the rules, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao should naturally be allowed to go to the training camp. But the talents of the two of them are really hard to describe. You can go talk to Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. As long as the two of them are willing, our school has no objection. All they need to do is notify us. But you don't have much time. Arrangements will be made to go to the training camp at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You should act quickly. Jiangqing No. One middle school, the leader of the third grade team told the parents who came to inquire about the news. Brother Tian, you go home and tidy up. We'll see you in the afternoon. Han Xuyao said to Yi Xiao Tian when they were saying goodbye. See you in the afternoon. Han Xiao Tian said with a smile, and then went home with Wang Hao. When they got home, they were about to pack a change of clothes when they were disturbed by a knock on the door. Wang Hao opened the door and saw an unknown person outside, so he asked, Who are you? Are they Wang Hao and Yi Xiao Tian? There were several people standing outside the door. The leader looked like he had extraordinary temperament, and there were guards behind him. Wang Hao heard this and asked, How do you know our names? My son is your classmate. My name is Lin Shen. The man with extraordinary temperament said. Is your son Lin Hai? Yi Xiao Tian came over and said. Lin Shen nodded and said, Classmate Xiao Tian is indeed smart. Are you here to take revenge from me? Yi Xiao Tian frowned. He injured Lin Hai, so he naturally thought that Lin Shen was here to cause trouble. Lin Shen smiled and said, Don't get me wrong, Xiao Tian. My son is not as good as others. He has nothing to say if he loses. Then why did you come to us? Yi Xiao Tian had a bad feeling. It's like this. I heard from the school that both of you are only sea level talents. Going to the training camp is really a waste of places, so I want to buy the places in your hands. Lin Shen directly stated his intention. Why do you say that? Wang Hao said angrily. Lin Shen said, Both students, you are both understanding. You are just sea level talents, and your future achievements have already been determined. It is better to sell your quota to us, and our Lin family can pay you a satisfactory price. No, we won't sell places. 
you can go. Yi Xiaotian refused directly. Lin Shen's face darkened at this time, and he said, Xiaotian, will you consider it again? A faint pressure rushed over. Yi Xiaotian's face remained unchanged, and he said, don't think about it. We earn this quota with our strength and will not trade it. In this case, there is no way. I originally wanted to be your classmate and didn't want to tear our faces apart. Since you are so ungrateful, let's do it by our own means. Lin Shen said so. Yi Xiaotian said, this training camp is set up by the top leaders of the human race. Aren't you afraid of the wrath of the top leaders by doing this? Ha ha ha, kids, you are really naive. Lin Shen laughed, not taking Yi Xiaotian's threat seriously at all. If you were S-level or above, I might still be a little bit timid, but you are just C-level talents, what qualifications do you have to say such things? Your talent is too low, even if you are given the best resources, what's the use? It's absolutely a huge waste to invest resources in you. Lin Shen said a series of words without caring about Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao's feelings at all, just short of telling them that they are trash and don't waste resources. Anyway, we earn the quota ourselves. If we don't sell it, you can't get it. Wang Hao said. This is not up to you. Lin Shen said in a gloomy tone. Chapter 29 What do you want to do in broad daylight? Yi Xiaotian shouted sharply. Lin Shen's men immediately rushed into the room and closed the door. Wang Hao wanted to resist, but they were still too weak now. Although Yi Xiaotian now has the strength of a high-level D-level awakener, it pales in comparison to Lin Shen, a B-level powerhouse. So Yi Xiaotian wisely did not resist. Call the school and tell them that you voluntarily sold your places. Lin Shen said to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian didn't want to, but couldn't refuse, because Wang Hao was caught by Lin Shen's men, and his meaning was obvious. If he didn't make this call, Wang Hao would definitely not be in a better position. Brother Tian, don't listen to them, I don't believe they dare to kill people. Wang Hao said angrily. Seeing Yi Xiaotian's hesitation, Lin Shen continued, although I won't kill people for this kind of thing, there is no problem in destroying you. Classmate Xiao Tian, do you think that in my capacity, the Alliance will punish me for destroying two C-level talent awakeners. Besides, what does the disappearance of two ordinary humans have to do with my Lin family? Lin Shen finished speaking and looked at Yi Xiaotian. He hoped that Yi Xiaotian could understand what he meant and make a wise choice. Yi Xiaotian felt sad. Although he was very angry, what Lin Shen said was true. With his and Wang Hao's status and background, as well as their awakening talents, it is impossible for them to receive any attention. Just as Lin Shen said, even if the two of them disappeared in Jiangqing, no one would care. They are just two C-level talents. Don't say there is no evidence, so what if there is evidence? Will the top human beings still attack the Lin family because of two C-level talents? This is the truth. Yi Xiaotian had no doubt that if he really dared to refuse, Lin Shen would definitely make the two of them disappear from the world. Okay, I'll call. After weighing the pros and cons, Yi Xiaotian took the phone and prepared to make a call. This matter must not only be done by the Lin family, but the school must also be colluding with the Lin family. Otherwise, without the cooperation of the school, this matter would simply not be possible. If replaced by an ordinary awakened person, being deprived of such an opportunity would mean losing a chance to rise. But for Yi Xiaotian, it doesn't matter whether he is qualified for the training camp or not. The reason why he didn't want to lose this opportunity was just to have a better reason for his rise. Brother Tian, don't fight. Wang Hao shouted unwillingly, but his body was suppressed by Lin Shen's men and he couldn't move at all. Lin Shen winked at his men, and then Wang Hao was speechless. Yi Xiaotian glared angrily. Lin Shen said, don't worry. It's just a temporary feint. It won't cause any harm to his body. I was also very glad that it would be easier to talk to a smart person like Yi Xiaotian. If the target were replaced by Wang Hao, it would definitely not be that simple. It's useless for you to say anything to this kind of simple minded person with well developed limbs. They don't understand what it means to be a hero who knows the current affairs. Principal, 
my name is Yi Xiao Tian. Yes, I give up my quota for the temporary training camp on behalf of Wang Hao and I. After making the call, Yi Xiao Tian returned the phone to Lin Shen. Can Wang Hao be released now? Lin Shen smiled and said, Don't worry, let him sleep and he will be fine. After saying that, he started working on his phone. Okay, the money has been transferred to you. Lin Shen waved his hand and left with his men. Yi Xiao Tian took out his mobile phone and glanced at the text message. There were two million on it. Sure enough, people like Lin Shen would not leave any excuses to others. With the phone call just now and the bank's transfer record, it was confirmed that he and Wang Hao were selling their places. Even if they wanted to repent, the above investigation found no evidence to prove that this was forced behavior. Because you have already accepted the money. Yi Xiao Tian sighed. Fortunately, he had awakened his supreme talent, otherwise his life would really be useless. Soon, Wang Hao woke up. Brother Tian Wang Hao woke up and didn't see anyone from the Lin family, and he immediately understood. Yi Xiao Tian said, Fat man, the quota has been sold, don't think about this matter in the future. But don't worry, although there are no quotas for the training camp, we still have Hao Tian. Hao Tian? Wang Hao asked doubtfully, Will the great god Hao Tian still take us to clear the dungeon? I had great luck last time, and I'm still thinking about the next time. Isn't it too wonderful to think about it? I have a good friend in Hao Tian. He has said that he will call us next time he clears a team copy. Yi Xiao Tian said. Really? Wang Hao was suddenly surprised. Really? Yi Xiao Tian said, and apart from us, he has no other better teammates. What about Han Shuyao and Chang Xiaoxi? When they go to the temporary training camp, can they catch up with the team to clear the dungeon? Wang Hao asked worriedly. Yi Xiao Tian said, it should be no problem. Although they have gone to the Lin Chao training camp, you can still notify them when they need to clear the dungeon. According to the official explanation, the temporary training camp is to allow these geniuses to fight with foreign races in order to improve their strength and achieve the effect of replacing the copies of the Samsara Tower. Although the danger is greatly increased, it must be said that this is indeed the only way. Otherwise, let these geniuses continue to toss in the dungeon, or wait at home, what should they do during the college entrance examination? The official choice to hold the awakening ceremony ten days before the college entrance examination is meaningful. This time point can allow the students' bodies to grow to the maximum extent, and then leave them time to improve their strength. Although ten days is a short time, it can well distinguish which are the real geniuses and which are mediocre. Of course, the biggest goal of the top management is to recruit Hao Tian and give him more opportunities to grow. In the Samsara Tower, it has attracted much attention, but outside, there is no world announcement. Outside, Hao Tian has received many rewards, and the Samsara Tower will not issue a world announcement, and the alien race will not know more about Hao Tian. At two o'clock in the afternoon, a military vehicle was parked at Jiangqing No. One middle school. This is to send students who have won the training camp quota to the training camp. In order to ensure the safety of the students, the night watchmen were dispatched to escort them. After Han Shuyao arrived at the school, she immediately looked for Yi Xiao Tian, but she didn't find him. Instead, she saw Lin Hai, a classmate who was eliminated early. Lin Hai, why are you here? Where are Yi Xiao Tian and the others? Han Shuyao felt something was wrong. Lin Hai smiled and said, Xu Yao, Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao sold their places, so I will accompany you to the training camp this time. Chapter 30 Impossible Han Xu Yao denied it without even thinking. It was absolutely impossible for Yi Xiao Tian to sell the spot. Besides, even if she sells it, Yi Xiao Tian will definitely discuss it with her. Chang Xiaoxi also looked stunned at this time, feeling that neither Yi Xiao Tian nor Wang Hao were fools, how could they do such a thing? Han Xu Yao took out her mobile phone and dialed Yi Xiao Tian's number. Didn't you answer? Chang Xiaoxi said. Han Xu Yao frowned and said, It's not in the service area. Where did he go? How could it be that it's not in the service area? Now the whole city is covered by the network, unless he goes out of the city. 
even if he goes out of the city, he has to go far away before there is no signal. Chang Xiaoxi said. Han Xuyao felt that things were not that simple. Lin Hai said that there must be something wrong with Yi Xiaotian selling his quota. I'm going to find Yi Xiaotian. Han Xuyao said and walked out. Xuyao, where are you going? As soon as Han Xuyao moved here, a middle-aged man stopped her there. It was Han Xuyao's father, Han Jing. Han Xuyao turned around and said, Dad, I want to find someone. The time has come, we are about to set off, who are we looking for? Han Jing scolded. Han Xuyao said, Dad, I must find him. He was originally on the training camp list, but now his place has not only been bumped up, but also the phone calls can't be reached. I'm worried that he has an accident. Han Jing's heart moved and he said, Don't worry, he will be fine. Dad, do you know anything? Han Xuyao asked. Han Jing said, What I can tell you now is that their lives will not be in danger. No, I'm going to find them. Han Xuyao didn't believe it. Han Jing said, Don't be ridiculous, the time is up, hurry up and set off with the team. I won't. My classmates won't go, and I won't go either. Han Xuyao got angry. Han Jing rubbed his forehead, this daughter was really spoiled by him. How long has it been since this happened, and you are still thinking about finding your classmates? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Not only are there aliens to hunt, but there are also dedicated security personnel to protect their safety. For newcomers like Han Xuyao, this is definitely the best way to train them. This is what the top leaders of the Human Alliance have to pay a huge price to be able to achieve. It is simply impossible to do it just by relying on personal family power. The reason why the Human Alliance is willing to pay such a high price is because of one person. That is Haotian. This kind of opportunity is rare in a hundred years. Even in the era of the five supreme human beings, there was no such opportunity. Now Han Xuyao actually said something he couldn't say, which made him, a father, very sad. Why do this for a male classmate? Presumptuous. Han Jing felt that he could no longer be a loving father, otherwise he would definitely harm his daughter. Han Xuyao said firmly, I told you, I won't go either. After saying that, Han Xuyao ran away immediately. Han Jing was so angry that his liver ached. He stretched out his hand and Han Xuyao's body was immediately captured by him. Dad, let me go. Han Xuyao struggled. Han Jing said, Xu Yao, Dad can rely on you for anything, but this is absolutely not possible. After saying that, regardless of Han Xuyao's struggle, he directly stuffed her into the military vehicle and told the accompanying night watchman, Sorry to trouble you. Chang Xiaoxi also quickly got in the car and said to Han Xuyao, Xu Yao, listen to your father. How can you give up on such an opportunity? Even if you want to protect Yi Xiao Tian, you have to make yourself stronger. Without strength, you have no right to speak. Don't you understand this? Chang Xiaoxi's words made Han Xuyao calm down. Yes, without strength, there is no right to speak. Only when you become stronger can you do whatever you want. If she was just a low-level awakener, there would be absolutely no future between her and Yi Xiao Tian. Thinking of this, she suddenly fell silent. Chang Xiaoxi breathed a sigh of relief and gave Han Jing a reassuring look. Han Jing said, Xiao Xi, please take more care of Xu Yao. Don't worry, Uncle Han, I will do it. Chang Xiaoxi promised. At Yi Xiaotian's house, Yi Xiaotian has not entered the reincarnation tower at this moment, he is waiting. After those people from the training camp arrived, he would then enter the reincarnation tower. He wanted all the top human beings to know that he, Hao Tian, had not entered the training camp. I don't know how the top human beings will react and they find out that they spent a huge price for Hao Tian, only to find out that they didn't come at all. But, how to make friends with official personnel as Hao Tian? In fact, Yi Xiao Tian himself didn't know that in the world of reincarnation, countless officials were contacting him and looking for him. It's just that his friend system was turned off by him because he had added too many friends before. Then he was also in the world of reincarnation, and no one found him anywhere except in the dungeon. After all, in the world of reincarnation, unless he reveals his identity, 
others will not know who he is at all. During dinner, Wang Hao was in a very low mood. The great opportunity just disappeared, just because they were from a humble background, and just because their talent level was very ordinary. They deserve to die. Is this reality? Fatty, don't look so bitter. There will always be a way out when you reach the mountain. Believe me. Yi Xiao Tian comforted him. If he didn't have the supreme talent, Yi Xiao Tian would probably be even more sad. But now his mentality is very calm. The Lin family will suffer the consequences of this. After dinner, Yi Xiao Tian entered the world of reincarnation. But he didn't go to brush the dungeon immediately, but thought about how to contact the official personnel. He opened his friend application list and checked it. But he didn't know how many tens of thousands of friend requests he had, from all kinds of people. After looking at it for a while, he closed it directly. If he remembered correctly, the official had opened many contact offices in this reincarnation square. After all, there are so many official organizations, and they often recruit talents in the reincarnation square. The most famous one is the Awakener Association. This is an official management organization for all Awakeners. Whether it is an official Awakener or a civilian Awakener, as long as they have a grade, they will register here. The official subsidies for all Awakeners are collected from the Awakener Association. This is a shelter for all Awakeners. Of course, once registered, they must fulfill their corresponding obligations when necessary. In the real world, every Bay City has a branch of the Awakener Association, but going there will expose your true identity. But in the reincarnation world, there is no need to worry about this problem. Coming to the counter, Yi Xiao Tian said in a deep voice, I am, Hao Tian, I'm here to register. Chapter, 31 In less than half a minute, the news that Hao Tian came to the Association of Awakened Persons in Samsara Square spread throughout the world of Samsara, and then to the real world. Soon, all forces came to the Awakened Association. In the Association of Awakeners, the arrival of Yi Xiao Tian also caused a sensation. The staff of the Awakened Association, as well as the Awakened people who were sitting in the Awakened Association doing nothing, or waiting for tasks, all came over one after another, wanting to see the man who had been on the world announcement and times. What does it look like to be on so many world notices? It's a pity that Yi Xiao Tian's face was shrouded in a layer of haze, and they couldn't see clearly what Yi Xiao Tian looked like. Thinking about it, if Hao Tian doesn't even have such a little protective measure, then he can only be a fool. Soon, senior members of the Awakened Association arrived. He is a deacon named Wu. For a genius like Hao Tian, ordinary receptionists are not qualified to deal with him. In the past two days, the Awakened Association has also sent a large number of personnel to look for Hao Tian, hoping to introduce him to the Awakened Association. Unfortunately, they were all disappointed. And the friend request sent to Hao Tian was like a mud cow in the sea, with no response at all. Unexpectedly, Hao Tian came by himself today. Invited Hao Tian into the backyard, invited him to sit down, and prepared to have a good talk. I'm just here to register. Yi Xiao Tian expressed his attitude. Deacon Wu said with a smile on his face, Young man, there is no need to be anxious. Our president is in a meeting, so we cannot get away immediately. But our president will be here soon. I invited my little friend to the backyard because I have something I want to tell my little friend. Deacon Wu was very polite. At this time, in the lobby of the Awakened Association outside, representatives from other forces also arrived, but they did not expect that Deacon Wu was such a ghost thief that he actually invited Hao Tian to the backyard in advance. Outsiders like them are naturally not allowed to enter the backyard of the Awakened Association. So I had no choice but to wait outside. Yi Xiao Tian said nothing, quietly waiting for Deacon Wu to finish speaking. The purpose of his coming here today is to reveal the fact that the spot was taken away by the Lin family. But how to disclose it is very particular. Otherwise, it is easy to expose your identity. What do you think of our association of awakeners? Deacon Wu asked. Yi Xiao Tian was silent for a moment, then nodded and said, it's quite convenient. Deacon Wu was choked. It was so convenient. What the hell? 
Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian had no choice but to explain, you can save some money when buying things. Deacon Wu was completely choked. Is this the only purpose of joining the Awakened Association? Our Awakened Association still has many benefits, right? My friend, our Awakened Association is committed to serving every Awakened and trying our best to solve all their troubles so that they can wholeheartedly improve their strength. The benefits of joining the Awakened Association are not only discounts on purchasing resources, but also many other hidden benefits. Yi Xiao Tian was silent for a while and then said, I'm just here to register as a member. I don't want to become a member of the Awakened Association. There is still a difference between the two. If you just register and become a member, there is no obligation. Although the discount is very low, there are no mandatory tasks. But once you become a member of the Association of Awakeners, you must obey the arrangements of the Association. Although there are more benefits to enjoy, there are also more restrictions. My little friend is a genius with extraordinary talents. As long as he has more resources, he can grow up quickly and become the sea-fixing needle of the human race. Deacon Wu said. So what? Yi Xiaotian remained calm. Deacon Wu was a little anxious. Why does this person have no sense of honor at all to become a powerful human race? This is not acceptable. Little friend, I believe you know the current situation of our human race. We need talents like you. Deacon Wu didn't go around and pointed it out directly. Yi Xiaotian snorted and said, I am a human being, and my enemies are aliens. Even if I don't join your awakened association, kill aliens, and protect the human race, I will still do it. Can this be the same? Deacon Wu was secretly worried. If a future human race great master could not be used by the government, there would be too many uncertain factors. Little friend, how about you wait until our president comes over and he tells us the conditions before you decide? Deacon Wu doesn't know what kind of conditions he can promise now. We can only wait until the president comes to talk. The reason why their president didn't rush over immediately was because after hearing that Hao Tian was coming, he went to ask for instructions from his superiors. In order to win over Hao Tian, what kind of conditions can be offered, facing a peerless monster like Hao Tian, is no longer something he can decide. Because this has reached the ceiling of his rights. Hao Tian shook his head and said, I'm not interested. The aliens are watching with eager eyes, but the human race is still engaging in involution. I don't want to join you, only to be betrayed by you again. Listening to Hao Tian's obvious words, Deacon Wu's expression turned extremely ugly. My little friend, has something happened to you? Deacon Wu asked. If someone really wanted to persecute Hao Tian at this time, he wouldn't even dare to think about it. What is even more unimaginable is that if some people in the human race are not good enough and force Hao Tian to the opposite side of the human race, the consequences will be even more unimaginable. So he immediately sent his guest to his superior. It's not me, but a teammate of mine who used to play a dungeon. He had already got a place in the temporary training camp. But I didn't expect that it was taken away by force. This matter is not a big deal. After all, their talent level is indeed not high. But this matter can reflect a truth, that is, the human race is not peaceful, and I don't want to be sold out one day. After speaking, Hao Tian stood up and said to Deacon Wu, Okay, let's stop here today. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian's attitude was very firm, Deacon Wu didn't say anything more. If he continued to talk, it would probably make this peerless monster more distressed. Yi Xiaotian came to the lobby from the backyard, and a group of people rushed up immediately. Hello, Hao Tian, I'm the admissions director of Magic City University. As long as you're willing to study at our school. Hao Tian, don't listen to him. I'm the admissions director of Zhongdu University. Our school. Then he was interrupted by someone before he finished speaking. Countless language messages rushed to Yi Xiaotian, and he couldn't hear what these guys were saying at all. Chapter 32 there were also various quarreling sounds. Yi Xiaotian understood a little bit after listening. These people were basically the admissions team leaders of the awakening universities, and they were at the team leader level. The conditions proposed were better than each other, and there was only one purpose, that is, to let him enroll. Even as long as Yi Xiaotian was willing, 
there was no need to take an exam. However, Yi Xiaotian rejected this condition without thinking. If he enrolled without taking an exam, wouldn't it be directly exposed? Seeing these people quarreling constantly, the annoyed Yi Xiaotian wanted to take a detour and leave the Awakener Association. Deacon Wu also came out at this time. He just reported what Yi Xiaotian said to the higher ups. This matter must be dealt with seriously. Hao Tian has begun to have antipathy towards them. Once this emotion is used by someone with ulterior motives, such as those heretics, it will be bad. When he came out, he just saw a group of people making a fuss, and immediately shouted, Be quiet, what do you think my Awakener Association is, a vegetable market? Those university team leaders immediately shut up. Although their status is very noble, they are still slightly inferior to the deacons of the Awakener Association. What's more, this is still on someone else's territory. And they don't know what Hao Tian and Deacon Wu talked about just now. If Hao Tian has become a formal member of the Awakener Association, then this matter is really not something Hao Tian can decide alone. Yi Xiao Tian nodded to Deacon Wu and left directly. A group of admissions team leaders looked at Deacon Wu, but Deacon Wu didn't react at all and let Yi Xiao Tian leave. Deacon Wu, has Hao Tian joined the Awakener Association? Asked an admissions team leader. Deacon Wu shook his head and said, This matter is very complicated. In short, don't go to Hao Tian recently. Wait until we have dealt with things here. Everyone saw the serious expression on Deacon Wu's face, and it was estimated that something big had happened. And the big exam will start in a few days, so there is no rush. No, if my guess is correct, the temporary training camp has already started, right? At this time, an admissions director suddenly said, Deacon Wu and other university admissions directors were stunned for a moment, and then reacted. Yes, the training camp has already started, and students who enter the training camp should not enter the reincarnation world at this time. In this case, doesn't Hao Tian not join the training camp? Everyone looked at each other. Deacon Wu hurriedly said, Keep this news confidential for now, I'll ask first. But how can such news be kept confidential, with so many people here? How many resources were spent on opening the training camp, everyone present had an idea in their hearts. They all knew what the purpose was. The biggest purpose, of course, was for Hao Tian. But now, they spent countless resources to open the training camp, but the biggest goal was not achieved. What is this? It's just a big joke. After receiving the report from Deacon Wu, the president of the Awakener Association immediately reported the news. Soon, the news was fed back. The top leaders were furious and investigated strictly. The news reported by Deacon Wu shocked them too much. If Hao Tian really turned his back on the human race, the consequences would be disastrous. Then, the training camp also gave them feedback. When Hao Tian entered the Samsara world, training camps all over the Alliance were in class, and they had no chance to enter the Samsara world at all. In other words, Hao Tian, who they most wanted to train, was really not on the list of the training camp. This slap in the face was so painful. Anyway, no one can sleep tonight, and many people will eventually pay the price for their actions. In fact, after investigation, the Yi Xiaotian incident happened not only in Jiangqing Bay City, but also in other Bay cities. Not to mention this kind of thing, even the enrollment quotas of universities, they dare to sell them. As long as the higher-ups don't investigate, who can know? It's just that they were unlucky this year and met Yi Xiaotian, a freak. The next day, Wang Hao came to Yi Xiaotian with an excited look on his face. Brother Tian, something big has happened. Yi Xiaotian came out of his room and said, what happened? It is said that the city guards arrested many people last night, and Lin Shen, the head of the Lin family, was also arrested. The principal and grade group leader of our school were also arrested. Wang Hao finished speaking in one breath. Do you know what it is because of? Yi Xiaotian asked knowingly. It is said that it is because of the quota for the training camp. Brother Tian, you are really amazing. Wang Hao really couldn't help but admire him. Yi Xiaotian told him before that he should not be anxious, and this matter will definitely have a result. What's more, even if he can't enter the training camp, he can still rely on the great god Hao Tian. 
but I didn't expect it. It was just one night, and some senior officials of the Lin family and the school were finished. He now wants to kneel down and kowtow to Yi Xiao Tian. Brother Tian, how did you do it? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, I don't know, it's none of my business. It's really not you. Wang Hao looked puzzled. It's not him, and it's not Brother Tian, then who could it be? Not many people know about this matter. After Lin Shen left yesterday, they discovered that their cell phones had no signal and there was someone guarding outside the door. It was not until midnight that the communication signal was restored. I didn't expect to see such good news so early in the morning. It's really not me, but I guess it may have something to do with Hao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian explained. Hao Tian? Wang Hao said, did you tell Hao Tian about it? He remembered that it seemed that Brother Tian and Hao Tian were good friends and could send private messages to each other in the reincarnation world. If he told Hao Tian about this matter, and then Hao Tian notified the human race leaders, then there would be no problem. It must be because of him. Wang Hao suddenly became excited. At this time, there was a knock on the door. Wang Hao went to open the door, and standing outside the door was their class teacher Lao Wang. Teacher Wang, why are you here? Wang Hao was a little surprised. Lao Wang looked ashamed and said, Hello, classmate Wang Hao, is classmate Yi Xiao Tian here? Yes, teacher, please come in first. Wang Hao opened the door. Teacher Wang entered the room and saw Yi Xiao Tian standing up from the chair. Teacher Wang, why are you here? Yi Xiao Tian asked again, knowing the answer. Teacher Wang still looked ashamed and said, Student Yi Xiao Tian, Student Wang Hao, I came here today to apologize to you. Also, your place in the training camp is still valid. Someone will come to pick you up and send you directly to the training camp. Teacher Wang, what's going on? Yi Xiao Tian asked and winked at Wang Hao. Some things can be said between them, but not to others. Chapter 33 It is most normal to act stupid at this time. Otherwise, Teacher Wang should be suspicious. Teacher Wang breathed a sigh of relief and explained, Classmates Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao, it's like this. The matter about your training camp quota is the school's problem. I came here today just to apologize to you on behalf of the school. The principal, grade leaders and other people involved in this matter have all been taken away by the city guards, as has the head of the Lin family. I hope the two classmates can forgive me. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, Oh, it's okay, this is none of your business, teacher. Wang Hao also understood that Lao Wang was just a class teacher, and he couldn't make the decision on this kind of thing. Now being thrown out by the school to apologize is just to use the teacher-student friendship between Lao Wang and them to let Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao ignore the matter. Then are you willing to go to the training camp? Teacher Wang asked anxiously. This is the task assigned to the school. If Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao agree to go to the training camp, it means that this matter will end here. But if they don't want to, they'll be in trouble. God knows how many more people will be implicated. Because of the quota issue, the top management of no. One middle school has almost been cleared out. The Lin family, an awakened family that had made great contributions to the human race, was also severely punished. First, the head of the family, Lin Shen, was taken away directly, and then a large amount of resources were confiscated. The most serious thing is that all the awakened experts above B level in the Lin family have been sent to the front line and will not be able to come back within 10 years. As for how many people will be alive after 10 years, no one knows. The other Jiangqing awakening families who had no time to take action were very lucky. Fortunately, they arrived a step too late and were beaten by Lin Shen. Otherwise, they would have suffered the same fate as the Lin family. From now on, the Lin family in Jiangqing will probably retreat from being a first-rate awakening family to being a third-rate family, or even not being in the upper ranks. A first-class awakening family ended up like this just because they grabbed two places. Just to show Hao Tian the attitude of the top leaders of the human race. Now as long as Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao are willing, then this matter is over, and Hao Tian will not pursue it any further. Thinking of this, Teacher Wang secretly wiped away a cold sweat. 
He also didn't expect that his student would be so lucky to be related to Haotian. Then came a desperate counterattack. Okay, let's go. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Lao Wang's expectant eyes and nodded in agreement. In fact, Yi Xiao Tian really wanted to go, after all, the training camp killed real aliens. Just like the human race, alien races can awaken their talents. The most outrageous thing about Yi Xiaotian's talent is that he can plunder other living beings. However, in the dungeon of the Tower of Reincarnation, the types of monsters are relatively single, and even ordinary beast-headed men have no talent at all. Therefore, his supreme talent can play its greatest role in battles with foreign races. Even the lowest level talent can be enhanced to a very high level with life essence to increase the intensity of the talent increase. At this stage, it was too dangerous for him to go out of the city alone. So training camp is the best option. Now he has very high physical attributes, but he doesn't have the talent to unleash the power of these physical attributes. A high-grade talent can exert the power of a hundred attributes even if it only has ten physical attributes. However, low-grade talents can only exert the power of eleven or twelve physical attributes. This is the difference in talent levels. The achievements of high-grade talents must be greater than those of low-grade talents. This is why the Lin family and the school's senior leaders dared to replace Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao's places. After all, in the eyes of the school's senior officials, Lin Hai, who is an A-level talent, will definitely have higher achievements than Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao in the future. Giving such precious places to Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao is really a waste. After cleaning up, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao followed teacher Wang downstairs. At the gate of the community, the city guard's car was already waiting. Seeing that it was the city guard's car, Yi Xiaotian was a little confused, but said nothing. Wang Hao wanted to say something, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian. Of course, when sending those geniuses, they must be escorted by powerful night watchmen, for fear of being attacked by aliens along the way. But for two students with C-level talents, there is no need for that. It was a great honor for the city guards to be able to send a car to escort them, and this honor was given to Hao Tian. Xiao Tian, Wang Hao, the school is in a mess now. But don't worry, the school will definitely compensate you when you come back from the training camp. Before leaving, teacher Wang said again. This is also the proper meaning of the question. Otherwise, if Yi Xiao Tian keeps talking in front of Hao Tian, Jiang Qing no. One middle school may have to change its name. Okay, teacher, I understand. Yi Xiao Tian didn't care, as long as he could get his place in the training camp back. He really didn't care about the rest. Anyway, he should have nothing to do with Jiang Qing no. One middle school from now on. What's there to worry about in a school that can't do justice to its own students? Yi Xiao Tian took out his mobile phone and hesitated for a moment, wanting to send a message to Han Shuyao to tell her that he was going to the training camp. But after thinking about it for a while, he took it back. When his phone was restored to communication, Han Shuyao called him, and it was Yi Xiao Tian who comforted her. The reason he used was naturally that Hao Tian was leading the team. After hearing this, Han Shuyao felt relieved to go to the training camp. After all, with Hao Tian leading the team, it was naturally not inferior to the training camp, and even better than the training camp. Han Shuyao kept telling Yi Xiao Tian on the phone that he must get along well with Hao Tian and build a good relationship with him. Hao Tian's future achievements are absolutely limitless. If Yi Xiao Tian can really become good friends with Hao Tian, he will not have to worry about his future just based on this. The city guard's car came all the way to the north gate, then left the city and headed north. Wang Hao was very excited. This was the first time he had left the city since he was a child. Before, he could only see the outside of the city on TV and on the internet. The air outside the city is much better than inside the city. Wang Hao said excitedly. Boy, don't be too happy too soon. It's much more dangerous outside the city than inside. One of the city guards sneered when he saw Wang Hao's look. These rookies who just graduated from school have no idea how terrible it is outside the city. Will we be in danger on this trip? Yi Xiaotian asked. The city guard glanced at him and said slowly, it depends on our luck. What do you mean? 
Yi Xiao Tian was confused. The road we are taking is considered a safe path opened up by the human race, but there are always unexpected things. The city guard explained. Chapter 34 Boom! As soon as the city guards finished speaking, they heard a loud rumble outside, and then the car body shook. See, this is an accident. The city guards said calmly. Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao were confused. The enemy had come to the door, but they were still so calm. Don't worry, it's okay. There are some low-grade aliens around this path. They can't penetrate the defense of the armored vehicle. Just keep going forward. The city guards saw their expressions and said with a little joy. Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao were both speechless. Well, what you said makes sense. As time went by, they were getting farther and farther away from the base city. Gradually, the faces of those city guards became serious, and Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao also put away the smiles on their faces. The farther away from the base city, the more dangerous it is. This is a fact that even a three-year-old child knows. What's more, their armored vehicles have been on the road for more than an hour and are hundreds of kilometers away from the city. There are often powerful alien beasts entrenched outside such a distance. However, there are usually regular cleanups by pioneers and night watchmen next to the transportation route, so it is relatively much safer. But as the city guard said before, there are exceptions to everything. So when we got here, everyone was on high alert. Once there was an alien attack, we had to be careful. Once the defense of the armored vehicle was broken, they could only get off the car to meet the enemy. But it shouldn't be so unlucky, after all, so many geniuses were sent to the training camp before, and nothing happened. And the two of them were just sea-level talent awakeners. It is estimated that the aliens would not even look at them straight. But just as Yi Xiao Tian had this thought, there was another violent collision outside, and the car body shook violently and almost turned over. Everyone, get ready to get off the car to fight. The experienced city guard knew at once that things were not good. The armored vehicle stopped. You two hide inside and don't come out. The city guard told Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao, then opened the car door and left. Soon, except for the driver, a squad of five city guards got off the car. Through the observation hole, Yi Xiao Tian saw that the monster that attacked the armored vehicle was a monster, covered with scales, like a lizard, and at least ten meters long. What kind of monster is this? Wang Hao exclaimed. This is a scaled lizard. Yi Xiao Tian whispered, judging from its length, it is a B-level monster. How could there be B-level monsters on both sides of this safe passage? Wang Hao said puzzledly. Yi Xiao Tian was also confused. Logically, such a powerful monster should not appear here. After all, the pioneers and night watchmen would clean it up every once in a while. This was specially sent by the aliens. The driver suddenly said at this time. Yi Xiao Tian said, what do you mean? It means that the aliens know that you are going to the training camp, so they sent masters to intercept you. The driver explained. I'm afraid this is the only reasonable explanation. But we are just two sea level talent awakeners, is it necessary for the aliens to do this? Yi Xiao Tian was very confused. The driver did not speak again this time, because he was also puzzled. For two sea level talents, there is really no need for this. Are the aliens really crazy? Or do they look down on the city guards? Yesterday, the night watchman escorted a group of talents, but nothing happened. Today, their city guards escorted two low level talents, but such a thing happened. This is open contempt for the city guards. Just because they are two sea level talents, the higher ups let the city guards escort. This is fucking. The driver's mentality is a bit broken. Outside the car, a team of five formed a battle formation and fought with the scaled lizard. Two melee warriors were in the front, and two superpowers were divided into two sections. Standing in the middle was an auxiliary superpower. This is the composition mode of a battle team. In a combat team, the auxiliary system is the core, so it is protected by two psychics in the middle. The scaly lizard was entangled by two warriors and could not attack the psychic in the distance. The scaly lizard roared continuously, 
as if it was very angry at the two little ants in front of it, but they had no way to do it for a while. The two warriors interfered in the front, and the psychic behind could hurt and control it, making the scaly lizard miserable. This scene made Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian's blood boil. In the past, they could only see a few words about such team battles on the internet. These things were not taught in school at all. About actual combat and team combat, at least they will start teaching after college. And those who fail to get into college will only be given this knowledge after joining major forces. As for ordinary people, they have no way of knowing. Sure enough, in a team, auxiliary psychics are indispensable. Wang Hao said excitedly. Yi Xiaotian also stared at the battle outside. This squad of city guards, in terms of rank, cannot be compared with the scaly armored lizards. Among them, the strongest captain is only a C-level warrior, and the rest are either C-level or D-level. Compared with the B-level scaly armored lizards, they are far behind. But when they joined forces, they could make a B-level scaly lizard run around in circles. Teamwork played the biggest role in this. However, the low IQ of the scaly lizard was also a big factor. What you see now is just the tip of the iceberg. You will only learn the real team combat after you enter university or join the Legion. The driver said at this time. Wang Hao said excitedly, Brother, do you know about team combat? The driver said with a wry smile, If I knew these, I would not be just a driver. Yi Xiao Tian was thoughtful and felt that what the driver said made sense. The real team combat would definitely not be as simple as what they saw in front of them. Watching the battle of this team, it just felt like flowing water, very smooth. But why was this so, he couldn't explain it. He only knew that it was because the team cooperated with each other, so a C-level talent team beat the B-level alien beast powerhouse without any chance to fight back. He could only say fuck silently in his heart. Brother Tian, our team is only missing an assistant now. But I heard from the principal that there is an assistant department transferred from our school. Wang Hao was dreaming. Yi Xiao Tian reminded, the principal has been arrested, and he is an S-level assistant department, do you think it is possible? Ah. Uh. Wang Hao seemed to be strangled by an invisible big hand. Yes, except for Han Xuyao, who is obsessed with beauty, who would look at other S-level talents. Chapter, 35. S-level auxiliary talents are definitely rare. Without meeting the principal of no. One middle school or even in person, the place in a training camp was given away. I don't know which school it is from, but it's so awesome that it doesn't even have a spot for S-level auxiliary talents. What level of talent do these other students have? My scalp goes numb just thinking about it. Jiangcheng is really a small base city. Okay, you too, don't worry. Although Hong's team is only a C-level team, they have a tacit understanding and can hunt down a B-level lizard with little intelligence. There will be no problem. The driver brother had just finished speaking. There was another loud noise outside, which identified the direction of the scale lizard. There are other powerful beasts. Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao were speechless. Are you guys really not crow's mouth? The captain in front just said that if there is no accident, nothing will happen. No, an accident happened. Are they called the red team because they all wear red clothes? Wang Hao suddenly asked. The driver's mouth twitched, is now the time to pay attention to this issue? Your brain circuit is really strange. No, it's because their captain's name is Hong Yi, the one who talked to you before. The driver brother explained. I see. Although he is middle-aged, he is only a C-level warrior and can only serve as a squad leader in the city guard. Usually, they rarely go out of the city. They are usually responsible for the security of the city or patrolling near the city. But this time, he was responsible for sending Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao to the temporary training camp. I originally thought that there would be no danger in this mission and that I could get a lot of mission points in vain. But unexpectedly, the mission that was believed to be accident-free turned out to be unexpected. What exactly is going on? At this moment, Hong Yi's heart was about to overflow. What on earth is going on? Countless thoughts flashed through his mind. A B-level scale lizard was surprising enough, but now there is another one. 
this is definitely not normal. Moreover, the second scale lizard actually knew how to attack the rear of their team. If the last guardian superpower hadn't discovered the abnormality and activated the protective superpower, half of the members of their team would have been dead. But even so, the two attacking superpowers and the assisting superpower at the back were both seriously injured and unable to fight anymore. Get in the car, get in the car quickly. Hong Yi roared loudly, while attacking the scale lizard beside him. Another warrior also rushed towards the scaly lizard behind. Only the two of them dragged the two scaly lizards so that the three superpowers could get on the car. The three superpowers did not hesitate. At this moment, they could only become a burden if they stayed. The duty of the superpowers is to assist in the attack from behind. In front, there will naturally be warriors fighting for their lives. When an accident occurred during the battle, they were the first to evacuate. This is also the reason why Wang Hao wants to become a superpower. Because on the battlefield, their lives are more important. But the warrior was the first to rush up and the last to retreat. Status determines order, that's it. People with superpowers are rarer than warriors, but they can play a greater role, so they should receive such care. Yi Xiaotian's expression moved slightly. He was a little confused about whether to take action or not. Once he takes action, his identity will definitely not be preserved. But without taking action, it was unknown whether Captain Hong Yi and his teammates could retreat safely under the attack of two B-level alien ferocious beasts. Three superpowers got on the bus. Hurry up and send these two to the training camp. Hong immediately ordered the driver to drive away as soon as he saw the three people getting into the car. Captain. The two attackers shouted in surprise. At this time, the captain and the others chose to stay and contain the scale lizard and they would probably lose their lives as a result. Drive. The auxiliary superpower, as the deputy captain of the team, ordered. Vice captain. The two superpowers exclaimed. The blood on the corner of the vice captain's mouth had not been completely wiped away, so he said calmly, it's best for them to leave now. After we leave, they can choose to retreat. The two attackers fell silent. That's true but whether they can successfully retreat is still unknown. When Yi Xiaotian heard this, his clenched fists loosened. He couldn't reveal his identity yet. As for Captain Hong Yi and his men, he could only wish them good luck. Once his identity is exposed, there will definitely be more serious consequences. By then, Hong Yi and the others will really be hopeless. There is still a glimmer of hope. The armored vehicles were on the road again. The car was on the road again, but Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian's eyes remained on Hong Yi and the others. Until completely invisible. But Yi Xiaotian saw that Hong Yi and his men were both injured. After all, the scaled lizard without restraint was simply not something they could deal with. Yi Xiaotian slowly closed his eyes, feeling very complicated. He knew that the possibility of Hong Yi and his men returning alive was very slim. It can even be said to be a narrow escape from death. They could be said to have died for themselves and Wang Hao. If it hadn't been for escorting the two of them, they wouldn't have had to leave the city and wouldn't have encountered this battle. Of course, from another perspective, their death is also for themselves. They are the city guards, and this is their duty. They took this salary, so they have to shoulder this obligation. The two attacking psychics shed tears silently, and the muscles on the face of the auxiliary deputy captain kept twitching, and the breath on his body became more and more terrifying. I'm sorry. Yi Xiao Tian finally said this. Wang Hao was stunned, but since brother Tian said so, he had to say it. This is none of your business. The extremely angry deputy captain did not blame them. This is fate. Who made this world like this? If he didn't die here today, he would die somewhere else one day. Unless this world has no alien races, no reincarnation tower, and no heretics. Otherwise, their fight will never stop. The alien race wants to conquer this world and treat them as food for feeding. And aren't they the same? It's just a matter of stance. And the real cause of all this is the reincarnation tower that gave them powerful power. So they wanted to hate, but they didn't know who to hate. There was a silence in the car, 
and the atmosphere was very depressing, making Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao a little breathless. Don't cry, completing the task assigned by the captain is the best reward for him. The deputy captain silently placed his hands on the shoulders of the two teammates, activated his skills, and recovered their injuries. Chapter 36 The rest of the journey was safe. The team also received news that Jiangcheng had sent out experts immediately after receiving the distress signal. After killing the two scaly lizards, Hong Yi and his men were not killed, but they were seriously injured. It is estimated that they will not be able to fight outside the city again without a few months of recuperation. However, Yi Xiaotian was very confused. I always felt that the actions of the aliens this time made people feel that there was a lot of thunder but little rain. Is it just a test? Do they want to lure out Haotian, or do they suspect that they are Haotian? Confused. However, the people in Hong Yi's team did not have such doubts. Jiang Qing had already sent out experts. What would happen if they sent aliens or heretics? Besides, they were very close to the training camp, and there were even more experts there. If they also sent experts there, it would be useless for the aliens and heretics to send more experts. Once they were prepared, it would be futile to have more backup plans. Moreover, the aliens' attack this time was just to test the truth. Now that their goal has been achieved, they naturally stopped in time. But no matter what, Hong Yi and his men are not dead, which is the best result for Yi Xiaotian. When their figures appeared on the training camp playground, it caused quite a stir. A large region, ten base cities, all the people had come yesterday. But Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao only came today. And it seems that when they came yesterday, the quota was full, so how did these two come? Is it because their talents are too high, so the above is particularly gracious? Brother Tian. Han Shuyao saw Yi Xiaotian for the first time, and exclaimed immediately, and then wanted to run over. Insolent. Are there any rules at all? The instructor who was giving a lecture was unhappy, staring at Han Shuyao, his eyes could kill. Han Shuyao stuck out his tongue and said, I'm sorry, Instructor Lu, I couldn't help seeing an acquaintance. Chang Xiaosi covered her eyes. This Han Shuyao is really hopeless. Instructor Lu saw that Han Shuyao had a good attitude in admitting her fault, and she was a girl, so he didn't want to pursue anything further. But he didn't have a good face towards Yi Xiaotian and the others. We all came together yesterday, and you were late, which is unforgivable. Why did you two come today? Instructor Lu asked loudly. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao looked at each other, didn't anyone inform him about this matter? When they came just now, the people of Hong Yi's team had already gone back. Then the guard at the door asked the two of them to come to the martial arts field, and they thought someone was here to receive them. But Nima didn't even explain why they were late. Our quota was taken away by someone, and it was returned today, so we came. Wang Hao was quite honest. Yi Xiaotian remained calm. Instructor Lu was a little confused. What does it mean that the quota was taken away by someone? Why hasn't he heard of it? And there are not few people here. Although the Lin family was punished heavily, Lin Shen and another student of the Lin family were not sent back. The top management did not want this matter to affect the training camp. These students are the future of the human race. If they know these dirty things, they will inevitably feel angry. At that time, once the heretic organization takes advantage of the situation, the consequences will be unpredictable. It's just that they overlooked a little bit. Han Xuyao's sudden violation of the rules made the instructor very angry, and then he took his anger out on Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. That's why he asked that question. Then Wang Hao directly exposed the matter. He only cared about the head but not the butt. You said your quota was taken away. Instructor Lu looked serious. He didn't know anything about such a big thing. Where did these two students come from? Then what talents did you two awaken? Instructor Lu asked. Wang Hao said very generously, I am furious war, and he is crazy war. What's the grade? Instructor Lu asked again. C grade. Yi Xiaotian wanted to stop him, but it was too late. There was an uproar at the scene. Yi Xiaotian covered his forehead, wishing he could sew Wang Hao's mouth shut. 
how could it be so fast? Originally, I wanted to keep a low profile. But now, I can't be low-key. Two freshmen with C-level talents actually came to the temporary training palace known as the training base for geniuses. This is really a ghost. If it weren't for Instructor Lu, Yi Xiaotian would have probably made a big fuss. Those who can come here have at least A-level talents. Some large areas even start at S-level. Haven't you seen that even S-level auxiliary talents have transferred to Jiangxing No? One middle school. Why? It's because there are not enough places, and they don't want to miss this opportunity. But now, two low-level talents have also sneaked in. How can we tolerate it? What's more outrageous is, what did they just say? Others took their places and gave them back now. Is this the thief crying stop thief? Originally, Lin Shen and his cousin were in the crowd and were still worried. But now, they are relieved. These two guys are really outspoken. Wang Hao, Wang Hao, you really understand my heart. But he was also wondering in his heart, how did Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao come? Didn't their quota have been sold to the Lin family? They are still here, which means that their quota has not been taken away. What is going on? Could it be that these two guys are really so bold that they sneaked in by themselves? Something seems wrong, it is unreasonable. Instructor Lu's face was completely black. They even have C-level talents here. When did the defense of this training camp become so lax? Just when he was about to get angry, suddenly, a person came quickly from the instructor's dormitory with a folder in his hand. He just received a notice from the guard that two new people had arrived. He just remembered that he had received a call from the higher-ups today and sent the files of the two new students. But when he saw the files, he was a little confused. Two useless talents, how could they come? What is the background? The higher-ups didn't say much, after all, this matter was not a glorious thing. They just let them receive it. The documents were delayed for a while, and when they came, the martial arts field was a little overwhelmed. Instructor Lu, are these the two new students? Here are their files. The clerk handed the files to Instructor Lu. Instructor Lu snorted coldly, took the folder from the clerk, and then flipped through it. The file simply introduced the identities, ages, and talents of Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. As for more, there was nothing more. That's all. Instructor Lu looked at the clerk in disbelief. This was not as much as what he had just asked. The clerk nodded to indicate that this was all. Instructor Lu had the urge to throw the folder. It was becoming increasingly unreliable to do things on it. Chapter 37 Resisting the urge to throw the folder, he threw it to the clerk and waved him away. The clerk laughed awkwardly, then returned with the folder. His mission was accomplished. But the last look at Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao was a bit sympathetic. This instructor Lu is famous for not recognizing his relatives, otherwise he would not be sent here as the chief instructor. You two return to the team and stand at the back. Instructor Lu said to Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao with a dark face. Han Xuyao wanted to speak, but was stopped by Chang Xiaoxi, who whispered, don't hurt them again. Han Xuyao had no choice but to give up the idea of letting Yi Xiaotian stand by her side. The days ahead are long, don't be in a hurry. Yi Xiaotian took Wang Hao and hurried to the back of the team. Wang Hao asked Yi Xiaotian confused, Brother Tian, did I say the wrong thing? Is it wrong to tell the truth? Yi Xiaotian comforted him, okay, stop talking. If you keep talking, the two of us will never have a good life. But the two of us came in on our own merits, what can't we say? Wang Hao still didn't understand. Shut up, I'll tell you later. Yi Xiaotian could only scold. Wang Hao obediently kept his mouth shut. He was not convinced by the instructor, so he just obeyed Yi Xiaotian. We have gathered everyone here today for only one thing, and that is to form a team. Instructor Lu did not continue to dwell on what just happened. We will discuss these matters with the superiors when we get back. Team fighting is the ultimate truth for humans to fight against aliens, and it is also the strongest means we can use to drive aliens back to other dimensions. 
Starting from tomorrow, you will start to face real alien races, so today you not only have to form a team of five people, but you also have to be familiar with each other's cooperation. The best equipment for the team is two melee warriors, two attack power users and one auxiliary power user. Of course, this is not absolute. How to grasp it depends on your familiarity. Now, free time, but before night, I hope to see the list of your team. After Instructor Lu announced the disbandment, he left. He needs to communicate with the superiors. At this time, what does it mean to send two C-level talents over? So many A-level and even S-level talents have no chance to come to the training camp. Two C-level talents are absolutely a huge waste. If there is such an opportunity, why not leave it to those with S-level or A-level talents? What he, Lu Dingsheng, dislikes the most is this kind of backdoor approach. Today, even if he is a high-level person, he still has to ask the right and wrong. Brother Tian. As soon as Instructor Lu left, Han Shuyao rushed towards Yi Xiao Tian. This scene made countless boys heartbroken. There weren't many girls in this training camp, and the pretty ones were even rarer. Han Shuyao is definitely one of the best among them. When we met for the first time yesterday, countless boys thought that they must leave a good impression on this goddess during this training camp. But now, their hearts were broken. Their goddess actually threw herself into the arms of a man. But soon, countless resentments arose among them. Yi Xiao Tian, a mere sea level talent, dared to touch the goddess even if he took the back door. It would be a shame to die. They say beauty brings disaster, but the ancients never deceived me. Feeling countless murderous looks, Yi Xiao Tian finally understood the meaning of this sentence. It's just that his little cutie pounces on him, how can he not follow it? Chang Xiaoxi covered her face, feeling very embarrassed. This best friend is good at everything, but this is the core of Yan Go, which is so speechless. It's just that there seem to be a lot of handsome guys in this training camp. When I came here yesterday, I didn't see Han Xuyao look at them more than once. Is this the so-called beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Han Xuyao has a crush on Yi Xiao Tian, so she is dismissive of other handsome guys. Wang Hao was silly and happy. Chang Xiaoxi pulled Han Xuyao away and said, Okay, let's talk about the infatuation later. Now we have more important tasks. Xiao Xi, is there anything more important than getting together with Brother Tian? Han Xuyao said very dissatisfied. Chang Xiaoxi covered Han Xuyao's eyes. As long as Yi Xiao Tian was around, these eyes could not see anything else. Instructor Lu just said that we have to form our own team today, and we have to get along well. Tomorrow is the actual battle. You don't want your brother Tian to become the rations of the alien race, right? Chang Xiaoxi reminded. Han Xuyao suddenly realized, yes, yes, this matter is very important. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes. She was sure that it was not the team formation that was important, but her last words that were important. Brother Tian, come here, I'll introduce you to a new friend. Han Xuyao pulled Yi Xiao Tian to a beautiful woman. Bing Yen, this is my brother Tian, Yi Xiao Tian. Han Xuyao said to a girl with a cold face. This beauty had a biting chill all over her body. Brother Tian, this is Mu Bing Yen, our new classmate. Han Xuyao said to Yi Xiao Tian again. Hello. Yi Xiao Tian greeted. But it was obvious that Mu Bing Yen didn't seem to be interested in him. She glanced at the hands they were holding and just nodded. But Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian, Bing Yen is like this. She has awakened her ice talent, so her temperament is a bit cold. Yi Xiao Tian laughed dumbly. Is this a bit cold? It's very cold, okay. It's okay. But soon, Yi Xiao Tian frowned and said, But from what the principal said, isn't our new classmate from the auxiliary department? Yes, Binyan's awakened ice talent can freeze and slow down the enemy's attack and movement speed, and it is also a good auxiliary. Han Xuyao explained. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned. Is this explanation okay? The ice talent is obviously an attack ability user, how can it be classified as an auxiliary department? No wonder she transferred to Jiangqing No. One middle school. 
such an auxiliary department can't compete with other geniuses, right? Bing Yen, are you willing to team up with us? Han Xuyao asked Mu Bing Yen. Hearing this, Mu Bing Yen couldn't help but say, you want to team up with the two of them? The so-called them, of course, refers to Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao. Han Xuyao said, yes, when we were in the Samsara Tower, the four of us teamed up to do the dungeon, and we worked well together. Mu Bingyan didn't speak for a long time. She couldn't believe why Han Xuyao teamed up with two C-level talents. She looked at Chang Xiaoxi, hoping to get a reasonable explanation from her. Chang Xiaoxi shrugged and gave her a look that showed she understood. Mu Bingyan seemed to understand the meaning of her eyes, but she didn't seem to understand. As an S-level talent, how could Han Xuyao make such a low-level mistake? Chapter 38 On the other side, Instructor Lu returned to the office building and directly pushed open the training camp director's office. Instructor Lu, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be in charge of grouping the students on the playground now? The person in charge said unexpectedly. Instructor Lu said, just group them into groups and let them do it by themselves. Do you think they can divide themselves into groups after just one day? The person in charge frowned. Instructor Lu said, yes, you should believe them. By the way, I came here to ask you something. Is it about the two freshmen who came today? The person in charge said. Instructor Lu was not surprised and said, yes, why are two C-level talents qualified to enter the training camp and still enter one day behind? They said it was because someone took their spot and later gave it back to them. Is that true? Although Instructor Lu thinks this reason is nonsense. The person in charge hesitated for a moment before speaking, what they said is true. The impact of this matter is very bad, so it cannot be made public. But since you already know, let me tell you that although the two of them are only C-level talents, they are friends of Houtian. So to a certain extent, they are very strong at this stage and even the best talent cannot make up for this gap. Instructor Lu was a little confused. Damn it, two C-level talents were actually friends of Houtian. Are they students from the same place as Houtian? Instructor Lu was a little worried that he had come into contact with some top secret. No, they are just teammates of Houtian in the reincarnation copy. The person in charge explained. Instructor Lu understood. But the two of them are only C-level talents, and their future achievements are limited Instructor Lu said. The person in charge said, I know this too, but there are some things that we can't do anything about. Besides, people did get their places through their own abilities. Instructor Lu was suddenly speechless. The reason why he was angry before was because he felt that Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were using the back door. This was what he hated the most. But now that I know that the two of them got in on their own merit, it's not so annoying anymore. I just feel it's a pity that two C talented people occupy two precious spots. If these two places were given to those with S level talents, or even those with A level talents, he would feel that it would be a much better deal. After all, the ceiling for C level talents is really too low. I know, then I'm going back. Instructor Lu said goodbye. The person in charge said, well, go ahead and take them well. The first step for them to become awakened people is up to you. Also, the alien race has started to stir up trouble again recently. They will definitely take this opportunity to cause trouble, so be careful. Instructor Lu nodded to express his understanding. There is no doubt that the aliens will cause trouble. In response to this, the top management has also formulated some measures, but no matter how good the defense is, there will be loopholes. This side has no idea when the aliens will cause trouble and how they will do it. So you can only be more careful. On the playground, many students have already formed their own teams, most of them from their own school. After all, they are from the same school, and they finally know each other and have a certain understanding. I believe it won't be too difficult to cooperate. However, there are also many people who have not yet found their teammates. For example, Lin Hai and his cousin. Originally, my classmates were the best teammates, but it's a pity that they can't. The relationship with Han Xuyao was not good at first, but they even fell out because of the quota issue. If you get close now, you'll probably get beaten. 
As for those from other schools, he wasn't familiar with them either. Now we can only see if there are any left in the end, and we can barely form a team. In fact, he really wanted to go over and ask Yi Xiao Tian how they got here. But in the end, I gave up the idea for fear of getting beaten. During the battle for the spot, Yi Xiao Tian's last kick left a deep impression on him. It really hurts. He even vomited blood. If he hadn't had a healer in his family, his injury wouldn't have healed so quickly. He doesn't want to get injured in this training camp. Although he didn't think Yi Xiao Tian dared to take action here. But there is Wang Hao beside him. That guy with a simple mind and well-developed limbs did not care about anything he did. Bing Yen, just form a team with us. Han Xuyao held Mu Bing Yen's hand and shook it hard, almost tearing off Mu Bing Yen's arm. Okay, I agreed. Mu Bing Yen was heartbroken. She was an S-level talent, and she was actually teamed up with two C-level talents. This is a training camp. As many aliens as you kill, your strength will increase. If there are two weaklings in the team, how can we survive this training camp? This is a rhythm that is going to be scrapped. Fortunately, Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi are both very strong in terms of talent and strength. Especially the strength of the two of them is definitely the best among the freshmen. I don't know how the two of them did it. Bing Yen, don't worry, I will never let you down. Brother Tian and Wang Hao are very strong. Han Xuyao assured Mu Bingyan. Pfft. A snoring voice came from the side. Sea level talents are very strong. This is probably not a joke. What are you laughing at? Am I wrong? Han Xuyao was angry. He dared to laugh at Brother Tian. He couldn't stand it. A mere sea level talent, trash. The other party snorted. In front of S-level geniuses, C-level is indeed trash. Whether it is the increase in talent or the ceiling of growth, it is incomparable. S-level talents absolutely crush C-level. If the increase in C-level talents is twice, then S-level is 20 times. So S-level talents look down on C-level talents and say they are trash, which is also justified. You fart. Han Xuyao was angry. The other party definitely touched Han Xuyao's reverse scale. Yi Xiao Tian grabbed Han Xuyao and said, Don't be angry, be a lady. But Han Xuyao was anxious. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay. Whether you have the ability or not is never said by others, but depends on facts. Han Xuyao rolled her eyes and felt that what Brother Tian said made sense. When entering the actual combat stage, everyone will know whether Brother Tian is a strong man. Hao Tian led the team to the dungeon, and the attributes converted from the points would definitely crush all the freshmen now. No matter what grade of talent, it could not make up for this gap. The other party saw that Yi Xiao Tian was actually scared, snorted coldly, and said nothing more. But he made up his mind that when the actual battle began, he must teach Yi Xiao Tian a lesson. This damn waste is more popular with girls than these geniuses. Others were disappointed when they saw Yi Xiao Tian was scared. If it weren't for Han Xuyao's protection, Yi Xiao Tian would have been chopped into 18 pieces. Lin Shen was also disappointed. He had been cheering for the warrior just now, but who knew that Yi Xiao Tian didn't choose to fight hard? How could Han Xuyao like such a soft egg? Chapter 39 Yi Xiao Tian offended most of the students without saying a word after entering the training camp. Although he wanted to keep a low profile, reality did not allow it. Now many people want to take it out on him. This will be in the training camp. When we get out, there will definitely be waves. Feeling those malicious glances, Yi Xiao Tian felt a headache. Beauty is a disaster. But it doesn't matter, whatever happens, it will be settled. After the team formation was completed, Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao had to solve the accommodation problem. Brother Tian, the room next to us is still vacant, otherwise you and Wang Hao will live next door to us, right? Han Xuyao said naturally. Chang Xiaosi. Did you ask for my opinion before you made this proposal? Mu Bingyin's eyelids were also twitching wildly. She was a little suspicious. Is today's Han Xuyao really the same Han Xuyao as yesterday? 
She looked at Chang Xiaoxi with questioning eyes, and the latter gave her a calm look. This is routine operation. How does a girl achieve these two extreme personalities? When I came yesterday, countless boys approached Han Xuyao in various ways, but Han Xuyao had a cold face and ignored them at all. But what about now? What a big nymphomaniac. No wonder those boys looked at Yi Xiao Tian with cannibalistic eyes. If it were him, he probably wouldn't be able to bear it. Wei Xuyao dared to fight with her father for her brother Tian. Chang Xiaoxi explained to Mu Bingyan quietly. Mu Bingyan's eyes almost popped out. This is so damn shattering. How does she manage to switch between these two extreme personalities? Yi Xiao Tian said, Can boys live on the same floor as girls? Han Xuyao said, There are relatively few buildings here, so men and women live together. However, girls live on the high floors and boys live on the low floors. Then I'd better live on the same floor as other boys. Yi Xiao Tian said quickly. But it seems that there are no free rooms on the boys' floor. Han Xuyao said with a smile. Yi Xiao Tian was speechless, and after thinking for a while he said, I'd better go find the instructor and ask him to help us arrange dormitories. He didn't want to make such a stupid mistake. Seeing that Yi Xiao Tian was very determined, Han Xuyao could only say, Okay, I'll take you to find the instructor. The instructor also has a headache about this matter. There are only so many buildings. After all, once the place expands, the difficulty of protection increases. Therefore, a dormitory building is more convenient for them to protect the safety of students. But now there is indeed a problem. That is because there are not enough floors in the boys' dormitory, so Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao really can only live in the girls' floor. As soon as this decision was announced, all the boys were in an uproar. Some girls also have opinions. After all, although they are different rooms but on the same floor, there are still some inconveniences. You are all awakened ones, and you will inevitably have to go to the battlefield to fight alien races in the future. At that time, you will all have only one title, and that is the awakened human beings. There are no rooms, no comfortable beds, and the sky is the floor and the ground is the bed. Now let's adapt to the life of the awakened people in advance. This is also the life you must adapt to. Instructor Lu suppressed all opinions with one word. Then at this time, Han Xuyao jumped out to draw hatred for Yi Xiao Tian, don't worry, brother Tian is a gentleman, and their room is next to mine. I will keep an eye on him. Suddenly, Yi Xiao Tian felt like countless dagger-like eyes were falling on him. He and Wang Hao hurriedly put their luggage into the dormitory. The distribution of dormitories here is basically similar to that in the Bay City, with two bedrooms and one living room. In addition to sorting out his own internal affairs, Yi Xiao Tian also had to consider the affairs of his second soul. He came to the training camp and couldn't let Hao Tian disappear into the world of reincarnation. Otherwise everyone should doubt him. This is also the reason why he refused Han Xuyao to help him organize his housekeeping just now. This secret cannot be exposed anymore. Yi Xiao Tian went out to prepare for the team's cooperative training, while Hao Tian entered the world of reincarnation, preparing to continue his journey to Super God. As soon as Yi Xiao Tian left Jiangcheng, he attracted countless eyes. There are high-level people from the human race, and there are also people from the alien race. After all, Yi Xiaotian's quota was obtained by Hao Tian for him. So they wanted to find Hao Tian through Yi Xiaotian. The foreigners even suspected that Yi Xiaotian was Hao Tian. When Yi Xiaotian left Jiangcheng, Hao Tian also disappeared into the world of reincarnation. This strengthened their suspicions. Attacks on the road are temptations. If Yi Xiaotian is Hao Tian, then he will definitely not be able to help but take action, after all, he is Hao Tian. But what disappointed them was that Yi Xiao Tian did not take action. Even though Hong Yi and his teammates were about to die, Yi Xiao Tian did not take action. This made them doubt their suspicions. But if Hao Tian doesn't appear in the world of reincarnation, they won't be able to dispel this suspicion. Even the top leaders of the human race began to wonder if Yi Xiao Tian was pretending to be a pig and eating the tiger. However, the information they knew was more detailed. They knew that Yi Xiaotian had played a teen copy with Hao Tian. 
so the level of suspicion is not deep. Until Haotian reappeared in the world of reincarnation, and then made great progress, and passed the D-level promotion dungeon with a super god evaluation. Everyone completely believed that Yi Xiao Tian was really not Haotian. However, everyone had a new understanding of Haotian's strength. He had actually reached the level of a D-level awakener, and could also pass the D-level promotion dungeon with a super god evaluation. This shows that his combat power is also top-notch among D-level awakeners. The human race was very happy, but also very depressed. It seemed that Haotian was really not included in their training camp. After all, the top leaders of the human race knew what the major training camps around the world were doing today, and they had no chance to enter the world of reincarnation. However, the news from the alien race was not so detailed and comprehensive. They only knew that Haotian's strength was growing rapidly, and the speed of this growth far exceeded their previous speculation. So they invested more power in assassinating Haotian. With the help of the heretics, they planned various plans, all targeting the genius of the human race. In their speculation, Haotian must also be in the temporary training camp for human geniuses. Therefore, all major training camps have become targets of attack by aliens and heretics. In the 101 district training camp, Yi Xiao Tian and his team began their first coordinated practice. The instructor just said that tomorrow is the time to go out and fight with the aliens. We don't have much time left. Yi Xiao Tian said. Han Xuyao continued, Bing Yen, let me introduce you to our talents and points, and then formulate our team's combat method. Chapter, 40. Two shield warriors, one agile warrior, and one attacking thunder-type mutant. Bing Yen, let me tell you a secret. We once went to a dungeon with Haotian God. Han Xuyao leaned close to Mu Bingyan's ear and spoke. At first, Mu Bingyan wanted to avoid it. Although Han Xuyao was a girl, she was not used to others' intimate attitude. But when she heard the name of Haotian God, all the discomfort disappeared immediately. Haotian God. Mu Bingyan said in shock, Do you know Haotian God? Han Xuyao said, We don't know what Haotian God's identity is in reality. It's just that in the reincarnation world, he took us to a team dungeon together. Mu Bingyan said, I know, I still remember the world announcement two days ago. She didn't expect that the four people who followed Haotian God to the dungeon and made countless people drool with envy were actually the four people in front of her. Now she finally knew why Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, who were only C-level talents, were able to get a place in the training camp. I also understood why their quota was taken away by someone, but now they can get it back. With Haotian backing them up, who dares to touch them? Everything is clear. At this moment, Mu Bingyan's worries were put down. Haotian's record is too brilliant. So far, all the dungeons he has played have been rated as super gods. Although I don't know exactly how many reincarnation points he has taken, I have guessed a very reliable range. From the awakening talent to now, Haotian has earned hundreds of thousands of reincarnation points just from dungeons. If these points are converted into attribute points, then his current strength is already above D-level Awakener. They are all freshmen who have awakened, but they have become D-level High-level Awakeners in just a few days. And they are still struggling at F-level. What level of Awakener are you now? Mu Bingyan asked curiously. In fact, she wanted to ask them how many points they got from dungeons, but she held back in the end. After all, it was a secret. They haven't reached that level yet. The four of us are similar, all E-level Awakeners. Han Xuyao replied. Although we are at the same level, she is the best in terms of combat power. After all, she is an S-level talent, and her talent enhancement can beat Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao by eight streets. Although Chang Xiaoxi is an A-level talent, she can't compare with her. Mu Bingyan immediately felt settled. It seems that she can win this training camp trip without doing anything. Originally, she joined this team because of Han Xuyao's face. After all, S-level lightning ability is a very domineering ability, and its destructive power is the strongest among all abilities. Her ice ability plus lightning ability is a perfect match. And she is also aware of Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell. Now that she knows the situation of Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, it should be stable. 
Although there are no healing or enhancement ability users to assist, the aliens in the training camp are all below E-level. There are very few E-level ones. Thinking of this, Mu Bingyan showed a smile on her face. Bingyan, you actually smiled. Han Shuyao said with a rare look. The smile on Mu Bingyan's face disappeared immediately, and she returned to her cold look. Mine is an S-level ice ability, which can freeze aliens within a certain range, but because of the problem of points, I can't learn more skills, so I don't have the ability to attack. Mu Bingyan said the latter, a little unconfident. Han Shuyao said, that's great, we need your skill. Freeze a large area, and then the few of them can slowly cut. Then do we still need to practice cooperation? Chang Xiaoxi asked. Han Shuyao said, I don't think it seems necessary. When Bing Yan freezes, the four of us can go together. Simple, rough, and effective. Brother Tian, let's go over there and sit down. Han Shuyao pulled Yi Xiao Tian away. The remaining three looked at each other. Mu Bing Yan suddenly said, she doesn't want to practice cooperation because of this, right? Chang Xiaoxi sighed and changed the question sentence into an affirmative sentence, that's right. Wang Hao was very calm about this, I will practice the swordsmanship again. Compared with other teams, their team is really too abnormal. But instructor Lu didn't care about this. There are some things that they will never understand unless they experience them personally. He has said everything that should be said, and the rest depends on their own understanding. In the evening, everyone gathered together for class again. The lecturer was a middle-aged man. Does anyone know why humans must awaken their talents in the last ten days of senior high school? The teacher asked. A cool and handsome guy stood up and replied, Teacher, I know. It is because awakening talents puts a certain burden on the human body. If you awaken at too young an age, it may cause irreversible damage to the body. A large number of studies have shown that awakening talents at the age of 18 is the most appropriate. The teacher waved his hand and motioned the students to sit down. This classmate is right. Awakening talents at the age of 18 is a conclusion reached through a lot of experimental practice. 18 years old is the age of flowers. Awakening talents at this time will neither affect the body nor delay the growth time in the later stage. Which students here have seen real aliens? The teacher said this and added, those in the reincarnation world don't count. Teacher, I've seen them on TV. Teacher, I've seen them on the internet. Everyone spoke up, but no one had ever really faced an alien. The only thing they knew about aliens was from school and the internet. Occasionally, videos about aliens would be broadcast on TV, but they were all censored versions. The real situation would never be broadcast on TV. That would cause public panic. Okay, tomorrow you will really face aliens, even though they are only the lowest level F-level aliens. But I hope you can flexibly apply the knowledge you learned in school. Now let me tell you about squad combat. Next, the teacher told Yi Xiao Tian and the others about the various means and techniques of squad combat. A complete squad should be equipped with shield combat, close attack, long-range attack, and assistance. With such equipment, no matter what kind of enemy they encounter, they can fight flexibly. The reason why we humans can temporarily drive the aliens back to the alien space is because we have brought teamwork to the extreme. The teacher made the final decision. So you must remember the actual combat tomorrow, and never forget the key to teamwork. Although you have just formed a team today, you don't have enough tacit understanding and cooperation. But fortunately, your opponents are relatively weak. Growing in battle and cultivating tacit understanding in battle is the best way. Chapter, 41 The reincarnation calendar has been around for more than a hundred years, except for the chaotic years at the beginning. Since the establishment of the Awakener training system, no student Awakener has ever entered the wilderness for real combat before college. The training of Awakeners was initially carried out in the Reincarnation Tower. Although you cannot really feel death in it, and the improvement of strength cannot be compared with the real world. But in terms of safety, the copy of the Reincarnation World can beat the real world by eight streets. Those who have to fight hard after Awakening are those who are forced by life. For example, those who cannot get into college because of their poor talent and grade, 
and have no progress in the reincarnation copy, can only go out to hunt alien beasts. First, you can make money, and second, you can improve your strength. Of course, if you are unlucky, you can only become a meal for alien beasts. Classmates, from here you will enter the wilderness area, where there are all kinds of beasts. Most of them are F-class beasts, of course, there are also some E-class beasts. I would like to remind you that here, if you die, you are really dead. There is no chance to live again, so come on, everyone. Death is also within the scope of the training camp. If you want to fight, you must be prepared to face death. But fortunately, those who can come to the training camp are not easy to deal with, and the worst are A-class talents. Of course, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao are the exceptions. Many students present were deeply moved, especially the sentence that if you die, you are really dead, which was very shocking. They are all the pride of heaven, and they have just awakened their high-quality talents, and they are in high spirits. It has only been two days, and they have to face death. This statement directly hits the soft spot in their hearts. Okay, go in. Instructor Lu said, waving his hand to let the students enter the mountain. Looking at the wilderness and forests, some students showed hesitation. Yi Xiaotian's team was very straightforward. The five of them went straight into the mountain. They're going in, follow them. Someone saw Yi Xiaotian going into the mountain and hurried to follow him. They were ready to teach Yi Xiaotian a lesson after they went in. But after they went into the mountain, they found that they had lost the trace of Yi Xiaotian's team. Where did they go? Did they go deeper? Someone asked. Impossible, the deeper you go, the more beasts there are. They can't go too deep. That's right. It's the wisest choice to find a beast outside to practice first. As soon as you come in, you rush in. Do you think you won't die quickly enough? Everyone heard that this was indeed the truth. Lin Hai followed the crowd and listened to everyone's discussion, and he was relieved immediately. So many people have opinions about Yi Xiaotian, so he doesn't need to worry about this matter. Sure enough, wherever Yi Xiaotian goes, there will be people who dislike him. This training camp, he is dead. Even if these students can't kill him, he will definitely die in the hands of those monsters. Okay, let's separate and don't be too far away from each other, so as to avoid any accidents and not be able to rescue in time. A classmate said so. That's right, everyone is facing monsters for the first time, so it's better to be careful. In this way, I'm relieved. Speaking of Yi Xiaotian and his team, as soon as they entered the mountain, they quickened their pace and went deeper. This was what they had planned long ago. They didn't compete with other teams outside. Their team's strength far exceeded that of other teams, so they could encounter more monsters and gain more by going deeper. Mu Bingyan was still a little worried, will it really be okay? Don't worry, we have cooperated in the reincarnation dungeon before, and we fought very well. Han Xuyao comforted. But these are all F-level monsters. Are you sure you are fighting F-level monsters in the dungeon? Mu Bingyan looked doubtful. In the F-level dungeon, only those above the difficult level have F-level monsters, and the rest are not up to the level. For example, ordinary dog-headed people are not promoted. Mu Bingyan has entered the dungeon herself, so she naturally knows this. Just relax, we have played five difficult dungeons with Haotian God, and F-level monsters are no problem at all. Han Xuyao said. Mu Bingyan said, tell me honestly, how high is your spiritual attribute now? My spiritual attribute is only 50 points. Han Xuyao replied. 50 points. Mu Bingyan exclaimed, shocked. You know, if the main attribute exceeds 40 points, you can be promoted to E-level Awakener. In other words, Han Xuyao and his strength are now E-level Awakeners. No wonder they don't take F-level monsters seriously at all, they are really fearless. Have all your main attributes exceeded 50 points? Mu Bingyan was very envious. It's a pity that her main attribute is only 20 points, which barely reaches the standard of F-level Awakeners. The gap is too big. I can only say that Haotian God is really awesome. He can even lead two C-level losers. Is he the same as the legend, killing in a second in dungeons? 
Mu Bingyan was like a fan talking about her idol, and she was actually a little excited. Han Xuyao said, Bingyan, you are not a fan of Haotian God, are you? Mu Bingyan said, of course. Be careful, there are enemies. Yi Xiao Tian suddenly warned. The other four were confused. Why didn't they feel the enemy? Brother Tian, is this true? As soon as the words fell, a loud bang interrupted their doubts. Line up. Han Xuyao said loudly. She is the commander of this team. At this time, no matter how many questions they have, they can only suppress them and deal with the enemy first. This is not a copy of the reincarnation world, this is the real world. It is never too careful. After all, there is only one life. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi both opened their talents and pushed to the front. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were also ready for battle. At this time, a terrifying beast rushed to their eyes from the mountains and forests. This beast was on all fours, seven or eight meters high, with a bloody mouth and sharp teeth, and bone spurs on its back, extending to its limbs and tail. Be careful, it's a golden-haired thorn-bone beast. Yi Xiaotian reminded Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. The biggest feature of this golden-haired thorn-bone beast is its immense strength, and its talent is also in strength. It also has low intelligence and is very bloodthirsty. Wang Hao roared, and a red light appeared all over his body, covering him. His muscles bulged, and he rushed towards the golden-haired thorn-bone beast with a shield and a knife. Chang Xiaoxi did not hesitate, and held up the golden bell cover, and also rushed towards the golden-haired thorn-bone beast. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan waved their staffs and used their supernatural powers to attack the golden-haired thorn-bone beast. Chapter, 42 According to the book, in addition to its immense strength, the bone spurs on its body are very hard. So when fighting, in addition to not confronting his power head-on, you should also be careful of its bone spurs. Of course, these warnings are only for those who are of equal strength or weaker than the golden-haired bone beast. As for Yi Xiaotian and his team, they have no such concerns at all. Mu Bingyan's movements were still very fast. Before Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi rushed in front of the golden-haired bone beast, her freezing technique had already fallen on the golden-haired bone-thorn beast. The golden-haired spiny beast was frozen. Han Xuyao was about to use the thunder technique when he heard a click. The huge golden-haired spiny beast fell down. What's the situation? Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi rushed in front of the golden-haired bone-bearing beast and rushed out of loneliness. Initially, they thought that the golden-haired spiny beast was killed by Mu Bingyan's freezing technique. After careful observation, they discovered that there was a knife mark on the golden-haired spiny beast's neck. However, because the golden-haired bone beast's whole body was frozen, no blood flowed out. Chang Xiaoxi was shocked. Yi Xiaotian killed him. How did he do it? He didn't pay attention to Yi Xiaotian just now, but her attention was always on the golden-haired bone beast. So if it was Yi Xiaotian, she would definitely find something. Now it seems that Yi Xiaotian's speed has reached a terrifying level. During the action, she couldn't even notice it. At this time, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan also came over. Han Xuyao said excitedly, How is it, how is it? This was the first strange beast they had killed in the real world, so their mood was naturally different. I don't feel it, I didn't kill him. Chang Xiaoxi said regretfully. It was Brother Tian who killed him. Brother Tian is so powerful. He killed him with one strike. Wang Hao sent his own rainbow fart. Yi Xiao Tian, who was surrounded by the golden-haired spiny beast by Han Xuyao, was about to compliment him when he suddenly frowned and said, Brother Tian, why do I feel that you have become stronger again? Yi Xiao Tian quickly said, No, you feel wrong. There is no way, Hao Tian's side has gone crazy. Although his current attributes are only half of Hao Tian's, he can't hide them anymore. Now the difficulty of the reincarnation world copy has been greatly increased, and the rewards have also been greatly increased. So Yi Xiao Tian naturally wanted to seize this opportunity and make great progress. The aliens were already crying and fainting in the toilet. I originally thought I could restrain Hao Tian, but unexpectedly, I gave him the best assist. 
The rewards Houtian received in a Samsara World copy were doubled out of thin air. In addition to points, there are also various attribute points. Naturally, this opportunity cannot be missed. This is simply the price the foreign race paid with blood to train Yi Xiaotian. The only trouble I have is probably that I can't hide the second soul anymore, and I added too much at once. In just half an hour, Houtian's surrounding attributes had been increased by hundreds. In just half an hour, he swept through both the D-level promotion dungeons and the D-level level dungeons, all of which received super god ratings. The entire world of reincarnation is already boiling. The top human beings are also numb. The senior officials of the foreign race were said to be so angry that their livers ached. The senior officials of the heretical organization were severely reprimanded, saying that they were not doing their job well. So far, not only to kill Houtian, but also to find out his identity. So now we need to readjust the deployment. I seem to feel the same way. Wang Hao also followed suit. Mu Binyan also looked at Yi Xiaotian with strange eyes. She felt the same way, but she didn't say it. But in her heart, she had begun to become curious about Yi Xiaotian. I always feel that Yi Xiaotian is not as simple as he seems on the surface. By the way, did you get a tribute point rewards? Yi Xiaotian quickly changed the subject, otherwise he would have to reveal his secret. Fortunately, there are only five of them here. If those instructors were here, they would definitely notice that something was wrong. After hearing what he said, everyone quickly started to observe. Hey, I got some attribute rewards, but unfortunately it's strength. Han Xu Yao was the first to speak. Others shook their heads and said they had not received any reward. It doesn't matter, this is all a matter of probability, but compared to the reincarnation copy, it is much better. Yi Xiaotian said. That's right, let's go find the strange beasts and kill them. I can't wait. This time, I want to get all the attribute points. Wang Hao roared, waving his majestic arms. Yi Xiaotian silently closed his attribute panel, and he also received a little strength attribute reward. But there was news from Houtian that the golden-haired bone-piercing beast he had just killed had given him an F-level strength, talent. Can increase strength attribute by 20%. Houtian directly set this talent on the second soul. The talents he obtained from other creatures can be upgraded with life essence, but after some consideration, they have not been strengthened for the time being. Save the life essence first, and then consider which talent to strengthen when needed. At this time, Houtian's attributes had exceeded a thousand points, and he had officially entered the ranks of sea level awakeners. On Yama's side, the surrounding attributes have reached more than 500 points. Among the new students, he is definitely the one who can crush everything. Even if he only has a sea level frenzy, talent now, it is still the same. The increase of high quality talents is indeed very large, but it is also increased according to the basic attribute points. At this stage, the basic attribute points of the new students can have more than 20 points of the main attribute, which is already the best among them. Even if the talent can be increased tenfold, it is only more than 200 points. How can it compare with Yi Xiaotian? Let's go, keep moving forward. After collecting the body of the golden-haired thornbone beast, Yi Xiaotian said. I'll go in front. Wang Hao quickly surpassed Yi Xiaotian. Chang Xiaosi didn't say anything, but just silently caught up with Wang Hao. As shield warriors, the two of them naturally had to walk in front. Yi Xiaotian didn't compete with them, but fell at the end of the team, protecting the two psychics in the middle. This is why Wang Hao envied the psychics before. Psychics are always under the protection of the team. Then Han Xuyao deliberately fell behind a few steps, letting Mu Bingyan walk in front alone, and she held Yi Xiaotian's arm. Mu Binyan took a look and quickly turned around, complaining madly in her heart. We are hunting alien beasts in a very dangerous wilderness. Can you not be so casual? Do you really think you are here for a spring outing? Is it really okay for you to disrespect alien races like this? But she didn't say this, and could only walk slowly with her head down alone. Be alert. Wang Hao's voice suddenly came from the front. It's a group of sword mantises. Chang Xiaosi's voice was a little hurried. Chapter, 43 
The Blade Mantis, although only an F-level alien beast, is a social race. In the wilderness, if you encounter a Blade Mantis, it means that there are a group of Blade Mantises waiting for you. The three-meter-long Blade Mantis has a pair of front feet that are blades, which are very sharp. Moreover, the Blade Mantis is very fast, and it is one of the alien beasts that the superpowers hate the most. Yi Xiao Tian, you stay with Xu Yao and Bing Yan to protect them, and leave these Blade Mantises to me and Wang Hao. Chang Xiaoxi spoke up at the first time. Okay. Yi Xiao Tian did not refuse. The attack of this Blade Mantis is indeed weird, which is one of the nemesis of the superpowers. Now the superpowers have very few means of self-protection, and they can't resist at all. There is no way, the points are few, and there are no extra points to exchange for defensive skills. As for buying with money, it is very difficult. The skills of superpowers are already very popular, and they are generally digested internally, and they will not be sold publicly at all. So Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan didn't have any defensive abilities yet. Yi Xiao Tian stood beside Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, making sure they were in his sight. The Blade Mantis is a social beast. God knows how many Blade Mantises there are in this place. Maybe one of them will suddenly appear in front of them and give them a knife. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, one like a golden man and the other like a bloody man, stood in front of the Blade Mantis and fought hard with the Blade Mantis. Mu Binyan raised her staff, and the frost fell. The Blade Mantises within a hundred meters were covered with frost. Then Han Shu Yao also raised her staff and shouted, Thunder. The thunder fell from the sky, clearing the Blade Mantises frozen by Mu Binyan. Hmm. Han Shu Yao groaned. It was still very stressful to use such a large-scale attack ability. Whether it was physical strength or mental power, there was a great demand. Mu Binyan was similar. Her face was a little pale and her mental power was a little overdrawn. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, you two take a break. Wang Hao and Xiaoxi can handle the rest. Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan did not force themselves. They sat down and began to practice meditation. In addition to slowly improving the attribute of mental power, the biggest function of meditation is to restore mental power. The same is true for the breathing method of warriors. There are not many people who really practice it for a long time. The biggest function is to restore physical strength and mental power. Yi Xiao Tian sighed. It would be great if there was a recovery type auxiliary ability in the team. With a recovery ability, both physical strength and mental power can be directly restored. It's a pity that so far, he has not encountered such a talent. And even if he got this kind of talent, he didn't know how to show it in front of people. After a while, the remaining knife mantises were solved by Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. With their strength, it is not difficult to solve these F-level monsters. Basically, one knife kills a kid. The rest is to clean up the battlefield. The corpses of these strange beasts are all money. They can be taken back and used as various materials to refine weapons and potions. This work can only be done by Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. Yi Xiao Tian has been guarding Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan. Ka! Suddenly, Yi Xiao Tian took a step back, and then swung his sword to the left. There, a sudden attacking mantis was cut into two pieces by his sword. Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan were surprised by the noise and stopped meditating. In front of them, a five-meter-long green mantis was broken into two pieces and lay on the ground. This mantis seems to be a little different. Han Xuyao said. Mu Binyan said to Yi Xiao Tian, Thank you. The first target of the mantis was her. If it weren't for Yi Xiao Tian's sword, she would probably be gone. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, It's my duty. We are comrades. Han Xuyao said, Bing Yan, don't be polite to him. It's my duty for comrades to help each other. Mu Bing Yan didn't say anything more, but checked the blade mantis. It was indeed different. First, it was bigger and darker. Is this an E-level blade mantis? A question popped up in Mu Binyan's mind. He killed an E-level blade mantis with one knife. Is this Yi Xiao Tian so powerful? She was a little confused again. 
she felt that Yi Xiaotian was not as simple as he seemed on the surface before, and now it has been confirmed. And she felt that Yi Xiaotian's strength was not just based on dungeons with Haotian. Han Xuyao and Wang Hao also dungeoned with Haotian, but their strength should not be as strong as Yi Xiaotian. So he has other secrets. Did he and Haotian go to other dungeons? It is also possible. After all, it was Yi Xiaotian who helped him team up with Haotian. Unconsciously, Mu Bingyan looked at Yi Xiaotian more often. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi cleaned up the battlefield and put all the bodies of the Blade Mantis into the backpack of the reincarnation space. Do you want to rest for a while? Chang Xiaosi looked at Han Xuyao and asked. Han Xuyao looked at Mu Bingyan and said, Bingyan, how about taking a rest first? Mu Bingyan said indifferently, I'm fine with it. Yi Xiaotian said, then take a break first. You have consumed a lot just now. If the enemy is not too strong later, you too should not use this range ability. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan nodded silently to show that they understood. The two of them continued to meditate, but Wang Hao began to deal with Yi Xiaotian and kill the Blade Mantis. Soon, he also found something wrong. Hey, this Blade Mantis seems different. Wang Hao muttered. Chang Xiaosi also looked over and saw that it was indeed different at a glance. This Blade Mantis did not seem to be F-level, but E-level. Yi Xiaotian hurriedly said, What are you talking about? Hurry up and collect the body and come to stand guard. Wang Hao was urged by him, and he did not delay and collected the Blade Mantis that was broken into two pieces. Chang Xiaosi looked suspicious, but did not ask any more questions. Yi Xiaotian was more powerful, isn't this a good thing? Han Xuyao was her best friend, and she knew what the other party was thinking. If Yi Xiaotian wants to be with Han Xuyao, it is definitely not possible with his C-level talent alone. But if Yi Xiaotian can become stronger, it will be different. It's just that the ceiling of C-level talent is there. You can rush in the early stage, but what about the later stage? Whether it is a reincarnation copy or a real alien race, it is difficult to break through. Unless he has other adventures. For example, he obtains a treasure that can improve his talent. Or, he has other talents, such as a dual talented person. Chang Xiaosi was shocked by the thoughts he exuded. Whether it is a treasure that improves talent or a dual talented person, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Chapter 44 Yi Xiaotian felt very uncomfortable with Chang Xiaosi's eyes. You look like you want to say something but don't. If you don't know, you might think I did something to let you down. But in the end, Chang Xiaosi didn't ask. After receiving Yi Xiaotian's eyes, she quickly shifted her gaze to other places. This Yi Xiaotian seems to have other secrets. Chang Xiaosi thought silently in her heart, but she felt that this secret must be related to the great god Haotian. I'll go check around. Yi Xiaotian said, and then walked away. Chang Xiaosi's eyes followed again, always thinking that Yi Xiaotian had a problem. At this time, shouldn't he be guarding Han Xuyao? Wang Hao didn't doubt anything. He thought Yi Xiaotian was just going around to see if there were any traces of strange beasts, so he said, be careful. Yi Xiaotian walked away at this time to merge the Haotian back. It was the first time for him to merge the two numbers into one in the real world, and he didn't know if there would be any movement. So it's better to walk away a little. Haotian had made enough noise in the samsara world, and his suspicion was completely cleared. After that, he just needed to go up and brush a set of level dungeons every day. As for the team level dungeons, he had to observe again. See if there was any chance at night. But he always felt that something was wrong. Could it be that the aliens really let it go? Even when those geniuses escorted them here, they didn't make any moves, which didn't seem to be in line with their style of doing things. On the other hand, when Wang Hao and I came here, we were attacked. The aliens must be brewing a bigger conspiracy. After taking back the Haotian, the Strength Sword, and Yi Xiaotian's worries were also alleviated a lot. No matter what conspiracy the aliens have, these things are not something he can control. There are so many smart people in the human high level, can't they think of it? So there must be some arrangements. His current task is to improve his strength. 
Although the four attributes of the Houtian have exceeded 1,000 points, it can be promoted to a sea level awakener. Among the freshmen, it is definitely a horse that is far ahead of the dust. But compared with the real strong men of humans and aliens, it can only be regarded as an ant. Let alone other things, the main attribute of a B level awakener alone must exceed 10 0, 0 points. His 1 0, 0 point attribute is simply vulnerable in front of them. And Yi Xiaotian feels that he not only needs to improve his attributes, but also needs to get a few good talents. As for skills, they can only be ranked last. According to the talent grade increase announced by the Awakener Association, talents below sea level have only a few percent increase in basic attributes. But talents above B level have doubled the increase. The gap is absolutely huge. That's why there is a saying that talents below sea level are useless. The attribute increase of sea level talents is about 80%, but the increase of B level talents is 300%. This is the ceiling. When you reach the end of your sea level talent, you can't beat the reincarnation dungeon, and it is even more dangerous to go to the wilderness, so your strength can only stagnate. If you want to break this ceiling, you can only get higher level talents. Even if you are brushing a level copy, if your talent is too poor, no one will lead you. After all, if your evaluation is not high, you will not be able to get the points reward. No high quality talent awakener will waste this kind of time. Unless there is a heaven defying existence like Houtian, it is not a problem for a king to lead four bronzes. The supreme talent infinite growth is very heaven defying, but his heaven defying talent is not the increase in combat power, but that you can get more attribute points and talent skills by killing monsters in the reincarnation copy. Moreover, Talent skills can also be enhanced and improved through life essence. Yi Xiaotian's physical attributes have now crushed the freshman, but in terms of talent enhancement, he is still very poor. There is only one sea level talent frenzy, with the highest grade. At the very least, he must have a talent that can increase combat power to calm the situation. For example, strengthen the F level strength, talent obtained before to A level or even S level or hunt higher level monsters and directly plunder higher level talents. Yi Xiaotian didn't stay outside for too long. After walking around, he returned to the original place. Otherwise, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi would be suspicious and worried. Brother Tian, is there anything unusual? Wang Hao asked, a little bored. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, nothing. Chang Xiaoxi looked at Yi Xiaotian with a strange look. She didn't know if it was an illusion. She always felt that Yi Xiaotian had become different after he went out for a walk. It seemed that his aura had become stronger again. Chang Xiaoxi felt that there was something wrong with her, not Yi Xiaotian, but herself. Otherwise, how could there be such an illusion? Yi Xiaotian went out for a walk, didn't walk too far, didn't fight, and couldn't eat any natural treasures. How could he become stronger? Is it because I didn't wake up last night? Chang Xiaoxi looked for the reason for her abnormality. She was a little doubtful about her life. Ten minutes later, Han Shuyao and Mu Binyan woke up one after another. You can rest for a while. Yi Xiaotian said. No need, let's continue walking inside, otherwise the students behind us will catch up with us. Han Shuyao said. Although they were walking very fast and changed their route, there were so many classmates and the training ground was so small that they would definitely catch up. Yi Xiaotian didn't insist after hearing this. Anyway, he was there and there would be no danger. Okay, then, if it's not absolutely necessary, you two shouldn't take action. Yi Xiaotian said. Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao also said so quickly. As shield fighters, their team killed hundreds of alien beasts, but they didn't do much. Strategic weapons like Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan naturally couldn't let them take action casually. The group continued to move forward and encountered an alien beast from time to time. But with the strength of their team, one or two F-level alien beasts were no problem at all, and they were all killed instantly. Maybe even the instructors of the training camp didn't expect that for newcomers, the very ferocious F-level alien beasts were so vulnerable. As time went on, the instructors finally discovered this problem. Each of the strange beasts in the training ground has a positioning device in its body, 
and they will not disappear unless they die. On the huge screen, light spots are disappearing one after another. In just a few hours, more than 200 strange beasts have disappeared. What's going on? How can they be killed so quickly? Instructor Lu was also very confused. Is there any factor among this class of freshmen that they have not considered? Chapter, 45 Not only do the alien beasts have positioning rituals, but every student also has them. As long as they are in danger, they can send a signal, and the awakened strongmen who have been prepared around the training ground will immediately go to rescue people. However, this also means that he has lost the qualification for the training camp. Although the rules are cruel, this is the rule of the game. If you can't stay, then leave more resources to stronger people. Yi Xiaotian and his team have already gone deep into the core area of the training ground. There are not only a large number of F-level alien beasts, but also E-level alien beasts. This time, they encountered an E-level alien beast, the Green Light Mantis. The Green Light Mantis and the Sword Mantis are considered to be the same species, but the difference between the Green Light Mantis and the Sword Mantis is that the Green Light Mantis does not live in groups. The Green Light Mantis is also much stronger than the Sword Mantis. Every time the Green Light Mantis attacks it will emit a green knife light, so it is called the Green Light Mantis. Other characteristics are similar to the Sword Mantis, and the attack speed is extremely fast. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were both a little nervous. This was not just because of the difference in combat power, but also because the attack speed of the Green Light Mantis was much faster than that of the Blade Mantis. They were two shield warriors, one was a blood defense, and the other was a golden bell defense. They were not afraid of the sneak attack of the Green Light Mantis. But the psychic behind was most afraid of the agile beasts. Yi Xiaotian took the path of agile attack, but he could not compare with the Green Light Mantis. So they were all very nervous. Mu Bingyan was also very nervous. The speed of the green light mantis was too fast, and she was not sure that her freezing spell could hit the opponent. This affected the problem of casting speed. So psychics also have requirements for agility attributes. The higher the agility attribute, the faster the attack frequency and casting speed. If the agility attributes of the two enemies are too different, you can't hit the opponent, even if the attack is high, what can you do? This is the real world, not a game, with skills and casting lock functions. So Mu Bingyan was also very nervous, holding the staff, not daring to move lightly. Han Shuyao also looked cautious. Yi Xiaotian was probably the only one among the five who was not nervous. It was just an E-level blue mantis, and he could kill it with one knife. The blue mantis did not act immediately, and it was also hesitating. Its intuition told it that it should deal with the two superpowers behind it as soon as possible. But the aura emanating from Yi Xiaotian made it dare not act rashly. Although the IQ of low-level beasts is very low, their intuition is very sharp. Xiaoxi, you scout the formation for me, I will go first. Wang Hao shouted softly, supporting the blood and qi protective shield and rushed towards the blue mantis. Boom! Wang Hao slashed with a knife, making a pit in the ground, but unfortunately he did not hit the blue mantis. Then there was another rumble. Wang Hao's body flew out, hit a big tree, and fell to the ground, raising dust. Seeing this, Chang Xiaoxi immediately attacked the blue mantis. She knew very well that Wang Hao alone was definitely not the opponent of this blue mantis. Han Xuyao was a little nervous. She held up her staff and didn't know whether to attack or not. The speed of the green mantis was too fast. Her mind couldn't lock on the opponent at all. Mu Bingyan looked at Yi Xiaotian. She remembered that Yi Xiaotian had killed an E-level sword mantis with one knife before. Although the speed of the green mantis was stronger than that of the sword mantis, she believed that Yi Xiaotian should be able to fight with the green mantis. Yi Xiaotian stood there, holding a knife in his hand, and his attention was always on the Green Mantis. If Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi couldn't deal with the Green Mantis together, or the Green Mantis abandoned them and attacked them, then his knife would be ready for the opponent at any time. There were rumbling sounds everywhere, and Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were abused by the Green Mantis. The two of them couldn't touch the Green Mantis at all. 
but every attack of the Green Mantis would fall on them. If they were not both gifted in shield warfare and had amazing defense, they would have been cut into more than a hundred pieces by the foot blade of the Green Light Mantis. The Green Light Mantis saw that it could not do anything to them for the time being, and screamed continuously. Suddenly, it abandoned Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi and attacked Yi Xiaotian and the others. In its eyes, the few people here should be easier to cut their bodies. Whoosh! Han Xuyao was about to attack, but her reaction could not keep up, and she saw a flash of knife light. Then the green light mantis, which had played with Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao, was cut into two pieces. Just like the knife mantis that was killed by Yi Xiaotian before. Han Xuyao opened her mouth wide and looked at Yi Xiaotian, a little unbelieving. Brother Tian, when did you become so powerful? Mu Bingyan's eyes lit up, sure enough, this guy has a secret. His speed is estimated to be far faster than that of the E-level Green Mantis. But he just keeps increasing his agility, is that really good? Maybe later on, he can't even break through the alien's defenses, so what's the point of being fast? Brother Tian, you are so powerful. Han Xuyao's principle is not to think too much, just shout 66 to Brother Tian. Wang Hao came over with a dusty face to clean up the body of the Green Mantis. Chang Xiaoxi's eyes when looking at Yi Xiaotian were also different. Her idea was the same as Mu Bingyan's. Now she could rely on the advantage of swords and weapons and the speed advantage to kill low-level aliens. But what about the future? In the final analysis, warriors still rely on strength. As the saying goes, one force can break all laws. When the strength is strong enough, even the most powerful supernatural spells cannot get close. The air waves generated by the powerful force attack can even shatter the space, not to mention the spells of supernaturals. Does he just want to be an erratic sly guy in the future? What about Xu Yao? Yi Xiaotian said with a serious face, Fatty, pack up the bodies and let's go quickly. What's wrong? Han Xuyao asked quickly when she saw Yi Xiaotian's gloomy expression. Yi Xiaotian said, don't ask so many questions, let's go back to the training base first. Several people gathered together, all puzzled. Did something happen? Mu Bingyan asked, Yi Xiaotian, do you feel the danger? Yi Xiaotian said, something is wrong. What do you mean? Brother Tian, what do you want to say? Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian pulled her and ran directly towards the base, saying, Don't talk so much, follow me. Mu Bingyan and Chang Xiaoxi exchanged glances and followed. Wang Hao naturally had no objection and hurried to follow. At this moment, the ground began to shake, as if countless beasts were galloping, and then the rumbling sound also reached their ears. It's too late, climb the tree first. Yi Xiaotian shouted, pulling Han Xuyao and flying onto a big tree next to him. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi also realized that something was wrong, and they also climbed the tree violently. Only Mu Bingyan, as a superpower, her strength was too weak to climb the tree at all. Chapter, 46 The alien beasts in the entire training ground rioted. But all the freshmen didn't know that there was something more serious waiting for them. The alien race had planned for a long time, and the action that was changed again and again finally began. Even though they knew that there must be an ambush waiting for them in the training camp, they still decided to act. Since they couldn't dig out Houtian's identity, they would destroy all the geniuses of the human race. There was only one Houtian, and it couldn't cause any waves. Even if Houtian finally achieved the supreme position, as long as the human race was in a situation of lack of successors, the alien race would not be afraid. After all, the alien race also had its own geniuses. Moreover, in this attack plan, the alien race and the heretic organization joined forces and launched it in temporary training camps in more than 100 regions around the world. The training camp base was also attacked, but the attackers here were not alien beasts, but people from the heretic organization. The head of the base, Zhao Xinjia, and the chief instructor Lu Dingxing led a group of instructors and clerks of the base to confront people on the playground. Kiki, I didn't expect you to lead the team this time. Now that you're here, don't leave Zhao Xinjia stared at Kiki, wishing he could pull out his skin and pull out his tendons. Kiki, a man who looked about 30 years old, 
dressed in a black robe, with bloody red lips and dark eye sockets, looked very scary. Zhao Xinjie, Lu Dingsheng, it's true that enemies don't meet each other. I didn't expect to meet you two here. Whether you can keep me here depends on your ability. Kiki said with a wicked smile. Lu Dingsheng suddenly said, Kiki, you made yourself neither human nor ghost, are you really so happy? Kiki smiled wickedly, happy, I'm very happy. You guys who looked down on me back then are now under my feet. I'm really too happy. Zhao Xinjie and Lu Dingsheng's faces were extremely ugly. The reason why the heretic organization has not been eradicated is because of the strange way of creating masters of the alien race. They can inject their own blood into the human body to create masters. This kind of expert can transcend the shackles of talent grade. Of course, the blood of alien races is also very precious. Only those who have made great contributions to alien races will be given this kind of blood. The Chia in front of us is like this. Chia and Zhao Xinjie were in the same class at that time, but because of his low talent grade, he was considered a waste talent, so he joined the heretic organization. From the fact that he can obtain the blood of alien races, it can be guessed how much contribution he has made to alien races. And these contributions are all made with the heads of human geniuses. When they thought of the countless human races who died in the hands of Chia in these years, Zhao Xinjie and Lu Dingsheng could not control their anger. At this time, an instructor ran to Lu Dingsheng, Captain, something happened at the training ground. Lu Dingsheng's heart moved, and a bad idea came to his mind. Chia smiled complacently and said, Lu Dingsheng, you guessed right. This time, the action is mainly aimed at those so-called geniuses. Human geniuses are really good prey. Chia licked his bloody lips, looking like he had encountered good food. Chia, don't forget, you are also a human. Zhao Xinjie scolded. Chia stretched out his fingers and shook them, saying, No, 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 I am no longer a lowly human, but a noble alien. What flows in my body now is the noble blood of the alien. Since you think you are an alien, you should not use the human body anymore, but the bodies of those monsters. Lu Dingsheng said disdainfully. I don't want to either, but I have used this body for decades and I am used to it. Of course, I can still transform when necessary. Chia said calmly. Zhao Xinjie and Lu Dingsheng both changed their faces when they heard this. They didn't expect that Chia's identity in the heretic organization was so important that he could even transform. This is a capability that only the decision makers of the heretic organization have. Let me introduce myself again. I am the Seventh Knight, the deputy leader of the Seventh Pavilion of the Holy Church. The Seventh Knight looked like an old friend meeting again. Zhao Xinjie and Lu Dingsheng's faces changed again. Unexpectedly, even the deputy leader came out in person. It seems that the heretic organization is planning something big this time. Not good. Lu Dingsheng suddenly exclaimed, he is stalling for time. Zhao Xinjie also reacted. The seventh knight was holding them back here, and the training ground must have taken action. The seventh knight laughed and said, you just reacted now. It's a bit late. This time he brought a group to attack the training camp, and they cooperated with the alien beasts that had been lurking around the training ground for a long time. In order not to alert Zhao Xinjie and Lu Dingsheng, this time no alien beasts with too strong strength were summoned, basically all of them were below D level. The number of C level alien beasts was very small. But this was enough. The protection personnel around the training ground had been cleared out, and the remaining freshmen were vulnerable. Therefore, Kiki was very confident that as long as he could hold back Zhao Xinjie and Lu Dingsheng, these new talents would be dead. Go to the training ground and rescue the students. Zhao Xinjie shouted, took out his staff, raised his hand and cast a fire spell towards Kiki. Seventh Knight looked at it and said disdainfully, a trifle. He didn't even make a move, and his men chopped off the spell with a knife. Lu Dingsheng also roared and attacked Seventh Knight with a knife. Zhao Xinjie raised his staff again and began to prepare a large spell. The other instructors and clerks also launched attacks one after another. The students on the training ground were still waiting for them to rescue them. On the training ground. Mu Bingyan's face was pale. 
she couldn't climb trees. But at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared beside her, and then she felt her waist tightened and her body floated up. When she landed on the ground again, she was already on the tree. Bing Yen, hold on tight. It was Han Xuyao's voice. They hid on the tree that was more than ten meters high. There were dense leaves blocking them, and they couldn't be seen from below. What happened? Why did the strange beasts here riot? Han Xuyao asked in a low voice. They have been in this training ground for several hours and have never seen such a situation, and the instructor had never mentioned it before. Why did it suddenly change? Yi Xiaotian thought and said, it should be that the aliens have taken action. Aliens? Han Xuyao asked puzzledly, could it be that the aliens have attacked? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, it should not be a full-scale war, but just an attack on the training camp. If I guess correctly, all the training camps on Blue Star will be attacked. Chapter, 47 All Blue Star, what a joke. Everyone thought Yi Xiaotian's idea was too crazy. There are more than 100 training camps in the whole Blue Star, and there are countless masters protecting them. How could they be attacked comprehensively? How many people would be sent? Let's not talk about the alien races. Do the heretic organizations have so many people? Under the suppression of human awakeners, the heretic organizations have suffered heavy losses in recent years. Especially after driving the alien races back to the alien space plane, the heretic organizations have faced the human races high level directly. Today's heretic organizations, whether in terms of manpower or the number of masters, are incomparable. In the human world, they can only survive in the dark. Now Yi Xiaotian said that the heretic organizations would attack all the training camps, and they naturally didn't believe it. Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian, there are so many training camps in the world, they should not have such big ambitions. If it's just a heretic organization, then of course there's no such big ambition, but it's different with the addition of Haokin God. Yi Xiaotian reminded. Yes, how could we forget about the great god Haokin? Han Xuyao smiled, what brother Tian said made sense. In other words, their target is the great god Haotian? Chang Xiaosi asked. It must be. Apart from the great god Haotian, no one else can make the alien race so ostentatious. Wang Hao made his own judgment decisively. Yi Xiaotian nodded and didn't say much. Some things, he just needs to know in his heart. For example, the great god Haotian did not appear in the training camp. This secret is probably only known to some high-level people. After all, when Haotian appeared in the reincarnation world, what the freshmen in so many training camps around the world were doing was only known by the high-level people. Even if ordinary people knew that the great god Haotian appeared in the reincarnation world, they could not be sure whether this person entered the reincarnation world in the training camp. Below, a large group of alien beasts rushed past, and the big trees were knocked down wherever they passed. Seeing this, several people felt bitter in their hearts, and they all hoped that the big tree they were standing on would not be broken. Everyone, be prepared. If this tree is broken, everyone should jump to the nearest tree. Yi Xiaotian reminded. He didn't think that his luck would be so good that he could choose a tree that would be spared from the impact of the beast. Sure enough, after a while, a huge beast rushed towards the tree where they were standing. Yi Xiaotian decisively hugged Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan's waists, exerted force with his feet, and jumped towards the tree more than ten meters away from them. As for Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi, with their strength attributes, it was no problem at all. It was just a bit difficult for them to lead people. Han Xuyao was fine, but Mu Bingyan was a little embarrassed. The waist of a girl is a sensitive area. If it weren't for the special situation, Mu Bingyan would have used a freezing spell to hit her when she was hugged by a strange man like this. But now, she was taken advantage of by someone, and she still had to thank him for saving her life. Yes, for her, this was a life-saving grace. Otherwise, if they fall into the frontal group of alien beasts, they will die. I don't know what happened to the other students. Han Xuyao suddenly said. Yi Xiaotian said, don't worry, they are all smart people and know how to avoid it. What should we do now? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, 
hide here. If we hide here, shouldn't we hurry back to the base? Mu Bing Yan couldn't help but question. Yi Xiaotian said, do you think it's normal that no instructors have come yet? You mean, the base has also been attacked? Mu Bing Yan reacted. The aliens are targeting the talented freshmen in the training camp, but if they let those instructors come to rescue, then their goal cannot be achieved. So the only way is to delay the instructors and then let the alien beasts attack the freshmen. After listening to Yi Xiaotian's analysis, several people couldn't help but take a breath. Mu Bingyan had to admit that Yi Xiaotian's analysis was correct. The only explanation for the fact that those instructors haven't come yet is that an accident has occurred. I'm afraid that the instructors hiding in this training ground, ready to rescue their students at any time, have also met with an accident. This time, the alien race and the heretic organization really came prepared, and they didn't receive any news before. If it's really as Yi Xiaotian guessed. How did they manage to keep all the news from being leaked in such a large operation? There are more than 100 training camps around the world, and at least thousands of people have been dispatched. With such a large manpower mobilization, the human high-level officials didn't receive any news at all. This is unscientific. How come we didn't receive any news? Han Xuyao asked this question for her. Everyone looked at Yi Xiaotian. This guy is handsome, and his body is floating, but his brain is also quite good. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but smile bitterly and said, Do you really think I'm a prophet? How can I know such a thing? Would you analyze it first? Express your opinion, and we'll talk about whether it's right or not. Han Xuyao said with encouragement. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian actually has such talent. He will be the leader of the team in the future. Originally, she should be the leader, but Miss Han has always been unwilling to use her brain. Now Yi Xiaotian can take over this important task, which is great. I guess the human leaders did not fail to receive the news, but they also expected this scene, but there was an accident. Yi Xiaotian tried to analyze. Accident? What accident? Mu Bingyan felt that Yi Xiaotian's analysis made sense. It is impossible that such a large personnel transfer would not be noticed at all. The only explanation is to play dumb. Yi Xiaotian said, I don't know the details, I'm just guessing. It should be that the human leaders did not expect that the aliens would have such a big appetite this time. You mean, the human leaders guessed that the aliens would take action, but did not expect the coverage to be so wide? Mu Bingyan asked. Yi Xiaotian said, it should be like this. Even our 101 district was attacked, not to mention other districts. Everyone was silent after hearing this. Yes, the 101 district is considered the bottom district. Even such a district is not spared. There is no need to say what the aliens are thinking. This is really a huge hand. Then can we only hide here now? Chang Xiaoxi said unwillingly. What do you want to do? Wang Hao cooperated. Chang Xiaoxi said, We have finally won the opportunity, so are we going to waste it on this big tree? But now the monsters in the entire training ground are rioting, and we don't know how many monsters have come in from outside, and we don't know how strong they are. It's very dangerous to go down now. Han Xuyao advised. Yi Xiaotian also said, yes, now it's very dangerous whether we go down to hunt or go back to the training base. But in comparison, it's safer to stay here. Why? Wang Hao took advantage of asking questions when he didn't understand. Think about the strength of those instructors, and the strength of the enemy to contain them. The battle between them, a little fluctuation of breath is enough for us to drink a pot. So it's better to stay here honestly. Chapter 48 Everyone felt that what Yi Xiaotian said made sense. It would be better if the masters competed with each other. Now it's a war between two races, and they don't take into account the fluctuations of the aura at all, so they naturally open up and close up. If they are so transparent and participate in that kind of battle now, it will definitely bring disaster to Qiyu. But is it really safe to stay here? Mu Bingyan felt that it was not that safe to stay here. Of course there is no absolute safety, but by staying here, we have more room for change. Yi Xiaotian said. 
It is impossible for a strong alien beast to mobilize a large force, otherwise it will definitely alarm the top brass of the human race. So I guess that those who deal with us freshmen should be low-level alien beasts. And those who deal with the instructors should be the masters of the heretical organization. Han Xuyao said, I think what Brother Tian said makes sense. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes. Anyway, as long as Yi Xiao Tian said it, you would think it makes sense. Wherever the alien beasts passed, they were devastated. Fortunately, the big tree they are standing on has been preserved. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief and the crisis was over for the time being. Ah! Help! Just when they were breathing a sigh of relief, a voice calling for help came. Yi Xiao Tian looked up and saw a fat man holding a staff in his hand, walking through the forest. It's just that the vegetation in this area has been washed away by the alien beasts, so they can only rely on walking around the big trees to avoid the pursuit of the alien beasts behind them. He's a student from the training camp. Do you want to save him? Wang Hao asked. Behind that student was a blue light mantis, but this green light mantis was obviously much stronger than the ones they had encountered before. Is this a D-level blue light mantis? Chang Xiaoxi murmured. What should I do? Wang Hao asked anxiously. The fat man in front is about to be caught up. It's just that the fat man is so fast, he can't even catch up with the green light mantis. He is definitely a flexible fat guy. There's something wrong with this fat man. Yi Xiao Tian said. What do you mean? Is he also from a heretical organization? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiao Tian said angrily, What are you talking about? He may have the innate skill of acceleration. You said he was an assistant. Wang Hao understood a little bit. You stay here, I'll go down and rescue him. Yi Xiao Tian said. Every auxiliary superpower is very precious, so this fat man must be saved. But this is a D level blue light mantis. Although Yi Xiao Tian had killed the E level blue light mantis with one blow before. However, the difference in strength between E class and D class is more than double. Han Xu Yao was anxious and held Yi Xiao Tian's hand without letting go. Although it is right to save people, you must do so within your ability. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay. I have a sense of propriety, you wait here, I will come as soon as I go. While saving Fatty, Yi Xiao Tian also took a fancy to the speed talent of Qingguang Mantis. None of the blue light mantises I killed before dropped this talent. I wonder if this D-level green light mantis will drop it. My current label is Min Zhan, so I will implement this to the end. Maybe if you find an opportunity, you can expose your dual talents to the outside world. He took the opportunity to ask Han Xuyao. There are dual talents, but they are very rare. The rarity of dual talent awakeners is similar to that of SS level talent awakeners. At this level, Yi Xiao Tian doesn't have to worry at all. After comforting Han Xuyao, Yi Xiao Tian jumped up and landed on the ground. When the fat man in front saw that there was someone there, he quickly said, Classmate, help me. Fatty's speed increased a lot again and he was already in front of Yi Xiao Tian in a few flashes. Yi Xiao Tian said to wait here, and he raised his knife to kill the green light mantis. Fatty was a little shocked when he saw that Yi Xiao Tian was so ferocious. Damn it, have you met a fool? The D-level green light mantis didn't want to lure this monster elsewhere, but he actually killed it head on. Brother, are you here to be funny? Fortunately, the fat man was not a bad person. He did not run away immediately. Instead, he raised his staff and a ray of light fell on Yi Xiao Tian. In an instant, Yi Xiao Tian felt that his speed had increased several times. This fat man, no wonder he is so fast, he is indeed an auxiliary skill. Click. Yi Xiao Tian slashed at the green light mantis's leg blade, cutting off one of its legs. He moved his body slightly to avoid the attack of the green light mantis. The fat man's eyes almost popped out of his head. This classmate is amazing. Although his power increase is very impressive, it also depends on who he puts it on. Judging from Yi Xiaotian's appearance, he is obviously a warrior. His agility is only a dozen points at most, or even none at all. Even with the blessing of his skills, it cannot be compared with the green light mantis. 
But now Yi Xiaotian has surpassed the speed of Qingguan Mantis, which shows that Yi Xiaotian's agility is at least 30 points. A warrior, at this stage, has increased his agility to more than 30 points. Is there something wrong with his brain? The green light mantis roared again and again, but there was nothing he could do. After a few rounds, all of his foot knives were chopped off by Yi Xiaotian. The last blow ended the life of Qingguang Mantis. He put the body of the green light mantis into the space backpack, and then walked up to the fat man. At this time, the fat man was completely sluggish. The green light mantis that chased him for more than 10 miles was killed like this, so neatly. This green light mantis destroyed his entire team. If it weren't for the agility attribute he added himself, and the superpower amplification, he would have died long ago. Brother, you are so awesome. The fat man came back to his senses and said excitedly. Seeing that the fat man didn't run away by himself, Yi Xiaotian felt a little strange and said, why didn't you run away just now? But the fat man patted his chest and said, you came to save me. If I ran away, it would be too shameless. I, Huang Jia, am not that kind of person. Yi Xiaotian was noncommittal. Just now, he asked the fat man to stand there, really intending to test his character. After all, the current training ground is no better than before. It is very dangerous now. He doesn't want to lead a teammate who has no character and may even stab him in the back at any time. Where are your teammates? Yi Xiaotian asked. The smile on the face of the fat man Huang Jia disappeared and dimmed, and he said, they are all dead. They died under the knife of the green light mantis. I want to save them, but there is nothing I can do. It is indeed not that easy to save people from the D-level blue light mantis. Nowadays, the prodigies of geniuses generally only have F-level strength, which is incomparable. Okay, I'll take you to a place and let's discuss first how to go next. Yi Xiaotian said, grabbing the fat man Huang Jia and jumping a few times, he reached the top of the tree. Chapter 49 This time, I killed the D-level blue mantis with my sword, and finally got the talent that increased speed. And it was the D-level swiftness, talent. Although the level was very low, it didn't matter. As long as there was life essence, even the lowest talent could be upgraded. I was afraid that if I didn't have this talent, there would be no other way. Yi Xiaotian had always wanted to get an auxiliary talent so that he could learn various auxiliary abilities. The rules of this world are like this. Only if you have this talent can you learn this kind of skills. In other words, only the skills you learn can be effective. For example, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, although they are psychics, their talents are all attacking. Let them learn auxiliary skills, it's okay. But they can't be effective. That's why auxiliary talents are precious. Talent is supreme, it's not just talk. Yi Xiaotian looked at his talent column. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Diamond Body Protection D-Level, Berserker C-Level, Bull Demon Power D-Level, Strength F-Level, Swiftness D-Level. Unconsciously, he already has six talents, although except for the main talent, the other talent grades are all below C-Level. But just relying on this number, it can scare a group of people to death. He took another look at the other data. For Attributes, Constitution 1523, Strength 1602, Spirit 1514, Agility 1531. Among the freshmen, it is definitely a crushing existence. There is nothing to say about skills and equipment, it is still the same as before, Yi Xiaotian did not make any changes. The combination between skills and equipment is not that simple, so he wants to make a decision after learning more. Then there are life essence and reincarnation points. Life essence, 711,900 points. Reincarnation points, 733,900 points. It exploded. Once all these are realized, his strength will have a qualitative leap. But don't be in a hurry. To maximize the benefits of life essence and reincarnation points, he still needs to learn more. And his awakener level has also been upgraded to sea level. However, among sea level awakeners, it is considered to be the initial stage. Awakener level, sea level beginning. Yi Xiaotian is still very satisfied with his gains in the past few days. 
While other students' main attributes are still struggling with dozens of points, his four peripheral attributes have already exceeded 1,500 points. Don't be in a hurry, wait a little longer, the auxiliary talent is waving to you. I am Huang Jie, meet all the classmates. The fat man is very sensible, and he greeted them with various fists. Fatty, you are quite flexible. Wang Hao suddenly said. Huang Jie saw Wang Hao's iron tower-like body and said enviously, Brother Hao is too kind, Brother Hao is a real man. You are very good at talking, you can say more. Wang Hao suddenly said this, making Huang Jia a little speechless. He then said, Actually, I used to be very thin. People said I was like a bamboo pole that would fall down when the wind blew, so I wanted to make myself stronger. But being fat doesn't mean being strong. Wang Hao added. Fatty Huang Jia. He looked at Wang Hao's body and swallowed his saliva. Wang Hao was frightened by his eyes, and covered himself with his hands, saying, Fatty, I warn you, stay away from me, or I'll make you look bad. Okay, stop joking, let's talk about what's next. Yi Xiao Tian reminded everyone. By the way, Fatty Huang, have you met any classmates on your way here? Yi Xiao Tian asked Huang Jie. Huang Jie shook his head and said, No, I haven't seen anything except a mess on my way here, but there are a lot of bloodstains. As for whether these bloodstains are from alien beasts or humans, I don't know. Everyone was silent for a while. If they said that these bloodstains were all from alien beasts, no one would believe it. It is estimated that many students died under the crazy iron hoofs of the alien beasts during this riot. This group of damn heretics. Han Shuyao cursed angrily. She is a person who dares to love and hate. Heresy. Fatty Huang was a little confused. Wasn't it a riot of alien beasts in the training ground? How did it have to do with heretics again? Yi Xiaotian explained, Huang Jie, according to our speculation, this action should be launched by the heretic organization at the instruction of the alien race. After listening to Yi Xiaotian's explanation, Huang Jie also agreed with Yi Xiaotian's speculation. It is reasonable and well-founded. The key is that up to now, the instructors at the training base have not made any movement, which itself explains the problem. What should we do now? Are we dead? If this is really a large-scale action of the alien race, the hope of survival for these rookies is almost zero. It is a danger, but also an opportunity. Yi Xiaotian said lightly. This is already a matter of urgency, what opportunities are there? Huang Jia looked anxious. Shut up, don't interrupt my brother Tian. Han Shuyao scolded. Huang Jie decisively shut up. At this time, the fat man had no right to speak. He remembered that this strange team, two C-level talents, brought three beauties, well, two top beauties. Such a combination is definitely very eye-catching. Countless boys are eager to kill Yi Xiao Tian. I just didn't expect that those boys with bad intentions died so many times, but Yi Xiao Tian was still alive. And he just saved him. The most outrageous thing was that he actually killed a D-level Blue Mantis in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Is this a C-level talent? Are you kidding me? Huang Jie didn't believe it at all. This guy is hiding too deep. In addition to the superficial C-level talent, he must have hidden other higher-level talents. Thinking of this, Huang Jie's eyes were fixed on Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian himself didn't feel anything, but Han Shuyao didn't want to. Fat Huang, why are you looking at my brother Tian like this? Han Shuyao looked like she was protecting her child, with murderous intent in her eyes. Huang Jia was smart all over, nothing, I just think brother Tian is very good and powerful. You still have to say this, don't look at brother Tian with that kind of eyes, understand? Han Shuyao warned. Huang Jie quickly lowered his head and showed his determination with practical actions. Han Shuyao was immediately satisfied and said to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, please continue. Mu Binyan's mouth twitched constantly, which was really a learning experience. Chang Xiaoxi was no longer surprised. As for Wang Hao, he thought it was normal. Although there are countless strange beasts in the training ground now, and they are even stronger, if we can kill all of them, how much will we gain? 
Yi Xiao Tian reminded. But Brother Tian, is our team really strong enough? Han Xuyao said worriedly. Yi Xiao Tian pointed at Huang Jia and said, It didn't work before, but now we have Fatty Huang to assist us, I think it's okay. As long as we don't encounter the beast tide riots like before, there will be no danger. Chapter, 50 Chang Xiaoxi wanted to criticize Yi Xiao Tian for bragging, but when she thought about how Yi Xiao Tian had killed a D-level blue mantis with a knife under the blessing of Huang Jie's innate skills, she shut up obediently. I agree with this. Han Xuyao was the first to support Yi Xiaotian's proposal. Wang Hao did not hesitate and directly expressed his decision to agree. Chang Xiaoxi just hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Mu Bingyan did not speak, but her silence represented her opinion. The fat man Huang Jie was shocked. What kind of freaks are there in this team? Such a dangerous thing was decided so easily. However, after receiving Han Xuyao's sharp eyes, the fat man said with awareness, I agree too. Okay, let's go. Yi Xiaotian took Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan down the tree. Chang Xiaoxi also jumped down by herself. The fat man Huang Jie cried immediately and said, I can't get down. Wang Hao grabbed his neck and jumped down with him. After landing, Huang Jie looked at Wang Hao with resentment. He looked at Yi Xiaotian's actions just now, and then looked at Wang Hao, who simply wanted to kill people. He was actually lifted down from the tree by his neck. It was so embarrassing. Huang Fatty, introduce your talent skills. Yi Xiaotian said. I have a talent for agility, and my skills can only increase my agility three times for the time being. Huang Jie said. It actually increased my agility three times. No wonder Yi Xiaotian was so much faster when he fought the Green Mantis before. Others said silently in their hearts. They all knew that Yi Xiaotian was a quick fighter. His agility was originally high. With a threefold increase, his agility attribute was estimated to exceed that of the Green Mantis. With such an advantage, plus the D-level battle knife in his hand, it seemed that it would not be surprising for him to kill a D-level Green Mantis. That's great. Now I don't have to worry about not being able to hit an agile beast. Wang Hao was the first to get excited. The feeling of hitting the air before was really bad. The speed difference is too big. Even if the power is strong, it can only hit the air. So at this time, the importance of auxiliary psychics is reflected. It's a pity that Huang Jie is just an agility auxiliary. If he is more comprehensive, their team will be perfect. Which direction should we go next? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian pointed to the depths of the training ground and said, over there. Shouldn't we go in the direction of the training camp base? Huang Jie questioned. Shut up, don't question brother Tian's words. Han Xuyao scolded. Huang Jie looked aggrieved. Can we still be friends happily? He doesn't even let people talk. Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao looked like they were just as expected. Mu Bingyan's expression was a little stiff. Although she had experienced it many times, she was still not used to it. Han Xuyao's behavior was too embarrassing for them. Even if Yi Xiaotian was a handsome guy, even if Yi Xiaotian was strong, even if he saved himself. Well, thinking about it this way, Yi Xiaotian is really excellent. Sure enough, no matter how beautiful a woman is, she will succumb to talent. Mu Binyan felt that Han Xuyao had good taste. Yi Xiaotian was definitely not as ordinary as he seemed on the surface. His talent was definitely not just sea level frenzy, he must have hidden something. Or he was the legendary dual talented person. Thinking that Yi Xiaotian was very likely to be a dual talented person, and his hidden talent might be high quality, Mu Bingyan's eyes changed when she looked at Yi Xiaotian. She also had more envy for Han Xuyao. Although this was just a guess, she was almost 90% sure. Otherwise, even if Yi Xiaotian had Haotian leading the team to brush the dungeon, he would not be so strong. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi also followed Haotian to brush the team dungeon, and they were not as strong as Yi Xiaotian. He could even kill D-level monsters. Although Huang Jie contributed partly to this, it also proved that Yi Xiaotian was strong enough. 
Otherwise, it would be useless for a D-level monster to stand there and let you chop it. Only the confidence brought by his strong strength can make such a suggestion. Otherwise, he would be playing with the lives of Han Xuyao and Wang Hao. After this period of time, Mu Bingyan didn't think he was such a person. So Mu Bingyan naturally agreed to Yi Xiaotian's proposal. Huang Jia, the little fat man, sadly found that he was the only one who raised objections in the team of six. Are they all a bunch of lunatics? At this time, instead of returning to the training base to avoid disaster, he actually thought about the reverse operation. Are you so keen on seeking death? Five to one, directly crushed the little fat man. The little fat man himself didn't have the courage to go back to the training base alone, so he could only act with Yi Xiaotian and others. But then, the operation of Yi Xiaotian and his team made the little fat man stunned. It seems too easy to kill monsters, right? The team he was in before was very difficult to kill even if it encountered an F-level monster. The physical defense of the monster is very strong, even if they are equipped with weapons. But the main attribute is too weak, no matter how sharp the weapon is, it can't cause much damage. But when it comes to Yi Xiaotian and his men, these strange beasts are killed with one sword. Even if they encounter a group of strange beasts, they can be killed in a short time. Of course, he also contributed to this. The speed increase of several times completely released the attack power of Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. The attack speed and movement speed of the shield warrior were originally weaknesses. The appearance of the little fat man helped them solve this problem. In addition, the attack speed of Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan's abilities was greatly improved, and the monsters had no time to dodge. This greatly increased the overall damage of the team. As for Yi Xiaotian, in the eyes of the little fat man, he could be described as a ghost. He was erratic and you couldn't lock his figure at all. After several battles, the little fat man finally understood why the other members of the team unconditionally agreed to Yi Xiaotian's proposal. After several battles, he also received several attribute rewards, and almost laughed his mouth off. It's only been more than an hour. You know, they didn't even get a hair in the previous two or three hours. But the number of monsters killed is not at the same level. Take a rest first, and then continue to move forward. Yi Xiaotian saw that Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were a little tired, and said quickly. Then he took out some water and handed it to Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao smiled sweetly, took the water and drank it, drinking it a little too fast, and the water flowed down the corners of her mouth. Yi Xiaotian quickly took out a tissue to help her wipe it. Chang Xiaoxi looked away, it was time to eat dog food, if she continued to eat, she would be stuffed to death. Wang Hao was very indifferent, he was already immune to this. Mu Bingyan's movements froze, and a trace of envy flashed in the depths of her eyes. The fat man Huang Jia was stunned, and his good mood just now disappeared instantly. This team is good, but there is too much dog food, it's a bit full. These two guys, showing off their dog food is not appropriate for the occasion, so annoying. Chapter, 51 As soon as they took a drink of water, everyone was awakened by a burst of movement. Lu He The little fat man Ning Jia exclaimed. Yi Xiaotian said in confusion, what Luha? Looking at the strange beast, it was indeed a bit strange. It had the body of a deer, the head of a crane, and a pair of wings on its back. It's really amazing. It's still a sea level Luha, now we are dead. The little fat man Huang Jia almost cried. They were just glad to have joined Yi Xiaotian's team and gained a few attribute points, but in the blink of an eye, they had reached a dead end. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi didn't have time to drink water, so they quickly activated their natural skills and started to push forward. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan also became nervous, picking up their staffs and preparing to cast spells. I'll do it. Yi Xiaotian pressed Han Xuyao's hand and said softly. Are you okay? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, men can't say no. I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing. Han Xuyao immediately apologized. Yi Xiaotian touched her head and said, It's okay. I'll be right back. Do you really want to be alone? Mu Bingyan couldn't help but said. Yi Xiaotian said, 
didn't you see it when I killed the D-class blue light mantis before? But this is a sea level beast. Mu Bing Yen said angrily, can the two be compared? Yi Xiao Tian said, it's all the same to me. As long as his speed is not faster than mine, I can kill him. Fatty Huang, remember to give me your talent skills later. Huang Jie said quickly, no problem, I will bless you now. A ray of light emitted from Huang Jie's staff and fell on Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian felt that his agility attribute had indeed been enhanced three times, reaching nearly five, zero, zero points. If you activate the D-level Swift, talent you just obtained, you can also increase a lot of agility attributes. It should be no problem to deal with this dear crane. Besides, you can also strengthen your talents. This should be considered deep in the training ground. Luha is an auxiliary beast. Its appearance here should be related to the previous beast wave. In other words, it was it that started the beast tide. Moreover, those alien beasts that launched the beast tide may have been blessed with innate skills by it. Yi Xiao Tian likes the auxiliary talents and skills the most. So he will definitely kill this deer and crane. If you kill this deer crane with your own hands, there is still a high probability that the opponent's talent will drop. So far, one of the reasons why Yi Xiao Tian has not strengthened so many talents is that he has not determined what his second main talent is. Mu Bingyan and Chang Xiaoxi guessed that he was a dual talented person, and he just happened to think of this method. Hao Tian's identity cannot be exposed, but there is no problem for dual talented people. When the time comes to get an S level or SS level talent, you can be considered a genius. So he kept waiting. When his second talent appears, the second reason is naturally to save more life essence. Don't determine the second talent when the time comes, but don't have enough life essence to strengthen it. That would be too embarrassing. After all, if you want to get the treatment of a genius and get into a good awakened university, it is impossible to have a low-grade talent. The boss needed to solve this problem before, but now this dear crane comes to your door by himself, which is great. When Lu he saw Yi Xiao Tian coming forward, he snorted contemptuously. He was dismissive of these little human beings in front of him. He didn't even give himself any natural skills. He had already thought about it. When Yi Xiao Tian rushed in front of him, he would just give him a hoof. It is too easy for a dignified sea level powerhouse to deal with the new awakened human beings. Damn it! Suddenly, this sentence flashed in Luha's mind. Just when Yi Xiao Tian was about 50 meters away from him, he suddenly lost sight of him. When he saw Yi Xiao Tian again, his head was in a different place. His head fell to the ground, and when he looked up, he saw Yi Xiao Tian's expressionless face, his cold eyes, and the bloody sword in his hand. Then darkness invades forever. Careless. So sloppy. Yi Xiao Tian put away the knife, checked the harvest, and suddenly showed a satisfied smile. Sure enough, his guess was right. The higher the level of the beast, the greater the probability of it falling. Talent, Deer and Crane's Blessing S Level Description, use the talent skill Leheziu to provide your teammates with a specified attribute blessing of physical fitness, strength, spirit, and agility. The multiplier of the blessing depends on the talent level. After Yi Xiao Tian read Lu Hezhiyo's talent introduction, these two words popped up in his mind crazily. The talent level is directly S Level, which saves him a huge amount of life essence. You must know that with the strengthening of talents, the life essence consumed at each level increases tenfold. It takes 100 points of life essence to enhance an F-level talent to an E-level talent, but it costs 1,00 points of life essence to enhance an E-level talent to a D-level talent. And so on. Therefore, he really doesn't have much life essence in him, and he can't even strengthen an A-level talent. Now it's okay, it's directly the S-level auxiliary talent deer and crane's blessing, and I've made a lot of money. Moreover, this attribute talent blessing can also specify one type, which is really incredible. But how could a Luha with such a talent level come here to die? Are you here to pick up cheap gold plating? It's a pity that it can't provide physical and mental recovery, which is a bit regrettable. Yi Xiao Tian laughed dumbly, a little too greedy. Such a talent is already amazing enough, and he should be content. 
Then Yi Xiao Tian looked at other data again. When he saw the increase in life essence, he was shocked again. The life essence actually increased by one million. Damn, is this serious? He already knew that the amount of life essence dropped by the beast was related to the talent grade, but he didn't expect that an S-level talent beast would directly drop one million life essence. In this way, as long as eight more S-level talent beasts are killed, Dear Crane Blessing, can be strengthened to SS level. But this S level talent beast is hard to come by. Yi Xiao Tian himself is also very clear that S level talent beasts are unlikely to set foot on Blue Star before their strength is high. It's like the S level talent of the human race, who is still only the strength of a C level awakener, ran to the alien space plane. It's a rhythm of committing suicide. It's a blessing to meet this dear crane. Brother Tian, what's wrong? Han Xuyao saw Yi Xiao Tian standing there motionless after killing the deer crane with a knife. She was worried about any accidents and hurried over. The other people also woke up from their shock and followed. Yi Xiao Tian, tell us honestly, are you a dual talented person? Mu Bingyan was young after all, and couldn't hide things in her heart. She asked directly the doubts in her heart. Chapter 52 Dual Talents Huang Jia also exclaimed. Thinking about it carefully, it seems that there is only this explanation. Otherwise, sea level talents really cannot be explained. Now even Han Xuyao and Wang Hao are a little suspicious. Could it be that Yi Xiaotian is really a dual talented person? To say that they also went to the dungeon with Hao Tian and got the reincarnation points they deserved. But the strength is not comparable to Yi Xiaotian. Not to mention Chang Xiaosi, she started to doubt before. Han Xuyao is an S-level talent, but facing a C-level alien beast, she really has no confidence. Not to mention that this Luha is still the best among C-level alien beasts. But even such a powerful alien beast was killed by Yi Xiao Tian with a knife. It is indeed a bit too strong. Wang Hao was a little confused. He had never thought about this question. Han Xuyao whispered, Brother Tian, are you really a dual talented person? Her intuition told her that Yi Xiao Tian was indeed hiding something, but she had never asked about it. Now Mu Bingyan helped her. Yi Xiao Tian said helplessly, I originally wanted to get along with you as an ordinary person, but what I got in return was alienation. Okay, I won't pretend anymore. I'm going to show my cards. I am a dual talent awakener. Really, Brother Tian, you are so awesome. What is your other talent? Han Xuyao jumped up. Wang Hao was a little confused. Is this true or not? Things seem to be a little wrong. Did he get the wrong script? Little fatty Huang Jia was relieved. This is right. If they were really crushed by a C-level talent, then these so-called geniuses would be too useless. Little fatty Huang Jia released his thoughts and said, if I'm not wrong, your other talent should be auxiliary. Very good, give a thumbs up to the god of assists. How did you know? Wang Hao was unconvinced. The little fat man said confidently, this is actually very simple. After all, at this stage, everyone's attributes are all known. But how can he, as a freshman, be so much stronger than everyone else? There is only one explanation, that is, he is a support system, which can greatly increase his physical attributes, just like my talent. But I guess the captain's talent should increase strength. Mu Bingyan listened to the little fat man's analysis and nodded continuously. At this moment, the little fat man's thinking was very clear. The analysis makes a lot of sense. Is it really like this? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian quickly. And Yi Xiao Tian also cooperated at this time and put on a look of little fat man, how can you be so smart? Huang Jie saw Yi Xiaotian's expression and felt comfortable immediately. It was not beyond my expectations. Huang Jie guessed well. Yi Xiaotian sighed. Only Mu Bingyan saw Yi Xiaotian and the little fat man singing the same tune, and always felt that something was wrong. It seemed that Yi Xiaotian had not completely told the truth. It's really the auxiliary system. Oh my god! Brother Tian, I love you so much. Wang Hao exclaimed and was about to hug Yi Xiao Tian. 
Han Xuyao used her staff to push him and warned, Wang Hao, I'll give you a chance to reorganize your words. Wang Hao saw Han Xuyao was angry, and said with embarrassment, Sister-in-law, don't get me wrong. Brother Tian and I are brothers. Han Xuyao smiled sweetly and said, You can talk. Everyone present. People say it. What grade is your auxiliary talent? Chang Xiaoxi asked impatiently. S level. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it, but still didn't say SS level. After all, the importance of auxiliary system talents is higher than that of other systems his S level Leheziu can be equal to the SS level talents of other systems. If he said that he was an SS level auxiliary system, it would probably be a lot of trouble. What kind of gun shoots the bird that sticks out? What kind of tree that stands out in the forest will be blown by the wind, it's the most annoying. Making a fortune in silence is Yi Xiaotian's principle. It's a pity that your talent is to increase strength. It would be better if you could increase the spiritual attribute. Han Xuyao was a little unhappy. Her brother Tian is a support system, but she can't bless her with talent skills. It's so depressing. Yi Xiaotian said in a calm voice, in fact, my talent skill increases not only the strength attribute, but also specifies one of the four attributes. What? Huang Jie screamed. Are you serious? Even Mu Bingyan was a little out of control. It was too terrible to be able to increase the attribute. Huang Jie can only increase agility, which is already very good. After all, agility is an indispensable attribute for every awakener. After all, this is the only attribute of attack speed and action speed, whether it is a warrior or a psychic, it needs it. But obviously, compared with the agility attribute, Yi Xiaotian's talent that can increase four attributes is much better. It can even be said that it completely crushes Huang Jie's talent. Although both are S-grade, Huang Jie's talent is not even worthy of Yi Xiaotian's talent. No wonder. Mu Bingyan came back to her senses, and this could explain it. Unfortunately, my talent skill cannot restore physical strength and telekinesis, and I don't have extra points to learn this skill. Yi Xiao Tian sighed and said. Everyone present almost vomited blood, this pretentious, absolutely perfect. Awesome. Wang Hao said. I would like to call you the strongest. Said the little fat man Huang Jia. Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian, don't worry, I will ask my dad to buy you a book when I go back. Chang Xiaoxi stroked his forehead and said, Miss Han, do you think auxiliary skills are cabbage? This is a skill that can't be bought with money. Han Xuyao said, It's okay, there will always be one, at worst, let my dad go and beg him. Chang Xiaoxi. You really don't think your dad is embarrassing. But now Chang Xiaoxi has nothing to say to Yi Xiaotian. Originally thought that there would be no result between them, but now I find that it is still her best friend who has vision. She always said that handsome people must have good luck. Now it seems that this sentence still makes sense. No one thought that Yi Xiaotian would be a dual talent awakener. And he also hit an S-level auxiliary talent. Moreover, the importance of this S-level auxiliary talent is definitely no less than that of the SS level. If it was said that Yi Xiaotian was trying to climb up to Han Xuyao before, it is estimated that it will be reversed now. Brother Tian, you should have said it earlier. With such a talent, we can definitely kill anyone who stands in our way. Wang Hao complained. Mu Bingyan and Chang Xiaoxi both nodded in agreement. Yi Xiaotian said, I didn't say it before because I didn't want to cause trouble for myself, but now we have to seize the opportunity and kill more monsters. And there is no need to hide it from you, but you have to keep it a secret for me. I don't want to cause trouble for myself. Chapter, 53 Everyone was touched by Yi Xiaotian's trust. Especially the little fat guy Huang Jie. Not long after we met, Yi Xiaotian was willing to share his secret with him. I was really touched. He vowed to live up to Yi Xiaotian's trust. Little did he know that all this was planned by Yi Xiaotian. With Yi Xiaotian, a powerful support system, their team will have more confidence. This is not Huang Jie's single-line support, Yi Xiaotian's full-line support. You can enhance whatever attributes you want. 
Although this increase has a time limit, it doesn't matter. You can continue to add blessings when the time is up. But the combat effectiveness of their team can increase several times in an instant. If coupled with the agility talent of little fat man Huang Jia, this multiple can be increased even higher. It's enough for the training ground. So everyone's confidence has greatly increased. The little fat man Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, give me strength, I will fight too. Little fat man, you are a person with superpowers. You are blessed with power. Do you know what power is? Wang Hao said angrily. The fighting methods of warriors and superpowers are completely different. If you don't have skills, how can you chop and knock them with a staff? Whether you are a warrior or a person with special abilities, when you choose a profession, you will have matching talents and skills. No need to think about it, the little fat man must have chosen speed boosting skills. If he learns the combat skills of a superpower, he can also cast his skills from a distance. As for the warrior's battle, he was not able to participate in it at all. Hearing this, the little fat man said coquettishly, the main reason is that I just watched Brother Tian's battle and thought it was very cool. Brother Tian, you should give me some mental attributes. I also learned attack skills. Although they are only the lowest level, they can still be used. Please help. Fat man, I think you should save your mental power to increase our speed. Fighting is not something you can participate in as an assistant. Wang Hao advised. Huang Jia said persistently, No, I want to fight. Fighting makes me grow. Seeing that this guy didn't listen, Wang Hao was about to take action, but was stopped by Yi Xiao Tian, saying, Little fatty, just listen to fatty. We haven't learned recovery skills yet, so we have to use our mental power sparingly. Our two talents and skills can be used together to achieve the greatest effect. The main attribute can greatly increase attack power, while the increase in speed can increase attack speed. But Yi Xiao Tian can only increase one of the four attributes, unless he can learn more other talents and skills. Yi Xiao Tian is planning to enter the reincarnation tower to learn more auxiliary skills after returning. Anyway, he still has millions of reincarnation points, and it's time to put them to use. I originally wanted to save points so I could buy artifacts in the future. Now that I think about it, this idea is a bit naive. Forget about artifacts or anything like that, let's improve our shortcomings first and maximize our strength. It's just that the variables here are too big, so Yi Xiao Tian doesn't dare to let the Haokian leave. If it weren't for the purpose of keeping the second soul secret, he would have used the talent deer and crane blessing, skill on two numbers, plus the little fat man's agility increase. There are no shortcomings in any profession. This is very good, I can try it when I don't have to keep it secret in the future. Or you can try it in the reincarnation copy. Brother Tian, where are you going next? Han Shuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian after adding talent. Next, we can head towards the training base. Yi Xiao Tian said. It seemed to him that he was now ready. Most of the strange beasts are now distributed around the training base, and it's just time to go and clean them up. The group of people headed towards the training base. The previous beast wave started from the deepest part of the training ground, basically where Shikaku was standing just now. Wherever it passed, there was almost no grass left. The training camp students who encountered the beast tide were either killed directly, or, like Yi Xiao Tian and others, they hid without being discovered. But judging from what Fatty said before, the casualties were probably quite heavy. As they walked past, in addition to the mess, they could also see blood stains on the ground from time to time. The strong smell of blood assaulted his nostrils. Yi Xiao Tian and the others felt very heavy. These are the awakened seeds of mankind. As long as they grow up in the future, they can grow into mainstays. But now, he died here like this. You know, those who come to this training camp are at least A-level talents. Well, he and Wang Hao were purely accidental. Even though he didn't know whether the Lin Hai brothers were dead or not, Yi Xiao Tian didn't know whether he wanted them to die or live. Xu Yao Just when Yi Xiao Tian was thinking this, a familiar voice suddenly sounded next to him. Then he saw Lin Hai walking out from behind the hill next to him in a state of embarrassment. Boom! 
Lin Hai ran towards Han Shuyao and was kicked away by Wang Hao. You are so stupid, you still want to take advantage of Han Shuyao. But this guy is not dead. Lin Hai woke up from the pain and looked at Yi Xiaotian next to Han Shuyao and Wang Hao, who was eyeing him covetously. Immediately, he didn't dare to move, and cried mournfully, My teammates are all dead, and my cousin is also dead, and there are no bones left. When those beasts killed human awakeners, they almost swallowed them in one gulp, and would not leave the bodies behind. How did you survive? Wang Hao asked. He knew Lin Hai's strength very well. The whole team was dead, but he survived. It was really a miracle. I'm good at climbing trees. I hid in the tree, so Lin Hai replied. Han Shuyao looked at Yi Xiaotian, and his eyes signaled him what to do. Yi Xiaotian said, take him back, forget about forming a team. Han Shuyao nodded. It was enough to take him back for the sake of classmates. As for forming a team and letting him follow to get rewards, it was impossible. Xuyao, don't go back. There are many beasts over there. Lin Hai heard that they wanted to go back to the training base, and hurriedly stopped them. Going back to the training base now is completely a dead end. We are going to kill it back. It's up to you whether you follow us or not. Yi Xiaotian left this sentence and continued to lead the team towards the training camp. Lin Hai hesitated for a long time, but finally followed. It was too dangerous for him to stay here alone. Lin Hai, did you see any classmates passing by here? Yi Xiaotian asked when he saw him following. Yes. But not many, and most of them were in a rather embarrassed state. Lin Hai thought for a while and answered. Yi Xiaotian knew what was going on. It seemed that although some classmates were lost, not all of them were. There were still many smart people. It was estimated that those who died before did not have time to react. The surrounding area of the training camp was now surrounded by three layers of beasts. They were waiting for the students to come to them. They were hunting here, but weren't Yi Xiaotian and the others also hunting? Classmate Han Xuyao, there are too many beasts here. We can't go any further, or we will die. Lin Hai was so scared that his legs were shaking. Yi Xiaotian drew his knife and said, Everyone get ready, rush together. Chapter, 54 At this time, the training camp was surrounded by strange beasts, waiting for the students to come back and die. There were also their tribesmen in the training ground. Those freshmen had to come back here in the end, because their instructors were here. They blocked the freshmen's last retreat. When Yi Xiaotian and his team came over, they saw many student teams fighting, but their battles were all outside the army of strange beasts. Use kite tactics. This is the wisest choice. So when Lin Hai heard that Yi Xiaotian and his team were going to charge hard, he almost cursed them as fools. Like other students, wouldn't it be good to fight guerrilla warfare on the periphery? It can not only ensure their own safety, but also consume the living strength of the strange beasts, and there are rewards to be won, killing two birds with one stone. But Yi Xiaotian and his team were too fast. In the blink of an eye, they had already rushed to the front of the army of strange beasts. Lin Hai naturally didn't dare to rush. He found a place with a good view and hid. These fools, instead of finding a place to hide and wait for the matter to be over, they had to rush into the army of alien beasts. He had never seen such stupid people. It would be fine if Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian died, he even wished they would die. But it would be a pity if Han Shuyao died. And that Mu Binyan, too, was so beautiful and talented, how could such a person not have a brain? Then the next scene completely shattered his worldview. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were at the forefront, killing one kid with one knife. Yi Xiaotian was free around the three psychics, killing the beasts while protecting the safety of the three psychics. Then it was Han Shuyao and Mu Binyan, who picked up their staffs and began to cast spells. This time, they did not save their mental power, but cast range spells. After being amplified by Yi Xiaotian's deer and crane blessing, their mental attributes increased by more than three times, that is, their mental power also increased by at least three times. This is a qualitative leap, an improvement across a great realm. So now, 
they are not under much pressure to cast this kind of spell. As long as Yi Xiaotian's auxiliary talent skills can keep up, there will be no problem. As for Yi Xiaotian, he will definitely not be dragged down. He is an auxiliary ability user, holding a knife, and his lethality is stronger than that of a warrior, and he does not consume mental power at all. So there is no problem in terms of endurance. As for the little fat man, he has only one task, that is, to make up for the talent skills in time when the time is up. When he is free, he can also make up for the attack. Although the attack skills he learned are only the most basic, because of the great increase in mental attributes, the attack power is also extraordinary. It is a supernatural power to solve the existence of a strange beast. The little fat man Huang Jia is very excited now. This team makes him too addicted. The previous team had to be cautious to kill a strange beast, with all kinds of positioning and cooperation. But this team, although it can be considered a team battle, they don't need to be so careful at all. The two shield warriors in front have already killed like crazy. The two attacking psychics are also throwing large-scale psychic spells out as if they are free. The most surprising thing is Yi Xiaotian, who is also an auxiliary psychic, but he has played the prestige of a warrior. This is too outrageous. Is this what a psychic should do? You are an auxiliary psychic, holding a knife, performing basic knife skills to kill the enemy, you make me embarrassed. Elegant, too damn elegant. The little fat man is really envious and jealous. Why can't I be so elegant and handsome? No wonder Han Shuyao spreads dog food whenever she has the chance. Isn't this also a declaration of sovereignty? Such a man is indeed the best. Then he looked at Mu Bingyan again, whose quality is not inferior to Han Shuyao at all, and they are in the same team. It is really dangerous. The commotion here was quite loud, attracting many people's attention. But now is not a good time to watch the excitement. But everyone secretly hated that Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, two useless people, were so lucky that they actually teamed up with Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan, two talented beauties. No one thought that these two beautiful geniuses could make such a big commotion when they joined forces. Can you do whatever you want just because you are handsome? What's the point of having a genius? Envy, jealousy, and hatred. What's more hateful is that Han Shuyao, a genius awakener, is actually a beauty dog, which is even more outrageous. How did such a thing that shattered the three views happen to the awakener group? Under the killing of Yi Xiaotian's team, the armies of alien beasts from other directions also rushed towards them. But it was useless. This level of alien beasts could not pose a threat to Yi Xiaotian's team at present. Instead, as many as came, as many died. But after a while, the number of the alien beast army was sharply reduced. And the members of Yi Xiaotian's team reaped a lot. Up to now, their team has killed at least a thousand beasts, mainly Han Shuyao and Mu Binyan. The two of them worked together and killed like crazy. Of course, Yi Xiaotian's contribution was the greatest, but outsiders didn't know it. Without Yi Xiaotian's attribute enhancement, the actual combat power of the two of them is less than one-tenth of the current one. Among them, Yi Xiaotian also gained the most. Not only did he have reincarnation points to earn, but the probability of attribute points dropping was much higher than that of others, and there was also the drop of talent skills. Thousands of alien beasts contributed about 20 attribute points to others, but Yi Xiaotian gained hundreds of points. This is in the real world. If it were in the reincarnation world, the gap would be even greater. As time went on, the offense and defense began to change. It was no longer those alien beasts rushing to attack Yi Xiaotian and his team, but their team began to take the initiative to attack the group of alien beasts. Other student teams also saw the opportunity and launched more fierce attacks. Lin Hai regretted it at this time. Such a good opportunity was wasted in vain. Even if he did not join Yi Xiaotian's team, it would be good if he mixed in the team and killed a few alien beasts. At that time, not only could he obtain the corpses of alien beasts, but he might also get attribute point drop rewards. It seems that it is not too late now. Seeing the alien beasts fall into a passive position, Lin Hai felt that he was ready again, and rushed out with his sword. The movement here even alarmed the training camp. 
both sides turned their eyes to this side. In fact, the main battlefield this time was the freshmen and the alien beasts in the training ground. Everyone was very familiar with the instructors of the training camp and the masters led by the heretic organization Chia. It was impossible to tell the winner in the battle between them. And Chia was also very clear about his mission. He had completed his mission by delaying Zhao Xinjia and Lu Dingsheng. He was very proud before, but now it seems that the situation seems a little bad. Chapter 55 The situation changes rapidly. Half an hour ago, the alien race and the heretic organization had the upper hand. But half an hour later, the alien race's alien beast army was defeated. Kiki saw that he had to leave with his men. But no matter what, they still gained something. In this battle, 39 students died in the 101 training camp, all of whom were genius awakeners of the human race. Just one training camp lost so many, how many more than 100 training camps around the world lost? Although taking advantage of this opportunity, most of the alien beasts left on the blue planet by the alien race were also cleared. But using these low-level alien beasts to exchange for human genius students, this deal can be said to be a big profit. However, the heretic organization also suffered a lot of losses this time. After all, they used to hide in the past. This time, they walked from the dark to the light. It is not so easy to hide again. In order to make the human race lack successors, the alien race also fought hard. Even if the heretic organization is destroyed, it doesn't matter. After all, as long as the alien race is still there, a second heretic organization can be established. On the training camp playground, the remaining students are waiting here. There are instructors all around, but the chief instructor Lu Dingsheng and the person in charge of the training camp Zhao Xinjia are not there. They went to ask their superiors for instructions. Such a big thing happened this time, and so many students died. They have a heavy responsibility. Whether the training camp should continue or whether to replace people, there must be a result. In the playground, the students' emotions are a bit heavy. After all, in just one day, the number of students standing here has decreased by 39. But after a while, many people's eyes were cast on Yi Xiao Tian, with that kind of hateful eyes. This damn guy, why doesn't he die? 39 students with A-level and S-level talents died, but two C-level talent awakeners survived. Hiding behind a woman, damn it. Why didn't Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan let Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao die in the alien beast tide? In the eyes of the little fat man and his friends, Yi Xiao Tian was naturally a killer. But in the eyes of other students, Yi Xiao Tian was just a pretty boy protected by Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. Gradually, voices began to appear in the crowd. Those who should die didn't die, and those who shouldn't die died. That's right, two C-level talents actually survived, it's really unfair. Just because they are trash, the aliens are too lazy to kill them. At first, it was just a whisper, and it was also a small range. But slowly, this range expanded, and the voices began to get louder. It began to arouse everyone's hatred of the enemy. Those geniuses died too pitifully and too cowardly. And Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao survived, which made them feel very unfair and unwilling. They felt that these two guys should die. Han Xuyao and Wang Hao wanted to refute, but were stopped by Yi Xiao Tian. At this time, the scene was a powder keg, which would explode at any time. When the time comes, Yi Xiao Tian can't really kill them or use heavy hands. It will be troublesome. Let them talk first, it won't hurt. Seeing this, Mu Bingyan and Chang Xiaoxi didn't say anything, but felt that the difference between people was really too big. These so-called genius students are not at the same level as Yi Xiao Tian. But Yi Xiao Tian is too calm, which is totally unlike the sophistication of a young man. Shouldn't young people be full of vigor and vitality? But the little fat man Huang Jia couldn't listen anymore and said, What do you know? You don't even know the truth, and you are talking nonsense there. Fatty, shut up. Yi Xiao Tian stopped him. But the little fat man stood up for him. Yi Xiao Tian said, with so many instructors here, what can go wrong? Some things, we just know ourselves, there is no need to make it known to everyone, understand? 
Huang Jia remembered what Yi Xiao Tian told him before, and could only swallow his anger. Fatty, I remember you. Your name is Huang Jia, and you have an S-level auxiliary talent. Where is your team? I didn't expect that you also fell. Someone recognized Huang Jia. Yes, he is Huang Jia, a genius awakener from Lianqing No. One middle school. The other students from Lianqing No. One middle school didn't see him, so he is probably in danger. All his teammates died, but he is still here to defend the waste. It's really nonsense. Maybe he was bribed? The little fat man Huang Jia found out sadly that this group of people actually started to aim their firepower at him. Some people said it was unpleasant, and they actually thought that his teammates were killed by him, and then Yi Xiao Tian had a handle in his hand, so they spoke for Yi Xiao Tian. Huang Jia had a mouthful of old blood stuck in his throat, but he couldn't spit it out, and he couldn't breathe well. Yi Xiao Tian said calmly, Okay, it's better to be scolded by them now than to be hunted by aliens and heretical organizations. The little fat man felt better when he heard it. I have to admire Yi Xiaotian's qi cultivation skills, which are totally unlike those of a young man. This matter cannot be left unresolved. These two guys brought us disaster as soon as they came. We must make them pay the price. That's right. If it weren't for them, we could have saved a few more geniuses. This is to blame the alien attacks on Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. Han Xuyao was very anxious and looked at Yi Xiaotian frequently. Yi Xiaotian shook his head to indicate that he didn't need to pay attention. These people were only good at talking nonsense. If they were really asked to take action, they might not dare. After all, there were so many instructors watching nearby. If they dared to take action, Yi Xiaotian could still look up to them. Shut up! At this time, the chief instructor Lu Dingsheng suddenly appeared in front of them and shouted. You are not good at killing the enemy, but you are very spirited when you are arranging your own people. His cold eyes swept over all the students present, and Lu Dingsheng was extremely disappointed with them. However, Yi Xiaotian and his team made him look up to him. Even in this situation, he could still keep his composure, worthy of being the student who hid the deepest. Yi Xiaotian's performance could deceive other students, but it could not deceive Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjia. They also had their own guesses about Yi Xiaotian. Although they had not verified it with Yi Xiaotian in person, they were already 80% sure in their hearts. They were very optimistic about Yi Xiaotian. After all, the genius who can grow up is the real genius. Those who died young are short lived ghosts. Judging from Yi Xiaotian's background, it is normal for him to be so cautious. Instructor, we just don't accept it. Why can he enter the training camp? Why can he survive? A genius with S-level talent said so indignantly. Yes, instructor, we don't accept it. The students responded one after another. When Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao first came, they had been holding back on this issue. It was just that at that time, there was Lu Dingxing's majesty suppressing it. Now, with the blood after the battle, they finally set it out. Chapter, 56 Instructor, my classmates died so tragically. A student cried with tears streaming down his face. Lu Dingsheng was also a little moved. After all, these students are just adults, and they have experienced such cruel things, and their mentality is indeed a bit broken. Couldn't ask for more. But he still had to say what needed to be said. I know that what happened today is too bloody and cruel for you. You're not ready yet. But I want to say that from the moment you become an awakened person, your life has completely changed. Your life is destined to be accompanied by blood and fire. The fundamental reason why our human race can drive the alien race back to the alien space plane is because of our unity. Human beings all over the world are united. We have a common goal, which is to drive the aliens back to the alien space. When Instructor Lu said this, he paused and relaxed his mood again before continuing. So, I want to tell you the most important lesson today, which is unity, unity, unity. If we humans are not united, we will be like aliens. There is another biggest reason why the foreign races are driven back by us, and that is that they are not united internally, and too much energy is wasted on internal friction. 
so, don't think we are safe now. In fact, the world we live in now is very dangerous. Once the alien race solves the problem of internal fighting, our blue star human race will not be a match for the alien race at all. Our human race is already in danger. Are there any eggs left behind when the nest is overturned? But what are you doing? Speaking of this, Instructor Lu's voice suddenly rose a few points. I tell you, if it weren't for Yi Xiaotian this time, you might all be wiped out. As soon as these words came out, he was suddenly shocked. The students who were originally very ashamed by Lu Dingsheng's previous words also raised their heads and said that they wanted to unite, and they admitted it. But it is absolutely impossible to say that Yi Xiaotian is their savior. Instructor Yi Xiaotian felt like he was about to suffer. The tone he has set for himself is low-key development. But looking at the current situation, Lu Dingsheng wants to expose his true identity. Although this background was deliberately revealed to others. But he didn't want to be exposed so soon. Now is the time when the alien race is at its craziest, and by then I am afraid that the leisurely days will really be gone. Lu Dingsheng waved his hand and said, If you don't tell me now, I will tell you when you take the college entrance examination. Is it possible that with your talent, you still want to go to an ordinary awakening university? It's right to be low-key, but to be too low-key is to be irresponsible to yourself. It's like this training camp almost left the pearl in dust. Yi Xiaotian suddenly fell silent. I just want to have a few more leisurely days. The students below all felt something was wrong. What does this mean? Could it be that Yi Xiaotian has some other great talent hidden? Among them, Lin Hai felt the deepest. During the battle for the quota, he felt that Yi Xiaotian was too strong. His talent was obviously several levels lower than his own, but his strength was far superior to him. This unscientific. Now it seems that everything is because Yi Xiaotian, an old Inbi, has hidden his talent. Is it any wonder he could come to training camp the next day? I see. Lin Hai and other students began to think wildly in their minds. He didn't even think about Haotian at all. High-level human beings will not talk about this matter everywhere, and the number of people who know it is indeed limited. After all, the impact is too bad. If the heretical organization seizes the opportunity, there will probably be another wave of defections. To tell you the truth, classmate Yi Xiaotian is not what you think at all. He got in by relying solely on his own strength. He does have a C-level talent crazy fighting, but that's not all, because he is a dual talented person. As for what his other talent is, I won't go into details. What I can tell you is that his second talent is an S-level auxiliary talent. After Instructor Lu said this, a buzz of discussion suddenly broke out among the crowd. The way everyone looked at Yi Xiaotian became different again. If it was all dissatisfaction and hatred before. So now it has become envy and jealousy. Dual talents, one warrior and one assistant, this is a rhythm that defies the heavens. An auxiliary who can fight is definitely more popular than a simple auxiliary. After all, pure support requires teammates to distract and protect. However, supports that can fight can protect themselves, and if their talents and skills are well matched, they can also join the battle. They will now think of Yi Xiaotian's previous behavior. It turns out that it was not Han Shuyao protecting Yi Xiaotian, but Yi Xiaotian actually participating in the battle. Strictly speaking, it should be Yi Xiaotian who is protecting people with powers such as Han Shuyao and Mu Binyan. Thinking about their team's previous ability to kill everyone, something was indeed wrong. Now they understand that it is because Yi Xiaotian's auxiliary skills have greatly improved the combat effectiveness of the team members. Such assistance is simply a dream. Damn it, if you have such ability, you are still hiding it. Isn't this tempting them to be fooled? How can we cooperate in the future? I didn't expect that I was the clown all along. Han Xuyao and Wang Hao looked very proud. You looked down on others before, but now you are dumbfounded, right? This incident tells us a fact, that is, don't underestimate anyone. Lu Dingsheng said again. So the students said that they had learned it personally. The impression was very deep. The face was hit and it hurt. Lu Dingsheng nodded, very satisfied with their performance, and continued, 
this time, our losses were heavy, but the losses of the alien race were even heavier. Now you have seen the situation, the alien beasts in the training ground have been killed by you, and there is actually no need to continue the training camp. Hearing this, everyone's eyes were cast on Yi Xiaotian's team. It was this team that was killing like crazy. Most of the alien beasts were killed by their team. The other teams could only follow behind and drink some soup. After asking the superiors, since the practical class can no longer be held, I will give you cultural classes. I will explain to you some knowledge that can only be learned in college in advance. I hope you will not waste this opportunity and study hard. Lu Dingxing did not tell them how much the global human race suffered this time. He was afraid that the student's self-confidence would be hit after knowing it. But this time, the loss of the human race was indeed very heavy, and the lesson was very painful. Although the human race leaders were prepared, they did not expect that the alien race and the heretic organization would be so crazy this time. This time, the heretic organization was completely a suicide attack. But as Instructor Liu said, the loss of the alien race was even worse. In addition to the large number of alien beasts, the heretic organization suffered a heavy blow. Yi Xiaotian, come with me. After speaking, Lu Dingsheng asked other instructors to take over the scene, and then took Yi Xiaotian away. Chapter, 57 Han Xuyao was very worried when Yi Xiaotian was called away. Chang Xiaoxi said unhappily, Okay, Yi Xiaotian is now the instructor's favorite, it must be a good thing to call him. Mu Bingyan also nodded to indicate that it was true. Han Xuyao said nothing more. In the office, Chief Instructor Lu Dingsheng asked Yi Xiaotian to sit down first, and then asked, Student Yi Xiaotian, according to the instructions of the superiors, we need to know in detail the grade of your second talent and the effect of your skills. These all represent what level of resources and support Yi Xiaotian can get in the future, so they are very important. If such a talent is really treated as a C-level talent awakener, it will be a huge loss for the entire human race. Auxiliary Awakeners are originally popular, an indispensable soul figure for a team. Even many famous fixed teams are commanded by the auxiliary system. Yi Xiaotian hesitated. Student Yi Xiaotian, you can rest assured. We will keep it secret. Seeing this, Lu Dingsheng was delighted. Could there be a bigger surprise? It seems that Yi Xiaotian's second talent is stronger than they had guessed before. Is your talent grade higher? or is the effect of the talent skill better? Lu Dingsheng asked cautiously. Yes, both are a little higher. Yi Xiaotian said very carefully. Lu Dingsheng's heart moved. How could this little guy, who was so young, have such a deep mind? Yi Xiaotian decided to raise the grade of the talent by one grade, and the talent effect could also be improved, such as amplifying two attributes. He tried it before. After the main body and the second soul used the talent skill deer and crane's blessing, respectively, they could indeed amplify the designated two attributes. Anyway, the second talent can no longer be hidden, so just improve it a little bit and get yourself more resources to support. As for really raising deer and crane's blessing, to SS level, this is very difficult, requiring 100 million life essences. There will be a chance in the future, but forget it at this stage. But instructor, I don't want to go to the Awakening Bureau for testing again. Yi Xiaotian put forward his request. Lu Dingsheng pondered for a moment before speaking, this is not something I can decide, but I will report it. I believe that after this actual combat, no one will question your talent. Yi Xiaotian then said, Instructor, my second talent is just as you guessed, it is an SS-level auxiliary talent. It can specify the amplification of two physical attributes of the Awakener, and the current amplification is about three times. Specify. 2. Instructor Lu took a breath and confirmed again. Such an auxiliary awakener, not to mention the freshman team, even these B-level awakeners are envious. Specify to amplify two attributes, and it is a threefold amplification. This kind of talent skill is used on them. He had a headache. If he knew that Yi Xiaotian had such a talent and talent skill before, he and Zhao Xinjie would definitely keep the bastard Kiki. Seeing Yi Xiaotian nod firmly. Those bastards in the Awakening Bureau, 
trash a series of curses came out of Instructor Lu's mouth. There was a knock on the door outside, interrupting Instructor Lu's curse. The person in charge, Zhao Xinjie, pushed the door open and frowned, saying, Instructor Lu, you are an instructor, how can you be so rude in front of the students? Instructor Lu stood up and repeated what Yi Xiao Tian had just said to him. Then Zhao Xinjie, a very elegant looking boss, also joined the curse. If the Awakening Bureau had not assigned Yi Xiao Tian a sea level talent awakener, they would not have known nothing. If the seventh night could be left behind, it would definitely be a heavy blow to the heretic organization. Although the heretic organization suffered heavy losses this time, no one of the seventh night's level was left behind. Designated two attributes to be increased by three times, this is fucking. And as Yi Xiaotian's awakening level increases, this increase can be increased. According to the talent level increase standard, the final increase of Yi Xiaotian's talent skill can even reach more than ten times. Ten times increase, this can directly fight with a higher realm. No, double attribute increase, it can definitely crush the higher realm. For a while, the two training camp bosses looked at Yi Xiaotian with hot eyes. Student Yi Xiaotian, come to our Magic City Awakener University, free admission, and you will definitely be given the highest level of resources. Zhao Xinjie suddenly said. Lu Dingsheng was immediately unhappy and said, Zhao Xinjie, do you think our Qing Shui Awakener University is a decoration? Then Yi Xiaotian had nothing to do next, and the two training camp bosses started to fight. They were in the same class and old acquaintances with Kiki, but they came from different awakening universities. They were once comrades in arms, but unfortunately, when they met now, things have changed. Two teachers, how about I go back to class first? Seeing that the two bosses were deadlocked, Yi Xiao Tian gradually got angry. Fearing that he would be affected if he stayed here, he quickly said goodbye. The two big guys did not keep him, waved him to go first, and then continued. A top talent like Yi Xiao Tian is definitely rare. After all, in addition to his talent in the auxiliary system, Yi Xiao Tian also has a talent in the combat system. Where can I find a genius who can fight and assist? What, Yi Xiao Tian's combat talent is too low? It doesn't matter, you can use treasures to strengthen it. The strength attribute is too low. It doesn't matter, just get some good things and improve it. Yi Xiao Tian doesn't need to really fight with peerless masters, as long as he has the power to protect himself, that's enough. Every auxiliary system is a treasure, the core of the entire team, and the first protection object. If he can protect himself, the combat power of the entire team can be fully released. Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie know the significance of this auxiliary system too well. Once such students win their own universities, it means that they may become their teammates in the future. Although there is a Blue Star Human Alliance now, there is competition between countries, and there is also competition between awakened universities in the same country. Without competition, where does the resource tilt come from? However, most of this competition is benign. It is also tacitly approved by the above. Without competition, where does the motivation come from? Yi Xiao Tian closed the door for them, then went to the playground. Seeing that there was no one there, he went to the instructor. Brother Tian, here. After Yi Xiao Tian reported to the instructor who was giving a lecture, Han Xu Yao hurriedly called him and reserved a seat for him. Suddenly, countless envious eyes fell on Yi Xiao Tian. This is the real winner in life. Chapter 58 Teachers are always very tolerant of geniuses. Okay, students, let's continue the class. The instructor continued to lecture, mainly talking about the issue of teamwork. The combination of various talents and various talent skills made the students fascinated. Yi Xiao Tian glanced at the classroom and found that Lin Hai was hiding in a corner. Didn't this guy always get close to Xu Yao before? Why is he hiding far away today? How could he know how scared Lin Hai is now? He was afraid that if he got too close, Yi Xiao Tian would get angry and kill him directly. So for the sake of his own life, he should stay away. There was no class in the evening, so Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xu Yao made an appointment to meet in the reincarnation world. Hearing that Hao Tian God was going to lead the team to the dungeon again, Han Xu Yao and the others were very excited. 
can I go? Mu Binyan looked very envious and wanted to join in. Han Xuyao also looked at Yi Xiaotian. In their team, only Yi Xiaotian was a friend of Hao Tian, and only he could contact Hao Tian. Yi Xiaotian had no choice but to say, I'll contact Hao Tian first, and we'll meet at the Samsara Square. But after a while, Yi Xiaotian sent a message to Han Xuyao, saying that Hao Tian had agreed. Anyway, for Hao Tian, the number of people didn't matter, as long as it was not less than the minimum number of people required for the dungeon. And with more people, the number of monsters would increase by one base, and more dungeon rewards could be obtained. In response, Yi Xiaotian suggested, why don't we call the little fat man too? Anyway, the more people there are, the more rewards you will get. It was originally a burden, but when it came to Hao Tian, it became a good thing. Han Xuyao and the others felt it was amazing. This Hao Tian was really amazing. But it's good to add the little fat man. With his and Yi Xiaotian's innate skills, it will be easier for Hao Tian to fight. Soon, the little fat man was also pulled in by them. Hearing that Hao Tian led the team to the dungeon, the little fat man was stunned. He had experienced life and death battles with Yi Xiaotian and others, but he didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian and others had such a secret. Hao Tian, that is the idol of all awakeners. Unfortunately, when they met Hao Tian, he was wearing a black robe, and even his face was hidden, so he couldn't see his appearance at all. But this is normal. Now the whole world, including aliens, is looking for Hao Tian, and it is necessary for him to hide his identity. Hello, great god. Everyone greeted Hao Tian. Hao Tian just nodded, and then asked Yi Xiao Tian, are all the people here? Wow, the great god's voice is very attractive. The little fat man Huang Jia exclaimed. Everyone in the group was speechless. Even if you want to flatter, you can wait until you fight monsters. Even the sound can be flattered, isn't it too unprincipled? Master, everyone is here, we can enter the dungeon. Yi Xiao Tian said quickly. Master Hao Tian said, Okay, this time we will enter the E-level team dungeon, I will take you from the simple difficulty to the purgatory difficulty. Master, what should we do? Should I bless you with talent skills first? The little fat man added drama to himself. Hao Tian faced the fat man and didn't speak. The little fat man felt the pressure of a mountain. Yi Xiao Tian said at this time, Fatty, we go to the dungeon with the master, and we only need to do one thing. What is it? The little fat man wiped the sweat from his forehead. Tool man. Yi Xiao Tian replied. Tool man. What do you mean? The little fat man Huang Jia was confused. You don't have to do anything, just stand there, and the master will take care of everything. Wang Hao couldn't help but take action and grabbed Huang Jia's neck. Also, from now on, you are not allowed to talk anymore. Huang Jia was full of grievances. Why can't he talk? This is the first time I meet a master, my idol. I want to communicate with my idol. Is that wrong? Yi Xiaotian is very short of life essence now, so naturally the more people go to the dungeon, the better. But he can't recruit people to enter the dungeon publicly, so he can only bring his friends with him. Fortunately, the higher the level of the dungeon, the higher the life essence dropped by the monster. And the drop of the team dungeon is also higher than that of the single player dungeon. So he has high hopes for this E-level team dungeon trip. Going down, it is the D-level dungeon, and you have to wait until Han Xuyao and the others have passed the D-level promotion dungeon before you can enter. Under the leadership of the great god Hao Tian, a group of people came to the Hall of Samsara and entered the level dungeon. Then, a series of world announcements resounded throughout the world of reincarnation again. Congratulations to the awakened Hao Tian, Yao Guang, Light of Hope, Hulk, Yan Luo, Bing Bing, and Chaos Hen for clearing the E-level simple copy, and rated Super God. Chapter, 59 Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi, who had gone through dungeons with Hao Tian before, naturally had nothing to say. But Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan were stunned. Is this how Hao Tian God brushes dungeons? In their opinion, this is not like brushing dungeons at all, but just going through the motions. Following Hao Tian God in and out of dungeons, they received a huge amount of points rewards. 
Huang Jia still remembers the first time he entered a simple dungeon, the scene of tens of thousands of monsters gathered together was too shocking. As the saying goes, tens of thousands of people are boundless. This sentence is even more true for monsters. At that time, the fat man Huang Jia was so scared that his legs went limp. Mu Binyan was also pale. But Hao Tian God raised his staff, and after several rounds of large-scale fire-type supernatural spells, the tens of thousands of monsters had no resistance at all. All were killed instantly. One supernatural spell can clear a large open space. As they said before coming in, what they have to do is to be a quiet tool man. In just a few minutes, tens of thousands of monsters were destroyed. Only Haokian God took action, and the others stood aside and watched the scenery. Those monsters were killed before they even rushed half the distance. Then the world announcement sounded. The same was true for the next difficult dungeon. Although the number of monsters continued to increase, and there were even stronger monster leaders. But it still couldn't stop Haokian God's footsteps. The only difference was that a few more supernatural spells were cast. When it came to the Nightmare Dungeon, the number of monsters had reached 50 0, 0. Just when the fat man thought that he would definitely be able to use his skills, he suddenly discovered that the coverage of Haokian God's spells had doubled. More than 500 meters in radius were within the range of his spell attack. This spell fell, and countless people were killed and injured. At a distance of hundreds of meters, others had no power to use their skills. Not to mention the warriors, Han Shuyao and other supernatural people, their spells could not attack monsters. Haokian the great god seemed to be tireless. He cast ten such large spells in a row, and then only a few big cats and small cats were left. No, the remaining ones should be the strong ones among the monsters. Three commander-level monsters were still alive, but they were already scarred, with black smoke coming out of their bodies, and they rushed towards them with a roar. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi had already supported their talents and skills and stood in front. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan also raised their staffs, ready to attack at any time. The little fat man followed the crowd and prepared to bless everyone with talents. But the three commander-level monsters only ran for a distance, then roared and fell down. In addition to silence, there was only the fragrant smell of meat. The little fat man Huang Jia felt guilty. He did nothing, but he received a huge amount of copy points. He didn't know how he should express his gratitude to Haotian the Great God. Mu Bingyan stared at the back figure in front of her with a burning gaze, and there was nothing else in her eyes. Feeling Mu Bingyan's burning gaze, Yi Xiaotian's heart tightened, no way. Hurry up and leave the dungeon. God Haotian, give us a chance to fight. Wang Hao said with a wry smile. God Haotian, I'm in a hurry. Wang Hao. Okay, you are the god, you have the final say. You still have personal dungeons to play, there are plenty of opportunities to play. God Haotian added, making Wang Hao and the others feel bitter. Following God Haotian, I used to get super god evaluation points, and then I went to play personal dungeons, which felt a little meaningless. This dungeon score is directly related to killing monsters and time. The faster you kill, the more you kill, the more points you get. Like now, more than 50 0, 0 monsters were solved in a few minutes, which is definitely a super god evaluation. But if an E-level Awakener team came over, let alone killing them all, it would be a blessing from heaven to be able to hold on for a minute under the attack of so many monsters. I can only say that the gap between Haotian and others is too big. He can't even compare to him. Yi Xiaotian checked his harvest, and the attributes of the four surroundings were about to break 10,000. The life essence has reached tens of millions. Yi Xiaotian really wants to thank the aliens. If it weren't for them, there would be no such rich harvest. As for the reincarnation points, it is about 3 million. However, there are two more difficult dungeons later, and the harvest will be greater. Now one dungeon is several million life essences. If you brush a few more dungeons, the talent deer and crane blessing, can be upgraded to SS level. I just don't know if the effect of the talent skill will change after this talent is upgraded by one grade. If the attribute of the amplification is increased by one, it will be perfect. The main body and the second soul are used together, 
and all the attributes of the four surroundings can be amplified. And the amplification multiples of SS level talent skills will also be increased by several basic multiples. Yi Xiao Tian was looking forward to it. Go out, and then come into the dungeon of hell difficulty. In this difficult team dungeon, the number of monsters has exceeded 100. 0, 0. The fat boy Huang Jian knew that the great god Haotian was powerful, but when he saw the endless group of monsters, his legs went weak. Great god, should we pay attention to strategy? Huang Jia said in a trembling voice. Just rush over, what's the point of talking about strategy? The great god Haotian glanced at him, and just a look made the little fat man's heart tremble. The great god's eyes are so sharp. Great god, there are too many monsters, why don't we join the battle? Mu Bingyan also said. She looks forward to fighting side by side with the great god. Han Xuyao looked at Yi Xiaotian, who gave her a reassuring look, and she stopped talking. Although the great god Haotian is powerful, she thinks Yi Xiaotian is not bad. The great god Haotian is high above, not worldly, and is not a good target. Yi Xiaotian is still good, visible and tangible. But good sister Mu Bingyan seems to be a little trapped. She is an experienced person, and she knows Mu Bingyan's eyes very well. Wang Hao also said, Yes, great god, let us fight with you. Chang Xiaoxi also nodded vigorously, indicating that this is what he wanted to say. Hao Tian said, It's up to you. If you want to fight, go ahead. Several people were overjoyed and prepared for the battle. But they didn't know that Hao Tian was several times stronger than the previous difficult copy. Although there were a lot of monsters here, none of them could defeat him. In the E-level team copy, the strongest monsters in the Hell difficulty were Lord-level monsters, and their main attributes were only 100. Even Wang Hao and his team could kill such monster lords in a single fight. It's just that there are too many monsters now, so it looks scary. In fact, in Hao Tian's eyes, if the strength is not enough, what's the point of having a lot of monsters? It's just the difference between dying in one second and dying in two seconds. Chapter, 60 Then let's begin. Hao Tian raised the staff, and the top of the staff emitted a dazzling light. Charge! Wang Hao roared in anger, and rushed towards the monster with the blood shield on his head. Chang Xiaoxi did not collapse, and followed behind and rushed straight up. Now with the blessing of two major attributes, they have no fear. Killing these E-level beasts is very simple. The only problem is the attitude of God Haotian. I hope they can rush in front of the monster in time, otherwise they will just rush in and be lonely. The little fat man's blood was also boiling with excitement. He wished that Yi Xiaotian could give him some strength attributes, so he rushed forward. However, after some consideration, I still blessed him with spiritual attributes. He had more than 100 kilograms, so he had to stand far away and cast supernatural powers. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan also started to cast spells, hoping to participate more. Otherwise, I would be really embarrassed if I get something for nothing every time. But after all, the gap between them and Hao Tian was still very big. While they were still preparing, Hao Tian's spells had already been sent out. And the frequency is very fast, one after another, the attack speed requires no preoperative preparation at all. When Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan prepared their spells and wanted to send them out, they found that they didn't know where they were thrown. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi finally got rid of their loneliness, and even the last few fish that slipped through the net were snatched away by Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. It really made me feel lonely. The two shield warriors came back very depressed. There was no need to collect the corpses here. Master, we agreed to fight together. Wang Hao said very depressedly. We are fighting together, it's just that you are too slow. Great God Hao Tian replied arrogantly, and then went out. The biggest difference between the dungeon of reincarnation and the real world is that there are all kinds of exotic beasts in the real world, and their talents and skills are also different. But the monsters in the dungeon are all of the same race and have the same talents. It's just that the leader monsters, lord monsters and even the final king monster have higher levels of talent. But the talent skills and drops are very touching. Yi Xiaotian didn't know how many people he had killed, 
but he only obtained an F-level physique, talent, which was the same as the F-level strength, talent he had obtained before. On the contrary, life essence and reincarnation points are absolutely rich. Especially the essence of life. Each E-level monster drops 100 points of life essence. This Hell Difficulty Dungeon has 100 0 monsters, giving him 10 million life essence. In the real world, let alone killing them, even if they were looking for them, they probably wouldn't be able to find so many strange beasts. Unless he enters a different space. So he had to seize this opportunity. Once the treasure from the alien race failed, there wouldn't be so many monsters for him to brush. Master, actually we don't have to rush like this, we have plenty of time. Wang Hao reminded Master Haokian. But Great God Haokian said, no, we don't have much time. The alien race's treasure will expire in a few days. Wang Hao was speechless, are we talking about the same thing? Master, do you want to gain more reincarnation points before the alien race's treasure expires? Mu Bingyan asked. Great God Hao Tian nodded. Everyone was speechless. Look at the current world of reincarnation, because the difficulty has suddenly increased several times, making all the new students miserable. Even the normal process of entering dungeons to earn points has stopped. The human race has spent huge resources and opened more than a hundred temporary training camps around the world. Everything indicates one thing. That is, all human awakeners hope that the alien treasures will become invalid as soon as possible and a copy of the reincarnation world will return to normal as soon as possible. But when he came to the great god Haokian, he actually thought that the effect of the alien's treasure could be extended indefinitely because this way he could earn more reincarnation points. Sure enough, the brain circuits of strong people are different. But for them, this is a good thing. Because in this way, they can also follow the great god Haokian to get more points. In this wave, they were simply taken off by the great god Haokian. Yes, we have to seize the time, otherwise those monsters will run away. At this time, the little fat man Huang Jie jumped out to stir up the atmosphere. Great God Hao Tian warned, exchange all the reincarnation points you have obtained into your main attributes, and try to increase your awakening level as much as possible. This way I can take you to continue to clear the team copy. Long live the Great God! The little fat man cheered. With the reincarnation points they have gained now, there is no way to improve their awakening level, nor can they pass the promotion dungeon. The only question is whether the master has time. It's good now, and the masters have taken the initiative to lead them to continue brushing. If there are no surprises, it is estimated that the great master will play with them in team copies in the future. This is a huge opportunity. The little fat guys Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan both felt very lucky. This was pie in the sky. When you go back, you have to ask your parents to burn incense for your ancestors. This must be their blessing. Together, they looked at Yi Xiaotian with a little more gratitude in their eyes. If it weren't for Yi Xiaotian's relationship, they wouldn't have been able to join Great God Haotian's team. Okay, the last team dungeon, after finishing the E-level team dungeon, you should adjust yourself and upgrade to D-level Awakener as soon as possible. I will take you to the D-level team dungeon at that time. Haotian God reminded him. There is no way, such an opportunity may never come again in a lifetime if you miss it. Yi Xiao Tian was also a little anxious. Listen to the god, when you come out of the dungeon later, don't leave, first improve your attributes, and then go to the promotion dungeon. Yi Xiao Tian also reminded him. I understand, god. I understand, brother Tian. Yi Xiao Tian is now a veritable brother Tian. After coming out of the dungeon again, Hao Tian can log off, and after leaving for a while, his figure disappears. But no one knows that Hao Tian has merged with Yen Luo. Okay, everyone is not short of reincarnation points now, let's improve the attributes quickly. Remember, if you want to maximize the benefits, improve the main attributes as much as possible. The copies after level D are all linked to the awakening level. Follow the great god Hao Tian to get benefits. If you miss this opportunity, you will regret it for the rest of your life. The others nodded and started to plan quickly. Fortunately, they followed the great god Haotian to download several copies and accumulated more than 200 reincarnation points. 
looking at the points, everyone was about to drool. Of course, if they saw Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation points, they would probably drop their eyes. Yi Xiaotian's data panel at this moment. Reincarnation ID, Haotian. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Diamond Body Guard D Level, Berserker C Level, Bull Demon Power D Level, Strength F Level, Swiftness D Level, Deer Crane Blessing S Level, Constitution F Level. Title, Novice Super God, After Wearing It, You Will Get 10 Effect on All Attributes. Constitution 15230, Strength 16020, Spirit 15140, Agility 15310. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skills, Explosive Flame Bomb 1D Level, Star Flame Skyfall B Level, Fire Wall E Level, Resist Fire Ring E. Equipment, Star Flame Staff B Level, Purple Star Vestment E Level. Magic Power, Second Soul. Life Essence, 3711900 Points. Reincarnation Points, 373-3900 Points. Awakening Level, D-Level Awakener. This data is too luxurious. Chapter, 61. As long as the main attribute reaches 10, 0, 0 points, the Awakener level can reach B-Level. Although Yi Xiaotian is already a B-Level Awakener in terms of the main attribute, he has not yet cleared the promotion dungeon, so it is only displayed as a D-Level Awakener. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian's four attributes are almost advancing at the same pace. In addition to his various talents, his strength cannot be defined as a B-level warrior or a B-level psychic. In addition to the blessing of his deer and crane blessing, talent skill, he is not without the ability to fight against ordinary A-level awakeners. Yi Shao Tian is very satisfied. Brother Tian, what should I do now? The fat man Huang Jie looked distressed. He is different from the others. Wang Hao is still Chang Xiaosi. Just add physique or strength. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan are even simpler. Just add spirit and then assist the other three attributes. They all have attacking skills, so there is no problem in breaking through the promotion dungeon. But the fat man is just a simple auxiliary system. He doesn't know how to add points now. This is the most helpless point for the auxiliary system. After all, the promotion dungeon is completed alone, but no one can help them. The little fat man is a pure auxiliary system, and his talent skills can only bless the agility attribute, and there is no attacking skill at all. So he is very entangled. Fatty, in general, you still have to go the way of a superpower, so the main attribute can only add the spiritual attribute. But if you have enough points, you can also exchange one or two attack skills. Although the auxiliary system can also learn attacking superpowers, because there is no talent blessing, the destructive power of the skills is completely incomparable with that of attacking superpowers. For example, if they learn the lightning technique, under the same spiritual attribute, the lightning technique performed by the fat man is several times more powerful than that performed by Han Shuyao. This is the role of attacking talents. The auxiliary system talent only blesses the attribute, and cannot directly enhance the power of the skill. If it is in the middle and late stages, then there is naturally nothing to say, even if it is an auxiliary system, it must be equipped with defense and attack skills. But now is the beginning, and the reincarnation points are too precious, so they can't be used casually. So the little fat man Huang Jia was so entangled that his facial features were squeezed together. After all, if they follow the normal development trajectory, they will need at least several months, or even more than a year to upgrade to a D-level awakener. This is still for geniuses. Some people can't be promoted to a D-level awakener in their entire lives. The great god Haotian gave him great luck, but also gave him a lot of trouble. But if I exchange skills, I'm afraid that the points will not be enough. If he can't keep up with the great god's pace of brushing dungeons later because of insufficient level, he will regret hitting the wall. Then you can only use money to buy basic skills. Does your family have connections? Yi Xiaotian said. The little fat man heard this, his eyes lit up, and said, How could I forget this, Brother Tian, thank you. Yi Xiaotian's expression froze when he heard this, and he said a little depressed, So your family has connections? These S-level talents and above, 
how come everyone has a background? Sure enough, the awakening of talent is related to blood. I just traveled through time and was affected by special rules, otherwise I could only awaken a C-level talent. Sure enough, the power of blood is the most important. Yes, I come from an awakened family, similar to Xu Yao and her classmates. Huang Jia said with a smile, Brother Tian, I'm going to contact my elders at home, and I'll leave first. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand, indicating that it was okay. Soon, the other four people almost distributed their reincarnation points, and each of them exuded a different aura. Their main attributes have reached the requirements of D-level Awakeners, but they have not yet passed the promotion dungeon. And the improvement of the Awakener level has a very important role, which is to improve the blessing effect of talent. Brother Tian, let's go to the promotion dungeon. Han Shuyao said excitedly. As for Yi Xiao Tian, she is no longer worried. His combat power is definitely the strongest among everyone. Who can fight and assist? Okay, go ahead, be careful. Yi Xiao Tian said. Brother Tian, aren't you going to play? Wang Hao asked in confusion. Yi Xiao Tian said, I'm playing too. But he added in his heart, but I'm not playing the D-level promotion dungeon. He has already played the D-level promotion dungeon, and he is considering whether to continue playing the C-level and B-level promotion dungeons. After all, it's only been about a week since awakening. Once the aliens know that he has been promoted to a B-level awakener. It is estimated that the next assassination will be even more crazy. However, if he is promoted early, he can get more resources sooner. Once his awakening level is upgraded to B-level, the blessing multiple of his dear crane blessing, can be increased to five times. In this way, he can reach A-level with his talent and skill blessing alone. After all, the main attribute requirement of A-level awakeners is to break 100, 00 points. If you can upgrade dear crane's blessing, to SS level, then the basic multiplier can be doubled, which is a sevenfold increase. Just thinking about it makes me excited. It's better to take action than to be excited. With the second soul, just go ahead. The later the awakeners get, the harder it is to improve their strength by relying on attribute points alone, and they rely more on talent. After all, the attribute requirement for A-level awakeners is over 100, 00 points, and S-level is even more than 1 million points. At this time, talent plays the biggest role. So the talent grade determines the life of the awakener, there is no problem at all. This is also why he saved 100 million life essences to strengthen deer and crane blessing. Otherwise, with so many life essences, he could strengthen other talents first. But it doesn't matter. Just brush the team dungeon a few more times and you will have everything. But in comparison, Yi Xiao Tian still wants to strengthen deer and crane blessing, first. This one level enhancement is several times the increase. And the strength of the other talents on him is only a few tenths of a degree when they are strengthened by one level. Yi Xiao Tian walked into the Hall of Samsara and chose the Sea Level Promotion Dungeon. Congratulations to the Awakeners for entering the Sea Level Promotion Dungeon. Please complete the task within the specified time to obtain the qualification for promotion. Kill 100 Sea Level Monsters within half a star to get basic rewards. Kill 100 sea level monsters within half a star to get intermediate rewards. Kill all sea level monsters within half a star to get advanced rewards. Kill all sea level monsters within half a star and kill B level boss monsters to get the highest reward. Half a star, it takes too long. Yi Xiao Tian raised his staff and walked forward. The light at the top of the staff condensed and bloomed, and a trace of fire was entangled, bursting out thousands of flames rising into the sky, turning into falling stars, and falling into the world. Stars fall from the sky. Instant kill. Chapter, 62. How can God triggered the world announcement, and everyone was numb. So this time the discussion was not big, at most they would say how can God 66, and then go about their own business. After all, no matter how powerful how can God is, he can't share a little with them. He has fixed team members, so he doesn't even have a chance to drink soup. Not only is Houtian God mysterious, but even his teammates are very mysterious. So far, no news has been leaked. 
the confidentiality work of the samsara world is quite good. Now the official organizations are frantically looking for this team in the samsara world, but unfortunately there is no progress. Because they all learned from Haotian God and directly closed all the friend applications. This was Yi Xiaotian's reminder to them. He knew very well that once the world announcement came out, those who probably couldn't find Haotian God would explode the friend system of several of their team members. Facts have proved that Yi Xiaotian's reminder was very timely, allowing them to avoid an information bombardment. Yi Xiaotian came out very quickly, and he didn't continue to brush the B-level promotion copy, preparing to slow down first. It would be good to take a day off. He did not leave the reincarnation world, and had to wait for Han Shuyao and the others. Nothing to do, so he came to the Awakener Association again. The problem of the training camp quota was solved because of their efforts, so Yi Xiaotian naturally wanted to take a look. There are many good things there. And you can also see if there are any suitable tasks. Yi Xiaotian walked into the hall of the Awakener Association and did not cause much noise. It was because the costume of the great god Haotian had been circulated, and many people on the market wore it like this. At the beginning, when I saw someone dressed like this, I thought I had met a great god. However, after being deceived too many times, everyone has become numb. Even the awakened people who dressed like this were glared at. It is said that some people were deceived and even their wealth was swindled away, which was very miserable. For such people, Yi Xiaotian didn't know what to say. Yi Xiaotian walked directly to the front desk. How long do you think this guy can last? I bet he can't last 10 seconds. I bet 20 seconds. After all, to impersonate the great god Haotian, you need a certain level of strength. Just now, the great god Haotian had passed the sea level promotion dungeon. Without the strength of sea level, he would probably be beaten badly. Now the Awakener Association absolutely hates the scammers who pretend to be Haotian. Beating them up is the least of their punishment. It is possible that they will be directly disabled. These people are too bold. They even found the Awakener Association to cheat. Yi Xiaotian handed his association badge to the front desk, and then said, I'm looking for Deacon Wu. The front desk saw Yi Xiaotian's outfit and had a cold face at first, but after swiping the badge, he suddenly smiled and stood up and said, Master, please follow me. Fuck. Fuck, what's going on? Why was he taken in? It's not strange to be taken in, the question is what does the smile on the front desk Xiao Bai's face mean? Fuck, that's the real Master Haotian. Someone finally reacted. When everyone reacted, it was too late. Yi Xiaotian and the front desk Xiao Bai had already entered the backyard gate. Then many people began to send messages to shake people. The last time Master Haotian appeared, he left quickly, and those awakened colleges missed an opportunity. This time, they will definitely not miss it. If such a peerless genius can be brought to their own school, it will definitely be a cross-century event. Such a genius may surpass the five supreme powers of mankind in the future. As long as he grows up, the feedback he brings will definitely be indescribable. So all the universities that can be called out have sent people to wait here. This is also the only place where Haotian God has exposed his whereabouts. When it was heard that Haotian God appeared in the Awakener Association of the Reincarnation World again, all the universities that felt that they could attract Haotian God took action. Even those universities that were not very competitive sent people there. In any case, you still have to have an attitude. What if Haotian God thinks that the conditions of these famous schools are too good and do not match his status? After all, geniuses of this level should value freedom rather than resources. Our school can give him the greatest freedom. As long as he comes to our school, he has the final say in everything. A senior executive of an awakened university shouted such a slogan. Fuck, is it so cruel? Then I, the president, will listen to him, is that okay? Said another university president. Do you still have any principles? The university belongs to the country, not you. Why do you make such a promise? Some people couldn't stand it. Unexpectedly, he changed the subject and said, but our school is different. I have applied for permission from the city lord. As long as Haotian comes to our school, he can be the principal. 
The scene was quiet at first, and then it started to boil again. Shameless. Fuck, I thought it was a friendly army, but it turned out to be an enemy army. Too shameless, how could there be such a person, how did such a person become the principal? Does anyone know which major he is from? The most nervous are the seniors of those famous schools. These ordinary university presidents have no bottom line at all and want to kneel down and lick the great god Houtian. They missed the era of the five supremes, and this time, they must not miss it. Not only the universities of the Yanlong Empire came, but also the universities of other countries in the alliance sent people. Then, all the famous universities in the world sent seniors. There is only one purpose, that is, to recruit the great god Houtian into their own schools. Although humans are in a big alliance, there is still fierce competition between countries. The peerless genius who can make the sixth supreme power of mankind will be offered an olive branch by any school in the world. The last time the great god Houtian came too suddenly, so that those foreign universities did not react. This time, they don't want to miss this opportunity. As long as it is within the rules of the game, you can go. Yi Xiaotian didn't know that the outside world was already turbulent because of him. He met Deacon Wu in the backyard. Deacon Wu knew that Houtian was coming. He was a very master. This is the future supreme. A few minutes ago, the world announcement was still about him, and he was promoted to a sea level awakener. It has only been a few days since the awakening ceremony, and he has already become a sea level awakener. This promotion speed is unprecedented. He doesn't know if there will be more people in the future. But one thing is certain, as long as there is no accident, Houtian God is definitely the sixth supreme power of mankind. He is even an existence that surpasses the supreme power. Chapter, 63 Deacon Wu knew that great God Houtian never wastes time, so if he came to him, something must have happened. I wonder why Brother Houtian came to see me. The two parties sat down, and Deacon Wu asked someone to make a pot of good tea, and then said. Yi Xiaotian said, I heard that the training camp suffered a lot of losses this time. Hearing this, Deacon Wu's expression instantly darkened, and he said with a somewhat serious tone, Yes, we have lost many outstanding young talents. You plan to bring in foreign races and heretics, but I didn't expect that a bigger plan was planned to include yours. Yi Xiaotian said lightly. Deacon Houtian's expression changed again and he said, How did Brother Houtian know? I'm in the training camp, how could I not know? Yi Xiaotian said. Are you in the training camp? Deacon Wu was a little confused. If he remembered correctly, the news he got was that Houtian did not enter the training camp. When the training camp started, Houtian's world announcement sounded in the world of reincarnation. Although only high-level humans know about this matter, as the senior deacon of the Awakened Association, he is also qualified to know about it. After all, he is the head of the Association of Awakeners in Samsara Square. And he is the only official person who has directly communicated with Houtian. Now, because of Houtian, Deacon Wu's status has also risen. Not only the top officials hope to maintain friendly communication with Houtian through him, but this is also true for other organizations. They did not have Houtian's contact information, and only Deacon Wu could contact Houtian. In fact, what they didn't know was that even Deacon Wu didn't have Houtian's personal contact information. Deacon Wu wanted to contact Houtian, but only when he came to his door. Originally, the senior leaders of the human race had already determined that Houtian was not in the training camp. For this reason, they were still disappointed for a long time. Now, Houtian personally admitted that he was in the training camp. So how did he manage to attend class and enter the world of reincarnation at the same time? Could it be that there were any omissions in the original information transmission? Houtian is not in class, but has entered the world of reincarnation. This possibility is very high. Deacon Wu thought a little excitedly. At the speed at which Houtian completed the dungeon, it only took a few minutes. Without knowing his true identity, he would have disappeared from the classroom. No one would notice him. After excitement comes calmness. Yes, we didn't expect the aliens and heretical organizations to be so crazy this time. After this attack, the heretical organizations are only down to 2310 of their strength. Deacon Wu said so. 
Yi Xiaotian said, the losses of the heretical organization are indeed great, but if the alien race can support one heretical organization, they can support another heretical organization. For them, just consuming some blood essence can create a large number of strong orcs. So strictly speaking, our losses are greater. Deacon Wu also understood that what Yi Xiaotian said made sense, and said helplessly, this is indeed the truth, but after this battle, the threat to us from the heretical organization is much smaller. Even if the alien race wants to create another heretical organization, it will take time. And what we lack most now is time. This is true. The heretical organization has been severely damaged, so the pressure on the geniuses of the human race will be less. Although the foreign races are full of masters, the situation is different now. It is still very difficult for their people to sneak into the base city. Deacon Wu, let's get back to the topic. I came to see you this time because I want to match my talents with some skills. Yi Xiaotian finally said the purpose of his visit this time. Oh, this is not a problem at all. Our association of awakened people serves the awakened people. Deacon Wu said happily. Wu Xiaotian rolled his eyes, really deceiving him as a novice. If there is no profit, why should your association of awakened people serve the awakened people? Can it be like reading tomato novels, without spending money, and generating electricity purely with love? Silently complaining in his heart, Yi Xiaotian said, Is it really okay? Absolutely no problem. Deacon Wu said firmly. There was an order from above that as long as Hao Tian requested it, it would be satisfied at all costs. And they also want to know what kind of talent Hao Tian has. Some clues can be seen from the skills he matches. As for what was recorded in the Awakening Bureau, it was definitely not Hao Tian's best talent. So this guy is at least a dual talented person. And he has also entered the training camp, which means that his lowest talent is no less than an A level talent. This is terrible. But no matter how high Hao Tian's requirements are, their association of awakeners can still meet them. After all, the people standing behind them were the top brass of the human race. Even the five supreme beings of the human race are standing behind them, what is there to be afraid of? However, it seems that the alien race has had a strong backlash recently. Except for the sword god, several other human race supremes have gone to the alien battlefield to take charge. As for why the sword god stayed, it was naturally because of Haotian. Although I don't know the specific identity of Haotian, one thing is certain, that is, he is from the Yanlong Empire. Yi Xiaotian directly handed the list of talents and skills he had prepared to Deacon Wu, who took it with a calm face. Then, his chin almost hit the ground. Haotian, are you serious? Deacon Wu looked at the densely packed talents and skills on the paper and almost cursed and spurted out blood. Is this a talent and skill that one person can learn? Yi Xiaotian said, Deacon Wu, do you think I will waste my time on this kind of thing? But, how can you learn so many talents and skills by yourself? Look, warrior system, supernatural system, auxiliary system, combat skills, defense skills, auxiliary skills, is there anything you can't learn? The reason why Deacon Wu was suspicious was because this list included all the talents and skills, all kinds of categories. For an ordinary awakener, it is already very good to be able to learn one of the categories of skills. But how can actually wanted them all? Is this to make their awakener association a sucker? Selling talents and skills? Would how can fall to this level? Yi Xiaotian said, I said I can learn all the talents and skills, do you believe it? Deacon Wu was stunned. Is this why how can is so powerful? Perhaps this is the real reason. Okay, I will report this matter. Deacon Wu gritted his teeth and said with a firm face. Everyone is guessing what Hao Tian's talent is. Now it seems that everyone's guess is wrong. His talent is omnipotence. Chapter, 64 Thank you. The training camp is about to end. I hope you can reply to me as soon as possible. Yi Xiaotian said, and he was ready to leave. Deacon Wu stopped him and said, There are hundreds of high level people from the Awakener University waiting for you outside. What are you going to do? Yi Xiaotian said, Do you think I am suitable to talk to them? I am sure that if I talk to them today, my identity will be exposed tomorrow. D. 
Deacon Wu was stunned for a moment, then he came back to his senses and said, Indeed. So I will just enroll normally. Yi Xiao Tian said. Deacon Wu also understood that since Hao Tian could enter the training camp without exposing his identity, he must have the ability to enter the Awakener University normally. It seems that his assessment of Hao Tian's talent level is still too low. His second talent is at least S level or above, otherwise he would not have the confidence to say that he would enroll without exposing his identity. This enrollment is definitely not an ordinary Awakener University. This news must also be reported. Do you want me to help you drive them all away? Deacon Wu asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, Do you have a back door here? Deacon Wu's eyebrows jumped and said, You want to go out through the back door. Yi Xiao Tian said, I'm just too lazy to deal with them. It's a waste of time. Deacon Wu said speechlessly, Okay then. This person's style of doing things is really confusing. Yi Xiao Tian left, and left through the back door of the Awakener Association. When Deacon Wu came out to announce the news, everyone was stunned. God Hao Tian, such a famous figure, actually slipped away through the back door. How can this be? Not at all. No, this should be considered down to earth. Deacon Wu said, Everyone, Brother Hao Tian's identity is not ordinary. He hopes that he can enroll normally, so don't come here to find him again in the future. After he reminded them, the senior executives of those colleges and universities all reacted. It seems to make sense. If Hao Tian accepted their conditions and entered the university, wouldn't it be telling everyone that he is Hao Tian? When they thought of this, they all shook their heads and sighed. It's a pity that I can't personally recruit a genius like Hao Tian into my university. It's also a pity that Hao Tian's identity will never be exposed unless he has the ability to protect himself. This time, the aliens really put a lot of thought into him. First, they started from the Samsara Tower, and then from the temporary training camp in reality. They lost countless men, and the human race also suffered heavy losses. But fortunately, Hao Tian is still fine. This is the benefit of keeping the identity secret. If Hao Tian's identity was exposed, he would not have survived until now. They knew too well how powerful the aliens and heretic organizations were. That was definitely not something that an awakened freshman could bear. I'm afraid that if you want to ensure his safety at that time, you have to ask one of the five supremes to protect him personally. At that time, both the danger and the trouble will increase infinitely. No wonder Hao Tian is so cautious. Now the aliens and heretic organizations regard him as a thorn in their eyes and a thorn in their flesh. At all costs. Both sides knew that once he grew up, he might directly break the offensive and defensive balance between the human race and the alien race. Deacon Wu said seriously, I hope you can all agree with us on this matter. Hao Tian's identity is the most important. Everyone quickly expressed their opinions after hearing this. Some senior officials of famous schools also expressed their concerns and said, Deacon Wu, we understand what you said, but if Hao Tian is really allowed to enroll normally, what should we do if he goes to an ordinary university? Yes, Deacon Wu, this is exactly what we are worried about. With Hao Tian's talent, if he can't get the best education, it will make us sad. A senior official of another famous school also said. For a time, senior officials of famous schools expressed their opinions and expressed their concerns about this. And those international famous schools also expressed such concerns. Hao Tian must get the best education. Deacon Wu said, I will report this matter to the top management later. I think the top management will come up with a proper solution before the big exam. Then Deacon Wu must remember this. This matter is very important. A senior executive of a famous school reminded. If a genius like Hao Tian does not go to a famous school, it will not only be a loss for the famous school, but also a loss for Hao Tian himself. As for which famous school Hao Tian will go to in the end, it depends on chance. In this way, the competition among everyone is not as fierce as before. Deacon Wu smiled and said, Don't worry, I believe that there will be a perfect plan for how to train Hao Tian. You schools don't have to worry. His meaning is very clear. In the future, the resources needed by Hao Tian should be handed over from the reincarnation world. During Hao Tian's stay in school, 
he will definitely not reveal his identity unless it is necessary. Okay, I have something to report, so I won't entertain you. Deacon Wu had something else to report in a hurry, and he didn't have time to accompany them here. If the senior management of these awakened universities were not ordinary, he would not come out to greet them. It's really a waste of time. But once you are in the world, you have no choice. After sending away the senior executives of these universities, Deacon Wu started to do his own thing. He reported the list and Houtian's words intact. As for what the higher-ups would decide, it was not something he could influence. Before Yi Xiaotian returned to the Samsara Hall, he received a message from Han Xuyao, saying that she had completed the upgrade dungeon. She was just asking Yi Xiaotian how the upgrade dungeon went. I'm out now, wait for me for a while. Yi Xiaotian replied. He had no opinion about Han Xuyao, only satisfaction. With such a woman loving you, how could you demand more? Han Xuyao, have you completed the upgrade? She was surprised. She originally thought that she was the first to complete the task, but she didn't expect Yi Xiaotian to be faster. But thinking of Yi Xiaotian's talent, she was relieved again. With the blessing of talent skills, it was normal for Yi Xiaotian to be faster. But his equipment seemed to be outdated and should be replaced. When she bought it, she thought she should go directly to B-level swords and armor. Now thinking about it, she was still foresight. Soon, the two met outside the Samsara Hall. They may need a little longer, why don't we go for a walk? Han Xuyao didn't ask what Yi Xiaotian was going to do. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, okay. Now he has restored his Yan Luo costume, and no one will know that he is Haotian when he goes out. Let's go to the equipment store. Han Xuyao took Yi Xiaotian's hand and walked towards the equipment store. Chapter, 65 Handsome guy, come and play, I won't charge you. An abrupt voice sounded in the ears of Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao. Get lost. Han Xuyao was angry. With such a beautiful girlfriend around, why would he play with you? Yi Xiaotian was stunned. What the hell is going on? This kind of industry has actually moved from reality to the reincarnation world. Yes, the law in the real world does not allow it, and it belongs to a grey industry. But in the reincarnation world, there are no constraints. As long as both parties are willing, there will be no punishment under the reincarnation rules. It is said that the reincarnation world is a real world, even a real world higher than the real world. This speculation is not unreasonable. Otherwise, many things cannot be explained. For example, if this is not a real world, how can you play? And here are the reincarnation towers all over the world. As long as the authority reaches the requirements of the reincarnation world and pays enough reincarnation points, you can go to all parts of the world with just one thought. This world is amazing. Han Xuyao pulled Yi Xiaotian into an equipment store quickly, her face flushed. These wandering women are really shameless. On the street, they are openly selling like this, how can they say it? Xuyao, why are we here? Yi Xiaotian asked strangely. Change equipment. Han Xuyao said unhappily. Yi Xiaotian was a little amused. He was angry about this. He didn't pay attention to them. Was it necessary? Your B level staff is enough. Yi Xiaotian said. At this stage, B level equipment is definitely enough. After all, no matter how advanced the equipment is, it must have corresponding strength to exert its power. With their current strength, B-level equipment should be the limit. Going up is a huge waste. Change it for you. Han Xuyao said, last time I asked you to buy B-level equipment directly, you didn't want to, now you should change it. Yi Xiaotian. What else can he say? With such a woman who thinks about you anytime and anywhere, he really can't ask for more. Moreover, you also need a staff, so that you can use the auxiliary talent skills more easily and it is possible to strengthen the skill amplification. Han Xuyao said again. At this time, the waiter came up and said very respectfully, two distinguished guests, what do you need? Han Xuyao said, we want to buy some B-level equipment. Okay, please follow me. Upon hearing this, 
the waiter immediately led them to the B-level equipment area. Dear guests, this is the B-level equipment area. Do you want to buy warrior equipment or superpower equipment? Han Xuyao said, both. Yi Xiaotian's eyebrows jumped, but he did not refuse. If he had a little thought of climbing up before, now it is completely gone. No matter how much Han Xuyao pays for him now, he will repay her tenfold and a hundredfold in the future. The waiter was not surprised. After all, there are two people, a warrior and a superpower, a perfect match. This is the warrior equipment area. This is the sword, and this is the armor. Excuse me, distinguished guest, what material do you need? The waiter asked again. This question was beyond Yi Xiaotian's knowledge, so he wisely chose to keep silent. Of course we want the best material. Do you have it here? Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian's eyebrows began to jump again. He said the best, but didn't he ask the price first? Han Xuyao gave him a reassuring look. The waiter's eyes lit up. Such guests are definitely their favorite. The best material represents the highest price, which is equal to their income. Yes, please follow me. He took the two directly to the inner area. Yi Xiaotian walked along and saw a sign hanging on many shelves, which said equipment of various materials. For example, Metal Gear Equipment Area, Titanium Equipment Area, and Tianjin Equipment Area. Yi Xiaotian had heard of Metal Gear, but it was the first time he saw Titanium and Tianjin on the front. Han Xuyao said at this time, is the best equipment here Tianjin? The waiter was stunned, and then said a little ashamed, yes. That's fine, Tianjin equipment is not bad. Han Xuyao said casually, I want a war knife and a battle armor. Yi Xiaotian said, Xuyao, is there any equipment with higher material? Han Xuyao whispered, there is also star gold above Tianjin, but that kind of material is hard to come by. The waiter saw their interaction and was absolutely envious and jealous of Yi Xiaotian. Damn, we both have 12 years of compulsory education, why should I be a waiter here, while you can be with a rich man? And it's such a young and beautiful rich woman. Is life beginning to twist? This is the real winner in life. Guest, the ones on this shelf are all B-level Tianjin war knives, and this is B-level Tianjin battle armor. The waiter's voice was a little trembling. But his good professionalism made him calm down quickly. The only difference between him and Yi Xiaotian is a handsome face, what's so great about it? As long as he sticks here. One day, a discerning wealthy woman will take a fancy to him and take him away. Han Xuyao said to Yi Xiaotian, Brother Tian, choose one yourself and see which style of these swords suits you better. Yi Xiaotian nodded and walked to the shelf. Before he looked at the style of the sword, he saw the price on it. Fuck. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. He wiped his eyes and saw that he was not wrong. What the hell are the eight zeros at the end? This is fucking, this sword is worth hundreds of millions. No, it's hundreds of millions. To be honest, this price is really hard for him to accept. In his world, his savings have never exceeded ten zero zero. Now he suddenly has to buy a sword worth 300 million, and he can't get around it all of a sudden. Brother Tian, what's wrong? Han Xuyao saw Yi Xiaotian standing there in a daze, and couldn't help but say, are you not satisfied with these styles? Yi Xiaotian came back to his senses, swallowed his saliva, and whispered, Xuyao, why don't we go somewhere else to choose? Han Xuyao knew that Yi Xiaotian was scared by the price as soon as he heard it. Brother Tian, this is the price of the equipment made of Tianjin. Han Xuyao said. But this is too expensive. Yi Xiaotian felt a little guilty. Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian, you introduced us to the team of Haotian God, and the points you got are far more than this price. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. He really had never thought about it in this way. He also understood what Han Xuyao meant. Some things don't need to be calculated so clearly. Okay. Yi Xiaotian threw away the last bit of pressure in his heart and began to choose. Chapter, 66. Good equipment is still very important for awakeners. For the same enemy, you may have to use 70% of your strength to kill the opponent with your bare hands, 
but with good weapons and equipment, you only need to use 30% of your strength, or even less. Some aliens even have very strong bodies, and you can't break the opponent's defense with your fists. At this time, a high-quality weapon can solve many problems. When Yi Xiao Tian and Han Shuyao came out of the equipment store, they had already upgraded their equipment. However, the currency consumed was also huge. A B-level Tianjin wore knife, a B-level Tianjin wore armor, and a non-attribute B-level magic wand, a total of 1, 5 billion. Yi Xiaotian's eyebrows jumped again. But Han Shuyao didn't even frown, and swiped the card directly. The waiter who followed them was even more upset. This soft rice really reached a new level. Brother Tian, don't be depressed. Let me tell you something. In the eyes of awakened people, problems that can be solved with money are not problems Han Shuyao said while holding Yi Xiaotian's arm. Yes, problems that can be solved with money are not problems, but the problem is that I have no money. One, five billion. It's simply robbery. In comparison, the Tianjin War knife he saw at first was actually the cheapest. The armor is more expensive than the war knife, but compared with the staff, the first two are not a problem. The two together are not even enough for the money of a staff. The superpowers are indeed extremely noble, and the equipment is also extremely expensive. And Brother Tian, think about how much these three pieces of equipment can bring you. Han Shuyao kept instilling the concept of rich people into Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, Shuyao, I don't think these three pieces of equipment are too expensive, I just think you can't spend your money like this. This is not my money either. Han Shuyao blinked. It's not your money. Yi Xiaotian was shocked. How can you spend money that is not yours? Han Shuyao smiled and said, This is my father's money, so don't worry, he has plenty of money. Yi Xiaotian. What you said makes sense, and I can't even refute it. I don't know if Han Xuyao's father will have a heart attack after seeing the bill. When he finds out that the money was spent on him, will his heart stop beating? What he doesn't know is that in a villa in Jiangcheng, Han Xuyao's father is holding his heart and feeling a little difficult to breathe. How long will he have to save it? Although he is the head of the Han family, and the Han family has money, the money of the Han family is not his money. The card he gave to Han Xuyao is all his own money. Every penny of the Han family's money is recorded. Once the accounts are not clear, his position as the head of the family may be unstable. This kind of thing is too common in big families. There is also an elder's council above the head of the family. If you dare to ignore the interests of the family, I'm sorry, change someone else. In a word, the landlord's family didn't have much surplus food. All this money was saved by him to cultivate Han Shuyao. But now, it's all gone. After adjusting his breathing, he hurried into the reincarnation world and prepared to have a good chat with Han Shuyao. He had just arrived at the reincarnation square and had not had time to send a message to his daughter when he saw a familiar figure. That was the figure of his intimate little cotton padded jacket. But at this moment, his little cotton padded jacket was attached to someone else's body, warming other men. At that moment, Han Jing felt that his heart was pierced by a needle. His intimate little cotton padded jacket was leaking and no longer intimate. The little cabbage that he had cultivated with great effort was just grown up and was pushed by a pig. Damn bastard, dare to deceive my daughter, Han Jing. Han Jing wanted to kill Yi Xiaotian, very strongly. Then, Han Jing saw the B-level Tianjin armor worn on Yi Xiaotian and the B-level Tianjin sword on his back, and his heart was twitching. I thought my daughter spent the money on herself. Now it seems that she didn't. She spent it on that pig. Uncle can tolerate it, but aunt can't. Xu Yao. Han Jing felt so angry that he uttered a deep voice. Han Xu Yao was immersed in sweetness, and suddenly heard her father's voice, and thought she was hallucinating. Xu Yao, someone really called you. Yi Xiao Tian reminded. Han Xu Yao woke up from her immersion and looked at Han Jing, and suddenly she was like a frightened deer. Oh no, I was caught in the act, and I can't argue now. Han Shuyao was a little panicked. Yi Xiaotian, on the other hand, was very calm. He grabbed Han Shuyao's hand and didn't let her break free. 
Han Xuyao felt the power transmitted from Yi Xiaotian's hand and gradually calmed down. Han Jing had a gloomy face, but he appreciated Yi Xiaotian's actions at the moment. At least this pig is still responsible and didn't abandon his little cotton never mind, she's no longer his little cotton jacket. He also heard about Han Xuyao and Yi Xiaotian's affairs. But he didn't take it seriously. In his opinion, first love doesn't understand love at all. When they go to college and separate, they will slowly change. And first love is beautiful, Han Jing doesn't want to interfere with it with external forces, so as not to have the opposite effect. But he never expected that the originally planned plot would change so suddenly. The three of them sat down in a tea house in the Samsara Square. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian was holding Han Xuyao's hand and had not let go, Han Jing's eyebrows jumped wildly, and he almost couldn't help but let a thunderbolt hit Yi Xiaotian's head directly. Let him taste what it feels like to be struck by thunder. Han Xuyao sat next to Yi Xiaotian, and her heart was very sweet. As for being caught by her father on the spot, it was not so scary. Han Jing took his eyes back from the hands of the two, coughed, and said, Xuyao, are you okay in the training camp? The atmosphere was too awkward, and he didn't know how to start. Very good. Han Xuyao replied. Oh, that's good. Han Jing said. The atmosphere became even more awkward. Han Jing didn't want to hurt his daughter, in fact, he really wanted to beat Yi Xiaotian up. Xu Yao, why don't you go out and wait for me first, I will talk to your classmate. Han Jing said. Dad, what do you want to say to Brother Tian? Why can't I be here? Han Xu Yao's reaction was very intense. Yi Xiao Tian patted Han Xu Yao's little hand and said, Xu Yao, why don't you wait outside for a while, I'll talk to uncle. No, I want to stay. Han Xu Yao said firmly. Yi Xiao Tian said, Xu Yao, this is a conversation between men, it's not good for you, a girl, to stay here. Han Jing was a little shocked. This guy, no, this pig, no, this classmate, actually has such courage, and he doesn't look so bad. Chapter, 67 Han Xu Yao stood outside, feeling very nervous. If she hadn't believed in Yi Xiao Tian, she would never have come out. After waiting for only half a minute, Yi Xiao Tian came out. Brother Tian, where is my dad? Han Xu Yao looked behind Yi Xiao Tian, and her father didn't come out with her. Yi Xiao Tian said, Uncle is drinking tea inside, let's go first, Haozi and Xiaozi should be coming out soon. Although Han Xu Yao was a little confused, she believed in Yi Xiao Tian, and she didn't doubt anything after hearing that, so she followed Yi Xiao Tian out of the tea house. In the tea house facing the street, Han Jing looked at his daughter and Yi Xiao Tian who were going out, and sighed in his heart, the young are formidable. Yi Xiao Tian didn't say much just now, but just showed him his awakener level. Although Yi Xiao Tian's awakener level is only C level now, it is enough. Han Jing's expression at that time was really wonderful. He opened his mouth, didn't say a word, and his brain was a little down. Yi Xiao Tian didn't disturb him and left the tea house directly. Han Jing's mood was very complicated. The young people nowadays were very powerful. The current awakened freshmen were generally still hovering around F level, and the genius level was only E level at most. This was after participating in the temporary training camp. There might be D level ones, but they were definitely rare. As for C level, there was absolutely no chance. The main attributes of the freshmen at this time might exceed 100, but it was definitely impossible to exceed 100. As for B level, that was even more impossible. You have to know that Han Jing was also an A level talent. He had practiced for decades, but he was only a B level awakener. If a freshman who had awakened for only a few days had already been promoted to a B level awakener, it would be too terrifying. C level, although it was also difficult to accept, was still within the range of tolerance. So although it was very shocking, at least the heart could still bear it. This awakening level was given by the reincarnation rules, and it could not be faked at all, so Han Jing did not doubt it. But wasn't Yi Xiao Tian a C-level talent awakener? How come his awakening level was already C-level? There was something strange about this. If all this is true, then there is no problem for Han Xuyao to be with him. 
so he still has to investigate this matter. Thinking of this, he quickly contacted his friends in the training camp. Soon, the news was fed back to him. After all, Yi Xiaotian said the matter of dual talents in front of so many people, and there was no intention to hide it. Dual Talents S-Level Auxiliary System, C-Level Warrior System Han Jing was a little embarrassed when he heard the news. This young man is very surprising. It seems that I have to have a good talk with my daughter. Han Jing felt it necessary to have a good talk with his daughter about Yi Xiaotian. After all, this is his little cotton padded jacket. Let's say Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao return to the Samsara Hall. Soon, Mu Bingyan came out first, followed by Chang Xiaoxi, and then Wang Hao. Although both of them are close combat, their strength is similar. But Wang Hao is only a sea level talent after all, there is still a gap. Yi Xiaotian thought that if there is a chance, he must help Wang Hao improve his talent level. They are brothers in the same life. Wang Hao has nothing to say to him, and he can't let Wang Hao fall behind. However, it is estimated that treasures such as talent enhancement cannot be bought. In addition to exchanging points, there is only one way, that is, after the high-level dungeon gets a super high evaluation, there may be rewards. Fortunately, there is no rush for this matter, and there will be plenty of opportunities in the future. And Huang Jie came out last. After all, he is just an auxiliary system, and it is difficult to pass the promotion dungeon. But it seems that their family must have spent a lot of money this time. Okay, let's stop here today. We will go online again tomorrow night and play dungeons with the gods. Yi Xiaotian called out and asked everyone to go offline first. Anyway, if you don't brush the dungeon here, there is nothing to do. You can go shopping here. But the things here are not cheap, so forget it. Today, Han Xuyao spent more than 10 billion, and Yi Xiaotian still feels under great pressure, after all, he was caught on the spot by his father-in-law. The next day, he took common sense classes as usual during the day and learned various knowledge of awakeners. Breathing and meditation are what every awakener must learn. Breathing can quickly restore physical strength, and meditation can quickly restore mental power. People with different talents recover at different speeds. This is why talent is supreme. Everything about awakeners is rooted in talent. In this way, a day passed quickly. Classmates, unknowingly, the days of the training camp are about to end. Although it is only a short ten days, I believe that the impression left here is profound. But this is the life of an awakener. As long as the alien race is not eliminated, we can't relax for a day. Okay, everyone go back and rest. After the instructor finished speaking, he announced the end of the get out of class, and everyone went to the dormitory. Student Yi Xiaotian Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao and their team left the classroom together, and were stopped by someone. Yi Xiaotian looked back and knew the person who stopped him. He was considered a celebrity in the training camp. Student Chen Xu, is there anything? Yi Xiaotian asked. A trace of jealousy flashed in Chen Xu's eyes, but he quickly hid it and said with a smile on his face, It's like this, the training camp will end tomorrow, so we are planning to hold a party, and I hope Xiaotian can come to participate. The gala? Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised. How could he hold a gala in this barren mountain? Chen Shu nodded and said, Yes, that's how everyone sits down to chat and share their feelings. Wouldn't it be better if you just talked about the tea party? There is also a gala party, and the name is of no use in getting high profile. Okay, do you need our help? Yi Xiaotian agreed. When it comes to classmates, even though they all looked down on me before, there was no need to be so stiff. After all, these are the future elites of the human race. No, we are all ready. When the time comes, we will light a bonfire on the playground and everyone can show off their talents. Chen Shu said. Well, just now I was talking about my feelings, but now it's just about showing off my talents. This is to catch the duck on the shelf. You are all ready. Let us know beforehand. Do you plan to watch our jokes then? However, Yi Xiaotian thought about it again and saw no reason to refuse, so he said, Okay, thank you for your hard work. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian took the people away. 
Brother Tian, I always feel that Chen Shu has no good intentions. Wang Hao said. Huang Jia also said, I also feel there is something wrong, my eyes are wrong. Then we won't participate. Han Shuyao said simply. Mu Bingyan is not a person who likes to talk. Chang Xiaoxi always takes Han Shuyao as the leader. Yi Xiaotian said with a smile, that's not a big deal. Let's see what happens when the time comes. Thinking about it, it shouldn't be too much. Chapter 68 At night, Yi Xiaotian first transformed into the god Haotian and led the team to brush the D-level team dungeon. There was no new gain in talents and skills, but Yi Xiaotian didn't have any expectations. However, the gain in life essence made Yi Xiaotian overjoyed. Each D-level monster gave him 100 points of life essence. There were 80 zero zero monsters in 5 difficult dungeons, which directly gave him 80 million life essences. Together with the nearly 40 million life essences accumulated before, the total has reached 120 million. The talent deer and crane blessing, can be upgraded. After coming out of the dungeon, Yi Xiaotian sent them to exchange attributes and improve their strength. Those who met the promotion requirements should hurry to do the promotion dungeon. Those who did not meet the requirements should brush the personal dungeon again. However, the D-level team dungeon alone brought each of them 400 zero zero reincarnation points, which was definitely more than enough. And Yi Xiaotian himself got 4 million reincarnation points, and the total points reached 8 million points. Directly upgrade the talent of Deer Crane Blessing, to SS level, the basic increase has reached 5 times, and with the blessing of the Awakener level, the talent increase has reached 7 times. And as Yi Xiaotian expected before, not only the basic increase multiple has increased, but the attribute of the increase has also changed from specifying a single attribute to specifying two attributes. The improvement is definitely not as simple as strengthening the talent by one level. Seeing the 8 million reincarnation points on the account, Yi Xiaotian clicked on the reincarnation mall and prepared to buy some skills for himself. Of course, he didn't need to buy two good skills, as long as the basic skills would be fine. No matter what the result of the Awakener Association is, it is the same. If they agree, then he can save a lot of life essence. If they don't agree, then they can only do it slowly. Reincarnation points are the most important, and life essence is still behind. After all, points are the hard currency of the reincarnation world. As long as you have enough points, you can buy anything. For example, treasures that improve the talent level can also be bought as long as you have reincarnation points. After some shopping, Yi Xiaotian did not rest, but entered the B-level Awakener promotion copy. His current attributes have long exceeded the standard of B-level Awakeners, and the four attributes have exceeded 30 zero zero points. At this point, Yi Xiaotian wanted to thank the aliens again. If they had not paid the price of blood, he would not have risen so quickly. Not only did the life essence obtained increase several times, but so did the reincarnation points. For other freshmen, this is a disaster, but for Yi Xiaotian, this is definitely a great opportunity. If I can come a few more times, it will be even better. Unfortunately, after the big exam, this kind of benefit will no longer exist. So I have to cherish these two days. A few minutes later, the world announcement sounded again in the reincarnation world. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian, cleared the B-level promotion copy, and was rated Super God. Chapter 69 The next day, there were still classes. Although it was the last day, the instructors obviously had no intention of wasting time. The content of the lectures was all practical. They were all things that Yi Xiaotian and his peers were eager to know, but were not covered in the high school curriculum. Students, today I will talk to you about the control system. Chief Instructor Lu Dingsheng said loudly on the podium. Control system. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. How could a new system suddenly appear? Aren't there only warrior systems, supernatural systems, and auxiliary systems for awakeners? Obviously, in addition to Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, there are many students who have not heard of the control system. The previous courses were all about the three major systems of awakeners, as well as the knowledge of team battles. Now that a control system suddenly appeared, 
it's no wonder they were surprised. Everyone, be quiet. Lu Dingsheng was not angry. He knocked on the table to remind everyone to be quiet. I know everyone is curious. Aren't there only three systems for awakeners? How come there is a control system? Yes, instructor, I have never heard of this control system. What is going on? A bold student stood up and asked. Lu Dingsheng waved his hand, motioning the student who asked the question to sit down, and then explained, Dear students, there is nothing wrong with the three systems of awakeners. Although the control system is also a small system, it comes from the auxiliary system. It is normal that you have not heard of it. After all, the control system is a relatively niche system and is classified under the auxiliary system. What is the control system? As the name suggests, it is a talent system that can control the opponent. The awakeners of the control system have talent skills mainly based on control. This is very similar to the function of the auxiliary system, but the ordinary auxiliary system is to enhance the combat effectiveness of teammates, or weaken the combat effectiveness of opponents, in order to achieve the purpose of winning the battle. However, the control system acts on the enemy, and helps teammates kill the enemy by controlling the enemy's actions. Lu Dingsheng's words opened a new window for all students. Sure enough, a region like theirs that ranked very low didn't even know this kind of knowledge. Yi Xiao Tian looked around and found that although most of the students didn't know, there were still a few students who knew. For example, Chen Shu was one of the students who knew. At this moment, he had a proud look on his face and his eyes were full of contempt. Compared with this group of bumpkins, he was undoubtedly much better. He didn't even know about the control system, and he himself was a control system mutant. The human race has control system mutants, so do alien races have control systems? Yes. Without waiting for the students to answer, Lu Dingsheng answered the question directly. Now, let's talk about the priority in the team. Lu Dingsheng continued to lecture. In a team, the auxiliary system is naturally the top priority, because a good auxiliary can make a team play several times, or even dozens of times the combat effectiveness. So the auxiliary system is absolutely the absolute core of a team. Lu Dingsheng used two absolutes in a row to emphasize the importance of the auxiliary system. A team without an auxiliary system can be said to be a team without a soul. In addition to being the core of the team, the auxiliary system is also the commander of the team. Therefore, when facing the enemy, it is crucial to be able to defeat the opponent's auxiliary system in the first place. At this point, a student suddenly stood up and asked, Coach Lu, which one is more prioritized, the auxiliary system or the control system? Chen Xu's eyes lit up, and this question was well asked. In his opinion, the control system is the first priority. And he is an S-level control system psychic, while Yi Xiaotian is an S-level auxiliary system psychic. The two are naturally competitive. It's just a team, there can be no control system, but the auxiliary system is definitely needed. So Chen Shu has always been very dissatisfied. Since Yi Xiaotian's talent was exposed, he has been secretly competing with Yi Xiaotian. But what discouraged him was that Yi Xiaotian simply ignored him. There were not many girls in the entire training camp, and even fewer beautiful ones. And the two most beautiful ones were in Yi Xiaotian's team. Although Chang Xiaoxi is only of average appearance, she is still inferior to Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. But if compared with other girls, she seems to have an advantage. In other words, the three best-looking girls in the training camp are all in Yi Xiaotian's team. This is also one of the reasons why Qin Shu is very dissatisfied with Yi Xiaotian. If Lu Dingsheng could say that the control department is more important than the auxiliary department, then he can suppress Yi Xiaotian. Instructor Lu motioned the student to sit down, and then said, which one is more important and has a higher priority, the auxiliary department or the control department? There is nothing to worry about. Any team can be without a control department, but it must not be without an auxiliary department. From this sentence, it can be seen that which one is more important, the auxiliary department or the control department. Of course, if a team has both auxiliary departments and control departments, it is naturally the best. Lu Dingxing's words made Chen Shu's hope, which had just risen, return to its original form. But soon, 
He thought that it must be that Instructor Lu's level was not good enough and he didn't know the real power of the control system, so he said such a thing. He, Chen Shu, must restore the reputation of the control system. He wanted to prove to the world that the control system was the most important and the first priority. After all, as long as the enemy was controlled, the auxiliary system would have no room to play. He always thought so. Instructor Lu, can't the control system be more powerful than the auxiliary system? A classmate next to Chen Shu stood up and said. Lu Dingxing nodded and said, this is a good question. Controlling psychics are indeed very powerful, but there is a prerequisite, that is, they must control the enemy. We all know that wars with alien races have always been fought by legions, and even small-scale battles are team battles. I don't need to say much about the composition of a team. How many control psychics can you control? And how many can you control? You know, auxiliary psychics can make an awakened person play several times or even dozens of times the combat power. In this state, is there any room for control psychics to play? And the most important point is that once a control psychic encounters a restraining psychic, there is no room for him to play. Chen Shu frowned when he heard this. He felt that Lu Dingsheng was a bit too harsh. In reality, how could you be so unlucky to encounter a restraining psychic? So rounding off, the control system is still ranked first. Chapter, 70 As night fell, the training camp was preparing to hold a party. Chief Instructor Lu Dingsheng and the head of the training camp Zhao Xinjian knew about it. They did not stop it. Moreover, these students were in a tense state during this period, so it would be good for them to relax. And Zhao Xinjia also gave an order that all instructors and clerks should take action to ensure the safety of the party. If there is any problem this time, Zhao Xinjia will really be blamed. During the day, Chief Instructor Lu Dingsheng led the instructor team to clean up the surrounding area of dozens of miles to ensure that there would be no attacks from strange beasts nearby. There was no wine at the party, but drinks and tea were available. Student Yi Xiao Tian, I will use tea instead of wine to toast you. Chen Shu walked to Yi Xiao Tian with a teacup. Beside Yi Xiao Tian, with him as the center, the team members gathered around him. It can be said that he was surrounded by beauties, and I don't know how many jealous eyes he attracted. And beside Chen Shu, there were also several classmates, all of whom were above S-level talents. These people, wherever they go, can be said to be the focus of attention. But here, they are very disappointed. Because there is a Yi Xiao Tian above them. Since Yi Xiao Tian came to the training camp, all their brilliance has been overshadowed. First, he entered the training camp as a C-level talent awakener. Just when everyone wanted to ridicule, Han Shuyao stood up. Just when everyone was preparing to teach Yi Xiao Tian a lesson in actual combat, letting him know that the world of awakeners cannot be relied on women. The attack of alien races and heretical organizations occurred. Under the beast tide, the trainees in the training camp suffered heavy losses. At this time, Yi Xiaotian's team stood up and killed all around. Although everyone did not see Yi Xiaotian's combat power, they witnessed the horror of his team. Then his identity as an S-level auxiliary dual talent awakener was exposed. Everyone's fear of him has also risen to the top. Whenever there are people around him, others can only bear it no matter how unhappy they are. Tonight is probably their last chance. Chen Shu, thank you for your invitation. Yi Xiao Tian also raised the drink in his hand and said lightly. Chen Shu took a sip of tea, and then said, Classmate Yi Xiao Tian, what do you think of the priority of the auxiliary department and the control department that instructor Lu said during the day? Yi Xiao Tian said, I don't know much, after all, I am not a control department, and I have never seen a control department. But since instructor Lu said so, there should be a reason. Chen Shu shook his head and said, I don't think so. The reason why everyone thinks that the priority of the auxiliary department is higher than the control department is just because the control department is very rare. Another very important reason is that there are even fewer control departments that can really grow up. Yi Xiao Tian heard the meaning of Chen Shu's words and said, Oh, what do you think, classmate Chen Shu? Chen Shu smiled and said, To be honest with classmate Yi Xiao Tian, my talent is actually the control department, and it is also S-level. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, 
Oh, then congratulations to classmate Chin Shu. Chin Shu felt depressed. Is this guy really stupid or just pretending to be stupid? I've made it so clear, why don't you pick up the thread? At this time, shouldn't you suggest that we compete to see whether the auxiliary system is stronger or the control system is stronger? Student Yi Xiao Tian, this is a good opportunity, don't you think we should demonstrate it to the students? Chen Shu said directly. Yi Xiao Tian said, I don't think it's necessary. After all, I am a dual talented person. It's a bit of bullying to fight with you. Although Chen Shu is also an S level talent awakener, in terms of real combat power, he is not even worthy of carrying Yi Xiao Tian's shoes. Yi Xiao Tian fighting with him is really too bullying. It doesn't matter, I don't care, I just want to give our control system a good name. Is student Yi Xiao Tian afraid? Chen Shu provoked. Fuck, kid, how can you talk like that? If you have the guts, I'll fight you. Wang Hao stood up and shouted. Chen Shu said contemptuously, Are you an auxiliary system? Are you an S-level talent awakener? These two questions directly irritated Wang Hao. No matter what level of talent I have, I can pin you to the ground, you weakling. Wang Hao raised his muscular arms, ready to fight if there was any disagreement. At this time, the instructors had already gone to the periphery to guard. Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie were not idle either, and they also went out to ensure the smooth holding of the party. So now there are only these students in the training camp. Of course, even Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie did not expect that there would be waves on the last night of the training camp. Wang Hao, why are you so arrogant? You are just a C-level talent trash. A male classmate with a strong figure behind Chen Shu said. Then let me, a C-level talent trash, show you what it means to be worse than trash. Wang Hao did not waste words and went straight to fight. Chen Shu was indeed not a good opponent. After all, the other party was just an auxiliary psychic. Even if he won, it would be an unfair victory. But the guy who was speaking was different. His S-level martial arts talent made him just right to be an opponent. Yi Xiao Tian did not stop Wang Hao. These guys really need to be taught a lesson. Let them suffer a little. I think this kind of healthy competition will not be blamed even if the instructors come back. Although Wang Hao is only a C-level talent at this time, his awakening level is a real C-level. Facing these freshmen is like an eagle against a chick. At the beginning, Chen Shu and the others were still wary of Yi Xiao Tian, fearing that he would bless Wang Hao with auxiliary skills. If Yi Xiao Tian dared to break the rules, then they would naturally not be polite. However, seeing that Yi Xiao Tian was still holding a drink in his hand and had no intention of intervening, they all breathed a sigh of relief. But they were confused again. Doesn't this guy worry about his brother losing? But the next moment, he didn't have this idea. Puff. Wang Hao just punched the guy on the opposite side and made him spit blood and fly out. If Wang Hao hadn't restrained his strength, this punch would have blown up his body. It's just an injury, it's a bargain for him. Seeing that the other party couldn't get up, Wang Hao said loudly, Didn't you say that I was a waste? Then what do you mean? Am I even worse than a waste? The boy's pale face suddenly turned liver colored. Wang Hao, you should forgive others when you can. You are so aggressive. Are you trying to provoke a civil war among the human race? Chen Shu's pupils shrank, and he quickly asked someone to help the injured classmate up and arrange for someone to treat him. After that, he put a big hat on Wang Hao's head. Chapter, 71 A mere exchange between classmates can be accused of provoking a civil war among the human race. This Chen Shu is really good. Chen Shu, who do you think you are? The supreme ruler of the human race. And you are provoking a civil war among the human race. What do you think you are? Why do you say such things? Han Shuyao didn't like Chen Shu in the first place. Ever since entering the training camp, Chen Shu's eyes have been on her. Fortunately, this guy hasn't lost his mind, otherwise she would have been rude. Unexpectedly, this Chen Shu looks quite polite, but his mind is so vicious. It's just an exchange between classmates, a small conflict between words, 
but such a big hat is put down, it's really a dog that bites without barking. Chen Shu was furious at Han Xuyao's series of questions and said, isn't it? Is it necessary to use such a heavy hand in the exchange between classmates? Also, this classmate is already injured, and he still wants to provoke him with words. What is he doing? Chen Shu shouted angrily. Didn't you start this? Oh, you can call Wang Hao a waste, trash, but you can't let him fight back. What kind of law is this? Han Xuyao's words were sharp, leaving Chen Shu speechless. He couldn't get any good from Han Xuyao, so he could only look at Yi Xiao Tian and said, Yi Xiao Tian, do you dare or not? Otherwise, you will hide behind women all your life. Yi Xiao Tian stopped Han Xuyao who was about to fight back and said, Okay, no matter how much you say, it's better to kill with one knife. If he wants to fight, then fight. Hearing this, Han Xuyao's eyes began to light up. As for the other team members, they all know Yi Xiao Tian's strength, so they are not worried at all. If the battle is really full, poor Chen Shu can't even last one round. The two walked to the middle of the open space. Take out your weapon. Chen Shu said to Yi Xiao Tian with a staff in his hand. Yi Xiao Tian was not polite and took out his D-level sword as he said. As for the B-level Tianjin war knife, taking it out in such an occasion is really an insult to this weapon. If it were up to him, he would not even want to take out this D-level war knife. With Chen Shu's strength, he is really unworthy. But when it comes to classmates, he should not be too contemptuous, otherwise they will be unhappy. Seeing Yi Xiao Tian take out the war knife, Chen Shu secretly breathed a sigh of relief. This fool actually wanted to fight him as a warrior. It's not his fault, he said before that it was a battle between the auxiliary system and the control system. He was still very wary of Yi Xiaotian's identity as an auxiliary system. With the talent of the S-level auxiliary system and the blessing of the talent skills, even the most ordinary attack skills can kill him in one hit. Of course, the premise is that he can use the skills and hit him. Chen Shu is confident that he can control Yi Xiaotian before he launches his skills. As long as he is controlled by him, Yi Xiaotian will be a lamb to be slaughtered. Ideals are full, but reality is very skinny. His plan was very good, but he overlooked a problem. That is, the gap between his strength and Yi Xiaotian was too big. Chen Shu raised his staff, and a thread came out of his staff and wrapped around Yi Xiaotian. Swish! Yi Xiaotian cut Chen Shu's control thread into countless pieces with a knife, and it fell to the ground. Chen Shu did not panic and continued to use his skills. Yi Xiaotian watched him quietly without attacking. This was the first time he had seen a control type psychic, and he wanted to see more of what the control system had. The thread just now was just average. The ground where he stood suddenly broke open, and several vines wrapped around him. The incident happened suddenly and the distance was close, so the vines directly wrapped around Yi Xiaotian, wrapping him like a dumpling. Good. Chen Shu's classmates cheered. They thought the battle was over here, and Yi Xiaotian was controlled by Chen Shu and would definitely not be able to break free. Chen Shu was very proud. What S-level amplification system psychic is just like this? In front of their control system, they still have no power to fight back. Wang Hao wanted to take action anxiously, but was stopped by Han Xuyao, who shook his head at him, indicating that Yi Xiaotian had no problem. Is this all you can do? Yi Xiaotian waited for a long time, but did not see Chen Shu's subsequent actions, and was immediately disappointed. Is this the so-called ability of the control system? After controlling the enemy, there was no subsequent action at all. He didn't even check whether the enemy still had the power to fight back. He was very disappointed. To be precise, it was Chen Shu who disappointed him. This person has first-class skills in talking, but his skills and hands can only be regarded as the bottom. He can beat 10,000 such control systems. Chen Shu was very proud, and his classmates around him were complimenting him loudly. Yi Xiaotian's words directly brought them back to reality, letting them know that this battle seemed not to be completely over. Chen Shu snorted coldly and said, If you have the ability, break free. Stop talking nonsense. He still didn't believe it. With his S-level talent, 
plus the blessing of the staff, and the talent skill binding, Yi Xiaotian could still break free. When he was not completely bound, it was possible for Yi Xiaotian to break free. Now, it's impossible. Bang! It's just that the slap in the face came too quickly. Just as Chen Shu finished speaking, Yi Xiaotian exerted force with both hands, breaking all the vines that his binding force had turned into, and they fell to the ground. Chen Shu looked dazed. Just relying on the strength of his arms, he broke his binding vines. How much strength does this guy have? Isn't this guy an auxiliary system? How can he have such great strength? Did he just bless himself with a talent skill that increases strength? Impossible, if such a talent skill was applied, he would definitely be able to find it. In other words, Yi Xiaotian broke his talent skill with the strength of his body. This is an S-level talent skill. How could he break it? This is unscientific. He began to doubt his life a little. Could it be that he, an S-level auxiliary system amplifier, added strength to his attribute? I'm afraid only a fool with water in his brain would add points like this. How did you do it? Chen Shu looked incredible. According to his common sense, Yi Xiaotian's strength attribute is similar to his, at most about 10 points, after all, the other party is an auxiliary system amplifier. Chen Shu himself is a controller of the auxiliary system. Their talents determine that it is impossible to add precious attribute points to strength. At least, at this stage, it is impossible to do so. So even if Yi Xiaotian uses his talent skills, he can't break free from his restraints by his own strength, after all, the attribute suppression is there. S-level talent skills, without the blessing of awakening level, without the blessing of the staff, Yi Xiaotian's strength attribute will not exceed 30 points. He has already calculated it. When Yi Xiaotian took out the sword, he had already calculated everything in his mind. But where is the problem? Chapter, 72 Yi Xiaotian destroyed Chen Shu's innate skills very simply. He put the sword in his hand on Chen Shu's neck and could end Chen Shu's life with just one stroke. In this battle, Chen Shu lost miserably. Chen Shu refused to admit defeat, tilted his head and moved his body, trying to avoid Yi Xiaotian's sword. But after he stood still, he realized that Yi Xiaotian's sword was again across his neck. Chen Shu dodged again, but the result was the same. After repeating this many times, Chen Shu gave up. Yi Xiaotian's strength has indeed reached a point where he can crush him. If this was a real battle between enemies, he would have died countless times. Yi Xiaotian put away the knife and said calmly, in the face of absolute power, any technique is in vain. Bang bang bang. A burst of applause came from outside the crowd. Zhao Jinjie and Lu Dingxian walked in from the outside, their eyes swept over Chen Shu, and then fell on Yi Xiaotian. Lu Dingxian said, that's very good. Not only is it good, but it also makes sense. Zhao Jinjie added. The students wanted to complain, Mr. Zhao, are you really okay with saying this? As a B-level superpower, is it necessary for you to lick a student like this? Zhao Jinjie had such sharp eyesight that he could see everyone's distrust at a glance. You think I am exaggerating, but I tell you, it is not an exaggeration at all. The saying, in the face of absolute strength, any technique is in vain, can be said to be the truth. This sentence tells us that our own strength is the foundation, and it is ultimately undesirable to just rely on external forces and skills to make tricks. No matter how powerful the equipment and skills are, they all come from your own strength. A magical weapon cannot exert any power even if it is held in the hands of a child. Zhao Jinjie's series of words were so convincing that the students were unable to utter a word of rebuttal. Lu Dingxing saw that everyone seemed to believe it but not believe it, so he walked to the open space on the side and said, just wait and see. After speaking, Lu Dingxing exhaled and the sound of dragon and elephant came from his body. Boom! Centered on Lu Dingxing's body, the ground within a few meters of the surrounding area sank and cracked. The surrounding space seemed to be compressed, making bursts of air explosion sounds. The students were stunned. Is this still a human being? A layman looks at the excitement, an expert looks at the door. Yi Xiaotian's focus was different from that of other students, and his expression was solemn. 
his current attributes have reached the level of a B-level awakener. As far as he knew, Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie were also B-level awakened ones. But Lu Dingsheng's show just now made him see a lot of things. Maybe he even surpasses Lu Dingsheng in terms of strength on the data board. After all, he also has various talents and talent skill enhancements. But in terms of the use of power, he is far behind. He still has a long way to go. Yi Xiao Tian put away that trace of contempt and began to learn humbly. Lu Dingsheng stood there and said in a deep voice, which classmate can tell me why I do this? Everyone looks at me and I look at you, and I don't know what to say. They vaguely felt that they understood Instructor Lu's intention, but they didn't seem to understand it fully. There is still a thin film between him and the truth, just waiting for Instructor Lu to clear up the confusion. Lu Dingsheng looked at Yi Xiao Tian and said, Classmate Yi Xiao Tian, have you thought of anything? Seeing the encouragement in Lu Dingsheng's eyes, Yi Xiao Tian had no choice but to say, Instructor, you want to tell us that under your power, no matter what means we use to attack, it will be useless. Because your power defense is all round, unless our attack can break your defense. After Yi Xiao Tian finished speaking, Lu Dingsheng nodded with satisfaction and said, Although it is not very comprehensive, it is already very good. The further the awakened ones get to the back, the more various defense and attack methods they have. So, don't look at all the awakened ones with your new eyes, otherwise you will be limited to a very small circle. You should take a long-term view and let your pattern extend infinitely. This will be good for your future. Okay, I won't say much more. Anyway, you will soon enter the university to study. There, you will learn what it means to be a true awakened person. You are still just apprentices now, don't be anxious, and don't belittle yourselves. These are the future elites of the human race, and Lu Dingsheng doesn't want them to come to a training camp and lose their self-confidence after suffering some setbacks. After hearing what he said, Chen Shu felt better, and his eyes looking at Yi Xiao Tian were full of dissatisfaction. Yes, he has only awakened for a few days now and has not grown up at all. His skills and methods only have one talent skill, and his physical attributes are also very low. In the future, you can enter the Samsara Tower to clear the dungeon and add physical attributes. It's just an auxiliary system, and it's not something you can get at your fingertips. To put it bluntly, Lu Dingsheng was indeed encouraging them. But it didn't make them swell. People like Chen Shu were completely inflated and had no idea of the disparity in strength between the enemy and ourselves. Next, the students became even more enthusiastic, singing and dancing. There are also those who are good at socializing, wandering among classmates and building relationships. And Chen Shu is one of them. Lin Hai hid in the crowd and was very lonely. He also wanted to integrate into these classmates and make more friends, which would definitely be a great help in the future. But when he saw Yi Xiaotian's small group, he hesitated again. He was thinking about returning to Jiangcheng. He would go back tomorrow, how should he face Yi Xiaotian and the others? Also, Yi Xiaotian and the others came to the training camp, so how did their family deal with the matter of forcing Yi Xiaotian? These days, although he was here, his heart had already flown back to Jiangcheng. He was eager to know if something happened at home. How could there be no news at all? The only acquaintances from Jiangcheng, besides Yi Xiaotian's classmates from the same school, were his cousin but his cousin had died in the beast tide. There were also students from several other middle schools in Jiangcheng. Although they came from the same Bay city, they usually had no intersection. Except for the time they came, they had never met before. So there were more than a hundred people in the whole place, but he couldn't even find anyone to talk to. At this time, two more teams came to Yi Xiaotian and his team. Wang Hao's face darkened and he stood in front of Yi Xiaotian. Wang Hao, don't be impulsive, we have no ill intentions. One of the boys who looked like a captain saw Wang Hao's look and quickly spoke out to stop him. Yes, Wang Hao, we are also from Jiangqing Bay City. We are fellow villagers and want to get to know you. Another boy who was also a captain also hurriedly explained. They all looked at Han Shuyao, hoping that she could ease the awkward atmosphere. Chapter 73 Han Shuyao stopped the impulsive Wang Hao and said, Wang Hao, don't be impulsive. They are really our classmates from Jiangcheng. 
Humph. Wang Hao snorted coldly. What a shit classmate. Why didn't I see them come to agree with the students before? Especially when Chen Shu was in trouble before, there were only six people standing together on their side, and they didn't come to help. To put it another way, they didn't even need to say anything. Just standing on their side would be enough. But no. Although Wang Hao is a bit honest, he is not really a fool. This group of so-called classmates don't see people when there is trouble, and come up to build relationships when the trouble is solved. Bah! Wang Hao is very disdainful of their behavior. Yi Xiaotian didn't like them either. He dealt with them casually for a few words and ignored them. The students from Jiangqing know. Two middle school and no. Three middle school also left tactfully when they saw this. During the party, Yi Xiaotian was called over by Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjia to talk for a while. There was only one purpose, to attract Yi Xiaotian to the university behind them. Both Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjia graduated from the top awakening schools in the Yanlong Empire. Lu Dingsheng is from Qingshui University in Kyoto, while Zhao Xinjia is from Moda University. These two universities are among the four famous schools in the Yanlong Empire. There are countless geniuses and the most resources in the school. Generally speaking, such famous schools are places where all the awakening freshmen flock to. I am afraid that only the top talents with SS level talents are qualified for them to condescend and actively recruit. But Yi Xiaotian's talent is too special. Although it is only SS level, the talent of the auxiliary system is rarer, and it can even be compared with the average SS level top talents. More importantly, Yi Xiaotian's talent skills are absolutely extraordinary. Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie both want to pull Yi Xiaotian into their combat team now. So once such a genius becomes their junior, the probability of forming a team in the future will be greatly increased. They have brought such a great genius to their school, and the school will definitely not be stingy with rewards. Besides, it is their duty to attract talents for their alma mater. Student Yi Xiaotian, our school leaders said that as long as you come to our Qingshui University, you will have a separate courtyard, free tuition and miscellaneous fees, free meals, a scholarship of 2 million, and finally 10, 0, 0 points. Lu Dingsheng put the conditions offered by the school in front of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian's heart moved, but he did not agree immediately, just said, Coach Lu, can I think about it again? Student Yi Xiaotian, do you still have any concerns? I can assure you that this is definitely the best condition that all schools can offer. Lu Dingsheng said. Not to mention anything else, the 10, 0, 0 points alone are priceless. It can be said that Qingshui University has spent a lot of money to bring Yi Xiaotian to Qingshui University. This is because the top leaders issued an order not to allow major universities to come to the training camp to recruit people, otherwise the gate of the training camp would have been trampled by the admissions teachers of major universities. Yi Xiaotian hesitated and said, it's mainly because of my team. I want to discuss it with them. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, do you want to go to the same university as your team? Lu Dingsheng immediately understood what Yi Xiaotian meant. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, yes. Lu Dingsheng frowned, and he approved of Yi Xiaotian's consideration. It's naturally better to have a team that you are familiar with. However, it's okay for others, but it's a bit difficult for Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao. Especially Wang Hao, his talent level is too low. Chang Xiaoxi has an A-level talent golden bell cover, and it's acceptable to enter Qingshui University, for Yi Xiaotian's sake. But Wang Hao, it's really not okay. If people knew that their Qingshui University recruited a C-level talent awakener, they would probably laugh their teeth off. Qingshui University is the top awakener university in the Yanlong Empire. Usually, the enrollment starts with S-level talent. When there are not enough people, some requirements will be appropriately lowered. Recruit a few talents with special skills from some A-level talents. Chang Xiaoxi can also claim to the public that he has special talents and skills, and is a special recruit. But Wang Hao, Lu Dingxing really can't think of any reason. Coach Lu, I'm sorry, Wang Hao is my brother, and I grew up together. I can't leave him alone, and there is a high probability that we will go to the same university in the future. 
After Yi Xiaotian told Lu Dingxing this, he ended this conversation. Then Zhao Xinjie came to him and offered the conditions of Magic City University. They are all similar, that is, the difference is one million more or one million less in scholarships. These top universities have their own bottom line for recruiting students. No matter how talented the students are, they can't have no bottom line. Of course, if he reveals his identity as Houtian, it is estimated that this bottom line can be infinitely lowered. Zhao Xinjie listened to Yi Xiaotian's words and immediately understood why Lu Dingxing was depressed just now. He was also very depressed. Yi Xiaotian wanted to be in the same university with his brother, which is understandable. They can't say anything. They also knew that Wang Hao's current strength was far superior to that of the freshman. But what was the use? His talent level is too low, and his talent skills are very limited. The ceiling of growth is too low, and it is not worth the school behind them to pay a precious quota for it. However, he also said that he would report this matter to the higher authorities, and he didn't know what the school would decide in the end. Yi Xiaotian also thanked him and said that he would think about it carefully. When their conversation ended, the party was over. Yi Xiaotian returned to the dormitory. Brother Tian, what do Instructor Lu and Lord Zhao want to see you about? Han Xuyao and others were waiting in the corridor. Fatty Huang Jia also moved to Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao's dormitory, and the whole team was there. Tomorrow they will part ways, how to go in the future, and whether their team should continue, they have to talk about it in the evening. Yi Xiaotian said, let's talk in the dormitory. There were many people in the corridor, and Yi Xiaotian didn't want others to know too much. Enter the dormitory and close the door. Instructor Lu and Master Zhao came to me to recruit me on behalf of their school. Yi Xiaotian said truthfully. As far as I know, Instructor Lu is from Qingshui University, and Master Zhao graduated from Modi University. Brother Tian, it's great, you're rich. Fatty Huang Jie said excitedly. By the way, what conditions did they offer? Huang Jie added. Yi Xiaotian said, the general meaning is that the fees are waived and several million scholarships are given. Huang Jie frowned when he heard this and interrupted, this condition is average. Also give 10 zero, zero school points. Yi Xiaotian said. Puff. Huang Jie was scared to pee. Chapter 74 FCK Huang Jie couldn't help but cursed. Even Mu Bingyan squirted out the water she just drank from her mouth. This turning point is really too sudden. The previous conditions are indeed very general. But the last condition surprised them. Points from any awakened university are very precious, and points from top schools such as Demon City University and Qingshui University are even more precious. Because in these universities, all resources must be redeemed with school points. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao don't know these secrets. After all, they come from ordinary families. But Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan are different. They both come from a family of awakened people, and they are very aware of these secrets. There are two channels for awakened people to obtain resources. One is the world of the reincarnation tower. There is nothing to say about this. As long as you have enough points, you can exchange for any treasure. Another channel is the real world. Where do real world resources come from? Part of it was exchanged from the world of Samsara Tower, but more was obtained from foreign races. In a different space and plane, foreigners have treasures all over them. After processing, various treasures can be made. Equipment that can increase combat effectiveness, various potions and elixirs that can increase physical attributes. Even treasures that enhance the talent level can be made. It's just very difficult. As for the various resources produced, some of the low-grade ones can be purchased in stores outside. But the vast majority were divided among the major official organizations within the empire. And all the famous schools in the Yanlong Empire are on the receiving end of the carve-up. I even heard that there are secret realms in major universities. Huang Jie said in a low voice. Secret realm? What secret realm? Wang Hao asked in a dignified manner. Huang Jia explained in a low voice, it is the kind of secret realm equivalent to the different space plane, 
but the secret realm is much smaller than the different space plane. If the different space plane is compared to a big world, then the secret realm is just a small world. But there are some in the world of different dimensions, and they are all in the secret realm. Some heavenly materials and earthly treasures that are only produced in different spatial planes may also be produced in the secret realm. After Huang Jia explained it, everyone understood it. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Huang Jia with strange eyes. This little fat man seemed to have an unusual background. Even Han Shuyao didn't know such information, but he knew it so well. Then, he glanced at Mu Bingyan again and saw that she didn't look surprised, so he knew better. This person's background is probably similar to Huang Jie's. At the very least, it is certain that the families behind Huang Jie and Mu Bingyan are on a higher level than Han Shuyao's Han family. Generally, genius admissions are awarded at most a few hundred points, or one or two thousand points, but tens of thousands of points are really unheard of. When Huang Jie said this, he stopped and looked at Yi Xiao Tian. Brother Tian, it seems that your talent is better than we imagined. Huang Jie said. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said nothing. So, ten thousand college points is a lot. Han Shuyao confirmed. Huang Jie said, many, very many. If you don't believe me, just ask classmate Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan just nodded and said nothing. But that's enough. Yi Xiaotian said, forget it, this is all in the past. Now let's talk about what our team will do in the future. You refused. Huang Jie said with a shocked look on his face. Two top prestigious schools offer such generous offers, but they can still refuse. Sure enough, he is not an ordinary person. Yi Xiaotian nodded. Although he was not dead yet, his words were equivalent to rejection. FCK. Huang Jie cursed again. He really couldn't understand Yi Xiao Tian, he was such a god. If a top prestigious school offered him such an offer, he would immediately agree, pack up his things and go through the formalities quickly, lest the other party would regret it. Mu Bingyan also had complicated eyes. It would take a lot of heart to refuse such conditions. No, why did you refuse? Huang Jie couldn't help but ask. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, now is not the time to talk about this. Let's talk about our team's future affairs. Tomorrow we will go back to our respective base cities and take the big exam. I think our team is not bad and I want to continue to be a team. Now tell me what you think. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian looked at the others. Han Xuyao was the first to express his opinion, I have no objection. I definitely want to form a team with Brother Tian. Xiaoxi, you will also follow me, right? Chang Xiaoxi looked helpless and nodded to express her attitude. Neither Huang Jie nor Mu Bingyan made a statement immediately. After all, which university they go to is not something they can decide in a few words. Wang Hao, on the other hand, remained silent and felt a little depressed. Hao Zi as soon as Yi Xiaotian's words came out of his mouth, he came to his senses. Wang Hao said instead, it's okay. With my current strength, I can still find a good job even if I can't go to university. At this time, other people realized that Wang Hao was just a C-level talent awakener. With such a talent, according to the past recruitment standards, even if a university wanted it, it would be a very average university. After coming out, it is estimated that he will be a captain of a small team in the city guards. Howzi, don't worry, you are my brother. I will definitely take you with me. Yi Xiao Tian put his arm around Wang Hao's shoulders and said loudly. Brother Tian, you rejected Modu University and Qingshui University before. It was not because of Brother Hao, right? Huang Jie suddenly asked. Yi Xiao Tian glared at him fiercely. No one would think he was dumb if he didn't speak. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan only realized at this time that the reason why Yi Xiaotian refused the recruitment of the two famous schools. It was not because of insufficient conditions, but because of Wang Hao. With Wang Hao's conditions, it is impossible to enter the two famous schools unless he can improve his talent grade. But it is not so easy to improve the talent grade. So it is almost certain that Wang Hao will never have this possibility in his life. It's just a pity for Yi Xiaotian. With his talent, if he can enter a famous school to study, 
his future achievements will definitely not be weak. Such an auxiliary system is definitely the existence that all the top teams will try to win over. All the famous universities are willing to invest resources to cultivate such talents. Even the top leaders of the human race will spend resources to cultivate him, because once he grows up and assists a team, the result will definitely be off the charts. Just because of the word's specified amplification attribute in the talent skill, it is no wonder that Magic City University and Qingshui University will reward 10 0, 0 points to recruit him. Generally, such talent skills are random. Although it is only a difference of two words, the role played during the period is a world of difference. Brother Tian, you don't have to be like this. You gave up such a good opportunity for me. How can I feel at ease? Wang Hao was so moved that he choked up a little when he spoke. Don't say it, we are brothers in this life, I have decided on this matter. Yi Shao Tian said firmly. Chapter, 75 One life, two brothers. What else can Wang Hao say? He can only repay with his death. Seeing that Yi Xiao Tian was determined, the others did not persuade him. A genius like Yi Xiao Tian would never change his mind once he made a decision. Otherwise, he would not have rejected Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Jinjia. My meaning is very clear. If you want to form a team in the future, it is best to be in the same university. Yi Xiao Tian said what he meant. It is not so easy to form a real team. Especially the cooperation between each other, which can only be formed through years of actual combat. Between real team members, as long as a look, as long as a gesture, or even a change of body shape, they can understand each other's intentions. This is also what the instructors said the most during this training camp. The seamless cooperation between each other is the essence of team fighting. Mu Bingyan hesitated for a while, then said, I have no objection. Huang Jia looked at her in surprise. He probably knew something about Mu Bingyan's background. For those who come from big families like them, what skills they should learn in the future, what path they should take, and what university they should go to, they all have to obey the family's arrangements. Judging from Yi Xiaotian's decision, the university they will go to in the future will definitely not be very good. After all, Wang Hao's conditions are there. It is conceivable that the school that can lower the conditions to recruit them. And with Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan's background, the universities they go to are at least famous schools. And Yi Xiao Tian and his friends may not even be able to go to key universities. The resources obtained between ordinary universities and famous universities are too different. Fatty, don't force it. We are just discussing things, not forcing you to make a decision. Yi Xiao Tian said when he saw Huang Jia in trouble. Huang Jia said with a sad face, Brother Tian, I'm really sorry. This matter is not something I can decide. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, I understand. If you come from a big family, you will gain something and give up something. Mu Bingyan's eyes lit up. This sentence makes sense and expresses the helplessness of the children of big families. Children of big families look glamorous outside, but who knows the helplessness of life? Just like herself, this time, for the quota of the training camp, her family helped her transfer to another school, and she had no right to object. She could only obey the arrangement of the family. Perhaps, this is a good opportunity, an opportunity to get rid of the family's manipulation of fate. She has already thought of the reason. As long as she forms a team with Yi Xiao Tian, she can become a teammate of the great god Haotian. Even if it is just a teammate in the reincarnation world, there are endless benefits. I think those old guys in the family who put interests first cannot refuse this benefit. Even, they may even offer themselves to win over the great god Haotian. Anyway, this is not the first time they have done such a thing. Bing Yen, Bing Yen, what's wrong with you? I'm asking you a question. Han Xuyao's violation of the rules woke Mu Bing Yen from her thoughts. Sorry, I was a little distracted just now. Mu Bing Yen said. Han Xuyao said with concern, Are you okay? Mu Binyan shook her head, smiled, and said, It's okay, I was just thinking about something. Just now Brother Tian asked you if you want to think about it again. Han Xuyao did not break the casserole to ask the question, but repeated Yi Xiaotian's question just now. Mu Binyan said, No, 
and my student status has been transferred to Jiangqing No. 1 Middle School, so I will go back to Jiangqing with you. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, then let's do it today, and we will continue to enter the reincarnation world and brush the team dungeon later. Huang Jia suddenly said, Brother Tian, can I still brush the dungeon with you? Yi Xiaotian said, Of course. We are friends, it's not that we can't team up in reality, so we break up. Brother Tian Huang Jia didn't know what to say. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, don't say those useless things, take a rest, and then enter the reincarnation tower. Huang Jia didn't say anything more, just looked at Mu Bingyan's leaving figure, thinking. Snap! Suddenly, Huang Jia slapped himself hard on the face. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were both confused. What happened to this kid? Did he suddenly have water in his brain? Ah, it hurts! Huang Jia cried out in pain. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao looked at each other. This kid, wouldn't he have beaten himself silly? Huang Jia finally reacted. There were two people next to him. Seeing their pitying eyes, he almost wanted to cry. Fatty, I've said, I don't blame you, why are you doing this? Yi Xiaotian said earnestly. Brother Tian, I'm not Fatty Huang Jia was about to explain when he was interrupted by Yi Xiaotian. Okay, take a break, we still have to go to the dungeon later. After Yi Xiaotian finished speaking, he called Wang Hao, washed up, and rested. Early morning. Yi Xiaotian and Hao Tian came to the Samsara Square together. If the two people were not standing together, their attire and manner of speaking were different, they would really doubt that this was the same person. Otherwise, why did they come together every time? Why was it only Yi Xiaotian who could contact the great god Hao Tian every time? Of course, this suspicion only lasted for a moment, and then it was thrown out of their minds. Even, I felt that I had such thoughts, and there was something wrong with my brain. Okay, I'll pull you into the team, and then go to the sea level team dungeon. Yi Xiaotian said, pulling everyone into the team. Tonight may be the last time we play the team dungeon together. Yi Xiaotian sighed again. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian realized that the atmosphere was a bit wrong, and hurriedly said, what I mean is that after playing this team dungeon, it will take a long time for us to be promoted to B-level Awakeners. Before we are promoted, we can't play team dungeons. After listening to his explanation, everyone woke up. Yes, for B-level Awakeners, the main attribute requirement is to break through 10, 0, 0 points, and there are also minimum requirements for the other three attributes. How can it be so easy to achieve? Countless people, who have spent their entire lives, cannot break through to B-level Awakeners. And the reason why they can break through to C-level Awakeners so quickly is because of the existence of Haotian. If it weren't for following Haotian to play dungeons these days, every time they would be evaluated as super gods, and they would have obtained a huge amount of reincarnation points. If they want to advance to C-level, it will take at least several months or even a year. Just look at other geniuses who are still hovering between F level and E level. No one was sad, after all, things like strength advancement really can't be forced. The further you get, the more you can only rely on time to accumulate. But everyone looked at Wang Hao with a little more pity. With Wang Hao's talent level, it is really too difficult to advance to B level awakener. It is estimated that there is no hope within a few years. Even if he advances by chance with Yi Xiaotian's help, he will be the weakest among the B-level Awakeners. Chapter, 76 Yi Xiaotian can easily be promoted to a B-level Awakener without spending any reincarnation points. But others. Difficult. Everyone, wait. Everyone was about to enter the reincarnation hall when they were stopped by the fat man Huang Jia. What's the matter? Hao Tian God was cold and didn't say anything, so Yi Xiaotian had to speak. Huang Jie said, Brother Tian, are we going to brush the sea level dungeon next? That's right. Don't we need to plan it? Huang Jie asked. Plan for what? Everyone looked at Huang Jie in confusion. Huang Jie looked confused and said, This is a sea level team dungeon. The monsters inside are all sea level strength, and the levels are even stronger. There are also commander level, lord level, and king level monsters behind 
which are real B-level powerhouses. Are we just going to rush in without making any preparations? After hearing what he said, everyone realized the seriousness of the problem. Yes, the last boss of this team dungeon is a real B-level powerhouse. Hao Tian was indeed very surprised. He had shocked both the aliens and humans along the way. The aliens even spent a huge price to increase the difficulty of the reincarnation dungeon for him. But even so, Hao Tian still pushed forward all the way. But compared with C-level, B-level powerhouses are a qualitative change. The main attribute of a C-level awakener only needs to reach 1-0-0 points, and then pass the promotion dungeon. But for B-level awakeners, the minimum requirement is 10-0-0 points of main attribute. They followed Hao Tian to the dungeon, and now they are C-level awakeners, but they are still a long way from B-level awakeners. They know that Hao Tian is very powerful, but against B-level powerhouses, no matter how powerful he is, he is just a new awakener who has just awakened for 10 days. Before, everyone thought it was so, and didn't think about it. Now Huang Jia reminded them, and they woke up. Yes, can they succeed if they just rush in recklessly? Sea level team dungeons, with the difficulty increased, even simple dungeons have thousands of monsters in them. These are thousands of sea level monsters, not thousands of pigs. Here, the great god Hao Tian can kill a large area with a supernatural spell, and I am afraid that things will not happen. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Hao Tian, and this question can only be answered by him. It's okay, it's simple. The great god Hao Tian said very coldly, and walked towards the samsara hall. Yi Xiao Tian said, I believe him, follow. Han Xuyao immediately said, I believe in brother Tian's judgment. Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao did not speak, and followed silently. Mu Binyan glanced at Huang Jia and chose to follow. Huang Jia was confused, these people, are they mentally ill? But seeing that they were about to enter the samsara hall, he stomped his feet and hurried to follow. Let them die, anyway, it's just some punishment, just think of it as a reward to the great god Haotian. A group of people entered the dungeon. Master, what should we do? Han Xuyao asked Haotian. Wait. Haotian said coldly, then left with his staff. He was already familiar with this kind of copy. There was no other routine. The so-called reincarnation copy, to put it bluntly, was to cultivate awakeners. This was the case for the human race, and it was also the case for the alien race. Then when their strength was sufficient, they would be allowed to fight in the real world. To achieve a certain purpose. Or, is this a game played by the Lord of the Reincarnation Tower? To satisfy his bad taste? No one knows. But if you want to survive, you have to follow the rules of the Reincarnation Tower. Haotian's attributes on all sides have exceeded 30 0, 0 now. Killing these sea level monsters with main attributes of over 1 0, 0 is really like using a cannon to kill a mosquito. When the spell fell, these monsters had no power to resist at all, and they were all killed instantly. The gap in strength between the two is too big. If Haotian at this moment is compared to a master of immortals, then the monsters on the opposite side are just a group of babies. Even if Haotian stood there and let the other party hit him, he could not break his defense. Countless sky flames descended, covering the sky and falling towards the monster army. Huang Jie's face was sluggish. Is this the strength of the great god Haotian? Not to mention the attack power of these sky flames, whether they can kill these monsters, just this one move is full of sky flames, which is already very awesome. Boom! The earth trembled. The void seemed to be burned red. Then a rich fragrance came. Huang Jie couldn't help swallowing his saliva. This barbecue smell is really delicious. It smells so good. Huang Jie wiped the saliva from the corner of his mouth. Everyone. Hao Tian put away his staff in a chic manner and walked towards them. Hurry up and walk. Everyone was very calm, and even Huang Jie didn't have the slightest worry. This great god Hao Tian is indeed not something that mortals can guess. The sound of the announcement resounded in the reincarnation world again. Here they come again. Sure enough, the real bosses are unstoppable. The aliens spent a huge price, 
but failed to stop the way of Houtian God. Do you think the alien leaders are vomiting blood now? I don't know if they are vomiting blood, I only know that I feel great now. The identity of the great god Houtian must be kept secret. As long as he can grow up, the pressure on our human race will be much less. That's right. If the human race can add another supreme being, then the alien race will not dare to be so unscrupulous anymore. Do you think, will there be a day when our human race can counterattack the alien plane? For a while, all the discussions on the public channel were about Houtian. Some people even began to imagine that if Houtian achieved the supreme position, would he go directly to the alien plane? Such a scene, just thinking about it, makes people feel excited. Congratulations to the Awakener, successfully cleared the sea level purgatory team copy, and the evaluation is super god. Congratulations to the Awakener, and received a reward of 500 reincarnation points. Congratulations to the Awakener, and received a reward of B-level talent Spirit Liquid. Yi Xiaotian did not react much to other rewards. He was used to it. For example, Life Essence, Reincarnation Points, and some other rewards. But they are all quite ordinary, after all, these dungeons are too simple for him. In other words, the dungeon rewards in the reincarnation world are much less than those in the real world. Yi Xiaotian had already discovered this on the day when the training camp was attacked. In the real world, the probability of getting rewards by killing alien beasts is higher, and the level of rewards is also higher. But this time, he actually got the B-level talent spirit liquid. This is what Yi Xiaotian planned to exchange in the reincarnation mall after brushing the dungeon. A bottle of B-level talent spirit liquid requires 500 reincarnation points. According to the rule of ordinary people brushing reincarnation dungeons to get points, it is estimated that it will take several years to get 500 points. And it has to be a real master. So this talent spirit liquid is really precious. Chapter, 77 Samsara Square Thank you for your help. Han Xuyao and the others all bowed to Hao Tian. Hao Tian said very coldly, I'm leaving first. Then he disappeared. Is the great god going back? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, Yes, the great god has always been like this, don't be surprised. That's right. Hao Tian never communicated with his peers except when he was brushing dungeons. 100,000 points, I'm rich. Huang Jie was almost drooling. After five sea level team dungeons, they received a full 100 000 points reward. If they knew that Yi Xiaotian's reward for the last difficulty alone was 500 000 points, they would probably be so envious that they would hit their heads against the wall. In this sea level team dungeon, Yi Xiaotian's reward for samsara points alone exceeded 2 million. The essence of life exceeded 30 million. There were also attribute points dropped. Yi Xiaotian checked his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Houtian. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Deer and Crane Blessing SS Level, Diamond Body Protection D Level, Berserker C Level, Bull Demon Power D Level, Strength F Level, Swiftness D Level, Constitution F Level. Constitution 50220, Strength 51030, Spirit 50031, Agility 50013. Life Essence, 50542600 Points. Reincarnation points, 10033900 points. Awakening level, B level awakener. Magic power, second spirit. Looking at the explosive physical attributes, Yi Xiaotian nodded with satisfaction, but when he saw the talent column, he frowned. It's a bit messy, I have to make it tidy, or I can strengthen it to B level. But the increase of B level talent is limited, so I'd better strengthen it to A level. It takes more than 1 million life essences to strengthen a talent to A level, which is bearable. Going up, an S level is 10 million, which is a bit overwhelming. Although he now has more than 50 million life essences, he has to keep some for backup. After thinking about it, Yi Xiaotian still plans to pick a few talents that are very useful to strengthen. As for the others, they can only be postponed. Huang Jia said at this time, if you trust me, Keep these points first and spend them later when you think about it. 
Mu Bingyan nodded, indicating that what he said makes sense. The points were spent before to go to the dungeon with Haotian God. There is no need for this now. Reincarnation points are too precious. If you want to earn this astronomical number of reincarnation points in the future, it will take at least four or five years. Everyone else looked like it should be so, only Wang Hao, his eyes were very firm. Haozi, this is for you. Yi Xiao Tian took out the talent spirit liquid and handed it to Wang Hao. Wang Hao was stunned. He just wanted to spend points to exchange for a gift spirit liquid, but he didn't expect Yi Xiao Tian to give it to him immediately. Others were also stunned. Where did Yi Xiao Tian get the talent spiritual liquid? Did he buy it now? Yi Xiao Tian smiled and explained, I'm lucky. I just got it as a reward from the dungeon. Fuck. This is the voice of the little fat man. Oh, heaven and earth. The little fat man cried and screamed, looking like he didn't want to live. A B-level talent spiritual liquid requires 500 00 points to redeem, which is a sky-high price. On Blue Star, only Awakeners above S-level are willing to redeem such resources in the Samsara Mall. Only strong people of this level can save such an astronomical number of Samsara points. The talent-type strengthening treasures used outside are all made of expensive materials obtained from different space planes and from alien strong people. And the source of the bottle of talent spiritual liquid in Yi Xiaotian's hand is only one, that is the dungeon reward. But, but. Why did only Yi Xiaotian get such a reward, but they didn't? Huang Jia was unwilling to accept it. If it was the great god Haotian who got such a reward, he would have no objection. However, Yi Xiaotian was just like them, standing aside and watching the excitement. How could there be such a reward? This Samsara Tower's will was too biased. Not only the little fat man Huang Jia, but even Han Shuyao and the others felt unbalanced. They all glared at Yi Xiaotian. But they had to admire his shitty luck. Brother Tian, is it really a dungeon reward? Wang Hao was a little unconvinced. He thought that Yi Xiaotian bought it for him. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes and said, Do you think I can afford it? Wang Hao was stunned. That's right. They all followed the great god Haotian to the dungeon. All the accumulated samsara points were not enough to exchange for a bottle of B-level talent spirit liquid. Before, he was thinking about taking a step back and changing to a bottle of C-level talent spirit liquid to try his luck. However, C-level talent spirit liquid only has a 20% chance of his talent being promoted to B-level. However, B-level talent spirit liquid has a 100% chance of being promoted to B-level, and a 20% chance of being promoted to A-level. Let him choose, of course he chose the bottle in Yi Xiaotian's hand. However, he was a little hesitant about such a precious treasure. Brother Tian, this talent spirit liquid is too precious, I Wang Hao didn't dare to take it. Yi Xiaotian glared and said, I even rejected the recruitment of Magic City University and Qingshui University before. Do you think that the conditions are not as good as a bottle of B-level talent spirit liquid? Wang Hao was stunned. He owed Yi Xiaotian too much. I'm afraid he can only pay with his life in the future. He didn't say anything more and took the talent spirit liquid from Yi Xiaotian's hand. Yi Xiaotian reminded him, I've inquired about it. This talent spirit liquid is very particular to take. We will rent a quiet room later. You can take it in in advance. The fat man Huang Jia jumped out again and said, Brother Tian is right. There is a quiet room for rent in this Samsara Square, which can increase the probability of advancement. Wang Hao asked in confusion, What do you mean? The fat man Huang Jia said, Literally, this is a B-level talent spirit liquid. After you take it, there is only a 20% chance of being promoted to A-level talent. But after renting the quiet room here, there is a 30% chance, and there is even a chance to ascend to heaven in one step. Ascend to heaven in one step. Wang Hao widened his eyes. What does it mean? Is there still a chance to be promoted to S-level talent? Little fatty Huang Jie said, that's right, it's a one-step success. Although the probability is very small, if you try, you can turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. Wang Hao said, I guess the rent of this quiet room is not cheap, right? 
Little fatty Huang Jia smiled and said, Of course, there is no free lunch in the world, and the will of reincarnation never does business at a loss. There are big temptations, and there are big benefits. Just tell me how many points you want. Wang Hao was a little annoyed with him, too damn long-winded. Not much, just ten, zero zero points is enough. Little fatty Huang Jia raised a finger and said. Chapter, 78 After hearing what the little fat man said, Wang Hao cursed. He looked at the little fat man with murderous eyes. Are you too proud, or am I too weak to lift the knife? You dare to tease me. Ten thousand points is a sky-high price, how dare you say it's not expensive. Seeing Wang Hao's murderous eyes, the little fat man shrank his neck and said with a wry smile, Brother Hao, you have one hundred, zero zero points now. Ten thousand points is nothing to you. Wang Hao raised the knife directly, and the little fat man admitted his defeat decisively. Brother, I was wrong, I was really wrong. Seeing that Wang Hao was still staring at him, as if he would not let him go, the little fat man continued, Brother, from today on, you are my real brother. We are the Haojie group. The little fat man added. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, stop talking nonsense, hurry up. Then, Brother Tian, I'm going. Wang Hao said. Yi Xiaotian said, Go, you will definitely have good luck, because you are my brother. Han Shuyao also said, Wang Hao, I wish you good luck. I wish you good luck. Chang Xiaoxi and Mu Bingyan also sent their blessings. The little fat man Huang Jia hugged Wang Hao, and finally felt that his stomach was a little bloated, so he quickly let go. Brother Hao, come on. Wang Hao nodded heavily, then silently chanted in his heart, and after a while of operation on the Samsara Mall, he disappeared on the Samsara Square. The official product of Samsara is so convenient. Let's go, let's go back to the dormitory and wait. Yi Xiaotian said. Han Xuyao said. Brother Tian, let's go shopping here. Yi Xiao Tian heard it and said reflexively, Don't want it? Han Xuyao smiled and said, I'm not buying anything for you, what are you afraid of? When this came out, Chang Xiaoxi almost laughed out loud. Mu Bingyan also covered her mouth and chuckled. In order to hide her embarrassment, she said, Xiao Tian, can you introduce me to Hao Tian? Yi Xiao Tian's heart moved, and he said, Do you want to add him as a friend? Yes, I want to chat with Hao Tian. Mu Bingyan did not hide her purpose at all. Yi Xiao Tian had to say, Okay, I'll tell him. Thank you, Xiao Tian. I'll go back to the dormitory first. Mu Bingyan smiled sweetly, exuding unparalleled charm. When she went offline, Chang Xiaoxi also went offline immediately. She didn't want to stay here to eat dog food. Huang Jia hesitated for a moment, then said, I have something to do, so I'll leave first. Han Xuyao breathed a sigh of relief, hugged Yi Xiaotian's arm and said, Brother Tian, do you think Bing Yan has taken a fancy to Hao Tian? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, I don't know, it's possible. Han Xuyao nodded. In any case, it was a good thing for her that Mu Bing Yan took a fancy to Hao Tian. Otherwise, if she follows Brother Tian all day, what if he competes with her for Brother Tian one day? Now, with the help of God Hao Tian to divert her attention, she should not have any intention of taking Brother Tian. Xu Yao, where do you want to go shopping? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Han Xu Yao said, just walk around. We don't have the opportunity to go shopping in the real world, so let's go shopping here. We will go back tomorrow, and we can go shopping again in Jiangqing. Yi Xiao Tian said, because the things here are much more expensive than outside. Han Xuyao said, let's just walk around, it doesn't matter, don't worry, my dad won't bother you. Yi Xiao Tian looked embarrassed. Brother Tian, which university are you going to? Han Xuyao asked casually. Yi Xiao Tian thought for a while, and then replied, let's decide after Hao Zi comes out. Han Xuyao thought about it, and there were several results for Wang Hao to take the innate spiritual liquid this time. And the conclusions produced by each result are also different, so it's useless to say more now. Next, every time Han Xuyao brought up a topic, Yi Xiaotian would end it instantly. Han Xuyao was depressed. 
I just wanted to find a topic to talk about. You don't care whether it makes sense or not. Is this the legendary advanced straight male cancer patient? Han Xuyao felt that she needed to change Yi Xiaotian's character. But brother Tian is so handsome. What if he is transformed into a scumbag by me in the future? Han Xuyao was entangled. University. The beauty and temptation there are not comparable to middle school. What if brother Tian can't resist it? Han Xuyao was even more entangled. Yi Xiao Tian didn't say anything or do anything yet, and Han Xuyao was almost worried to death by his own imagination. The two of them strolled for a while and then went offline. Yi Xiao Tian felt that it was a waste of time here, so he might as well go back to study breathing and meditation. The next morning, Yi Xiao Tian opened his eyes and saw Wang Hao standing in front of him. Yi Xiao Tian was startled and said, What are you doing? You are so quiet, are you trying to scare me? Brother Tian Wang Hao's voice was choked. What's wrong? It looks like there is a big gain. Did you really get promoted to A-level talent? Yi Xiao Tian guessed. 30% probability, there is still a lot of hope. As for the 1% probability of promotion to S-level, forget it. That kind of probability is only possible if you are the son of the will of the reincarnation tower. Brother Tian, I have been promoted to S-level talent. Wang Hao said directly. Oh, I knew it what did you say? Yi Xiao Tian almost fell off the bed. This is too exciting. The little fat man Huang Jie was also awakened by his exclamation, What's wrong? What's wrong? Is there a fire? Are the aliens coming to attack us again? The little fat man Huang Jie made a big move, alarming the people next door. When Huang Jie learned that Wang Hao's talent was directly promoted from C level to S level, he cried out to the sky and said that God was unfair, why such a good thing didn't happen to him. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were still calm, but there must be a huge wave in their hearts. This luck is really against the sky. Only Chang Xiaoxi looked a little lonely. Originally, her talent was considered to be in the middle of this team. Yi Xiaotian's sudden rise was fine. Now even Wang Hao, the only one at the bottom, has been promoted to S-level talent awakener. Then she is the only one with A-level talent, what should she do? If she wants to strengthen her talent, she can only take talent spirit liquid above A-level, and there is only a small probability of being promoted to S-level. This is completely different from Wang Hao's situation. Of course, the most difficult thing is the A-level talent spirit liquid. In the Samsara Mall, the exchange points for this kind of treasure are directly increased tenfold compared to the B-level talent spirit liquid. Just thinking about it makes people despair. The probability of promotion has been reduced several times, but the price has increased tenfold. Han Xuyao saw Chang Xiaoxi's disappointment and comforted her, Xiaoxi, don't worry, everything is possible in our team. Wang Hao scratched his head and said nothing. He is not a fool. At this time, no matter how much he said, it would stimulate Chang Xiaoxi. After all, after his talent was promoted to S level, his blood and qi power increased three times, and his strength steadily surpassed Chang Xiaoxi. Chapter, 79 Before, Chang Xiaoxi looked down upon Wang Hao. But from now on, she will need to look up to him. From A-level talent to S-level talent, it can be said to be another watershed. In short, Chang Xiaoxi's advantages against Wang Hao are gone, and her discomfort can be imagined. The change came too suddenly, and the gap was too big, and there was no psychological preparation at all. She originally expected that Wang Hao's talent could be promoted to A-level, which was already a stroke of luck. Unexpectedly, his luck was against the sky, triggering the 1% probability and directly promoted to S-level. After the two dormitories discussed it, they decided to keep the matter secret for the time being and talk about it when they returned to the base city. However, Yi Xiaotian accidentally revealed this news to Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie. Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie almost bit off their tongues when they heard the news. This luck is really against the sky. I'm afraid there is only one person like this in the history of awakening of the entire human race. Is it appropriate not to recruit such a lucky student into their own university? So they quickly passed the news back. 
But at this time, Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao had already taken a military vehicle back to Jiangqing Bay City. This time, with the escort of the Night Watch, the process was quite smooth. It was really because the alien race and the heretic organization suffered a heavy blow last time, and it was very difficult to launch another attack. And this time, the escort force to Jiangqing was very strong. And during the escort, Yi Xiaotian saw the night watch Captain Qin looking at him several times, hesitating to speak. It made him confused. Could it be that this night watch also wanted to win him over? But he hadn't gone to college yet. The Night Watch sent them all home, and even Mu Bingyan was sent to the house prepared by the Mu family in Jiangcheng. The last ones to be sent back were Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. Student Yi Xiaotian, have you ever considered joining the Night Watch Corps and becoming a Night Watchman? When only Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were left in the military vehicle, the captain of the Night Watch finally spoke out. Captain Qin, I still have to go to college. Yi Xiaotian replied. Captain Qin said, this is not a problem at all. You can continue to go to college. There is no conflict between this and joining the Night Watch Corps. And if you join the Night Watch Corps, you can not only enjoy the resources of the university, but also the promotion resources of the Night Watchman. Is it possible? Yi Xiaotian was stunned, feeling that he really had too little experience. Captain Qin said, yes, this is a special clause that our Night Watch Corps has set for special talents. How did you know that I am a special talent? Yi Xiaotian said puzzledly. Captain Qin smiled and said, Although Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjia tried their best to cover up for you, there is no news that we in the Night Watch Corps cannot find out. This is a domineering statement. Captain Qin continued. I didn't contact you before because there are rules. But now you have left the training camp, you don't have to abide by that rule. Yi Xiaotian said, Captain Qin, can you let me think about it? Captain Qin said, of course, I am just passing on a message from above. It is your freedom to decide the specific details. But it is said that as long as you are willing to join the Night Watch, the conditions must be the best. And your entire team can join the Night Watch. There is another thing that is not available in other places. Joining the Night Watch can enter the wilderness for actual combat. Yi Xiaotian frowned and said, Is entering the wilderness for actual combat also a condition? Captain Qin smiled and said, Of course, do you think it is so easy to join the wilderness for actual combat? How dangerous it is outside the city, I believe you have already experienced it. Only thousands of miles away from the base city can it be called the wilderness. That is the real territory of the alien beasts, and all kinds of powerful alien beasts are entrenched in it. Wang Hao suddenly interrupted at this time, Captain Qin, weren't the aliens repelled? Captain Qin laughed and said, the aliens the tribe army was indeed repelled, but are there no strange beasts outside the wilderness? Let me tell you, some of the strange beasts in these wildernesses are left behind by alien planes, and some are produced on the native blue star. We humans can awaken our talents and become awakeners, so can't other creatures on Blue Star do the same? Young man, the dangers in this world are much greater than you think. The reason why I didn't let you know the truth before was that I didn't want to cause panic. But you have become real awakeners now, and you will be college students soon. You will always be exposed to this information in the future. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Captain Qin, thank you, I know roughly, I will think about this matter carefully. Captain Qin was also very straightforward and said, Then I won't bother you. The day after tomorrow is the day of the big exam. I wish you all the best in the big exam. At the end, he suddenly said to Wang Hao, Student Wang Hao, your luck can be said to be rare in the world. Work hard and don't waste your hard-earned S-level talent. After speaking, Captain Qin got on the car, and then the military vehicle whizzed away. Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian looked at each other in shock. How did the Night Watch know about this? It seemed that this news was only circulated among the six people in their team. Oh, Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjia also knew about it. However, Yi Xiaotian believed that the two of them would never take the initiative to leak such news. This would increase the difficulty of recruiting students. But in just a few hours, even the Night Watch knew about it. 
then what about the Tianhuang army, which is as famous as the Night Watch? There is no such thing as a peaceful life in this world. It's just that someone is carrying the burden for you. This sentence suddenly popped up in Yi Xiaotian's mind. This sentence is perfect for this world. Whether it is outside or inside the city, it is estimated that it is not peaceful. Otherwise, why would there be institutions such as the city guard and the inspection department in the city? The two returned home and cleaned up. Then Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao went to the Awakening Bureau and supplemented Wang Hao's information. As for Yi Xiaotian, there was no need for this. After all, his talent has been proven in actual combat and is more reliable than the instruments of the Awakening Bureau. Soon, this news was passed to the admissions offices of major universities. Students with S-level talents or above are strategic talents, and are definitely the targets that all major universities are competing to recruit. This year, because the temporary training camp was attacked, a lot of talents were lost, which made the recruitment teachers of major universities so worried that their hair was about to fall out. Now that a recruitment candidate with S-level talent suddenly appeared, how could they sit still? The recruitment teachers who went to Jiangqing added Wang Hao's name to their recruitment catalogs. Chapter, 80 Lao Wang has been in a good mood recently. He got promoted. He has no such thoughts in his middle age. Who would have thought that there is such a thing as a pie in the sky? Because of the incident between Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, the school's top management was almost emptied. And as a class teacher, his class took the top four places in a training camp, which can be said to be an outstanding achievement. At least compared with the management of the school, Lao Wang can be regarded as a great talent. It can only be said that there is no harm without comparison. Tomorrow, the big exam will begin, but I don't know how those classmates are doing. Lao Wang was thinking about calling a few students to remind them, especially Yi Xiaotian, who could even delay the awakening ceremony. I really worry about him. I don't know what kind of shit luck he has, but he can actually meet Haotian. But the next road depends on him. Major universities will definitely not give special care because of his relationship with Haotian. At this time, his phone rang. Hello, hello, I'm Wang Zurin from Jiangqing No. One middle school. Old Wang said politely after answering the call. The other party was silent for a while. Good guy, even if you are the director, you don't need to introduce yourself like this, right? Hello, Director Wang, I'm the director of the admissions office of Magic City University. Director he was not polite either. He director he, hello. Hello. Old Wang stood up from his seat unconsciously, bowing slightly. There is no way, this is a famous school. In the Yanlong Empire, Magic City Awakena University ranks among the top three. And he is just a small, small senior grade director of Jiangqing No. One middle school. There is no comparison. Keeping due respect for the strong is the basic quality of an awakener. Director Wang, it's like this, I have something to trouble you. He sure was still very satisfied with the change in old Wang's tone. Director He, you can just call me Xiao Wang, tell me if you have anything. Wang Zuren quickly expressed his attitude. Such a big shot, before, he didn't even have the opportunity to talk, let alone direct contact. Okay, Xiao Wang, I'm heading to Jiangqing now. I'll arrive in about two hours. I want to meet Yi Xiaotian from your school. Please help arrange it. He sure was quick to respond. Lao Wang was confused. Did he say it wrong to meet Yi Xiaotian? Director He, you mean Yi Xiaotian? Lao Wang confirmed. Yes, Xiao Wang, is it difficult? He sure's tone was a little heavy. Lao Wang hurriedly said, No, absolutely not. I'll arrange it right away. I guarantee that director he can meet Yi Xiaotian immediately after he arrives. He sure was naturally happy, but his tone was quite reserved. He said, Don't be so anxious. When I arrive, you can take me to Yi Xiaotian's home. Lao Wang was slightly startled. This situation was really unexpected. Modu University was actually interested in Yi Xiaotian. He had thought that the other party was targeting Han Shuyao or Mu Bingyan who had just transferred here. 
After hanging up the phone, Lao Wang pondered for a long time, but he didn't get any clues. Then, his phone rang again. Hello, I'm Wang Zurin. Lao Wang said reservedly. It was another unfamiliar number. It must be an admissions teacher from a certain university. The other party was silent for a while before speaking. Hello, Director Wang, I'm Guang Gu, the director of the admissions office of Qingshui University. A majestic voice came from the phone. Lao Wang stood up again, his attitude and tone were very respectful. Hello, Director Guang, I'm Xiao Wang. Lao Wang said consciously. Sure enough, Guang Gu's tone eased a lot, and he said, Xiao Wang, I have something to ask you for help. Director Guang, just tell me if you have anything to do, I'll do it right away. Lao Wang quickly expressed his attitude. It's like this, there is a student named Ji Xiao Tian in your school. This student is good. I want to meet him. I hope Xiao Wang can introduce him to him when the time comes. Guang Gu said. Ah. Uh. Lao Wang's words were stuck in his throat and he couldn't say them. He felt uncomfortable. Xiao Wang, is there any difficulty? Guang Gu, who saw that Lao Wang did not respond, felt a little bad. Did someone get there first? Damn he sure, it must be him. Director Guang, there is no difficulty. You can see him anytime you want. Lao Wang was shocked and responded quickly. Guang Gu breathed a sigh of relief and said, Xiao Wang, has anyone called you to ask about classmate Yi Xiao Tian? Director Guang, to be honest, I just received a call from Director He of Magic City University. Lao Wang said bitterly. His intuition told him that it would be very uncomfortable to be caught between these two big guys. He couldn't afford to offend either side. That old guy really got there first. Xiao Wang, do me a favor. If he sure arrives first, help me delay him for a while. Guang Gu said. It was true. Lao Wang felt bitter. He could delay a big guy of he sure's level. Director Guanda, you think too highly of me. The person in charge of the admissions office of such a prestigious school must be at least S level. How could I, Wang Zurin, dare to neglect such a great man? Forget it, I won't embarrass you. When the time comes, you can try to delay the time and don't let Yi Xiao Tian agree so quickly. Guang Gu also knew that Lao Wang's shoulders were small and he couldn't withstand the majesty of He Shi, so he changed a condition. Director Guang, I can only say that I tried my best. Lao Wang's voice was trembling. It was too difficult for him. After hanging up the phone, Lao Wang broke out in a cold sweat and couldn't figure out what happened. Why did Yi Xiao Tian suddenly become a hot commodity? He didn't believe that just because Yi Xiao Tian knew Hao Tian in the reincarnation world, the Magic City University and Qing Shui University would compete to recruit him. And he estimated that this matter was not over yet. Since the Magic City University came, other famous universities were probably not far away. There is no impenetrable wall in this world, especially among the major famous universities, and even more so between the major universities. Although Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie did a good job of keeping secrets. But those beast tide attacks, seeing so much of the truth, can't help but make people think more. Connecting the front and back, the facts are almost the same. And they all stared at the Magic City University and Qing Shui University. Once they made a move, they just had to follow them. Seeing that He Shi and Guang Gu had both moved, how could others not move? He sure was indeed the first to arrive, after all, the magic city base city is the closest to Jiangqing. A giant eagle that covered the sky and the sun landed directly outside the east city. When the city guards on the top of the city saw the huge black shadow, they almost raised the battle alarm. Fortunately, the enemy identification system promptly identified that the other party was a friend, not an enemy. This giant eagle was domesticated and raised by humans, and was specially used for long-distance transportation. It is a strategic beast. He sure, dressed in a scholar's clothes, jumped off the giant eagle, patted the giant eagle's claws, and said, Go find food nearby first, and I will call you when I return. Chapter 81 The giant eagle must not enter the city, otherwise it will cause a commotion. 
he sure entered Jiangqing alone. This time, in order to keep it secret, he did not bring his men and came alone. It's just that there are some news that he can't really do even if he wants to block it. When Lao Wang saw he sure at the school gate, he was a little confused. Such a big shot actually came alone. Director He. Lao Wang was a little suspicious. He sure took out his work ID and put it in front of Lao Wang, saying, Xiao Wang, we talked on the phone before. Lao Wang carefully checked He Shi's work ID. There was no way. These days, heretical organizations are omnipresent, and he dared not be careless. Director He, I'm sorry, please follow me into the school, I'll tell the principal. Lao Wang invited. He Shi waved his hand and said, No, Xiao Wang, I came here this time just to see classmate Yi Xiao Tian, you can just take me to his house. At this time, of course, he should seize the time to recruit Yi Xiaotian to Magic City University. According to what Zhao Jinjie said, this is a real talent. When he grows up, he can drive not only him, but the whole team. This is a strategic talent. Among this class of students, I am afraid that only the great god Haotian can be better than him. Seeing that he sure was so anxious, Lao Wang could only say silently in his heart, I'm sorry, Director Guang, I have tried my best. Under the leadership of Lao Wang, the two came to Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao's home. Ding ding ding. He Shi's mobile phone received a message. He took it out and saw it, and his pupils shrank immediately. It seems that it is more difficult. He Shi sighed. It was a message sent by his subordinates just now. The content was that the Jiangqing Awakening Bureau had just added a piece of information. Yi Xiaotian's teammate and childhood friend Wang Hao had been promoted to S-level talent. If this matter had not been certified by the Jiangqing Awakening Bureau, he would have almost doubted his life. This is fucking, directly promoted from C-level talent to S-level, this is going against the sky. He sure stared at the door in front of him in a daze. Is this room a place of luck? Otherwise, how could two C-level Awakeners suddenly become SS-level Auxiliary Talents and one promoted to S-level Warrior Talents? This is unscientific. Director He, what's wrong? Old Wang saw He Shi in a daze and asked quickly. He Shi came back to his senses and said, It's okay, knock on the door first to see if they are at home. He guessed that Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao should not be at home. Sure enough, Old Wang knocked on the door, but there was no response from inside. He took out his mobile phone and contacted Yi Xiao Tian, only to find out that they had just left the Awakening Bureau and were outside. Old Wang hurriedly asked them to go home. But what are these two guys doing at the Awakening Bureau at this time? Facing Old Wang's question, he sure did not explain, and was thinking about what conditions should be used to recruit Yi Xiao Tian and his team to Magic City University. If this team is properly trained, it can definitely become the representative team of Magic City University this year. Think about it, if this team, under the leadership of Yi Xiao Tian, wins the World University Awakener competition, then their Magic City University's ranking in the world will definitely be greatly improved. Lao Wang's phone vibrated, and he took it out and saw that it was Guang Bu calling. He said to He Shi, Director He, I'm going to answer the phone. He sure didn't think much about it, nodded, and continued to consider his chips. He could make the decision on some conditions, but some had to be reported to the principal before making a decision. But let's talk about it first, and then we'll talk about it later. At this time, Lao Wang had already answered the phone. Is it Guang Bu's call? He sure asked casually. Lao Wang was shocked for a moment, and then he realized that a master like he sure could hear the content of the phone call clearly even if the distance was twice as far. The scene was a bit awkward. He sure didn't care, this was within his expectations, but Guang Gu came a little too fast. Originally, I wanted to create a time difference, but now it seems that I can only go head on. Guang Gu arrived faster than expected. He had arrived before Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao went home. Director He. Director Guang. Lao Wang felt the spark between the two and retreated a little, fearing that the eye contact between the two big guys would make him suffer. The two big guys only exchanged glances for a moment, and then they said hello to each other. Long time no see. 
Lao Wang was very depressed. These two big guys were a little abnormal. Two directors, what are you doing? Lao Wang couldn't help asking. Oh, Xiao Wang doesn't know yet, we are old acquaintances. We used to be in the same team. Guang Gu said with a smile. Ah. Lao Wang was shocked again. They used to be in the same team. It was really unexpected. People in the same team usually have experienced life and death and can leave their backs to each other. But looking at the two big guys, He Shi and Guang Gu now, how can they still look like brothers in life and death? Xiao Wang, don't be surprised. Although we used to be a team, we are now each serving a different boss. He Shi also explained with a smile. His eyes were filled with another meaning. You want to win over Wang Zuren by creating an approachable persona, no way. Wang Zuren is Yi Xiaotian's head teacher anyway, so his words carry a certain amount of weight. Then let's see who has better means. Guang Gu also returned a look. The atmosphere was a bit frozen, and Lao Wang felt bitter. Finally, the savior came, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao came back. Teacher Wang, why did you come suddenly? Yi Xiaotian was very surprised, but when he saw He Shi and Guang Gu, he understood a little. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, I am He Shi, a teacher at Moda University. He Shi stretched out his hand to greet him. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, I am Guang Gu, a teacher at Qingshui University. Guang Gu also smiled and greeted him. He Shi, Guang Gu. The names of these two people are really unique. Lao Wang didn't even get an introduction, so he could only stand aside depressed. Yi Xiaotian came back to his senses and said, Hello, teachers, Housie, open the door quickly, let's go in first. Went in and sat down. Please forgive me, teachers. This is the only condition. After the three teachers sat down, there were no extra chairs. He sure suddenly stood up, pushed the chair in front of Yi Xiaotian, and said, Xiaotian, you sit and I stand. Guang Gu and Lao Wang were stunned by He Shi's operation. Nima, what should we do if you do this? Guang Gu moved very quickly and also stood up and pushed the chair. No, no, teacher, you sit, we just stand. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao quickly refused, offering courtesy for no reason. Uh, that's not right. At this time, there must be no mistakes in the details. Chapter 82 he sure did not say anything more, he just pulled the chair back, and then stood there and said, Student Yi Xiaotian, the conditions Xiao Zhao proposed to you before remain the same, your team can enter our Magic City University, special recruitment, admission without examination. If it was before Wang Hao's talent was promoted, he would definitely agree to this condition without hesitation. But now, he is still familiar with the illusion that rare goods are valuable. Seeing Yi Xiaotian looking at him, Guang Gu was very dissatisfied in his heart, this little guy is very cunning. Student Yi Xiaotian, other conditions remain unchanged, and your points can be raised to 12, 0, 0 points. Guang Gu gritted his teeth. Now Yi Xiaotian has made it clear that he will go with whoever has the higher conditions, so it is impossible to attract him with the name of the school before. The only way is to raise the conditions. This little fox is really too cunning. Our Magic City College offers 15, 0, 0 points. He sure made a loud offer. Old Wong was stunned. Why did he even put it on the auction offer? Are you sure you are here to recruit students? Thinking of this, he couldn't help but look at Yi Xiaotian. What earth-shattering things did this guy do to make the admissions directors of two famous schools spend so much money? He felt that he needed to learn more about Yi Xiaotian's situation. While the two directors were competing for quotes, Lao Wang pulled Wang Hao aside and whispered, Wang Hao, tell me honestly, what happened in the training camp? Lao Wang was the class teacher, so there was no need to hide things from him. However, in Wang Hao's mind, Yi Xiaotian's talent was also S-level. After hearing this, Lao Wang almost had a heart attack. He sent out two students with C-level talents, but in just 10 days, two students with S-level talents returned. One of them was a dual-talented person, and the other used a bottle of B-level talent spirit liquid, and then the C-level was directly promoted to S-level. Pa! 
Lao Wang slapped himself hard, and the severe pain made him almost curse. The room suddenly became lonely, and four pairs of eyes stared at him. Old Wang's face flushed first, and then he was extremely embarrassed. But can he be blamed for this? This is a normal reaction, right? He just wanted to try whether he was dreaming. As it turned out, he was not dreaming, and all this was real. But it was like a dream. This kind of thing that had never happened even in legends happened in front of him. Just slapping himself, it was already considered light, right? Looking at the five bright red fingerprints on old Wang's face, Yi Xiao Tian gave a thumbs up in admiration. Someone who can be so cruel to himself is definitely worthy of admiration. Here, the two big guys, He Shi and Guang Gu, are still competing for conditions and conducting point auctions. Jiang Qing Lin family. After Lin Hai came back, he learned the truth of the matter from the people in his family, and his heart was even more terrified. He didn't expect that this incident would bring almost a disaster to the Lin family. What can the Lin family do when the top leaders take action? They can only bear it. At the beginning, his father and his men snatched two training camp places from Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao. Didn't they have to bear it? If Yi Xiao Tian hadn't told the human race's high level officials about this matter in the end, using the identity of Hao Tian, this matter would have ended in vain. He believed that in the history of the human race, such things happened more than once or twice, and in the end, they could only swallow their anger and bear it. In this world, the weak are the original sin. There is no reason to explain. The reason why the Lin family is unlucky is that there is a person who is more terrifying than the Lin family behind Yi Xiao Tian. Everyone is lonely, but Yi Xiao Tian is soaring. Lin Hai's heart is full of reluctance. But what can he do? He is just an A-level sword talent. What about Yi Xiao Tian? He is not only S-level, but also a talent of the auxiliary system. If it comes to fighting, Lin Hai is confident that he is not inferior to Yi Xiao Tian. However, there is never a shortage of strong people around the awakened people of the auxiliary system. So if nothing unexpected happens, he will never be able to take revenge in this life, nor will he be able to lead the Lin family to rise again. At Yi Xiao Tian's house, before He Shi and Guang Gu could decide the winner, another competitor appeared. Li Chunqing, director of the admissions office of Jingqing University, also came. Old Li, why are you here? He Shi felt bad when he saw Li Chunqing coming. Guang Gu also said, Yes, Old Li, what are you doing here? Li Chunqing said, I'm here for whatever you're doing here, and you shouldn't treat me as an enemy. Not only am I here, but Jiang Ling from Jiangnan University is here too. There are also admissions teachers from other universities who have already rushed to Jiangcheng. Li Chunqing wanted to tell He Shi and Guang Gu that your enemy is not just me, so don't think about joining forces to kill me. He Shi and Guang Gu were shocked, and the thing they were most worried about happened. Old Li, how did you get the news? He Shi frowned. Guang Gu was also curious. They were able to come here early because Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie were Yi Xiaotian's instructors. But Li Chuanxing's Jingqing University has no graduates in the temporary training camp in Area 101. You two, we are not fools. You two rushed here in a hurry. Do you need to know more? Li Chuanxing said with a smile. He Shi and Guang Gu closed their eyes when they heard it. It was hasty. They were anxious to recruit Yi Xiao Tian into their school, but they didn't expect that it was their actions that alarmed other schools. Originally, they came here to tell Yi Xiao Tian that they valued him. But now it seems that this is shooting themselves in the foot. As enrollment is approaching, their every move has attracted the attention of countless people. Moreover, two people came to the same place and found the same person. Even a fool would know that there was a problem. Yi Xiao Tian was a little embarrassed because there were no extra chairs in the room. Fortunately, Comrade Lao Wang was very conscious and quickly gave up his chair. Then he took money out of his pocket and asked Wang Hao to go downstairs and buy a set of stools. These are all big shots. If they come to Jiangqing and don't even have a stool, Jiangqing Bay City will lose face. Li Chunqing stopped Wang Hao and said to He Shi and Guang Gu, How about we find another place? The two understood what he meant in a second and immediately said, 
Classmate Yi Xiao Tian, Classmate Wang Hao, let's go out and talk. Find a place where we can drink tea and sit down and talk slowly. This is Yi Xiao Tian's home, so he is naturally a big target. But if they take Yi Xiao Tian out and don't give others the opportunity to find him, wouldn't that reduce a lot of competitors? As long as Yi Xiao Tian makes a decision before the big exam, their advantage will be the greatest. Although the universities behind them are among the four famous universities, they are very attractive. But they are also afraid that other universities will not be fair and offer random conditions. Yi Xiao Tian is young and energetic. If he is blinded by some unimportant numbers, he will lose a lot. Chapter 83 Yi Xiao Tian and his friends were almost half dragged and half coaxed out of the house. When they went downstairs, they bumped into Jiang Ling from Jiangnan University. This middle aged woman with a charming demeanor looked like a young woman in her thirties. The four famous universities were all together now. Seeing them supporting Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao downstairs, Jiang Ling almost instantly understood their intentions. He sure, Guang Gu, and Li Chunxing were not vague and directly invited her to join them. Everyone found a tea house, ordered a few pots of tea, and then sat down to discuss, no, to make a price. Wang Hao was very confused. He knew nothing about negotiations, and he had no interest in tea. He could only sit numbly and wait for Yi Xiaotian's call. The same was true for Lao Wang. In front of the admissions directors of the four famous universities, he was a small transparent person. If it weren't for Yi Xiaotian's identity as a class teacher, he would not have been qualified to enter this tea house. As for why he was left here, it was naturally because he couldn't let people find Yi Xiaotian through him. For Yi Xiaotian, the only thing that is attractive to him about these famous schools is probably their school points. After all, after Huang Jie's explanation, he also understood the use of university points. As for the others, it doesn't matter. Whether it is a separate villa or how many scholarships, they are not as tempting as school points. So the four admissions directors did not waste time on these, and the real competition was on school points. School points represent various precious resources. The more you spend now, the more the school will pay in the future. This is a huge burden for the school, and it is extremely unfair to other students. After all, others need to complete various school tasks to obtain these precious resources. So although the four admissions directors wanted to be happy and spend a lot of money to bring Yi Xiao Tian and his team back. But they can't. Their authority is limited, and there is a ceiling for what conditions they can offer in the end. Once this ceiling is exceeded, they must apply to the top. And as a famous school, it is impossible to offer endless conditions. Although Yi Xiaotian's conditions are very good, they can't be too outrageous. So when the points they offered reached 20 points, they all fell silent. This has reached the peak of their authority. Student Yi Xiaotian, our school can also offer a condition of 20 points, but this is already our limit. But our school can compensate in other ways. Director He Shi from Magic City University said. Jiang Ling from Jiangnan University said at this time, Student Yi Xiaotian, our Jiangnan University's conditions can be the same as theirs. And our school has a condition that they don't have. The other directors looked at her. Does Jiangnan University have any trump cards? Because our Jiangnan University is located in Jiangnan, not far from your hometown Jiangqing Bay City, the climate is also very suitable. Unlike the north, the climate is dry and the air is full of viruses. Jiang Ling lifted the hair by her ear and said. The other directors were stunned. Damn, even this can be used as a condition, you are worthy of it, Jiang Nan Ling. This ability to deceive is really amazing. Classmate Yi Xiao Tian, I won't say much about the rest, but I want to emphasize one thing. Our Qing Shui University has the most secret realms among many schools. Guang Gu from Qing Shui University also tempted. Guang Gu, who are you fooling? Yi Xiao Tian, don't be fooled by him. In terms of the number of secret realms, our Jingqing University is definitely not less than Qing Shui University. What's more, there are conditions for entering the secret realm. Guang Gu, are you going to let Yi Xiao Tian enter for free? Li Chunxing hurriedly reminded Yi Xiao Tian. 
Guang Gu's words looked very tempting, but they were all empty promises. Guang Gu looked at Li Chunqing angrily. Damn, is it really good to undermine each other like this? If this goes on, none of our four families will be a winner. Although it can't be unlimited free, I can promise two free places. Guang Gu said proudly. Li Chunqing was stunned. He really dared to promise these two free places. You know, one secret realm place must be exchanged for 1,000 school points. The two quotas are equivalent to adding another 2,0,0 school points. The other people looked at each other in bewilderment, and for a moment they didn't know whether Guang Gu was telling the truth or just bluffing. Seeing their suspicious eyes, Guang Gu immediately said angrily, Can this kind of thing be bluffed? Do you really think that classmate Yi Xiaotian is a vegetarian? Everyone heard it and really said so. Just as the atmosphere was gradually solidified, Lao Wang's mobile phone rang. Turn it off. Four voices said in unison, scaring Lao Wang to throw his mobile phone directly. I'll turn it off right away, right away. Lao Wang looked embarrassed. He didn't care that the caller ID was the principal, and he turned off his mobile phone directly. The consequences of angering these people were too serious, and he couldn't bear it. As for the principal, at most he could explain it after the end. I believe the principal will understand. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, this is really our limit. Guang Gu saw that Yi Xiaotian had not expressed his opinion yet, and felt that he was a little too demanding. Yi Xiaotian said, Director Guang, it's not that I'm greedy, but this matter is not something I can decide alone. We are a team, and every member of the team has the right to decide whether to stay or go. So no matter what, I have to discuss it with them first, and then give you an answer. Hearing his explanation, Guang Gu and his friends felt a little relieved. Okay, classmate Yi Xiaotian, our Magic City University also offers the same conditions. I hope you can give us an answer as soon as possible after you have discussed it. He sure gritted his teeth and gave the same conditions. At most, he would pay for the two free places in the secret realm. Zhao Zhen's explanation was really too deceptive. Li Chunqing and Jiang Ling were both helpless. This was beyond the limit of the power given by the school. They really couldn't afford to give more. Even if this matter was reported, the school would not approve it. Because the previous conditions were the last bargaining chip given by the school. Student Yi Xiaotian, although we cannot give you two free places in the secret realm, we can still make up for it in other conditions. I hope you will consider our school. Jiang Ling said. Similarly, Li Chunqing also said the same thing to Jiang Ling on behalf of Jingqing University. Yi Xiaotian said, Don't worry, directors, I will convey your words to you. After discussing with the team members, I will reply to you one by one. Chapter 84 the college entrance examination is also called the college entrance examination. The major exam for the awakened person is divided into a literary test and a martial arts test. Not to mention the literary test, it is a test of cultural knowledge, but the test here is more about the knowledge of awakened people and alien races. The martial arts test is a practical test for warriors and superpowers. Talent level, literary test, and martial arts test are the three major criteria for admission to the awakened university. Among them, the importance of talent level is definitely the first. And the talent level directly affects the martial arts test, which can be regarded as the same origin. As for the literary test, it is just a way for those students who are not very talented to advance. Although this is an era when the awakened ones are the strongest. But scholars are not without opportunities to make a comeback. This world also needs scientific researchers. As long as they study well, their status will not be worse than that of the strongest awakened person. Although Yi Xiaotian and the others received invitations from four prestigious schools to enter without exams, they still came to the school to prepare for the exams. When we arrived at school, the team gathered together and discussed. Look, that's Lin Hai. Judging from his appearance, he seems to be unaffected. His face is red and his family life is going well. Wang Hao suddenly pointed at Lin Hai not far away and said to everyone. Yi Xiaotian looked around and saw that Lin Hai in the crowd was indeed very energetic. He was a completely different person than when he came back from the training camp. 
It seems like something good happened. Yi Xiao Tian said casually. Wang Hao said disdainfully, what good things can happen to him now? The Lin family has already been defeated. Could it be that he has also been specially recruited by some university? Han Xuyao shook his head and said, probably not. Lin Hai is only an A-level talent, and no university is willing to recruit him. Then there is no other reason, or his talent has been promoted to S-level. Wang Hao guessed. Everyone else rolled their eyes. Do you think that being promoted to S-level talent is just picking up cabbage? With the current strength of the Lin family, there is simply no way to help Lin Hai advance to S-level. Forget it, it's none of our business. I talked to Huang Jia on the phone yesterday and asked him for his opinion. Although he said he would let me make the decision, what he meant was that the two universities in Beijing have better resources. Yi Xiaotian changed the topic. The resources of the secret realm are definitely more than those of the two universities in the capital, but they are also limited, and the points required to enter the secret realm are many. So in fact, for us, there is not much difference. Mu Bingyan explained. Han Xuyao said, there is no difference to us, but the difference to Brother Tian is huge. Mu Bingyan's expression was stagnant. What you said makes sense, but I can't refute it. It makes me sad just thinking about it. After he and others enroll in school, he still has to work hard to earn school points. But Yi Xiaotian had 20 points in hand when he entered school, and two free places in the secret realm. Just thinking about it makes people vomit blood. As a new student, you may not be able to accumulate enough points to enter the secret realm even if you work hard for a semester. But Yi Xiaotian, before he entered school, already had 12 opportunities to enter the secret realm. The secret realm represents the most precious attribute points. As for other resources such as materials, they can be left behind. After all, the foundation of an awakened person is attribute points. Without attribute points, no matter how good your talent is, it is useless. After all, the increase in talent is based on the basic attributes of the body. Even for auxiliary superpowers, attributes are very important. Because the higher your main attribute is, it not only increases the multiplier of the increase, but also determines how many people you can use your talent skills on. Can giving a boost to a hundred people be the same as giving a boost to a thousand people? Therefore, the secret realm resources can be said to be the best among universities. It's just too expensive. At this time, Lin Hai also looked at Yi Xiaotian, and then showed a sneer. The meaning is obvious. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused, who gave Lin Hai the courage to dare to challenge him. I couldn't figure it out, so I just thought Lin Hai was out of his mind. Soon, the bell rang and the exam began. Everyone began to enter their respective examination rooms according to their student registration numbers. Night falls and the day passes. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were walking back. Both of them are relatively relaxed, especially Wang Hao, although his cultural scores are really poor. But it doesn't matter. It's just a formality anyway. After the exam, their team had a meal together and then went home. There was a practical exam yesterday and they had to rest early. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian stopped. What's wrong? Wang Hao asked doubtfully. Something's wrong. Yi Xiaotian said. Wang Hao immediately became alert, activated his innate skills, and the power of qi and blood enveloped his whole body, protecting Yi Xiaotian behind him. Did you see anything? Wang Hao asked Yi Xiaotian after he was ready. Yi Xiaotian raised his hand, and two rays of light sank into Wang Hao's body, and the color of the energy and blood on Wang Hao's body was darker. Wang Hao's body trembled and he looked at Yi Xiaotian with more doubts in his eyes. He just checked and found that his physique and strength attributes had increased by seven times, and both attributes were about to exceed 10 0, 0. Coupled with the blessing of his innate skills, his current combat power is enough to fight even a B-level awakener. Although I had doubts in my heart, I didn't ask them here. Yi Xiaotian used his innate skills to bless himself again. His main body and second soul worked together, and his four attributes suddenly soared seven times, breaking through 350 points. 
the surge in spiritual attributes made his perception clear immediately. They now entered a unique space, completely isolated from the outside world. Although the street scene in front of them was the same as in reality, they were two different worlds. Yi Xiao Tian took out the B-level Tianjin War knife, and the armor began to appear. Since the other party came prepared, he naturally did not dare to be careless. Although his equipment was all from the second soul, the attributes of his body were from the main body. Moreover, he still had many talents that had not yet exploded, and the second soul was ready to bless him with many innate skills at any time. Once all of them exploded, he could fight even an S-level strongman. Since you are here, then come out. Yi Xiao Tian said in a deep voice after he was ready. As expected, you are a hidden genius. It seems that our intelligence is correct. Yi Xiao Tian, we all underestimated you. A voice came out of the darkness and stood a hundred meters away. Who are you? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Let me introduce myself. My name is Qi Yi. You can call me Master Qi. Qi Yi performed an elegant noble salute. Qi Yi. When Yi Xiao Tian heard the other party's name, he immediately remembered that he seemed to be the leader of the attack on the training camp. Chapter 85 If he remembered correctly, this Qi Ye was the same as Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Jinjie, all of whom were B-level awakeners. Yi Xiao Tian said calmly, Where are the others? Let them all come out together. Qi Ye said disdainfully, To deal with you two little kids, other people's help is needed. Boy, how much do you look down on me, the seventh master? You are not an adult, what's so great about you, aren't you ranked seventh? Yi Xiao Tian said sarcastically. Qi Ye's face sank, this sentence was considered to have caught his sore spot. Boy, I will let you know what the pain of the seventh master is. Qi Ye said fiercely, attacking Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao. That ghost villain, if you want to attack brother Tian, you have to pass my brother Hao. Wang Hao shouted angrily, and rushed over with the blood shield. Qi Ye's face was full of sneers. This damn guy dared to rush up when facing his seventh master. He was simply ignorant of life and death. Qi Ye raised his hand and pointed, a sword energy burst out from his fingertips and slashed towards Wang Hao. Wang Hao's body was covered by the shield, and the shield was covered by blood energy. Xing stood in front of the sword energy and slashed at Qi Ye with the big knife in his hand. Qi Ye snorted coldly, and don't know the power of the strong. How could Wang Hao, an awakened freshman, resist this sword energy? So he didn't care at all. Boom! In just a moment, Qi Ye's eyes froze, looking at Wang Hao, his face full of disbelief. His sword energy was actually blocked by Wang Hao. Blocked. What the hell is going on? A mere awakened freshman can actually block his luminous sword energy, this is impossible. Chi Ye is going crazy. Danger is coming, the big knife attacks, Chi Ye quickly retreats. After pulling away from him by a hundred meters, he looked at Wang Hao and said, Who are you? You can't be Wang Hao. Wang Hao raised his shield and knife and said angrily, My brother Hao will never change his name, so why the hell is Chi, come and die. Seventh Knight was completely furious. A mere awakened freshman dared to underestimate him like this. It seemed that he, Seventh Knight, had not killed enough people over the years. Then you try to take my sword again. Seventh Knight was serious. He flipped his hand and a sword filled with black light appeared in his hand, slashing at Wang Hao. Wang Hao was not afraid at all, and rushed over with the blood shield and shield. Bang! Wang Hao felt like he was hit by a train. The huge force made his body shoot backwards like a cannonball, and finally hit the transparent light shield and fell to the ground. Puff! Wang Hao spat out a mouthful of blood and coughed a few times. Haozi, are you okay? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Wang Hao replied, It's okay, I just spit out some blood. Wang Hao was very excited. Even he himself didn't expect that he could have such fighting power. This is Qi Ye, the Qi Ye that even Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie couldn't do anything to. Qi Ye was not feeling well at the moment, and the blood in his body was surging. But he forced himself to swallow the blood in his throat. 
Boy, dare to be stubborn with me, I want to see how many swords you can take from me. Chiye had a proud attitude. Yi Xiao Tian moved a few steps to the side and said in a deep voice, Chia, now your opponent is me. Brother Tian, I'll do it. Wang Hao dragged his steps and rubbed his chest and said. Yi Xiao Tian said, no, it's just Chia, you take a rest first. With Wang Hao's strength, of course he can continue to fight, but it may aggravate the injuries in his body. And the time for his innate skills to be blessed is also limited. This battle must be fought quickly. The duel between masters cannot tolerate any carelessness. They still have too little experience. So Yi Xiao Tian didn't dare to gamble. Once the innate skills are not renewed in time, the consequences will be serious. After all, they are facing Chiya, the murderous devil in the heretic organization, who has rich combat experience. I am afraid that if there is a flaw for one second, he will die under the opponent's sword energy. And Yi Xiao Tian doesn't believe that Chiya, who can't even be defeated by Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjia, has such little strength. Let Wang Hao feel the real battle, and he will do the rest. Chiya said indifferently, You two have to die today. There is no difference between dying earlier and later. He was a little surprised that Yi Xiao Tian dared to take it hard. He thought Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao would run away, and delaying time is also a good strategy. After all, this isolated space is also time limited. And after a long time, someone will definitely notice the abnormality here. At that time, the city guards and the patrol department will definitely come. It will inevitably be troublesome again. His purpose of coming here today is to kill Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao, and the rest will be discussed later. It was not easy to win over a force for the heretic organization, so he must not be careless and lose Jingzhou. He also wanted to make a quick decision. Sword. Kiki swung his long sword, and the sword energy rushed to the sky, slashing towards Yi Xiao Tian. Take my sword. Yi Xiao Tian shouted, and the Tianjin war sword was too happy and slashed towards Kiki. The sword energy and the knife energy collided, and the energy overflowed. Wang Hao, holding the big shield, retreated again and again. He was terrified. How could Brother Tian be so strong? Did he really not increase his spiritual attributes, but increased his strength? Otherwise, this warrior's combat power could not exceed his. Did his martial arts talent also improve its grade? Wang Hao thought of a possibility. And this possibility is very high. Yi Xiao Tian was able to take out a bottle of talent spirit liquid for him, why couldn't he have already taken a talent spirit liquid? Thinking of this, Wang Hao suddenly became excited. No wonder Brother Tian refused to retest his talent. He definitely didn't want this secret to be discovered. I must keep this secret for him. Wang Hao stared at the battle between the two sides without blinking. Yi Xiao Tian held the knife with both hands and slashed at Qi Ye one after another. Qi Ye held the sword with one hand and pinched the sword formula with the other hand, constantly waving at Yi Xiao Tian, and the sword energy was emitted, and the scene was dazzling. But the shock in his heart was like a storm. How could this be? How could these two awakened freshmen be so strong? Even if their talent is very high, even if they have participated in the training camp. But no matter what, they are just freshmen, and they haven't even completed the final exam. The awakened freshmen at this stage are at most E-level combat power. This is when the talent is added. But what about now? Which of these two guys has the combat power of an E-level Awakener? This is definitely the combat power of a B-level Awakener. He is on the seventh night, and his awakening level is B-level on paper. With the blessing of the black sword in his hand, the combat power he can exert at this moment has definitely reached the high-level B-level. But he can only fight on par with Yi Xiao Tian. Chapter 86 Although Kiki has not used his innate ability or the alien transformation ability until now. But based on his strength on paper, he is confident that he can kill Wang Hao and Yi Xiao Tian in seconds. But the reality is contrary to his wishes. Not only can Wang Hao resist his sword energy, but Yi Xiao Tian can also fight him without losing. How did these two little guys grow up? 
Although he learned the secret news that Yi Xiao Tian is extremely talented and is highly valued by Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie in the training camp. Both of them want to recruit Yi Xiao Tian to study at the university behind them. If it were someone else, Kiki might not come in person. But since even Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie valued him, he would have to consider how high Yi Xiaotian's gold content is. With a great master like him, there is no need for other people. After all, the more people there are, the easier it is to be exposed. He sneaked into Jiangqing alone, and took advantage of the night to successfully let Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian walk into the formation he had arranged. This is a treasure made by a talented person from the alien race, which can temporarily block all information. I thought it would be a very easy task, but I didn't expect that Wang Hao and Yi Xiaotian were both very strong. This is the first time in Qi Ye's life that he has evaluated two freshmen as very strong. He is a proud person, and even Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Jinjie are not worthy of such evaluation. But Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao are worthy of it. The more so, the more murderous intent Qi Yi has in his heart. The more talented the human race is, the more he wants to kill. And the more excited he is when he kills. Boy, you are very good, you are worthy of being a genius that even Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie see. I really didn't expect that we don't have any news about you. And the one next to you is also very good. It is considered a very outstanding genius of the human race. It's a pity that such a genius will fall here tonight. Qi Ye's eyes were shining with excitement. He was serious. His momentum was constantly rising. Yi Xiaotian didn't know what level he had reached, but at this moment, Qi Ye's strength had at least increased several times compared to before. At least he had entered the realm of A-level Awakeners, and even touched the edge of S-level Awakeners. Yi Xiaotian didn't dare to be careless. When he thought about it, the second soul began to bless him with various talents and skills. Those talents that he strengthened to A-level Vajra Bodyguard, Frenzy, Bold Demon Power, and the talents that were strengthened to S-level Strength, Swiftness, Physique. All of them were blessed on himself. A more powerful aura was transmitted from Yi Xiaotian's body. The Qi Yi on the opposite side was dumbfounded. How could this little guy still improve his strength? According to their intelligence, although Yi Xiaotian was a dual-talented person. But one talent was an S-level auxiliary system. Judging from the situation just now, he should have used it. And the other talent was a C-level martial arts talent, which could almost be ignored. But now, what's going on? Isn't he a double-talented person, but a triple-talented person? But even if there is an auxiliary talent, it seems impossible to improve so much. What is going on? Kiki's three views are about to be shattered. Come and die. Kiki felt that he couldn't wait any longer, otherwise it would be bad. Fighting power is full. The mutant talent knight fight is completely stimulated, holding the sword and slashing at Yi Xiaotian. Let's see who dies first. Yi Xiaotian also fought with full strength, holding the knife and rushing towards Kiki. But when the two were about 10 meters away, Yi Xiaotian's speed suddenly increased to the extreme, and he rushed towards Kiki like a flash of lightning. How is it possible? Kiki exclaimed, This little bastard, he actually hit his strength at this time. Puff. The long knife cut through Kiki's armor defense, and the knife energy entered his body. Kiki vomited blood and retreated. Staring at Yi Xiaotian, he couldn't believe what he had just experienced. What kind of abilities does this damned little guy have hidden? Unless you experience this kind of thing yourself, no one will believe it if you tell it to others. Chia decided to retreat decisively. He had a hunch that if he continued to fight, he would have to die here. The proud Chia was scared. So he decided to retreat decisively. Yi Xiaotian and the others could kill him at any time, but if he died, there would be nothing left. If you want to run, ask the long knife in my hand. Yi Xiaotian shouted, holding the knife and slashing at Chia. Chia said proudly, In this night sky, if I want to leave, no one can stop me. The voice disappeared, and Chia's figure disappeared into the long night as if invisible. But the surrounding environment seemed to come alive again. Yi Xiaotian held the knife, and Wang Hao stood there with the shield, 
trying to make sure whether Chi Ye really left. How did he do it? Wang Hao asked puzzledly. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head, I don't know, but in this world, there are all kinds of magical talents and abilities. And as far as I know, Kiki's body has been transformed by the essence and blood of a powerful alien. Unknown changes have occurred, and you can transform and fight, and your combat power has greatly increased. Wang Hao frowned and said, You mean, wasn't Seventh Knight's strongest combat power just now? Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, Definitely not, but once he transforms and fights, his aura will definitely attract the masters in the city, so he chose to retreat. The two confirmed again that Seventh Knight had left, and then they breathed a sigh of relief and continued to walk towards home. As for what happened tonight, Yi Xiao Tian still needs to think about how to deal with it later. Otherwise, if you tell it rashly, won't people be suspicious? You are a freshman, how can you beat back the famous heretic master Seventh Knight? After all, when he was in the training camp, even Lu Dingsheng and Zhao Xinjie couldn't do anything to Seventh Knight. Many places are unacceptable. Unless he wants to expose all the secrets. Back home. Howzi, don't tell anyone about what happened tonight, just pretend it didn't happen, understand? Yi Xiao Tian told Wang Hao. Although Wang Hao was a little confused, he obeyed everything Yi Xiao Tian said unconditionally. Also, we need to be more cautious in the actual battle tomorrow. Yi Xiao Tian added. Wang Hao looked puzzled. Yi Xiao Tian explained, Haozi, we can't spread the news that we teamed up with Hao Tian to go to the dungeon. Only the people in our team know about it, understand? Wang Hao immediately understood after hearing this and said, I know what you said, don't worry, I know what to do. Yi Xiao Tian continued to think, it's not normal for the seventh night to come to him tonight. Chapter, 87 There must be an insider of Chiya in Jiangqing. And this insider also knows his situation. There are not many such people. Just when Yi Xiao Tian was guessing who leaked his information. Lin family in Jiangqing. Qi Ye returned here with a wounded body. Before entering, he cleaned himself up. Then he returned to his elegant appearance. Lin Hai was walking around anxiously. Seeing Qi Ye appear, he hurriedly said, Seventh Master, what's the result? Are Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao dead? Qi Ye's face was a little ugly. When he went there, he vowed that he would kill Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao. But he didn't get hurt. Not only did he fail to kill them, but he was also injured. No, he was protected by masters, and I didn't do it. Chi Ye said so. Lin Hai was immediately disappointed. Chi Ye said, they are now different in status. If you want to kill them, don't rush. Do you know that Wang Hao is no longer a sea level talent awakener? Chi Ye stared at Lin Hai and asked. This guy's intelligence is not accurate at all, which almost made him unable to come back. The strength of Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao is completely different from what Lin Hai described. Not sea level. How is it possible? At the awakening ceremony, he awakened the sea level talent rage. Lin Hai said. Chi Ye shook his head and said, he has now been promoted to S level rage, and his blood and qi can be compared with B level awakeners. Impossible. Lin Hai exclaimed. In any case, he didn't believe this was true. Do you think I'm lying to you? Chi Ye said in a bad tone. Lin Hai was startled and said quickly, No, no, Master Chi, I absolutely dare not doubt your words. It's just that this matter is too unbelievable. Seventh Knight said, and this is the fact. If you don't believe it, you can go to the Awakening Bureau to check. Lin Hai waved his hands repeatedly and said, No, no, Master Chi said it must be, it must be. Seventh Knight didn't have time to talk nonsense with him, and said, Okay, arrange a room for me, I want to rest. Don't worry about Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao, they will definitely die. Lin Hai didn't dare to say anything more, and immediately arranged a room for Seventh Knight to stay. After arranging Seventh Knight, Lin Hai returned to his room and sighed. This is his trump card. After returning from the training camp, Lin Hai was in a panic all day long. Then Seventh Knight came to him and said that he could help him and make him stronger. 
the price is to join the heretic organization. Of course, you can also not join. Then die. Lin Hai hesitated for a moment, and then agreed to Seventh Night to join the heretic organization. However, he also put forward a condition, which was to kill Yi Xiao Tian. Of course, if Yi Xiao Tian died, there would be no need for Wang Hao to live. When Chi Ye heard that Yi Xiao Tian was an S level auxiliary talent, he immediately agreed to Lin Hai's request. Even if Lin Hai didn't say it, he would kill such a talent. How could he shock the human race without killing him? How could he make Chi Ye more famous without killing him? Only by killing enough human geniuses could he thoroughly establish the reputation of Chia. Especially when he heard that the reason why the training camp plan failed in the end was also because of Yi Xiao Tian, he sentenced Yi Xiao Tian to death. This guy, not dying is not enough to prove his killing. But this time, he miscalculated. He stepped on the iron plate. However, Lin Hai didn't know about this matter yet, and he was still immersed in the promise Chia made to him. Yi Xiao Tian will definitely die. He will also become stronger and stronger. Qi Ye has promised him that he will help him improve the strength of his talent, and then he will become a genius of the human race. Everything Yi Xiao Tian enjoys now will be his. As for Yi Xiao Tian, after thinking about it, he stopped making unnecessary guesses. No matter who it is, they will jump out in the end. Yi Xiao Tian gathered his mood and entered the reincarnation world. Hao Tian went to see Deacon Wu at the Awakener Association, while Yi Xiao Tian accompanied Han Xuyao shopping. Yes, now they even moved shopping from reality to the reincarnation world. There is no way, the alien race has not yet lifted the order to assassinate the human genius. So Han Xuyao is now forbidden to go out alone except for going to school. They want to date, what's the matter with the bodyguards following behind? So after thinking about it, Han Xuyao decided to go to the reincarnation world for a date. Anyway, there are countless people in the reincarnation world, as long as they don't reveal their names, no one knows who they are. The probability of meeting acquaintances when shopping here is still very small. Except for the time when Han Xuyao's father caught the bag. Yi Xiao Tian told Han Xuyao about the attack at night, of course, the purpose is to let her be careful, so as not to be tricked. Although Han Xuyao is now protected when she travels, he still knows that it is difficult to guard against. Do you have a suspect? Han Xuyao's face became serious. Attacking Yi Xiao Tian is more serious than attacking her. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, Not yet, but the only people who know this news are those in the training camp. Han Xuyao said, Could it be Lin Hai? I think he is quite abnormal today. Hearing her mention this, Yi Xiao Tian also remembered that Lin Hai's behavior was indeed quite abnormal at school today. Could this guy really be assimilated by the heretics? Come to think of it, it's not impossible. This guy has been hit since the training camp. After returning, he also knew about the major events that happened in the family. The Lin family is now a grasshopper after autumn. Lin Hai wants to turn over and joining the heretic organization is indeed a way. But it is a dead end. Brother Tian, what are you going to do about this? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, let's see first. Aren't you going to report it? Han Xuyao said. With Yi Xiao Tian's current status and position, once this matter is reported, it will definitely be investigated by the higher-ups. And Lin Hai, the key suspect, will definitely not have an easy time. Maybe this guy will be scared and confess everything. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, Some things are hard to explain, so I can only check it myself. Han Xuyao didn't say much when he said that, but just nodded. Then be careful. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, I understand. By the way, tell Xiao Si and Mu Binyan to restrain themselves during the practical test tomorrow. Han Xuyao said, I understand. Awakener Association. Deacon Wu saw Hao Tian coming and hurriedly welcomed him into the backyard. After pouring tea, he said, Lord Hao Tian, I have reported your matter to the higher authorities, and they have generally agreed to your request. He used to call Hao Tian classmate, but now he calls him Lord Hao Tian. He changed his words very quickly. What do you mean by generally agree? This means disagreement. 
Hao Tian said coldly. Chapter, 88 Deacon Wu sighed and said, Lord Hao Tian, it's not that the higher-ups don't agree, but there are some skills that they don't have. No stock. Yi Xiao Tian believed it a little after hearing it. After all, some of the advanced skills in it are really not cheap. I'm afraid that even those supreme masters would be reluctant to exchange them. Unless it is very necessary. As for other people, they would not spend so many points to exchange. Deacon Wu said, but don't worry, Lord Hao Tian, the higher-up said that what they promised you will be done, but it will take more time. What do you mean? Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused. Deacon Wu said, except for the sword god who is in charge of Blue Star, the other human supremes have already gone to the alien battlefield. When they come back from the alien battlefield, they will probably have enough points to exchange these skills. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned. This is what he meant. No need. Yi Xiao Tian said. Deacon Wu looked confused and said, What? I said no need. Yi Xiao Tian emphasized. Deacon Wu didn't understand what Yi Xiao Tian meant, and thought that his attitude was wrong. Lord Hao Tian, don't misunderstand me. Deacon Wu hurried to explain. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand to interrupt and said, Okay, Deacon Wu, I know what you mean. I said no, and I didn't mean anything else. To be honest, when I took out this piece of paper, I didn't think that the higher-ups would agree. I just didn't expect that they would really agree. I, Hao Tian, am not an ungrateful person. Since they give me face, how can I not take it? At this point, Yi Xiao Tian probably understood the status of Hao Tian in the eyes of the human high-level officials. It seems that the human high-level officials are really optimistic about him. There is nothing false. To be honest, Yi Xiao Tian is not a novice. He knows a lot in his two lives. It is too common for the high-level officials to fight for power and profit. The reason why the alien race did not completely occupy the Blue Star is not because of the internal struggle of the alien race. So he also wanted to try whether it was the same among the human high-level officials. This is not just a small test, but also responsible for his own safety. If the human race's high-level officials really do this, then he will have to make other plans. Now it seems that the human race's high-level officials are still united. This may also be because the alien race is too strong and they are forced to have no extra thoughts. After Deacon Wu understood Yi Xiaotian's meaning, he breathed a sigh of relief and said, Thank you, Lord Haotian. He was in charge of this matter. If Hao Tian was angry about it, he would be a sinner. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, Okay, don't be so polite, send those skills back. Ah! Deacon Wu was completely dumbfounded. He thought Yi Xiao Tian just didn't want the remaining skills, but he didn't expect that all of them were gone. Yi Xiao Tian said, I want skills, I will go to the Samsara Mall to exchange them myself, and I can still afford this amount of points. Deacon Wu completely understood what Yi Xiao Tian meant. This Hao Tian seems to be very cunning. Deacon Wu said silently in his heart. If the top management really treated him as a freshman, Hao Tian would probably have already lost faith. Deacon Wu wiped the sweat from his forehead and felt that it was necessary to report this matter in detail. One night passed. When Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao arrived at school the next day, Yi Xiao Tian also took a special look at Lin Hai's performance. Sure enough, after receiving Yi Xiao Tian's eyes today, he no longer sneered like yesterday, but dodged. There is something wrong with this guy. Yi Xiao Tian judged. Han Xuyao came to Yi Xiao Tian and whispered, Brother Tian, how is it? There is a problem, it should be him. Yi Xiao Tian said. Han Xuyao said, What should we do? This matter must be reported. It is too dangerous to keep such a person from a heretical organization lurking around. It may even endanger the safety of the entire Jiangcheng. After all, the Lin family has been operating in Jiangcheng for many years and has many relationships. Once these relationships are used by heretical organizations, the consequences will be very serious. Yi Xiaotian said, It is definitely necessary to tell, but we don't have any evidence now, so we can't directly say Lin Hai. And it's not easy to say clearly that the seventh night attacked us. Han Xuyao said, 
otherwise, let me tell you about this matter. I will say that the Han family sent a master to follow you to protect you and help you fight off the seventh night. Yi Xiaotian's eyes lit up and said, Why didn't I think of this method, Xu Yao, you are so smart. Han Xu Yao's beautiful face suddenly showed a trace of pride, and said, Of course. Hey, you too, can you stop being so mushy, I really can't stand it. Although Chang Xiaosi next to him is used to eating dog food. But in public, showing affection like this is really too depressing. Mu Bingyan's mouth twitched constantly, but she was thinking in her heart whether she and Hao Tian God could do this one day. Wang Hao, on the other hand, looked indifferent. Anyway, he would automatically filter out many languages and would not be affected by anything. The next practical test was easy for the members of Yi Xiaotian's team. The so-called practical test was to fight with strange beasts. According to the above requirements, as long as you persist for a certain period of time in the battle with F-level monsters, you can pass. Such students can meet the requirements of ordinary universities. Killing F-level monsters will naturally give you better grades. The same is true for E-level monsters. The persistence and killing are different grades. With the strength of Yi Xiaotian's team at the moment, monsters of the E-level are killed in seconds. However, in order not to shock the world, Yi Xiaotian asked them to persist for two more minutes before killing them. Anyway, they have all been specially recruited, and grades are not important at all. It is more important to retain some strength. In this world, being high profile is linked to death. Those who live long are called geniuses. Those who die young are called short-lived ghosts. Team Yi has restrained their strength, but other students in no. One middle school who are quite talented and have good family conditions have shown good strength. Yi Xiaotian, it seems that you are not good enough. Do you, who once lost to Yi Xiaotian in the battle for a place in the training camp, came to him. Do you, what do you want to do? Han Xuyao said. Do you said, I just want to remind someone that a temporary victory does not mean a permanent victory. With your two talents, you will definitely not go far. Let alone, with your two C-level talents, what's the use of doing well in the exam? The talent level can knock you down. And we, the real geniuses, can rise straight up and finally leave you behind completely. After saying this, it received a warm response from the geniuses of No. One middle school. After all, most of them were eliminated by Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, and they have never been convinced. Now seeing that Yi Xiaotian and the others did not do very well in the exam. They all sent contemptuous words and looks to Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. Yi Xiaotian, taking shortcuts will not go far after all. Only true geniuses like us are the final winners. Chapter, 89 That's right. With our talent, we can't say we can go to a prestigious university, but we can go to any key university. But you can't. With only C-level talent, what can you do even if you are one step ahead in the early stage? There are still no good universities that want you. Student Han Xuyao, I advise you to face the reality and stop hanging out with such people. Otherwise, you will definitely regret it in the end. That's right. And this student Mu Bingyan, you just came here and don't know the true face of Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. As classmates, I advise you to stay away from trash. Mu Bingyan was confused. You said they are trash. Mu Bingyan pointed at Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao in disbelief. Do you said arrogantly, of course, they are only C-level talents, what else can they be but trash? But you are not even as good as them. How do you say? Are you not even as good as trash? Mu Bingyan said so. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes. This Mu Bingyan has also learned bad things. Wang Hao wanted to fight back, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian. Do you said, Ms Mu Bingyan, what does this mean? Their fighting power was stronger in the early stage, just because they had better physical fitness. This is because the great god Haotian made the alien race pay a big killer, so that we could not get more points in the reincarnation copy. Otherwise, how could they be stronger than us with just two pieces of trash? Just wait, the side effects of the reincarnation copy will disappear at night, and then it will be the time for our strength to soar. 
it only takes one night to leave them far behind. Puff. There is no way, it is too funny, so even Mu Bing Yan, who has an icy face all day, burst out laughing. As for Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi, they were even more exaggerated, laughing so hard that they could hardly stand. Han Xuyao lay on Yi Xiaotian's body to avoid falling to the ground. Chang Xiaoxi tightly grasped Mu Bingyan's arm to prevent herself from laughing. I won't say anything about Han Xuyao. Mu Bingyan, the top beauty, put on a smile on her icy face. This was a beautiful moment that made people happy. But do you and the others were not happy at all. Because they were the target of the jokes of these beauties. If they told a joke and made the beauties laugh, they would feel a sense of accomplishment. But the current situation is that they seem to have become the joke themselves. The words they just said made them the joke. But they thought about it and couldn't figure out which of their words were wrong. They were all telling the truth. At this time, Lao Wang came over. Director Wang. When the students saw Teacher Wang, they all greeted him. Now Lao Wang is the head of the grade, not an ordinary head teacher. With a changed identity, the influence is naturally different. Old Wang nodded to them, and then said, Yi Xiaotian, Wang Hao, I just received a call from the Awakening Bureau, and they certified that one of you has dual talents and the other has S-level talent. The school has also added it to your academic records, and I'm notifying you. Director Wang, what do you mean by that? The sharp-minded Diu was the first to notice something was wrong. What dual talents, what S-level talents, what does this have to do with Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao? Thinking of the hilarious scene just now of Mu Bingyan and Han Xuyao, a bad feeling came to my heart. No way. Isn't there such a bloody thing? Old Wang didn't know about their previous conflict, so he smiled and explained, Yi Xiaotian has dual talents of C-level warrior and S-level auxiliary, and Wang Hao's talent has also been upgraded from C-level to S-level. The Awakening Bureau has already certified it, there is no problem, so the school will naturally add it to their academic records to facilitate their further studies. Boom! It was like a thunderbolt hitting Du Yu and the others' heads. When the so-called geniuses heard this, their faces turned red. Director Wang, we're leaving first. Du Yu and the others quickly slipped away. Seeing their ugly faces, Old Wang asked Yi Xiaotian, Yi Xiaotian, what happened to them? Were they injured in the practical test? Yi Xiaotian replied, maybe, and it should be internal injuries. Ah, internal injuries. Old Wang said with a worried look on his face, this is not a trivial matter. I didn't expect that with their talents, they were also injured. Is the difficulty of this exam increased? No, if there is a change in this matter, I, the head of the grade, should not be unaware of it. Old Wang left with a lot of doubts. He had to check it out. If there is a problem with the school, it must be explained to the parents of the students. It's a troubled time. Old Wang sighed as he walked. As soon as Old Wang left, Han Xuyao and the others couldn't help laughing again. Han Xuyao smiled and patted Yi Xiaotian's shoulder, panting, You are so bad. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said, I am just telling the truth. Well, the exam is over and we have to decide which university to choose next. Yes, the freshman summer camp will start soon. Mu Bingyan also regained her composure. It would be a pity if we missed the summer camp. Brother Tian, choose whichever university you think is good, I have no objection. Han Xuyao said so. Wang Hao also said, I have no objection. Chang Xiaoxi looked around and stood silently beside Han Xuyao without saying anything. She is now the least talented person in the team, and she doesn't even have the confidence to speak. Now she can only hold Han Xuyao's thigh. Mu Bingyan looked at Yi Xiaotian and said, Do you have any preferred university? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, I don't know much about it. I haven't learned about it, and I have no way to know it. You and Huang Jia have more channels to get information. Which university do you think is more suitable? In terms of strength, the two universities in Beijing are definitely stronger, but in terms of geographical location, I suggest choosing Magic City University. Mu Bingyan said bluntly. Yi Xiaotian said in surprise, Huh, 
Huang Jia seems to mean the same thing, but I have never understood why the geographical location of Magic City University is better than that of Beijing. Yes, Beijing is the capital of the Yanlong Empire, and it should be better there. Han Shuyao also looked puzzled. Mu Bingyan explained, the capital is indeed safer, but as an awakener, just wanting to be comfortable is contrary to the beliefs of awakeners. The magic city is different. The magic city is backed by the inland and faces the sea. Mu Bingyan said. Are you talking about convenient transportation? Wang Hao suddenly said. Mu Bingyan rolled her eyes. This big guy, can you please stop making jokes at this time? I mean, there are not only land beasts in the magic city, but also sea beasts. Chapter, 90 The world has changed, the samsara tower has come, not only have awakened humans appeared, but other creatures on the blue star have also mutated. But after so many years of fighting, the number of alien beasts on land has decreased a lot. But the number of alien beasts in the sea has not decreased much. So the top leaders speculate that in the future, the crisis of the blue star people will come from alien beasts in the sea in addition to the alien space plane. Mu Bingyan explained with a serious expression. The capital city can make people more comfortable, while the magic city is full of dangers. You decide where to go. Mu Bingyan said, and then she stopped talking. Yi Xiaotian thought about it for a while, and then said, Okay, then it's decided, go to Magic City University. Next, Yi Xiaotian personally called the admissions directors of the other three famous universities and told them his decision. He sure, the director of Magic City University, was naturally very happy and expressed his welcome to Yi Xiaotian and his team to enroll in Magic City University. The admissions directors of several other universities said it was a pity. However, after hearing the reason why Yi Xiaotian chose Magic City University, the three of them expressed their respect for Yi Xiaotian's choice and also sent their blessings. They hope that Yi Xiaotian can grow up quickly in Magic City University and make more and greater contributions to the human race on Blue Star. They believe that as long as Yi Xiaotian does not die young, he will definitely become the pillar of the human race in the future. He should talk with Yi Xiaotian for a long time, told them some things about the summer camp at Magic City University, and asked them to rush to Magic City University to register within a week. Because the summer camp will start in a week. In other words, the enrollment work of Magic City University will be completed within a week. No, except for the time of rushing, they don't even have a week. However, now is the internet age. Except for some special students, the enrollment of other students is completed by computers. Two days later, which students are admitted will be announced on the school's website. Fair, just and open. For the human race, time is life. They need to seize the opportunity and strive to cultivate more talents. Let the safety of the human race on Blue Star be improved. In other words, there are too many potential dangers for the human race on Blue Star. If they are not fully prepared, no one will know what will happen. The sea beasts on Blue Star are a powder keg that may explode at any time. Once they can leave the water and live on land, then land will be the first place they will conquer after leaving the ocean. The reason why the strange beasts in the sea have not come out now is just because they have not adapted to life on land. If there were no changes in the world, if the samsara tower had not descended, then they would have stayed in the ocean. But now, it is impossible. The strange beasts in the different space, the mutant beasts on land, and the mutant beasts in the ocean. The human beings on Blue Star have many enemies. They have no time to waste. Yi Xiaotian explained this matter to the rest of the team, and both parties agreed to rush to Magic City University the next day. As for the fat man Huang Jie, he went to Magic City by himself. The next day, the team took the official flying beast that went directly to Magic City. Two hours later, they had arrived in the base city of Magic City. This flying beast is fast, but it is very expensive. Ordinary people can't afford to ride it once in their lifetime. The starting price is 1 million, no bargaining. Fortunately, this time director he was very generous and reimbursed their travel expenses with a wave of his hand. He was afraid that Yi Xiaotian would say that we walked here. It was so embarrassing. 
he still remembered that when the two of them called yesterday, he asked Yi Xiaotian and his friends to come here by flying beast. Yi Xiaotian's answer was that he had no money. Then director he said very decisively, it's okay, the school will reimburse. Yi Xiaotian's team was specially recruited by him personally. If something like this really happened, it would be a shame to the whole world. Brother Tian. Yi Xiao Tian and his friends heard a familiar voice just after they got off the flying beast. Fatty, why are you here? Yi Xiao Tian said unexpectedly. Huang Jia said, My home is closer to here, so I got here before you. Yi Xiao Tian immediately understood and said, Then do you know how to get to school? I've already asked. When a large number of students come to register, there will be a bus to pick them up. But we are in a special situation, so we can only take a taxi to school by ourselves. Huang Jia said. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, Haozi, call two cars and we'll go to school. Don't worry, Brother Tian, my family has some business in Shanghai, and I've arranged the car. The fat man said with embarrassment. I wanted to talk about it, but I didn't expect Yi Xiaotian to be so straightforward. Leaving him no chance to take credit. Everyone cast murderous eyes at Huang Jia. Huang Jia shrugged and said, I knew it would be like this. He failed to take credit and was complained. He felt that Yi Xiaotian was his nemesis. Why did any routine not work when it came to Yi Xiaotian? Huang Jia, who looked depressed, waved his hand to have the car driven over, and then invited Yi Xiaotian and the others to get in. Huang Jie's depressed look did not fade away until they arrived at the gate of Magic City University. What Yi Xiaotian and the others did not expect was that Director He Xiu actually personally greeted them at the school gate. Mu Bingyan and Huang Jie were both surprised. It seems that Yi Xiaotian's position in Director He's heart is very special. Is there any secret that they don't know? Otherwise, with Yi Xiaotian's S level auxiliary talent, even if he can specify an attribute to increase, he can't be treated with such attention and treatment. It would be enough to send a teacher to receive him. But director he came in person, greeted the freshmen at the school gate, and arranged accommodation for them. Yi Xiaotian lived in an independent small villa. Then everyone discussed and moved in together. Director he had no objection to this. People in the same team can cultivate tacit understanding by living together on weekdays. As for whether unpredictable things will happen if men and women live together. It's okay, they are all high-quality talent awakeners, and the offspring born are very likely to awaken high-quality talents. The Empire also encourages these high-quality geniuses to find their other half as soon as possible. If you dare to give birth, the official will dare to raise them. It's just a pity that the more talented young people are, the less they want to have children so early, and they focus on improving their strength. Student Yi Xiaotian, you can rest for a few days first, and you can also go around the school and the magic city. When other freshmen come, we will start the summer camp together. Director He told Yi Xiaotian before leaving. Director He, can you tell us which secret place of the school will be for this year's summer camp? Huang Jia asked quickly when he saw he was leaving. Chapter, 91 Fakian Secret Realm Director he threw down this sentence and left directly. What is Faitian's secret realm? Yi Xiaotian asked Huang Jie. This little fat guy knows a lot and likes to talk. Unlike Mu Binyan, who looks pleasing to the eye, but is too cold and difficult to communicate with. Faitian's secret realm, a secret realm that focuses on flying beasts. Huang Jie explained. For example, the flying beast you rode before was brought out from Faitian's secret realm, and there are many other flying beasts in it. It is said that the ultimate reward of Faitian's secret realm is to obtain flying talent and skills. Huang Jia sighed when he said this. But hundreds of years have passed, and there are very few people who have really gained something special in it. Flying talent? Wang Hao widened his eyes and said in disbelief, Is it true? Can awakeners fly? Yes, as long as you reach A-level awakeners, quantitative changes will produce qualitative changes, and the human body can escape the gravity of the planet to a certain extent and achieve a certain degree of flight. As the strength continues to improve, the height and time of flight will continue to increase. But how many people on the entire planet can reach the level of A-level awakeners? 
So flying skills and flying talents have become another channel for everyone to realize their dream of flying. Because flying skills and flying talents are not limited by the awakening level, they are enthusiastic about all awakeners. Countless predecessors have entered the flying secret realm of Moda University, wanting to get the ultimate prize. Unfortunately, in the past hundreds of years, no more than a handful of people have really succeeded. More often than not, everyone has received attribute points as rewards, or brought out a flying beast from it. After listening to Huang Jie's explanation, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were all eager to move. Who doesn't have a dream of flying? It's just that in this world now, airplanes have long lost the qualification to fly. Otherwise, an attack from a flying beast will result in the destruction of the plane and the death of people. So now people on Blue Star travel by flying beasts when they travel by space. It's just that the cost of flying beasts is too high. In addition to raising flying beasts, they also need to be protected by experts. So the price of riding a flying beast is very high. Ordinary people can't afford to ride a flying beast once in their lifetime. What's more, riding a flying tool and flying by yourself are two completely different experiences. We didn't expect that this time, Magic City University would actually use the flying secret realm as a summer camp. Huang Jia exclaimed. It's really good luck. We just got the light of the great god Haoyun. Mu Bingyan, who has rarely spoken, suddenly interrupted. Huang Jia was stunned for a moment before saying, You mean that Magic City University took out the flying secret realm because of the great god Haoyun? Although Mu Bingyan didn't say anything, her expression was enough to confirm it. Huang Jia said, But how did Magic City University know that the great god Haoyun would come to enroll? No. Do all universities use the most precious secret realm as the destination of the summer camp? Mu Bingyan didn't explain, so Huang Jie could only guess. But this guess is still very reliable. The temporary training camp before is now a summer camp. The appearance of Haotian really made the human high level spend a lot of money. This level of secret resources is generally only available to those who have made great contributions to the human race. Now it is open to freshmen. I am afraid that those former students will be envious when they know it. The doorbell rang outside. Yi Xiaotian said, Do you have any other friends coming? Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan both shook their heads to indicate that they did not. Yi Xiaotian stood up and said puzzledly, That's strange. I don't know anyone here. Director he just left. Who will come? Walking out of the hall, across the big iron gate in the front yard, you can see that it is a girl who is ringing the doorbell at the door. A girl wearing the school uniform of Magic City University. Yi Xiaotian walked over quickly, opened the door, and asked, Senior sister, is there anything? Are you a new freshman? Shen Li looked at Yi Xiaotian in front of him. He was very handsome, but his aura was not strong. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Yes, I am a freshman who just came to school today. After confirming, Shen Li's expression was very surprised. How could a freshman live here? Junior, I live in the villa next door, how did you move in? Shen Li asked curiously. When Yi Xiaotian heard that it was a senior sister from the neighbor, he didn't think much and replied, Director he arranged for me to move in. Director he, Director he sure of the admissions office? Shen Li was even more surprised. He sure is one of the bigwigs of Magic City University. At this time, he is the busiest time. How could he be responsible for the accommodation of a freshman in person? Could this handsome guy in front of him be the descendant of a senior of the school? Senior sister, do you want to come in and sit down? Yi Xiaotian saw Shen Li in a daze there, wondering if this senior sister was not very smart. Shen Li came back to his senses and said quickly, No, let me introduce myself when there is a chance. My name is Shen Li, and I am a senior student in the Department of Supernatural Powers at Magic City University. Yi Xiaotian, a freshman who just registered. Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and shook hands with Shen Li. Just as he was about to let go of his hand, he found that Shen Li was holding it, and then he was dazed again. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. Damn it, it wouldn't be another woman conquered by his charm. Are all the seniors from the Magic City University so superficial? 
Shen Li shook hands for a while, blushed and let go of Yi Xiaotian's hand, saying, Junior Yi, I'm sorry, I was a little absent-minded just now, see you next time. Then he left without looking back. Yi Xiaotian really felt puzzled. This senior from the Magic City University was really unique. Back in the hall, Han Xuyao asked, Brother Tian, who is it? The senior who lives next door heard the noise here, so she came to say hello. Yi Xiaotian replied. Senior. Han Xuyao exclaimed, and hurriedly said, Did she take advantage of you? Yi Xiaotian was speechless. The same was true for others. Han Xuyao continued, this director he is too unreliable. How could he arrange a head of the family to live next to you? Xu Yao, we live here too. Chang Xiaoxi reminded. Han Xu Yao reacted immediately and smiled, yes, we live here too, so it's okay. Chang Xiaoxi and Mu Bingyan touched their foreheads. It is said that women in love have zero IQ. They didn't believe it before, but now they have to believe it. Chang Xiaoxi, in particular, felt it deeply. She was such a smart person before, but now she is almost made mentally retarded by Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was still thinking about the previous things in his heart, and he always felt that something was wrong. Brother Tian, what's wrong with you? Han Xuyao pulled him to sit down beside him, and saw Yi Xiaotian's thoughtful face, and asked quickly. Yi Xiaotian said, Nothing, I always feel that there is something wrong. Chapter 92. What's the problem? Haven't we already moved in? Director he said he would help us with the formalities. Han Xuyao thought about it and felt that there was nothing wrong. The only problem was that she rejected her father's idea of sending her to school in person. After all, how could she be so close to Brother Tian with her father around? Brother Tian would be unhappy to have such a big light bulb around. So Chang Xiaoxi's old father was also rejected. Apart from this being a bit out of line, there was nothing else abnormal along the way. Oh, Huang Jia, the little fat guy, flattered the horse and hit the horse's leg. Is this a problem? Yi Xiaotian said, just now, that senior sister Shenli said that she was a senior in the Department of Supernatural Powers, and when she learned that I was a freshman, she was very surprised. Huang Jia, you have a wide network of contacts. Do you know if there are any special regulations for living in the villa area of Modi University? Yi Xiaotian turned to Huang Jia and said. Huang Jia scratched his head and smiled awkwardly, I don't know about this either, and I haven't asked about it specifically. Then you ask around now to see if any friends know about the situation at Magic City University. Yi Xiaotian urged. Seeing this, Huang Jia said, Okay, I'll call and ask right away. Soon, Huang Jia came back and said, Brother Tian, someone in our family is studying at Magic City University, and he will come to see us soon. As soon as he finished speaking, the doorbell rang at the gate. So fast. Huang Jia was a little confused. He had just hung up the phone, and the person over there had already come. Unless the other party also lives in this villa area. That's right. I'm afraid only those who live in this villa area will know the rules of this villa area better. Soon, Huang Jia brought in a person with a figure comparable to his. But the other party was still panting at this time, obviously, he was very tired. Huang Jia introduced awkwardly, this is my cousin Huang Wei. Yi Xiaotian looked at him in surprise. Your cousin is in Magic City University, and you don't know it. Huang Jia said with embarrassment, Brother Tian, Brother Wei went abroad to study before and just came back recently. Yi Xiaotian and the others understood. Huang Wei said familiarly, let me introduce myself. My name is Huang Wei, Huang Jia is my cousin, and I am honored to meet all the geniuses. Yi Xiaotian hurriedly greeted, don't be polite. Since you are Huang Jia's cousin, you are not an outsider. Sit down and talk. Huang Wei was not polite. At Huang Jie's invitation, he sat down on the side. Ajai, my uncle just called me and asked me to come here to find you. Is there something wrong? Huang Wei was also confused. Just received a call, just asked him to come here to find Huang Jie, did not say what the matter was. And because he ran in a hurry, he was exhausted. But looking at this scene, 
it seems that there is nothing urgent. However, freshmen can live here. It seems that my cousin has met a peerless genius. Huang Jia said, Brother, it's like this. We just came to Magic City University and don't know some of the rules here. Can you tell us? He told Huang Wei about Yi Xiaotian's doubts. After listening, Huang Wei asked Yi Xiaotian, Brother Yi, what is your talent? Oh, S level auxiliary system. Yi Xiaotian replied. Huang Wei looked at the others again. Yi Xiaotian introduced the talents of others, Han Shuyao, S level thunder system ability. Mu Bingyan, S level ice system ability. Wang Hao, S level warrior melee. Chang Xiaosi, A level warrior melee. Huang Jie, I don't need to introduce it, right? Huang Wei opened his mouth wide, feeling that his IQ was insulted. He looked at his cousin. Huang Jie said with embarrassment, Brother, Brother Tian's talent is a bit special. Huang Wei's eyes widened. Is this a special thing? No matter how special it is, it is only S level. A team with five S level talents, and one is actually an A level talent. Such a team can actually live in the villa area of Magic City University. When did the villa area of Magic City University become so cheap? Taking a deep breath, Huang Wei said, Brother Yi, don't blame me for speaking directly. With your strength and talent, it is probably difficult to continue living here. Why? Huang Jia began to question before Yi Xiaotian spoke. Huang Wei said, according to the rules of Magic City University, the villa area is a high-quality resource. All students of Magic City University can live there if they are capable. Do you know what it means to live there if you are capable? Huang Wei asked Huang Jia. Huang Jia nodded and said, whoever has the bigger fist can live there. Huang Wei said, yes, that's the truth. If you want to live in the villa area, you have to be strong enough. Otherwise, you will be beaten out. In other words, those who can live in the villa area are all strong students. At present, those who live in the villa area are all senior students. In addition to the talent grade, the awakener profession depends on the accumulation of time. Under the same talent grade, whoever has practiced longer has more advantages. So this villa area is generally inhabited by senior geniuses. After some explanation, Yi Xiaotian and the others figured it out. And Yi Xiaotian also understood why the expression of senior sister Shenli was so strange before. It seems that the villa area is not so calm about the move-in of new students. The reason why no one has come to the door yet is probably that they are still waiting and watching. We were arranged by director he himself. Do those students dare to snatch us? Huang Jia said unconvinced. Wang Hao and the others nodded repeatedly, obviously agreeing with Huang Jia's opinion. Huang Wei said, no matter how powerful director he is, he is not bigger than the school rules. Ah. Uh, then what do you think director he meant by arranging us here? Han Shuyao said at this time. Yi Xiaotian did not participate in it. It was meaningless to discuss this issue again. What he wanted to know now was why director he arranged them here. He didn't tell them these rules. Is this to roast them on the fire? Yi Xiaotian thought of the admissions directors of the four famous schools who came to recruit him, and the condition of a single-family villa was available. It seems that in addition to offering high conditions to recruit him, these schools have also put forward conditions to him. And living in a villa is an invisible condition. The villa is arranged for you, as for whether you can keep it, it depends on your own ability. And there is probably another meaning. The school spent so much money to recruit you, you should show your ability to the school, right? After thinking about this, Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but say, this old fox. Everyone's eyes were on Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, I guess we won't have a peaceful life in the next few days, so be prepared to keep fighting. Chapter, 93 Viagra, thank you. Yi Xiaotian thanked Huang Wei. If it hadn't been for Huang Wei's explanation, they wouldn't have known what kind of plot they had fallen into. Of course, this calculation cannot be said to be bad. All I can say is that from their standpoint, they did the right thing. Huang Wei was very depressed, but he didn't know what to say. Call me Viagra, are you polite? 
Well, let's just call me Huang Wei. I've always been easy to talk to. Huang Wei emphasized. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment, and then he came to his senses. The name Viagra is indeed not very elegant. He said, Brother Huang Wei. Huang Wei suddenly broke into a smile. Brother Yi, since you are so polite, let me say one more thing. This villa area is not that easy to live in. There is a challenge every January, and the next challenge is tomorrow, July 1st. Huang Wei reminded. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I understand, Brother Huang Wei, thank you, I will handle this matter. Seeing this, Huang Wei could only say goodbye. Giving Huang Jia a wink, Huang Jia said to Yi Xiaotian, Brother Tian, you all sit down, I'll just see my eldest brother off. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian did not force himself and allowed Huang Jia to send Huang Wei away. Xiao Jia, what's going on with you? You are a direct descendant of the Huang family, and you are also an S-level auxiliary. How did you join such a team? Huang Wei couldn't help but ask when he came to the gate. Huang Jia said, Brother, there are some things you don't know. Our boss is very powerful. Don't treat him like an ordinary S-level auxiliary talent. After all, it's just S-level, how powerful can it be? Huang Wei rolled his eyes. With the levels of talent there, you can still break the limitations of heaven and earth. Huang Jie said, I don't know how to explain this to you. Anyway, you just need to know that he is very powerful. Otherwise, how could Director He arrange him here? And do you know how much it cost Director He sure to recruit him? Huang Jie asked. Huang Wei was confused for a moment and said, the price. You don't want to tell me that the school made other conditions for recruiting him, do you? Huang Jie nodded and said, yes, single-family villas and scholarships are ordinary. Do you know how many school points Brother Tian can get for admission? How much? Seeing Huang Jie's mysterious look, Huang Wei asked in cooperation. 20,000. Huang Jie raised two fingers. Hiss. Huang Wei took a breath and exclaimed, impossible. 20,000 points. For students at Shanghai University, this is an astronomical amount of wealth. If you have to use monetary figures to measure the price of 20 zero zero points, let's put it this way, even if the price is 20 billion, no one will sell it. Because many things that school points can buy, money cannot buy. One can imagine Huang Wei's inner shock. 20,000 points, more than 90% of students will not be able to earn this many points in four years of school. Two more free admissions to the secret realm. Huang Jia added more money. Puff. Huang Wei almost vomited blood. This man is more infuriating than anyone else. He who returned from studying abroad did not receive the same treatment as Yi Xiaotian. Damn it, even an awakened person with SS level talent might not be treated like this. Did you tell me which secret realm it is? Huang Wei thought for a long time, and could only think of this flaw. Huang Jie shook his head and said, No, let Brother Tian choose. Fuck. Huang Wei really couldn't bear it anymore. Without saying hello, he just walked away. Fortunately, he was still worried here for a long time. It turned out that he was blind in vain. As one of the big bosses of the school, Director He sure is willing to pay such a price to recruit people. One can imagine the capabilities of the other party. By the way, brother, the four famous universities originally offered an olive branch to brother Tian. It was at the suggestion of Mu Bingyan and I that he chose Shanghai University. Huang Jie said to Huang Wei's slightly embarrassed back. Plop. Huang Wei stumbled, and then fell directly into the mud. Then he got up quickly and ran away at an even faster speed. Seeing this, Huang Jia returned to the villa with satisfaction. Huang Jia knew very well that Yi Xiaotian's ability was definitely not as simple as it seemed on the surface. The four prestigious schools must have other sources of information, so they would pay such a price to recruit him. If it weren't for the bottom line of school regulations, Huang Jia guessed that the four famous schools would have offered higher terms to attract him. Therefore, Huang Jia guessed that Yi Xiaotian's talent level was definitely SS level or above, and the attributes that could be designated for increase might also increase. 
Imagine that you can specify a talent skill that increases two attributes. This damn thing is simply unbelievable. Once Yi Xiaotian grows up and plays a role in Legion level operations, he can definitely reverse a war. After all, the talent skill of specifying one of the four major attribute increases is too abnormal. Any auxiliary superpower will either have a fixed attribute increase like him, or it will be random. This randomness is screwed up a lot of the time. For example, increasing the strength attributes of superpowers and increasing the spiritual attributes of warriors are useless. This is probably the first time in the history of the human race that such innate skills have appeared. I don't know how Brother Tian awakened this talent. Your elder brother left. Yi Xiao Tian asked when he saw Huang Jia coming back. Huang Jia said, He left, Brother Tian, what are you going to do? Yi Xiao Tian said, When the enemy comes, we will fight him. When the water comes, we will flood him. There is nothing to plan. That's domineering, I like it. Huang Jia gave a thumbs up. Wang Hao immediately stood up and said, Brother Tian, let me fight. He was full of fighting spirit. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, Now we don't know where the enemy is, why are you so eager to fight? Wang Hao scratched his head. A silly smile on his face. By the way, Huang Jia, what level are the seniors in the fourth year? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Huang Jia thought about it and said, Generally, they are high level C level, and a few may reach B level. Yi Xiao Tian breathed a sigh of relief. He thought it was so powerful when he heard Huang Wei say it before, but it turned out to be just like this. Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, this is normal. After all, not everyone is Haotian God, and not everyone can be as lucky as us. Yi Xiao Tian said, That's true. If we hadn't met Haotian God, we would probably still be hovering at the E level awakening level. The gap is really too big. Following Haotian God in a teen dungeon, you can get hundreds of thousands of points, but for ordinary students, it will probably take two or three years of hard work to get so many points. This is really incomparable. At this time, the doorbell rang again. What's going on? Didn't it mean that tomorrow is the day of the challenge? Chapter 94 The Alumni Forum of Magic City University is really boiling. The new students have arrived, and then they live in the villa area. This is a precedent for Magic City University. In the past, even the most talented new students would not be directly arranged to the villa area. The villa area is a one-size-fits-all situation. Living in the villa area is not only comfortable, but also has bonus points. Here, strength is supreme. In the past, the villa area was inhabited by talented senior students, the strongest students in the school. But now, a new student has moved in. Except for the students who originally lived in the villa area, almost all other students wanted to challenge Yi Xiaotian. And the students living in the villa area also began to call their friends to come and try their luck. However, it can be foreseen that these days will definitely be very lively. Until all the new students arrive and the school is on vacation, this excitement will not stop. Of course, there are also rational people who think that such an opportunity will definitely not be missed by those powerful students. So most students still have no chance. Let's wait and see. The challenge lasts for a week. That's right. Let others try it out first. Coward, you're just a freshman. What's there to be afraid of? Brothers, I've already gone ahead and handed in the challenge letter. Fuck, are you so fast? How many years of singleness do you have? And in the villa area? Yi Xiao Tian heard the doorbell, stopped others, and went out to open the door himself. After all, this villa was allocated to him by the school, and it was also his relationship that other people lived here. He should be the one to deal with anything related to this villa. Even if someone wants to challenge, unless it's a team battle, he will be the first to accept the challenge. Through the big iron gate, I saw a student outside. Hello, classmate, I'm here to hand in the challenge letter. The other party saw Yi Xiao Tian coming out and smiled politely. So polite. After the previous intensive study, Yi Xiao Tian naturally understood what this challenge letter was for. Tomorrow is the day to start a new round of challenges, 
but before that, you have to hand in the challenge letter first. Of course, you don't have to hand in the challenge letter. On the day of the challenge, you can also issue a challenge on the spot. But it is obvious that with Yi Xiaotian's situation, there will be many people challenging him tomorrow. If you hand in the challenge letter now, you can take the lead. In any case, you can get the right to live in the villa area, even if the time is limited. One minute is one minute. After all, more than 90% of the students at Magic City University don't even have the right to live in the villa area for one second. According to the school's regulations, the first week of each month is a challenge day. As long as someone makes a challenge, you can't refuse it. Yi Xiaotian took the challenge letter. By the way, classmate, am I the first to issue a challenge? The senior asked again. Yi Xiaotian nodded, indicating that it was true. The senior immediately laughed and said, Have a good rest, see you on the ring tomorrow. Yi Xiaotian didn't know whether to laugh or cry. How much did this senior look down on him? He returned to the living room of the villa and put the challenge letter on the coffee table. Wang Hao couldn't wait to grab it and read it, Freshman, Warrior Department, Li Chang. Damn, a freshman dares to join in the fun, it's simply looking for death. Brother Tian, watch me tomorrow. Wang Hao patted his chest and said. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, I am the one who challenged me, what's the matter with you accepting the challenge? We are a team, no matter who the other party challenges, all team members can fight. Besides, you are a support department. Wang Hao grinned. Yes, this is within the rules. Huang Jia also agreed. Yi Xiao Tian said, that being said, if I don't accept the challenge, they will definitely not give up. Then fight until they give up. Wang Hao said heroically. With Yi Xiao Tian's assistance, he is not afraid of anyone. Even if a B-level Awakener Master comes, he is sure to beat the other party to tears. He is no longer a small C-level talent awakener. He is an S-level genius. In addition, with the attribute points obtained by the team led by Hao Tian, it should not be a failure. Huang Jie said, the challenge is divided into individual and team. As long as you are in the team, you can fight. After all, the auxiliary system is not good at fighting. The rules should be as fair as possible. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it and it seemed to be true. Except for him, other auxiliary system psychics do not have such strong combat power as him. Doesn't this mean that the auxiliary system is not qualified to live in the villa area? The importance of the auxiliary system in the awakened system is self-evident. If you don't even have the qualifications to live in the villa area, then what's the importance of talking about it? I'm afraid that the auxiliary system psychics will rebel at that time. So this rule is very necessary. Next, Yi Xiaotian received so many challenge letters. On the school forum, someone posted a photo of Yi Xiaotian and posted a message. The little brother is very handsome, I don't want to do it to him. This is a post from a girl. Afterwards, Yi Xiaotian was too lazy to leave, so he asked Wang Hao and Huang Jie to take turns to go out and receive the challenge letter. Anyway, we accept all who come. By the next day, the challenge letters had piled up higher than the people. How many people are there? Yi Xiaotian asked casually. I don't know, I haven't counted them, but there are a lot anyway. Huang Jia said casually. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, let's go and go out to challenge. Today's Magic City University is very lively. Whether it is the school or the school forum, it is full of things about the villa area challenge. Or it is about Yi Xiaotian. It's just that Yi Xiaotian and his friends haven't registered on the school forum yet, so they didn't see any information about this. Villa Area Arena. Is that kid afraid to come? Some students who came to watch the excitement a long time ago saw that the real owner had not shown up, and they immediately began to doubt. It's okay. It doesn't matter if he doesn't come. Anyway, when the time comes, if he doesn't accept the challenge, he will automatically lose his right to live in the villa area. In fact, what I want to see most is not that he loses his right to live in the villa area, but the scene of being abused in this arena. Hey, classmates, you are really like-minded. Oh, classmates want to see it too. Of course, 
this kind of thing has never happened in a school. I really want to see how this guy can get the right to live in the villa area as soon as he enters the school. I don't know which teacher recruited him. I really don't know what he is thinking. Is he trying to attack this junior? Why do you say that, senior brother? You don't know. It is said that this junior is just an S-level auxiliary awakening freshman. There are a lot of such students in the school. Why can he live in the villa area? I don't know, maybe the admissions teacher suddenly got flooded. I heard that this person was recruited by director he himself. A student who knew the inside story suddenly said. The person who said that the admissions teacher was flooded with water wanted to curse. Chapter, 95 Wow, what a beautiful schoolgirl. Wow, what a handsome junior. I've seen his photo, he is Yi Xiaotian. A classmate said loudly. As soon as they heard that the target of the challenge was coming, everyone turned their attention to Yi Xiaotian, wanting to see what this legendary genius was like. As for photos, I understand everything. Nowadays, those crazy girls are praising and have no respect for the facts. So no matter how handsome the photos of Yi Xiaotian on the forum are, boys don't believe them. But now it seems that the photos on this forum basically restore the facts. This junior fellow student is indeed very annoying. And what's going on with the two beauties next to him? There is another one who is pretty good looking, but a bit more androgynous. There are six people in a team, and three of them are beauties. I can't stand it. Because of the appearance of Han Xuyao, Mu Binyan and Chang Xiaoxi, especially the first two, they brought a huge amount of hatred to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian didn't waste any time and led the team directly onto the ring. Looking at the dense crowd below, Yi Xiaotian was not afraid and said directly, Hello, seniors and sisters. My name is Yi Xiaotian. These are all members of our team. We didn't know anything about the villa in advance. But since the school has assigned it to me, I have to defend it. So, I won't say any more. For those who want to challenge, whether it's a solo battle or a team battle, we will take up the challenge. Originally it was quite noisy down there, but after Yi Xiaotian's voice rang in their ears and his words became very clear, they couldn't help but become quiet. This junior seems to be quite capable. Junior, you are so handsome. A female voice screamed. Junior, you are so handsome. Another senior shouted loudly. Yi Xiaotian showed an awkward yet polite smile and said, Now, let's invite the first challenger to the stage. No more talking nonsense, just do it. The first person to take the stage was the one who came alone to submit a letter of challenge to Yi Xiaotian. He was excited because as the first challenger, he had a great chance of getting the right to live in the villa. Even if it's just for a short while, it's considered possession. Compared with more than 90% of other students, I am already very lucky. Senior, what's your name? Yi Xiaotian said politely. Hello, junior fellow student, my name is Li Weiya, and I am a freshman in the martial arts department. Li Weiya introduced himself. Damn it, all the freshmen are up here. The freshman is still very fast. There was a burst of discussion below. There is no holiday yet, so the freshman students have not yet jumped to the sophomore year. But for the group of college students, the strength of the freshman class is undoubtedly the worst. Therefore, the freshman students had the courage to take the stage to challenge, and many expressed their belief. This is definitely meant to be funny. Freshman student, even if you are defeated, can you hold on? Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Okay, senior, do you choose to fight alone or in a team? Single battle. Li Weiya said, I know that I am not strong enough to keep the right to live in the villa, but it doesn't matter, I don't care about the length of time, I only care about what I once had. Okay, that's good. Zai Ren said loudly. Li Weiya, the classmates in our class support you. Li Weiya's classmates encouraged him loudly. With this courage, if you don't support him, who will you support? At first, I thought it was quite embarrassing for Albert Lee to be like this, but now I see that this is showing off their reputation as a freshman. Remarkably brave. Okay, Senior Li Weiya, do you have any objections to our team sending this classmate Wang Hao to play? Yi Xiaotian pointed at Wang Hao and said. 
Li Weiya said, of course there is no problem. They're just freshmen, so it doesn't make any difference who plays. It doesn't matter what department it is from or what level the talent is. What's more, as far as they know, Yi Xiaotian himself is from the auxiliary department. It is even more impossible for Yi Xiaotian to fight in a single battle. And since it's a solo battle, you can't rely on teammates to increase your power. Li Weiya was confident that with his own strength, he could definitely defeat Wang Hao. Wang Hao was very excited, walked to the opposite side of Li Weiya, cupped his fists and said, Senior, please. Junior, please. Li Weiya also said with his fists clasped. Yi Xiaotian guest starred as the host. After the two parties had said hello, he called 3-2-1 to start. Wang Hao immediately held up the blood shield and took out his shield and sword. Li Weiya also took out his own weapon, which was a spear. Talents with spears are rare. Li Weiya stabbed Wang Hao directly. Wang Hao holds a big shield. The students watching the battle below all shook their heads and sighed. This new student is indeed a rookie and has no combat experience at all. He actually dared to fight with his senior. Although Li Weiya is only a freshman, his strength is not comparable to that of a freshman who has just entered school. You have been practicing for a year, and you can still get a lot of attribute resources in the school and the reincarnation tower. But what about Wang Hao? It's only been ten days since I woke up. And the situation is like that in the Tower of Reincarnation. Even if there is a temporary training camp, it is too short. When fighting with seniors, you should adopt a free-flowing tactic. But the next scene made them drop their jaws. Wang Hao's big shield firmly blocked Li Weiya's spear. Li Weiya was embarrassed. The big shield was stuck there, unable to move forward at all, so he didn't know how to perform the next move. Wang Hao easily blocked Li Weiya's attack, and then tilted the big shield to block Li Weiya's spear. Before Li Weiya came to his senses, Wang Hao's big knife was already against his neck. The whole audience was silent. None of them understood what was going on. Or rather, they all saw it clearly, but couldn't figure it out. Why couldn't Li Weiya's spear knock down Wang Hao's big shield? If Wang Hao's big shield was a high-level equipment, they would be better off. But Wang Hao's big shield was a common item at first glance. This made people very uncomfortable. Li Weiya was stunned for a long time before he came to his senses and said, I lost. I was very unwilling. But the result was like this. He hadn't figured out why he lost. Wang Hao put away his knife and stood up. Yi Xiaotian said at the right time, Okay, first game, Wang Hao wins. Who is the second senior to challenge? Yi Xiaotian said immediately. Then a figure jumped up and said, I am Zhang Qing, sophomore in the Department of Supernatural Powers. Okay, senior Zhang Qing, do you want to fight alone or in a team? Yi Xiaotian asked as usual. Zhang Qing said, I will also fight alone. Chapter, 96 It was also a single-player battle, but the opponent was a superpower. I'll do this. Han Shuyao stood up. Wang Hao said, It's okay, I can handle it. But he is a superpower. Han Shuyao glared. Wang Hao was scratching his head. He could ignore other women. But Han Shuyao, this is Brother Tian's woman, don't look at the monk's face, look at the Buddha's face. So he looked at Yi Xiaotian and prepared to follow Yi Xiaotian's instructions. Yi Xiaotian thought for a while, nodded, and said, let Xu Yao go. Accumulating more combat experience through actual combat is also a kind of practice. Wang Hao saw that Yi Xiaotian said so, and could only retreat depressed. At this time, Yi Xiaotian said again, both sides are ready. Zhang Qing, a fire superpower, please teach me. Zhang Qing clasped his fists to Han Shuyao. As for the fact that Han Shuyao is a woman, and a very beautiful woman, he didn't mean to look down on her. After all, whether the awakened person is strong or not has nothing to do with gender. Many of the strong human beings are women. So he didn't dare to be careless at all. Han Shuyao also clasped his fists and said, Han Shuyao, a thunder-type supernatural person, please teach me. After all, this is a ring, 
not a life and death fight between the enemy and us, so the proper etiquette should be followed. Han Xuyao showed her equipment, a B-level thunder-type staff, a B-level defensive robe, which set off her exquisite figure. There was a wolf cry below. There was also Mu Bingyan behind, and it was really pleasing to the eyes to have two such beauties in a small team. For a while, another wave of hatred value floated towards Yi Xiaotian. How could this kid be so lucky to enjoy such a good fortune? If eyes could kill, Yi Xiaotian would have been cut into pieces at this moment. Yi Xiaotian stood on the stage with a calm face, not panicking at all. When the battle began, Han Xuyao cast a defensive spell on himself first. This is the first step for a superpower to fight. Protect yourself first. The body of a superpower is too fragile. And the movement is not as fast as that of a warrior, so defensive spells are the only choice. A lightning covered her, and electric snakes swam inside. The situation on Zhang Qin's side is similar. Protect yourself first, then talk about attacking the enemy. Schoolmate, be careful. After Zhang Qin finished the defensive spell, he began to attack Han Xuyao. The staff he used was not as good as Han Xuyao's. After all, not everyone is from a wealthy family. Yi Xiaotian had already experienced how expensive B-level equipment is. So most students would not buy such expensive equipment during school. Han Xuyao is a special case. There is no way, who let her have a good father. Even spent a huge amount of money to buy Yi Xiaotian a set of B-level gold equipment. Almost made Han's father vomit three liters of blood. This daughter, for her own sweetheart, really cheated her father to death. Although Han Xuyao's equipment is good, Zhang Qin didn't take it seriously. Under absolute strength, no matter how good the equipment is, it is useless. Because equipment also depends on the user. If the user's strength is too poor, no matter how good the equipment is, it can't play its due power. Just like Han Xuyao at this moment, it is rare to be able to play 1% of the power of B-level equipment. So when he saw the equipment on Han Xuyao, he had no other feelings except sighing that he was a rich man. Who let her reincarnate? This level of equipment, even if it comes from a big family, I'm afraid only the genius of the direct lineage is qualified to equip it. A flame shock wave hit Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao was not panicked at all, raised the staff, and a thunder fell. Boom! Han Xuyao didn't move at all. But Zhang Qin was a little miserable. The defensive spell was broken by the thunder, and finally the thunder fell on him. Zhang Qin was covered with black smoke, miserable. Even the staff in his hand fell to the ground. Han Xuyao held up the staff, with lightning lingering on the top of the staff, emitting a terrifying aura of destruction. This was just a challenge. If it was a life and death battle, Han Xuyao's serial attacks would have been launched long ago. There were also students from the auxiliary treatment department present, who immediately cast a healing recovery spell on Zhang Qin. Zhang Qin recovered a lot in an instant. Although he could not hide the pain all over his body, he was able to move. I lost. Zhang Qin was not an ungrateful person, and knew that Han Xuyao had shown mercy. After Zhang Qin got off the stage, the discussion below began to sound again. In the previous battle between Wang Hao and Li Weiya, they did not understand how Li Weiya lost. Looking at the battle between the two, Li Weiya lost too easily. On the surface, Wang Hao's strength was enough to crush Li Weiya. So much so that they all doubted whether Li Weiya was a professional actor invited by Yi Xiaotian and his team. Otherwise, how could the result be completely opposite? After all, Wang Hao was just a member of Yi Xiaotian's team. Li Weiya had at least trained for a year at Magic City University. But they all saw clearly what happened to Zhang Qing just now. The pain brought by the Thunder Force was not something that ordinary people could bear. If you are not careful, you may even hurt your foundation. Even if it is acting, you don't risk your life. Is Yi Xiaotian's team really so amazing? Just a freshman who just entered the school, can already beat the seniors. This is a bit confusing. Yi Xiaotian was specially recruited, so it is understandable that he is stronger. But even Wang Hao and Han Xuyao are so strong, that doesn't make sense. 
Li Weiye is only a D-level awakener, but Zhang Qin is a real C-level master. Even if it is only a low-level C-level, it is still a C-level master. Even among the sophomores, it is considered a strong one. But Han Xuyao, a freshman who has not yet started his college life, beat him with a spell and he can hardly take care of himself. If it weren't for the senior who just sent the healing spell in time, I'm afraid Zhang Qin would have been carried away. Yi Xiaotian, on the other hand, was immediately moved when he saw the wonderful use of the healing spell. Sure enough, the auxiliary system is the most fascinating. There are all kinds of magical auxiliary spells, some to increase attack, some to increase defense, and some to restore physical and mental strength. Of course, there are also spells to heal injuries. However, these auxiliary skills require corresponding talents to learn. Now that the amplification auxiliary talent is already there, Yi Xiaotian also needs the healing talent. In this way, their team will not have to worry even if they are injured when they go out to fight. Otherwise, if the injury is not treated in time, it may endanger life. But this healing talent is not so easy to obtain. It is not possible in the Samsara Tower copy, and it is estimated that it will have to be done in reality. Chapter 97 In Yi Xiaotian's opinion, the dungeons in the Samsara Tower can earn more Samsara points and life essence. Even attribute points can be obtained. But talent skills are very difficult. And there are very few monsters with healing talent skills. So Yi Xiaotian estimated that if he wanted to obtain healing talent, it was very likely that he had to do it in reality. Han Xuyao won the second challenge, which was also the victory of Yi Xiaotian's team. Yi Xiaotian calmed down and said, Who is the senior who will challenge you in the third game? It's me. As soon as Yi Xiaotian finished speaking, a sturdy figure jumped onto the high platform. Hello, senior. Yi Xiaotian saluted. The other party also saluted and said, You're welcome, junior brother. My name is Lu Yong, a senior student in the Department of Martial Arts. Yi Xiaotian knew very well that those who could enter the Magic City University to study had at least A-level talent. And students with A-level talent were all special talents. And Chang Xiaoxi was able to enter the Magic City University because of Yi Xiaotian's help. After all, they were a team. She is also considered special among the A-level talents. Senior students are estimated to have the strength of high-level C-level. Before the main attribute exceeds 100 but has not exceeded 1000, it is considered a C-level awakener. The span is very large. So high-level C-level and low-level C-level awakeners are completely two different concepts. And looking at Lu Yang's body shape, you can tell that he is definitely a powerful warrior. Wang Hao heard that and was about to go on stage immediately. But now Wang Hao, although he is already a C-level awakener, is a low-level C-level. Without the advantage of talent, equipment, and external talent skills, he can't be the opponent of the opponent at all. So he stopped Wang Hao and said in a deep voice, You are not his opponent. The audience below didn't expect that such a master would play in the third game. I know senior Lu Yong. He is one of the top 50 strong men on the school's list. Yes, he almost won a villa in the battle for villas last month, but unfortunately he lost in the end. Yes, last month's battle, several battles were dangerous. Yes, every month's battle for villas is very thrilling. Today everyone's attention is drawn here, and there are no challengers for other villas. It's so lively here, and there are bargains to be picked up. Everyone's first choice must be here. I guess we have to wait until there are no bargains to be picked up here before we challenge other seniors. In fact, every month, it's really there are only a few people who can challenge. There are a total of 45 villas in the villa area, and the right to live in the first 40 villas is still very stable. Every time the villa challenge is launched, it is aimed at the last five. This junior is really unlucky. He just happened to enter school at this time and ran into the gun. It is said that the villa he lives in now was vacated by a senior who went abroad to study. So that's it. I said that the villa area is full of people, so how can there be vacant villas? Some students figured out the meaning of it and guessed that the school arranged for the senior to study abroad in order to give Yi Xiaokong a villa. Thinking about it is terrifying. 
Yi Xiaotian stepped forward and said, Senior Lu Yong, do you choose a single battle or a team battle? Lu Yong said, Single battle. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I will take on this challenge. Hearing Yi Xiaotian's words, the people below were stunned. They all started to discuss whether Yi Xiaotian was crazy and actually went to the battle in person. At this time, sending Wang Hao to fight, and then he assists from behind, I think no one will blame. After all, Yi Xiaotian and the others are all freshmen. It was arranged by director He Shu himself, so this phase should be given. Of course, they don't think that with Yi Xiaotian's assistance, Wang Hao can beat Lu Yong. But Yi Xiaotian's choice can be said to be the worst of the worst. They all think that Yi Xiaotian made the decision because of his impulsiveness. Lu Yong also looked at Yi Xiaotian with a strange face and said, Brother Yi, I won't be extra lenient to you just because you are a freshman. Yi Xiaotian said lightly, It doesn't matter. The ancient said, If you want to wear the crown, you must bear its weight. If I want to live in a villa, I must have the ability to live in a villa. Lu Yong looked at Yi Xiaotian with a new look. In fact, as long as Yi Xiaotian invites director He Shu out, it is estimated that there will be no such thing today. But everyone will definitely look down on him. But so far, Yi Xiaotian has not done so. Instead, he is ready to take it on with his own ability. This courage is beyond the reach of ordinary people. Junior brother Yi, I admire your courage. Lu Yong said sincerely. At this moment, a voice sounded from the crowd below, in that case, how about I be the referee of this challenge? As soon as the voice fell, a figure landed on the ring. Hey, it's Senior Wu Kun. Senior Wu Kun actually came to watch the fun. With Senior Wu Kun as the referee, there will definitely be no problem. Soon, a lot of discussions flooded into Yi Xiaotian's ears. He looked at Wu Kun, who was wearing a decent school uniform, but because he was handsome, he also wore it with a different demeanor. Unlike senior Lu Yong, who only looked bloated in his school uniform. I have no objection. Lu Yong said first. Wu Kun, that is a man of the top three on the list. It is said that his main attribute has exceeded 900 points, and he will soon be promoted to the ranks of B-level awakeners. Moreover, Wu Kun has always had a good reputation in Magic City University and has a high credibility. Yi Xiaotian said, I have no objection either. Well, two juniors, you get ready first. Wu Kun was quite satisfied with this, everyone gave him face. He also wanted to see what kind of ability the new junior who could make director he make an exception had. Lu Yong looked at Yi Xiaotian and signaled him to get ready. Yi Xiaotian only took out his D-level sword, and did not prepare to take out the B-level Tianjin weapon at all. He did not intend to wear armor either. Han Xuyao was a little anxious and was about to speak, but was stopped by Mu Bingyan, who said, he is not a fool, he knows his limits. In fact, Mu Bingyan also wanted to see how strong Yi Xiaotian was. She had seen Yi Xiaotian's strength in assisting others. But in actual combat, especially against people with higher awakening levels than him, she had never seen him. But she believed that once Yi Xiaotian gave her assist, he would definitely not be weaker than Lu Yong. After seeing Yi Xiaotian took out the big knife, Lu Yong did not take the next step, frowned, and said, aren't you going to give yourself an assist amplification? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, no need. Lu Yong's face suddenly turned black. Who was he looking down on? Chapter, 98 No one believed that Yi Xiaotian could fight Lu Yong without the blessing of natural skills. What they believe is that even if Yi Xiaotian is blessed with talents and skills, he cannot be Lu Yong's opponent. This is even more true without the blessing of innate skills. But since Yi Xiaotian himself said no, Lu Yong naturally couldn't force others. Seeing that both sides were ready, Wu Kun shouted, 3, 2, 1, start. In order to show his generosity, Lu Yong did not attack immediately, but assumed a defensive posture, intending to give Yi Xiaotian a chance. Yi Xiaotian didn't show any politeness and just slashed at Lu Yong with a big knife. And he didn't use the blade, but the back of the knife. Lu Yong quickly raised his sword to block it. It was just the huge force coming from the blade that made him take a few steps back. 
Then Yi Xiaotian's next attack arrived. Lu Yong roared angrily, the muscles on his body swelled, and a terrifying aura filled the air. Wow, this is Senior Lu Yong's S-level talent skill dragon elephant. It is said that after being used, it can increase the physique and strength several times at the same time. Yes, this dragon elephant, is definitely the best talent skill. It can enhance two major attributes. It is among the top talents among warriors. I heard that there is a man named Lu Dingsheng in Qingshui University, who also awakened the S-level talent Dragon Elephant. Yes, Lu Dingsheng is also very famous, and he is already a B-level strongman. After he used Dragon Elephant, his increase rate was higher than that of Senior Lu Yong. Just when everyone was marveling at how Senior Lu Yong used his innate skill Dragon Elephant, Yi Xiaotian would definitely be killed instantly by him. Yi Xiaotian's big knife has arrived again. A trace of indifference flashed in Lu Yong's eyes. How dare you look down on him so much? If I don't give you any pain, you really think I'm a sick cat. It was only when his sword collided with Yi Xiaotian's that he realized how wrong he was. The force that surged like a wave came over, and Lu Yong retreated again. The audience was in an uproar. How is this going? Why did Senior Lu Yong quit? This is impossible. After Senior Lu Yong used his innate skills, his physique and strength have exceeded 10 0, 0 points, and have even reached more than 20 0, 0 points. How can he be unstoppable? Yeah, could this be fake? Do you think Senior Lu Yong is cheating on the stage? Uh, that's not what I meant. Did you just see Junior Yi Xiaotian use his innate skills? No, Junior Yi Xiaotian seems to have defeated Senior Lu Yong with the strength of his own body. Hiss. At this point, everyone began to gasp. How powerful is Yi Xiaotian? He can actually fight back Senior Lu Yong. Could it be that his strength attribute has exceeded 30 0, 0 points? Otherwise, how could it be so calm and calm? Lu Yong didn't believe it, roared angrily, and was about to fight back but Yi Xiaotian's knife had already arrived. So fast. Lu Yong was stunned. Yi Xiaotian's strength was so strong, but why was he so fast? He is just a freshman who has awakened his talent for more than 10 days, while Lu Yong is a senior. He can even graduate where he is if he wants. In other words, he has practiced for four more years than Yi Xiaotian. But in the past four years, he has cultivated into a dog's belly. Not only was he unable to match Yi Xiaotian in terms of strength, but he was also inferior to him in terms of speed. What's even more outrageous is. Yi Xiaotian seems to have not used his natural skills yet. After all, there is a process for displaying the talents and skills of the auxiliary system, and there are also some external manifestations. It was impossible to hide it from everyone present. After that, Lu Yong had no more time to think about other things. Because Yi Xiaotian's attacks were faster and faster each time. Yi Xiaotian's power was like a huge wave, hitting him one after another. Lu Yong is like a small boat in the huge waves, swaying and may capsize at any time. Until. Oops. Lu Yong's feet fell into the air and fell directly outside the ring, and this one-sided battle ended. In other words, Lu Yong was forcefully hit outside the ring by Yi Xiaotian's sword. And it's the most powerful slash. There aren't any fancy moves, just random slashing. But he didn't have any power to resist. The scene was lonely, and everyone was stunned by Yi Xiaotian's fighting power. Now they understand why this person is being treated so favorably. Wu Kun, the temporary referee in the ring, also looked confused. This junior seems to be very unusual. The top 50 strong men on the list were actually knocked into the ring by him like this. This is so shocking. If Yi Xiaotian used his exquisite sword skills to defeat Lu Yong, it wouldn't be such a big shock. But this simple and crude method is very popular. Yi Xiaotian put away his knife and stood up. At this moment he really wanted to shout, who else? But as a gentle gentleman, naturally he cannot be so rough. So he cupped his fists towards Lu Yong under the stage and said, Senior Lu Yong, I accept it. Lu Yong also put away the knife and said with a face of shame, Shuadi Yi, 
my skills are not as good as others, I surrender. He is convinced now. A peerless genius like Yi Xiaotian is definitely qualified to live in the villa area. And in time, he will definitely be able to live in the best location in the villa area. Everyone came back to their senses and looked at Yi Xiaotian with eyes as if they were looking at a god. This handsome young man is so violent. Didn't he say he is an auxiliary system? Yes, that's what the information says. Everyone was stunned. How could an auxiliary system be so violent? Doesn't the auxiliary system add spiritual attributes? This is the only way to continuously improve the power of talent skills, and it can also increase the power of more people. If an auxiliary system adds strength attributes, it will be useless. After all, an auxiliary system that cannot perform large-scale auxiliary skills has very limited effects. After all, in the racial war with alien races, large legions are the real main force. An auxiliary system that adds strength attributes, I'm afraid this is the first person in history, right? Wu Kun also came back to his senses at this time and quickly said, Junior Yi won this challenge. Junior Yi, I admire you. Wu Kun said so, but only he knew what he was thinking. Yi Xiaotian bowed and smiled back, Thank you, Senior Wu Kun. Wu Kun nodded, and then floated down the ring. After this battle, he estimated that there were not many people who dared to continue to challenge. In other words, as long as there was no problem with their brains, they would not go to the ring again. After all, the combat power that Yi Xiaotian showed just now was not amplified. Once he used his innate skills to amplify his attributes, how powerful would he be? Chapter 99 Devil Smile the gentleman standing on the ring with a gentle smile on his face was a smiling devil in their eyes. Too cruel. He used pure strength to knock Senior Lu Yong off the ring. This was Senior Lu Yong's best field, and he was defeated directly without any room for comment. No wonder Senior Lu Yong was convinced. Under such a blow, it was good enough that he didn't lose his mentality. At this moment, everyone understood. This is not some delicious meat, this is a lion lying down, once he wakes him up, the consequences will be serious. Yi Xiaotian stood on the ring with a smile on his face, looking at the audience, and laughed in a harmonious voice, which senior or senior is going to challenge next. There was loneliness in the audience, no one responded, and no one came on stage. How can this be fought? Go up to find abuse. Even a top 50 warrior like senior Lu Yong was beaten down. If they go up, they will probably be defeated with one blow. That is a C-level high-level awakener, and the awakened talent is S-level dragon elephant. His combat power is definitely close to that of a B-level awakener. And he hasn't opened his talent skill yet. How can we fight him? Unless the top 30 warriors on the wind and cloud list can fight. But such a warrior has already moved to the villa area. Who would be so bored to challenge him? It's okay if he wins. If he loses. Then he will be beaten instead of showing off. Yi Xiaotian checked his physical attributes, and then found that there seemed to be something strange in it. He quickly checked it, and it didn't matter. Congratulations to the Awakener, defeating the opponent, or the talent skill dragon elephant. Yi Xiaotian was confused, and then he was ecstatic. So, not only can you get various rewards by killing enemies, but you can also get rewards by defeating enemies. It's just that he had too few battles in reality before, so he didn't trigger this kind of reward. Unexpectedly, in the battle with Lu Yong, his supreme talent actually got the reward of the talent skill Dragon Elephant, from his opponent. He checked his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Houtian. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Diamond Body Guard A Level, Berserker A Level, Bull Demon Power A Level, Strength S level, Swiftness S level, Deer and Crane Blessing SS level, Constitution S level, Dragon Elephant S level. Title, Novice Super God, after wearing it, you will get 10 effect on all attributes. Constitution 50220, Strength 51030, Spirit 50031, Agility 50013. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skills, Explosive Flame Bomb 1D Level, Star Flame Skyfall B Level, Fire Wall E Level, 
Resist Fire Ring E. Equipment, Houtian, Star Flame Staff B Level, Purple Star Vestment E Level. Magic Powers, Second Yuanshan. Life Essence, 1388930 points. Reincarnation Points, 1003390 points. Awakening Level, B Level Awakener. Second Yuanshan. Reincarnation ID, Yen Luo. Talents, Diamond Body Protection A Level, Berserker A Level, Bull Demon Power A Level, Strength S Level, Swiftness S Level, Deer Crane Blessing SS Level, Constitution S Level. Physique 25110, Strength 25515, Spirit 25015, Agility 25006. Skills, Basic Sword Skills. Equipment, D-Level Sword, D-Level Rotten Armor, B-Level Heavenly Gold Sword, B-Level Heavenly Gold Armor. Even the four attributes of the second Yuanshan have exceeded 25,00 points. The newly acquired Dragon Elephant, Talent Skill has not been given to the second Yuanshan, so it has not been displayed on the attribute panel of the second Yuanshan. With such attributes, even if it is the second soul, plus the blessing of so many talents and skills, it can beat Lu Yong. Then Yi Xiao Tian began to provoke. Defeating the opponent can get rewards, so what are you waiting for? I remember that I received hundreds of challenge letters yesterday, but now there are only three challengers on the stage. Seniors, do you want me to take out the challenge letters? Yi Xiao Tian stood on the stage and said domineeringly. When the people off the stage heard him say this, they immediately started to discuss again. Too arrogant. Too rude. Too domineering. Is there no one who can control him? Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were also a little surprised when they heard Yi Xiaotian's words. Based on their understanding of Yi Xiaotian, his character should not be so as to say such words. No one came on stage later, which means that those challengers have realized the gap between the two sides, so they plan to give up the challenge. In this way, as long as there are no new challengers, they will be victorious and they don't have to fight anymore. But Yi Xiaotian's words were like slapping the challengers in the face. He even said that he would publish the challenge letter. Wouldn't that let all the teachers and students in the school know that they were afraid? Uncle can tolerate it, but aunt can't. Junior Yi, it's wrong for you to say that. Since everyone recognizes your strength and doesn't want to challenge, why are you so aggressive? Yes, are you provoking all challengers like this? Junior brother, you are still too young. If you do this, won't you make yourself the public enemy of the whole school? Who doesn't have three or two friends? Hundreds of challengers, plus their classmates and friends, the circle formed may have more than 10,000 people. Yi Xiao Tian offended tens of thousands of people in the school so high profile. Does he want to stay in school in the future? Yi Xiao Tian, don't be too arrogant. Do you really think that no one in the school can beat you? Someone shouted loudly. Yi Xiaotian said, Oh, it seems that this senior is very confident in his strength. Then come up and let me, the junior brother, learn from the senior's tricks. Yi Xiaotian didn't care who the other party was. He pushed the other party against the wall with one sentence. There was no way out. Okay, then I'll meet you. The body of the senior was lifted by a breeze and floated to the ring. Wind type superpowers. And it can also fly short distances. In a few days, they will enter the Faitian secret realm, and they don't know what they will gain. If you can obtain this wind related talent skill, you will have one more tool. In a place like Faitian secret realm full of flying beasts, you will also have an advantage. May I ask your name, senior? Yi Xiao Tian asked with a fist. The senior snorted coldly and said, I am an unknown person, not worth mentioning. Let's get started. Yi Xiao Tian had no choice but to say, Senior, please. Chapter, 100. Since the other party wouldn't give him any face, Yi Xiao Tian didn't care. Starting a fight directly would save time. I just hope that after the opponent loses, I can obtain his flying talent. From the beginning, the wind senior student let himself float up. Although it was only a dozen meters high, it was enough. He was confident that Yi Xiaotian could not attack him. Wang Hao wanted to fight for Yi Xiaotian, 
but Yi Xiao Tian refused. He is a shield fighter, and he was completely restrained against this wind senior student. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan both stood up and wanted to fight, but were stopped by Yi Xiao Tian. If this wind senior student dares to stand up, he is definitely not weak. At least his actual combat effectiveness is no worse than that of senior Lu Yong. So they are not opponents. It's good to gain more practical experience, but it's not necessary to get hit. As long as the members of his team grow up well, they will have a brilliant future, so it is better to try to prevent them from suffering as many setbacks as possible on the road to growth. This is good for their psychology. Yi Xiaotian didn't waste any time. He stretched out his left hand and a staff appeared on his left hand. Everyone's jaws almost dropped when they saw this staff. This is actually a new staff. Damn it. Han Xuyao also covered her face. This seems to be her mistake, not replacing Yi Xiaotian with a good staff. Yi Xiaotian had always shown his melee side in front of them, so even she had ignored it. He needs a good staff. Although Yi Xiaotian is an auxiliary power user, he can also learn various power spells. It's just that except for the skills related to talents, other magic arts are not blessed by talents. The power is average and can only be supported by its own attribute points. But for Yi Xiaotian, things were not like that at all. Basically, in addition to some special talents, he now has other talents such as martial arts talents and superpower talents. Both martial arts and magic can be blessed with talents. But others don't know this. Seeing Yi Xiaotian take out the staff, they instinctively felt that Yi Xiaotian wanted to bless himself with natural skills. It's just that the wind senior student flew directly into the air. No matter how high you increase your physical attributes, it's still useless if you can't hit him, right? What's more, wind powers are inherently good at flexibility. They didn't think Yi Xiaotian could reverse the situation by doing this. There was a sneer on the corner of the wind department senior's mouth. As long as he didn't go down, Yi Xiaotian would have nothing to do with him. However, flying in the air consumes a lot of his mental energy. Fortunately, all he had to do was defeat Yi Xiaotian before his mental power was exhausted. Junior Yi, are you ready? The wind department senior felt that he had a chance to win, and his mood improved a lot, and his attitude towards Yi Xiaotian seemed to have recovered a lot. Maybe it was for his demeanor, after all, thousands of people were watching the battle below. On a teaching building far away from the arena in the villa area, two middle-aged men were standing there watching the battle. These two people are none other than the admissions director of Modi University, and the president of Modi University. How do you think he will fight in this battle? The principal didn't even ask what was going on next to him. He sure said, based on the pros and cons of both sides, Yi Xiaotian should be on the defensive in this battle and exhaust the wind student's mental energy, then he will win. Du Wei said, then why not take the initiative to attack? He sure said in surprise, principal, Yi Xiaotian's attacks are all warrior type. Do you think his attacks can be effective? That wind student is a senior and has rich practical experience. It is impossible for him to leave any chance to Yi Xiaotian. Du Wei smiled and said, I don't think so. You recruited this little guy Yi Xiaotian yourself. Don't you have any confidence in him? He sure said, Principal, I naturally have confidence in him. It's just that he is only a freshman and has not been systematically trained. I believe that his future achievements will definitely be brilliant, but now, I can't think of how he can win. He didn't explain it, he just said, let's wait and see. He sure always felt that the principal had something to say, but since the other party didn't say anything, he had no choice but to watch quietly. Then, he saw Yi Xiaotian taking out a new staff. Fuck. Director He sure cursed in front of the principal. Then he realized something was wrong and quickly explained, Principal, I was just too surprised. Neither of them shook their heads and said, It doesn't matter. But Director He, there are still some things that our school has not done well. Should we pay more attention to such an outstanding student as Yi Xiaotian? He sure said quickly, Yes, yes, the principal is right. I will arrange this matter later. He knew Yi Xiaotian's family conditions well, and he was living on relief money from the empire. He simply didn't have the money to buy better equipment. 
As for his B-level warrior equipment, his little girlfriend Han Shuyao helped buy it. It is said that the head of the Han family almost vomited three liters of blood because of this incident. A auxiliary genius like Yi Xiaotian needs a good staff to match his talent. Du Wei suddenly said at the school, Director He, if Yi Xiaotian's talent is promoted to SS level, will the effect of his talent skills also change? He sure took a breath and said, Principal, what do you mean? Three, or four? Du Wei guessed in an uncertain tone. He sure was confused. Why was the principal so bold? Three was understandable, but what about four? Even if the talent grade was upgraded from SS to SS, it couldn't be such a big span, right? Du Wei didn't explain too much, but continued, you can look forward to it, but SS level talent spirit liquid is really rare. He sure nodded unconsciously. Talent spirit liquid is rare, and the higher the grade, the rarer it is. There is some in the Samsara Mall, but the price is hard to describe. Not to mention them, even the five Supreme Masters have to bleed a lot if they want to exchange a bottle. This kind of strategic resource has not been exchanged by anyone so far. One is that it is too expensive. Another thing is that there has never been a talent that is worth spending so much money on. However, Yi Xiaotian can look forward to it. I don't think that after observing it for a while, I can apply to the higher authorities. I don't know about the other Supremes, but the Supreme of the Flame Dragon Empire should consider it. Not to mention the four attributes, even if it is just a three attribute increase, it is extremely important. Especially for the front line, the effect is definitely a breakthrough. Arena The wind type senior didn't even cast a defensive spell on himself. He was waiting for Yi Xiaotian to take action. Chapter 101 Yi Xiaotian was not polite. He raised his staff and a bolt of lightning struck the wind senior. The wind senior snorted coldly, raised his staff, and a light shield protected him. Crack! The sound of the light shield breaking. The sound of the wind senior falling to the ground. And the sound of a broken heart. The scene was silent and quiet. No one cared whether the wind senior would be okay. Everyone's brain short-circuited for a moment. This is too unscientific. The wind senior is a superpower, and his main attribute is spirit. The mental attribute is related to the attack power of superpower spells and the resistance to superpower spells. But now, he was not only broken by Yi Xiaotian's thunder superpower spell, but also fell to the ground in a very embarrassing way. This scene made their three views collapse. This guy, he doesn't play cards according to common sense, uh, no, it can't be judged by common sense. Yi Xiaotian clasped his fists and said, Senior, thank you for letting me. The wind type senior left the stage with a face full of shame. They had already shown mercy, and staying would only add to his shame. Yi Xiaotian looked at his attribute board and was disappointed to see that there was no wind type flying talent on it. But thinking that he would be able to enter the flying secret realm of Magic City University in a few days, he was relieved. Although he did not obtain the flying talent skill this time, he would definitely be able to enter the flying secret realm. After all, there were countless flying beasts for him to kill. As long as he killed more beasts, there was nothing he could not get. So his mentality was adjusted in time. But he still had to have the right attitude. There were thousands of students below, all of whom were high-quality talents. Some of them must have very good talent skills. If he could get one or two, it would be great. Seniors, are there any who want my villa? Although I'm only staying there for one night, I have to say that the villa area is really nice. The air is fresh and the view is wide. And the spiritual energy inside is more abundant. You can get more attribute points by practicing inside. The most important thing is that living in the villa area is a symbol of status. Yi Xiaotian was picking up the benefits of living in the villa area. He was observing the situation below. You can stimulate these seniors, but you can't kill yourself. He knew what to say and what not to say. The seniors below were itching with hatred, but they had no way to do anything. Lu Yong and the Wind seniors represented two systems, warriors and superpowers. But they both lost very cleanly. 
Yi Xiao Tian won very cleanly and openly, without any room for criticism. So they couldn't find a direction to complain if they wanted to. There was nothing to doubt. In the end, there was only one explanation, that is, Yi Xiaotian's strength was worthy of the school making such an arrangement for him. The students who had doubted the director before also put away such thoughts. Yi Xiaotian was just an auxiliary system, but he performed perfectly in the battle between warriors and superpowers. The point is that he seems to have not yet used his auxiliary system ability. Once it is used, how will his strength increase? Everyone had to calculate silently in their hearts, and then consider whether they can beat him. Once on the stage, will it be nothing but embarrassment? Although it is good to live in a villa, you must have the ability. So most of the students calmed down and honestly became spectators. Of course, there are also some people who don't like Yi Xiaotian and think he is too arrogant. So they cursed quietly below, but because of the problem of strength, they didn't dare to go on stage to compete. If Wang Hao and Han Xuyao can still fight, then Yi Xiaotian really can't afford to provoke. Unless the ranking of the Feng Yun list is higher, such an existence will probably not take action. If you win, there is nothing more to gain. If you lose, it will be a huge loss of face. So the result is that a ring battle with hundreds of challengers ended hastily after only a few rounds. Director he was very satisfied, and the principal was also very satisfied. Although the school paid a great price to accept Yi Xiaotian, it turned out that Yi Xiaotian and his team were worth the school's efforts. Such a team can definitely cause great harm to the alien race. Especially Yi Xiaotian, once he grows up, he will definitely be a strategic deterrent. Yi Xiaotian won the challenge, and there are naturally benefits. The first is that no one doubts his strength anymore. The second is that his reputation has spread. The bad side is that the gun hits the bird that sticks out. This applies not only to those classmates who don't like him, but also to potential enemies. For example, heretical organizations. They have their own spies and information channels in major universities. As soon as Yi Xiaotian won the ring battle, the news had already spread to the heretic organization. At this moment, the lair of the heretic organization in the magic city. Everyone, tell me, what is the situation with Yi Xiaotian? Why was there no news before? Seven people sat at the circular round table. The one who spoke was their leader, Yi Ming, who was also the head of the heretic organization's M.O. Du branch. As soon as he finished speaking, the deacon in charge of this matter stood up and spoke. Leader, we have investigated. This Yi Xiaotian is from Jiangqing Bay City and is a special student of Magic City University. Before this, his performance was mediocre and there was nothing outstanding. But when the temporary training camp was set up, he had an eye-catching performance. We also found out that at the end of the training camp, Chia, one of the deputy leaders of the Jiangqing branch, tried to assassinate Yi Xiaotian, but he returned injured. And we have confirmed this news with Chia himself. Yi Ming suddenly interrupted when he heard this, such important news, how come we have never heard of it before? There is a serious problem with the intelligence of our organization. We have not received any news about such a talented freshman. This is not normal. And, is he the Houtian we have been looking for? The deacon said, we had such suspicions before, but after some investigation, the investigation showed that there is a 90% chance that he is not. Oh, what is the basis for your conclusion? Yi Ming questioned. A freshman as powerful as Yi Xiaotian can be said to be unique. The only person he could think of was probably the super god Little Prince Haotian. The deacon explained, Chief, we have investigated. When Yi Xiaotian appeared in the training camp, Haotian was brushing a copy in the Samsara Tower, so basically, it is impossible that they are the same person. Chapter 102 But if he is not Haotian, how could he be so powerful? How come there is no news at all? Yi Ming said doubtfully. There is no news in the reincarnation world, and there is no news in reality. This is not normal. It is impossible that such a powerful newborn has no news at all. This is not normal. The human race cannot do such a good job of keeping secrets, otherwise, their heretic organization would not have been able to succeed repeatedly in assassinating human geniuses. So far, 
they know nothing about Houtian. They know more or less about other geniuses in the new generation of the human race. Where did this Yi Xiaotian come from? This situation is very similar to Houtian. Forget it, whether he is Houtian or not, he must die. Yi Ming gave his order. Yi Xiaotian is already so powerful now. If he is allowed to develop further, once he really grows up, it will definitely be a devastating blow to their heretic organization. At that time, the alien race will never trust them again. And their source of power is the alien race. Once they lose the trust of the aliens, the consequences will be very serious. As members of the heretic organization, they can only go down one path all their lives. And if one day, the aliens rule Blue Star, then they will definitely be able to gain more rights and power. Therefore, all uncertain factors that may threaten the aliens' future rule of Blue Star are their goals to eliminate with all their efforts. They used to be human. But now, they are no longer. Now they can only say that they are half-orcs. Because in addition to human blood, there is also alien blood flowing in their bodies. When they fight, they can transform into half-orcs. The human race regards them as heretics, and how can the aliens really believe in them? Only when they show their own value can they get more support and more power from the aliens. Thinking of this, Yi Ming's eyes revealed a strong murderous intent. The other people at the meeting were all smart, and they all moved their eyes away and did not dare to answer. This job is difficult, and it is not so easy to complete. First of all, Yi Xiaotian is a genius student of the Awakener University in the Magic City. The school must have special protection regulations for him. In other words, in order to assassinate Yi Xiaotian, in addition to facing Yi Xiaotian, a master of unknown strength, he also had to face the hidden enemies lurking around him. Needless to say, Yi Xiaotian's performance on the ring was so good that even Lu Yong was forced under the ring by him with one knife after another. In this process, Lu Yong seemed to have no power to fight back. Although some people have suspected that there was something fishy about this competition. But at least before it is confirmed, we can't act rashly. Yi Ming saw that everyone was watching their noses and their hearts, and had no intention of talking, so he frowned. Don't you want to take this task? Yi Ming just took the initiative. Everyone was still silent. Yi Ming had no choice but to say, since no one wants to take it, then follow the old method, and this time the task is completed, and a drop of A-level alien beast essence blood will be rewarded. As soon as this reward came out, the eyes of the other people present were bright. Fortune and wealth are sought in danger. Although it is very dangerous to assassinate Yi Xiaotian, the A-level blood essence is also very tempting. For them, the blood essence of exotic beasts is a treasure to improve their strength. If it were not for the temptation of the blood essence of exotic beasts, how could they join the heretic organization? It is because there is no hope to be a pure human being, so they will take such a risk. Leader, I will go. A figure stood up, his whole body was covered by a black robe, and the cloak covered his face. In addition, the light in the secret room was dim, and it was impossible to see what the other person looked like. Shadow, you can make a move, I believe you will succeed. Yi Ming smiled when he saw the other party. He still believed in Shadow's strength. Of course, Shadow's most powerful skill is his assassination technique. He is the ghost in the dark. When the others saw Shadow make a move, they didn't say anything more, and soon, the people in the secret room had dispersed. Here, they are members of the heretic organization. But outside, they are ordinary people. This is why heretical organizations are so scary, because they can blend into human life. If they don't expose themselves, you don't know that they are members of heretical organizations. They may even be your friends. The most likely person to stab you in the back is not only your friend, but also a heretic. So when choosing teammates, it is best to choose someone you know and know well. As for strength, it should be placed second. Therefore, although Yi Xiaotian's team members also have A-level talent awakeners like Chang Xiaosi. But no matter what, the admissions directors of the other three famous schools did not raise any objections to this. For them, Chang Xiaosi's strength and talent are not the most important. What's important is that she is Yi Xiaotian's classmate and a reliable friend. 
so she is in a team, at least she will not pose a threat to Yi Xiaotian. If they choose some more teammates for Yi Xiaotian, who will be responsible if something goes wrong? Shanghai University Several days have passed since the ring battle, and the news spread quickly. It can be said that Yi Xiaotian became famous in one battle at Shanghai University. For several days, no new challenger appeared. Then Huang Jie's cousin Huang Wei came to their villa again and expressed his admiration to Yi Xiaotian. Damn it, are all newcomers so fierce these days? How can they, students who are about to graduate, be allowed to hang out? If he is like this when he first enters school, if he is allowed to develop in school for one or two semesters, wouldn't it mean that he will go to heaven? Yi Xiaotian welcomed his arrival, and then asked him how the school was doing. School is about to have a holiday. We have a holiday and your summer camp should start. But the most popular thing in the school right now is you. Now many people are speculating whether you are the great god Haotian. Pfft. As soon as Huang Wei said this, everyone in the living room laughed. Huang Wei was a little confused and said, Why are you laughing? I think this guess is quite reasonable. Among the freshmen, I am afraid that only the great god Haotian is so powerful. After saying that, he looked at Yi Xiaotian expectantly. If Yi Xiaotian is really the great god Haotian, then he will be completely convinced. Huang Jia said, Brother, you are overthinking. Brother Tian is not the great god Haotian. Huang Wei said, How do you know? Because we downloaded the dungeon together with great god Haotian. Huang Jia blurted out directly. Chapter 103 the scene was silent for a few seconds, and everyone looked at Yi Xiaotian. After all, this matter was originally confidential. Those who participated in it all tacitly protected this secret. Once this secret was made public, their personal safety would be greatly threatened. After all, for now, only the five of them had ever been with the great god Haotian on the entire Blue Star. Finding the great god Haotian through them was the only way. The only fear was that the enemy would take advantage of this loophole. No one knew what means the alien race had. They could influence the world of the Samsara Tower. God knew if they had any means to find Haotian directly from the Samsara Tower. So no one dared to take this risk. They had received a great favor from the great god Haotian. If they still cheated him, it would be too wrong. Huang Jie also realized that he had said the wrong thing, and looked at Yi Xiaotian with embarrassment. Have you ever played a dungeon with the great god Haotian? Huang Wei was also a little confused. The idea of an individual in the world of the Samsara Tower is kept secret, which is also for self-protection. Even close relatives will not ask their children's ID in the world of the Samsara Tower. They only care about the awakening level of their relatives. So even Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi's parents don't know that they have played a dungeon with the great god Haotian. In the world of Awakeners, the awakening level represents your talent and your luck. The reason why Han Jing, Han Xuyao's father, did not say a word after seeing Yi Xiaotian show his awakening level is because he knows the cause and effect relationship here very well. Without talent and luck, you can't reach this level at all. So any words are redundant. He only knows one thing, that is, this young man has a future. So he acquiesced to the matter between Han Xuyao and Yi Xiaotian. Huang Wei could never have thought that the great god team that resounded through the world of Samsara would actually have his cousin in it. But after a little thought, he probably knew the reincarnation IDs of the five people in front of him. Thinking about it this way, Yi Xiaotian is indeed not the great god Haotian. After all, the two of them were in the dungeon together in the reincarnation world. This evidence is much more reliable than other evidence. Brother, don't ask, keep this a secret, understand? Huang Jie hurriedly reminded. Huang Wei said, don't worry, I will keep this matter to myself and will never let anyone else know except me. Yi Xiaotian still trusts Huang Wei. After all, he is Huang Jie's cousin and comes from a famous family. He should not betray them. Brother Huang Wei is in a serious situation. We just don't want to cause trouble. After all, although we are in the dungeon with Haotian, we don't know his identity. You also know that in the reincarnation world, it is easy to conceal your identity. 
Yi Xiao Tian said so. Huang Wei said, I understand. You can rest assured here. Then I will go back first. I will tell you the news as soon as possible. By the way, little brother, you will go to the flying secret realm in a few days. Be careful. I can't help you in this regard. Brother Yi, I will leave my little brother to you. Huang Wei said to Yi Xiao Tian sincerely. Yi Xiao Tian said, Don't worry, we are a team, brothers who have experienced life and death. Needless to say, I will take good care of you. With Huang Jia in the team, he does not need to expose his identity, and the strength of the team can be greatly improved. Why not? Although the agility attribute has been placed in the second echelon, it is only because the attribute points are not enough. In fact, the agility attribute is also very important. As the Awakener's level increases, the main attribute increases significantly, and other secondary attributes must also be improved accordingly, otherwise the body will lose coordination. In battle, the role of agility attribute is also very important. So Huang Jia's importance in the team is self-evident. As the only pure auxiliary in the team, Huang Jia must be the key protection object of the team. Huang Wei didn't say much nonsense and just said goodbye and left. After he left, Huang Jia said to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, I'm sorry, I was also anxious for a moment. But my elder brother and I grew up together, I still know what kind of person he is, he will definitely keep it a secret for us. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, Forget it, it's not your fault. After all, they are cousins, Huang Jia trusts Huang Wei, so he blurted it out without thinking. Anyway, sooner or later, other people will know about this matter. And I guess many people are already suspicious now. Didn't you hear your elder brother say that people have begun to suspect that I am the great god Haotian? Yi Xiao Tian said with a smile. Huang Jia was relieved when he heard him say this. It's a pity that we can't go with the great god Haotian this time in the flying secret realm. Huang Jia looked very regretful. Yi Xiao Tian thought to himself that the great god Haotian was going with you, but you just didn't know it. There are many good things in the Faitian secret realm. If the great god Haotian is here, we will definitely get a lot. Huang Jia said again. The great god Haotian took care of them in the dungeon and brought them huge gains. Now that he has benefited, he naturally thinks of the great god Haotian. Wang Hao said, What do you think of the identity of this great god Haotian? Huang Jia immediately said, I think he must be the descendant of a top awakener family. If he is not the descendant of this bloodline, how can he have such a high talent? This statement was unanimously agreed by Han Shuyao and Mu Binyan. The Awakener's talent determines everything. The reason why Haotian God can achieve what he has today is because of his talent. And the level of talent depends largely on blood. So the descendants of top Awakeners are very likely to awaken high-quality talents. For a top-quality talent like Haotian God, it is not an exaggeration to guess that he is the descendant of the five supreme beings. I also think this possibility is the greatest. Wang Hao agreed with Huang Jie's words. It is because his parents' talents are too ordinary that his awakened talent is only sea level. If it weren't for brother Tian, he would probably still be worried about his livelihood. It's not like now, not only did he go to a famous school, but he didn't even have to pay tuition, lived in a single family villa, and enjoyed the resources of a famous school. Not to mention anything else, just a summer camp is not comparable to other universities. This is the resources of a famous school. This is the generosity and heritage of a famous university. For an ordinary university, having one or two secret realms is the best. And the secret realm resources are so precious. Unless you have made a great contribution to the school, how can you enter? You should know that the secret realm resources are not endless. It also takes time to accumulate. A secret realm is open for a week, but it takes five to ten years to recover. For a person with the talent of a god like Haotian, there is a high probability that he has the blood of the Supreme. Wang Hao said with certainty. Chapter 104 Hearing Wang Hao's words, Yi Xiao Tian almost burst out laughing. Bullshit Supreme Bloodline, it's just that when he traveled through time, his soul brought the breath of heaven, 
which caused the awakening program of the Samsara Tower to go wrong, so he could awaken the Supreme Talent. But now, they say they are Supreme Bloodline, he really wants to say, I am just an ordinary person. But he doesn't want to participate in this topic. But he doesn't want to participate, but Huang Jia doesn't let him go. Brother Tian, what kind of person do you think Hao Tian is? Huang Jia asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, How do I know? I don't know him. Aren't you and him good friends in the samsara world? Huang Jia said unexpectedly. Yi Xiao Tian said, Yes, we are friends, but we don't necessarily know each other. The samsara tower and reality are originally two completely different worlds. Everything in the samsara tower world is confidential. I can add him as a friend, maybe it's just luck. Huang Jie nodded and said, so that's it. He didn't doubt it, after all, what Yi Xiao Tian said made sense. Knowing someone in the world of reincarnation does not necessarily mean knowing each other. After all, in the world of the reincarnation tower, everyone wears a mask, and you have no idea what kind of person is behind this mask. You may not even know if the other person is a human. This is the world of the reincarnation tower. In this world, everything is illusory. Okay, let's not talk about this. In a few days, we will enter the secret realm for summer camp. Do you have any experience to tell us? Yi Xiao Tian changed the subject. In a few days, all the freshmen of this class will come to Magic City University, and the half-month summer camp will officially begin. Before that, they knew nothing about the secret realm. Even before that, they had never heard of a place like the secret realm. So Yi Xiao Tian urgently needed to supplement his knowledge about the secret realm. Huang Jia looked at Mu Bingyan, and then at Han Shuyao. Han Shuyao immediately said, I don't know about this. Mu Bingyan gave Huang Jia a look. Huang Jia immediately understood. Even if Mu Bingyan understood, she didn't want to talk. That's her personality. Huang Jie didn't hesitate and took on the task of popularizing the topic. Secret realms are actually small plain worlds, but because of the limited space, the upper limit is also very low. Secret realms are divided into many types, such as the Fatian secret realm we are about to go to, where the most common are flying beasts. Secret realms are divided into many grades due to their different sizes, which are basically the same as the levels of awakeners. And the Fatian secret realm is an S-level secret realm. S-level secret realm. Yi Xiao Tian frowned and said, in other words, there are S-level flying beasts in it. Huang Jia said, in principle, it is like this. Fuck. Wang Hao complained, so strong. How dare the school let us in. If an S-level beast comes, wouldn't we all be finished? Huang Jia explained, it's not that dangerous. After all, the school will send experts to accompany us to protect our safety. I see, then it's okay. Wang Hao was no longer worried when he heard that it was the case. Yi Xiao Tian frowned, feeling that things were not that simple. But he couldn't tell what was wrong. After all, this was the arrangement of the school, and there shouldn't be anything wrong. In this way, two days passed leisurely. During this period, many students of Magic City University wanted to see Yi Xiao Tian, the legendary figure, but they didn't find the opportunity. Because Yi Xiao Tian stayed in the villa to learn more about the secret realm. In addition to asking Huang Jia, he also looked up a lot of information on the internet. It must be said that the university is different. After their student registration was completed, they were assigned a login account for the school's intranet. There are many materials on it that are not available in the outside world. However, some of the information in it has set permissions, and not every student can read it. Even Yi Xiao Tian has a lot of information that he does not have permission to read. However, there are a lot of information about the Fatian secret realm that can be found. There are not only materials about the Fatian secret realm compiled by the school, but also many exploration experiences written by the predecessors of Magic City University. After reading it, Yi Xiao Tian summed it up in a few words. Basically nothing gained. According to the information above, the situation of Fatian's secret realm seems to be different when it is opened for the first time. Even the topography will change. The strength of the beasts inside will also change. 
Maybe there was a group of A-level beasts living in a certain place last time, but the next time you come in, there will be an S-level or a B-level beast living in that place. It's possible. Of course, not everything will change. But this kind of change is unknown, and the unknown is the most terrifying. No one knows whether the place that was safe before is safe now. You don't even know what you will encounter in the next moment. Such a dangerous secret realm, the Magic City University is really bold, and dares to open it to students. Aren't they afraid of any accidents and heavy casualties at that time? And it is said that this time, the four famous schools jointly held a summer camp. That is to say, the freshmen of the four famous schools entered the secret realm together, and each secret realm lasted half a month, which added up to exactly two months. In the past, the summer camp for each freshman session was only half a month. Yi Xiaotian was not very clear about how it was done. But he guessed that this matter must be related to him, that is, Houtian. Because Houtian's identity has not been exposed yet. Even the top leaders of the human race do not know his true identity. So in order to take better care of Houtian, the top leaders of the human race came up with this method. Although doing so, the price paid is very high. But if Houtian can grow up quickly, everything is worth it. They believe that with Houtian's ability, he will definitely be able to enter the four famous schools. They don't care who Houtian's true identity is, as long as he can enjoy these resources, it's enough. As long as he grows up, no matter how much he pays, he can get it back. And the status of the human race will also become different. The five supreme beings of the human race are really too few. On the entire blue star, only the sword god is in charge, and the other four have already rushed to the front line. In addition, intelligence shows that the civil strife of the alien race seems to have signs of ending. Once the alien race reaches a consensus, the crisis of the blue star will increase infinitely. The united alien race is the most terrifying. Chapter, 105 in the following days, new students continued to enter the Magic City University. Then they went through the admission procedures. Then they heard about Yi Xiaotian's feat. For this classmate, they only admired and admired him. Hundreds of challengers, only a few games, no one dared to go up, such a great record, who dared to believe that they were just freshmen. As freshmen, they were still wandering around E-level Awakeners. Others have already knocked down the awakened strongmen with B-level combat power. We all have 12 years of compulsory education, why are you so outstanding? They really want to meet Yi Xiaotian, but he lives in the villa area, where ordinary students can't enter. If there is not even this privilege, what kind of villa area is it? So they can only look forward to the day when the summer camp opens. During this period, there is another thing, that is, the old students have a holiday. These college students can go home and lie down during the holidays, of course, they can also join major organizations to increase practical experience. For these college students from famous schools, major organizations are still very happy to accept them. Because after graduation, they all have a good future. If you can bring a few graduates from prestigious universities to your organization, wouldn't it be a big profit? So during the holidays, anyone who is willing to work during the holidays will be fought over. During internships, they are also the target of scramble by major organizations. This is even more true when you graduate. Summer vacation is coming. The students have left, and the school has become quieter. This is even more true in the villa area. Among the dozens of villas in the entire villa area, only the villa where Yi Xiaotian and his friends live is still occupied. Yi Xiaotian thinks it is too wise to leave Han Shuyao and the others here. After the holiday, this villa area is like a ghost town, without even a shadow of a person. In this way, time finally came to the day when the summer camp started. This year, the Magic City Awakening University has recruited a total of 3,500 freshmen nationwide, which is a medium number among the four famous universities. Every year, Qingshui Awakening University and Jingqing Awakening University have the largest number of freshmen. The reputation is there and the resources are there. After all, that is the base camp of Xia country. Jiangnan University, located in the southwest, has the smallest number of students. The students they recruit are basically from the base cities around the school, 
and they have appropriately lowered some requirements. The playground of Magic City University. Thousands of freshmen have lined up there, waiting for the arrival of the school leaders. From time to time, there were voices of discussion in the square, and their eyes were all in the same direction. That was the direction where Yi Xiaotian's team was standing. As soon as they arrived at the playground, they attracted countless eyes. If everyone was only curious about Yi Xiaotian at the beginning, then after seeing the members of this team. A large part of the boys have a strong interest in Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan. This team actually has two such beautiful beauties. If possible, they also want to join this team. But this team already has six members, will they accept new members? A combat team has a minimum configuration of five people. In principle, there is no upper limit on the number of people. However, the more people there are, the more difficult it is to manage, and the difficulty of cooperation will increase greatly during the battle. So basically, a mature combat team will maintain a configuration of five to eight people. Yi Xiaotian's team can add one or two people, but it depends on Yi Xiaotian's own wishes. But they don't know Yi Xiaotian's character very well, so they dare not approach him for a while. It's really because Yi Xiaotian's name was too loud before. Even Lu Yong, a strong man on the Feng Yun list, was knocked off the stage by him one knife after another. It's so brutal. They don't want to provoke such a Yi Xiaotian. Let's find another opportunity. It's nine o'clock. The school leaders are here. To Yi Xiaotian's surprise, he actually saw Huang Jie's cousin Huang Wei in the crowd. Yi Xiaotian looked at Huang Jie. Huang Jie was also confused and said, I don't know either. What's going on? Shouldn't the cousin leave the school? Why is he here? Huang Jie was also confused. Soon, the admissions director stepped forward and said loudly, Dear students, first of all, welcome to Moda University. Thank you for choosing our Moda University. Soon, the summer camp for the new year will begin. Now please give a speech. Warm applause rang out on the playground. This is not just a show of support, but more of a personal worship of the principal Du Wei. This veteran awakening strongman, when he was young, also fought for the human race. It was not until he was old that he retired from the front line and joined the Awakening University and began to devote himself to cultivating more talents for the human race. It can be said that as long as the students have read the introduction of Principal Du Wei, they will admire him from the bottom of their hearts. This is also the first time that Yi Xiaotian and his friends have met Principal Du Wei. He didn't know that during the villa competition, the principal had seen his performance with his own eyes. Dear students, first of all, on behalf of Modu Awakening University, I welcome you. Entering university is just the starting point of your life. You will shoulder the future and prosperity of the entire Blue Star human race. I hope you can make good use of your years in college, strive to improve your strength, and make more contributions to the stability and prosperity of the Blue Star human race in the future. The word stimulated the students below to blush. Shouldering the future and prosperity of the entire Blue Star human race, what an honor. Yi Xiaotian curled his lips. Sure enough, these leaders are best at chicken blood. And these students are very young. After drinking a bowl of chicken soup, they are all excited. Even Wang Hao and Huang Jia next to him are already excited and blushing. They can't wait to fight with the aliens now. Even Mu Bingyan, who is always calm, is a little excited. Only Yi Xiaotian has a calm face. In fact, he has heard too much chicken soup in his previous life, and it can't arouse his blood at all. Brother Tian, don't you think the principal's speech is very good? Han Xuyao felt Yi Xiaotian's calmness and couldn't help asking. Yi Xiaotian said, it's very good, but I value practical actions more. Han Xuyao nodded, indicating that she understood what Yi Xiaotian meant. Mu Binyan also heard their conversation, and after a thought, she felt that what Yi Xiaotian said made sense. No matter how good or how much you say, it is not as important as practical actions. Compared with Yi Xiaotian's performance in the training camp, the principal's words didn't seem to make people so excited. This year's summer camp is different from previous years. This year is a joint summer camp of four schools. This is a new attempt. 
In other words, you will spend the next two months in the secret realm. Principal Du continued. Chapter, 106 The secret realm is full of dangers, so I hope you can cooperate with each other in the coming days and improve your strength as much as possible. Of course, you must remember that safety is the first priority. You are the flowers of the motherland, you are the future of the human beings of Blue Star, so your safety is very important. For this reason, the school has organized a group of security personnel. Of course, they will only take action when you encounter a life crisis that you cannot solve yourself. These are all freshmen, who have just awakened their talents for 20 days and have little combat power. If there are no security personnel in such a dangerous secret realm, I am afraid that the whole army will be wiped out. At this time, Yi Xiaotian felt a strong gaze. Looking up, he saw a freshman staring at him with a cold look. Yi Xiaotian was confused. Did he offend him? It seemed like the first time they met. But he didn't know that if someone admired him, naturally someone would dislike him. When the freshman entered school, all the light was overshadowed by him alone. Some talented freshmen were naturally very uncomfortable. This is the case with the small group headed by Shin Ao. They are the children of noble families in the magic city, headed by Shin Ao, because he is not only the most talented, but also has the most noble birth. So the children of noble families in the magic city naturally surrounded him. Originally, Shin Ao was the most popular among the freshmen of this year. But since he entered school, all he heard and saw were about Yi Xiaotian. How could he not be angry? What's more, after seeing Yi Xiaotian and his team today, he was even more angry. It seems that, except for his birth, Yi Xiaotian surpasses him in all aspects. He is more handsome than him, treated better than him, and even the beauties around him are better than those around him. This is a complete crushing trend. The so-called appearance is determined by the heart. Thinking about getting Yi Xiaotian in his heart, it naturally showed on his face. After all, he is still a young man and has no scheming. What he thinks of will naturally show on his face. Yi Xiaotian grinned at him. Shen Ao was stunned for a moment, and then he was directly furious. What does this mean? Ignore me. It's too much for him. I showed my hostility to him, but he laughed at me. Think of him, Shen Ao. He grew up under the care of his family and the flattery of outsiders. This guy who came out of nowhere dared to ignore him. It's outrageous. Shen Ao, what's wrong with you? Mo Qian next to him saw Shen Ao trembling all over and thought he was sick. Shen Ao didn't say anything, just stared at Yi Xiaotian's direction. Mo Qian looked over and saw Yi Xiaotian talking to Han Xuyao in a low voice. He smiled and said, I asked around. The one who talked to Yi Xiaotian is called Han Xuyao. He is from the same base city as him. The other one with a cold look is called Mu Binyan. She is from an awakened family in a mid-level base city. How about it, which one do you like? Shen Ao was stunned. Why can't I understand what you said? I was angry with Yi Xiaotian just now. What does it have to do with women? Don't talk nonsense. Shen Ao scolded unnaturally. Mo Qian didn't care, but continued, Shen Ao, women of this quality are really rare species. Are you really not tempted? Then I'll go. Shen Ao said angrily, Mo Qian, can you put away your disgusting side? Okay, you are a noble person, I am a pervert. Mo Qian retreated. The two of them grew up together, both from the top awakening families in the magic city, and both are SS level talent awakeners. As the saying goes, there is no room for two tigers in one mountain. The two of them can get along well, so their relationship is naturally very close. You want to get that Yi Xiaotian. Mo Qian knew Shen Ao's character very well, and knew that he definitely didn't hate Yi Xiaotian because of women. Shen Ao said, A jerk from a small place has stolen our limelight. Now the school knows about Yi Xiaotian, but not you and me. What do you think we should do? This not only slapped Shin Ao and his people in the face, but also made the family behind them lose face. So there must be a battle between them and Yi Xiaotian. But haven't you heard? He even defeated the Awakeners with B-level combat power. 
Mo Qian reminded. Shen Ao snorted coldly and said, Do you believe it? Mo Qian was stunned for a moment, then shook his head and said, I don't believe it. That's it. Shen Ao said coldly. But I don't believe that the school will play a trick on him. Mo Qian said slowly. Shen Ao was silent and didn't speak. This was also what he couldn't understand. He would never believe that Yi Xiaotian really defeated Lu Yong with his own strength. That was a strong man in the top 50 of the Magic City University rankings. He studied at Magic City University for four years. How could you, a freshman who had just awakened for ten days, do that? If there was no trick in this, they would not believe it. Unless he was Houtian. Is it possible? After analysis, they ruled out the possibility that Yi Xiaotian was Houtian. Because when Yi Xiaotian was fighting in the ring at Magic City University, the world announcement of Houtian God sounded in the Samsara Tower copy. It can be said that Yi Xiaotian's operation was really too cool. He played everyone around. Because of the uniqueness of the second soul. So no one would think of this aspect. Yi Xiaotian was fighting in the Magic City University, while Hao Tian was brushing the dungeon in the Samsara Tower, letting everyone in the world know that they were two people. Whether it was the major families of the human race, the heretic organizations, or the aliens, they did not think that they were the same person. However, Yi Xiaotian also entered their sight. Even if he was not Hao Tian, his threat was very great. The heretic organization had already taken action and prepared a lot of feasts for Yi Xiaotian. Even if he could hold on for how long? And Yi Xiaotian was still unaware of it. After the elder's impassioned speech, a group of students below were howling. Principal Du pressed his hand and said, You will enter the secret realm in a moment. The teachers and senior students here are from the school. Their mission is to protect you at any time. But there are always accidents in everything, so I have to remind you again, be careful. We have sent people to the other three famous schools to open the secret realm portal. When the time comes, you will meet in the secret realm. I hope you can show the style of our Magic City Awakening University, but you can't provoke conflicts without reason. You are all the pride of heaven. I hope you can work together to protect our homeland. After the principal finished speaking, Director Heesher stepped forward again and added a few words. Chapter 107 Students, you are lucky, because in the history of our Blue Star human beings, it is the first time that an S-level secret realm is opened in a summer camp. But at the same time, you are unfortunate, because this means that the danger of your summer camp is infinitely increasing. For this reason, we organize the teachers and students of the students to form a strong guard team. But to be honest, it is unlikely to protect your safety 100%. So, the real key lies in you. The number of protection personnel is limited, and rescue may not be timely, so before making any decision, you must think twice before making it. Okay, that's all I have to say. Now, go to the school's secret realm building and prepare to enter the secret realm. After director he finished speaking, he led the school to the school's secret realm building. As for Principal Du and the others, they all went back. Director he will be responsible for the next thing. Thousands of students marched towards the secret realm building in a square formation of classes. The secret realm building connects all the secret realms under the name of Magic City University, and each secret realm has a different portal. If the teachers and students of the school want to enter, they need to pay the price of school points. The school has very strict control over this aspect. So if it is not necessary, students are prohibited from entering the scope of the secret building. The secret realm is a strategic resource. It plays a decisive role in training reserve personnel, so each awakening university has its own secret realm. But it is obvious that the higher the level of the school, the higher the number and quality of the secret realm. For example, the S-level secret realm is only available in the four famous schools. In the past, only teachers with many points or awakeners who have made outstanding contributions to the human race were qualified to enter the S-level secret realm. Students simply cannot enter. One is that the level is too high and the danger is too great. And the points required are also very high. For students to enter, the cost-effectiveness is almost zero. 
This time, the four famous schools took out the S-level secret realm, which can be regarded as a bloody investment. There is only one purpose, that is, to train Haotian. They don't know who Haotian is, and they don't want to investigate. Because if they know who Haotian is, the aliens may know it. Therefore, it is safest for Haotian to remain unknown. But the pace of training Haotian cannot stop. So this needle in a haystack method can only be used. In order to send resources to Haotian, the human race leaders racked their brains and thought of all the ways they could think of. The resources in the reincarnation world are easy to say, they can meet him directly. But for the real world, they have to use their brains. As for whether these resources can be delivered to Haotian in the end, they are not 100% sure. But they are still very confident and think that with Haotian's ability, it is not difficult to enter the four famous schools. Dear students, don't run around after entering the secret building. Our goal is the fourth floor. It is best not to enter other floors, otherwise, you will bear the consequences yourself. Director He sure warned sternly under the secret building. What will be the consequences of entering other floors? A student who didn't understand asked. Yi Xiao Tian was not clear about this either. Huang Chia whispered in his ear, The secret building is very well guarded. No one knows how many guards are inside. This secret realm can be said to be one of the strongest resources of our human race. Once it is breached by aliens or heretical organizations, the consequences will be disastrous. Yi Xiao Tian said, What do you mean by breach? Can the secret realm be breached? Huang Jia explained, This secret realm is actually a small world. Our world is connected to the small world through special channels and portals. Once this channel and portal are broken, then this secret realm is useless, but it is not right. It should be said that it is lost. Yi Xiao Tian suddenly realized, so that's it. Country Bumpkin. A discordant voice came from the side. Yi Xiao Tian looked over and saw an acquaintance, Shen Ao. What did you say? Han Xuyao was immediately unhappy. It's okay to say that she is fine, but it's not okay to say that Yi Xiao Tian is. Shen Ao was confused. I said Yi Xiao Tian, what does it have to do with you? Why are you so excited? He, Shen Ao, has never been afraid of anything since he was a child, but he is not good at communicating with girls. Under Han Xuyao's gaze, Shen Ao's face turned red. Mo Qian hurried out and said, Calm down, calm down, this is the secret building, we are about to enter the secret, don't make trouble. Are we making trouble now? Han Xuyao directly retorted. Mo Qian said helplessly, Beauty, this is not me who is making trouble, why are you targeting me? If you want to help him, I will target you. Han Xuyao said toughly. Mo Qian said, Beauty, it's just a joke, do you have to be so aggressive? Am I being aggressive? It's you who insult people. What's so great about you? Aren't you just born in a big city? Is being born in a big city a superior person? Then why do you need to awaken your talent? Han Xuyao's words were sharp. Shen Ao's face was red, his hands were clenched into fists, and he kept shaking, and then he tried his best to control himself from taking action. What? You still want to fight? Han Xuyao stared at Shen Ao, ready to fight if there was any disagreement. Now their team really wasn't afraid of anyone. Seeing Han Xuyao even took out the magic wand, he sure, who was speaking, was stunned. How could none of these kids make him worry-free? Han Xuyao, what's wrong with you? Director He sure said loudly. Han Xuyao said, they insulted people. Damn it! Shen Ao and Mo Qian were both mentally broken. This woman was really vicious in complaining. She raised the issue to the level of insulting people right away. How could she explain this? No, she's talking nonsense. Mo Qian was anxious and started to argue. He sure stared at him with suspicion. Mo Qian's heart was filled with countless damage. This is not his business, how did it transfer to him? Director He, I really didn't. Mo Qian's voice was a little unconfident. He sure kept staring at him, and he was directly looked at. Sorry, I was wrong. Mo Qian was helpless. 
Han Xuyao snorted coldly and said, Apologize to Brother Tian. Mo Qian was numb. It was said that women should not be provoked, and it was true. He looked at Shen Ao, but Shen Ao did not seem to want to apologize at all. What could he do? Yi Xiao Tian, I'm sorry. Mo Qian had to do it himself. You didn't say that, he said that. Let him apologize. Han Xuyao pointed at Shen Ao. Mo Qian felt bad instantly. Why didn't you say that earlier? What's the point of waiting for me to apologize before saying that? Isn't this an insult? Chapter 108 Mo Qian felt that he was more wrong than Do Yi. Not to mention that he had made a bad friend like Shen Ao, he was still so mean when he met a beautiful girl like Han Xuyao. He showed a smile that was uglier than crying, and said to Shen Ao, Brother, apologize quickly and let this matter go. Shen Ao didn't say anything, but that expression only meant one thing, that is, I don't. He was just telling the truth, and he was not wrong, so why should he apologize? When did he, young master Shen, apologize? Mo Qian was anxious and said, Brother, think it through. If this matter is not let go, we may not be able to enter the secret realm. Don't you want to make trouble for Yi Xiao Tian? When you get to the secret realm, what do you want to do? Isn't it up to you? Shen Ao thought it made sense when he heard it. He hesitated for five seconds. You still want to make trouble for Brother Tian in the secret realm. You are too much. Han Xuyao's voice resounded throughout the venue again. Mo Qian was stunned. Damn, I spoke so quietly, and you can hear it. Did you point all your attributes to your ears? This is even more embarrassing. Director He sure had to come down and said, What's going on? When they were on the playground before, the two sides were far apart, so apart from the provocation in their eyes, nothing unexpected happened. But when they arrived at the secret building, the square where Shen Ao was located was separated from the square where Yi Xiao Tian and his group were located by an aisle. Being so close, Shen Ao couldn't help but complain when he heard the chat between Huang Jia and Yi Xiao Tian. Who would have thought that just a complaint would cause such a big reaction from Han Xuyao, and then she would not let go? Director He, they insulted us, saying that we are all bumpkins from a small place, and then they said they would find trouble with us in the secret realm. Han Xuyao had no intention of compromising. If they dare to find trouble with Brother Tian, there is nothing to say. He sure had a black line on his forehead, and looking at Shen Ao and Mo Qian, he said in a deep voice, Is that so? Shen Ao looked cold and did not answer. Mo Qian looked embarrassed and didn't know how to answer. Director He, it's not that serious, it's just a joke. In the end, Mo Qian took it all on himself. It's better to save yourself than to expect Shen Ao to be the ice cube. Joke, do you think we are fools? When we were on the playground before, did you think I didn't see his eyes? Don't think I don't know what you are thinking, isn't it Brother Tian who made you lose face? Do you want revenge? If you have the ability, challenge him openly. What's the ability of hiding in a dark corner? The sharp words directly made Mo Qian speechless. This woman is so scary. No wonder some people say that beautiful women must not be offended. It's true. I can testify to this. Mu Bingyan, who had been silent, suddenly spoke. I don't know why, she gives people the feeling that what she said is very convincing, and no one will suspect that she is lying. He has a headache. This Yi Xiao Tian really knows how to find trouble for himself. First it was the villa area ring competition, and now it's really not quiet. He was a little doubtful whether it was the right choice to recruit him to the school. He had a hunch that Yi Xiao Tian would constantly cause trouble for him in the days ahead. Even if he didn't take the initiative to cause trouble for others, trouble would find him. Director, it was really a joke. There are teachers and seniors watching in the secret realm, how could we possibly cause trouble for others? Besides, classmate Yi Xiao Tian was personally found by the director, and he is very powerful. If we cause trouble for him, wouldn't that be asking for trouble? Mo Qian was really clear-headed. He sure heard that it was indeed the case. With the current strength of Shen Ao and Mo Qian, 
it was really asking for trouble to cause trouble for Yi Xiao Tian. Okay, this matter ends here, don't cause trouble for me, or I will make you very troubled. Director He sure glared at Shen Ao and Emo Qian fiercely. These two guys just know how to make trouble for no reason. Then he said to Han Shuyao, they won't cause you any trouble, don't worry. Han Shuyao curled her lips and saw at a glance that He sure was trying to be a peacemaker. Just as she was about to speak, she was stopped by Yi Xiaotian. She could ignore others, but she trusted Yi Xiaotian 100%. Director He, I'm sorry to bother you. Yi Xiaotian said. He sure's old face blushed slightly and said, It's okay, if you have any problems in the future, you can come to me directly. Yi Xiaotian nodded, smiled slightly, grabbed Han Xuyao's hand and squeezed it gently, conveying the message to her. Mu Binyan noticed this scene and felt a little sour and envious. When will I be able to meet him in reality? It's the same with the two of them. Mu Binyan's thoughts drifted away for a while. Floating to the copy of the reincarnation world, that majestic back will never be forgotten. Director He sure didn't waste any more words and took everyone upstairs directly. Fortunately, there were people guarding each floor, and those students did not seek death on their own, and successfully went to the fourth floor. They stopped at the door of one of the rooms, and director he asked someone to open the door. It was very empty inside. Why is it so big? It looks like this room is very small. Wang Hao took a look and couldn't help but say. This is the space technology. It looks small from the outside, but there is something else inside. Huang Jia explained. So that's it. Wang Hao showed a look of realization. Now, you go in, and then through the portal, you can enter the secret realm. Finally, I wish you good luck. Director He sure said, and gave up his seat. Under the leadership of teachers and seniors, thousands of freshmen entered in a line. Finally, their figures disappeared in the portal. Come out. He sure said to one end of the passage. Then, several figures with strong breath walked out of the darkness. He sure then ordered the guards, lock the door again later, and open it when we come back. He sure personally led people into the secret realm, but he didn't tell anyone about this. Is this the secret realm? Yi Xiaotian felt it, the air was very fresh and full of vitality. The scenery here is so beautiful. Han Xuyao said so. Chang Xiaosi and Mu Bingyan nodded. Country bumpkin. At this time, a discordant voice sounded again. Do you want to fight? Han Xuyao showed her staff directly. She didn't dare to ask what Shen Ao's background was. Mo Qian grabbed Shen Ao and said, Calm down, calm down. Han Xuyao sneered and said, How are you going to argue this time? Classmate, he just has a bad mouth, he doesn't have any bad intentions, can we not go to the line? Mo Qian wanted to strangle Shen Ao to death. Can you speak according to the occasion? Is this the right time to say this? Can't you wait until the teams are separated before you start trouble? Chapter, 109 It's so hard for me. Mo Qian really wanted to yell. What can he do when he meets a teammate like Shen Ao? He can only take it all on himself. All teams come and get the positioning bracelets. The team leader said loudly. Mo Qian quickly pulled Shen Ao away from Yi Xiaotian and the others. If they stayed any longer, they would definitely fight. Shen Ao is a straight man with a cold heart, and Han Xuyao is a person who is not willing to give up even if he is right. If they collide, there will be no other results. Han Xuyao was about to take action, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian, who said, Don't be impulsive. If you want to teach them a lesson, there will be opportunities at any time. Now deal with the team's affairs first. After that, Yi Xiaotian went to get their positioning bracelets. Students, each team has a positioning bracelet with an emergency help device. When you encounter danger that you cannot solve by yourself, you can activate the help device inside. For those who have not formed their own team, the school has already assigned you teammates based on your talents. After the students who have teams have received the bracelets, those who have read their names can also come to receive the bracelets. Reliable. Yi Xiaotian repeated in his heart. This school is reliable. 
those who don't have a team have been assigned a team. And he believes that after the allocation of the school's professionals, the staffing of these teams is absolutely the most reasonable. Although there is a lack of tacit understanding. However, time is urgent and the task is heavy. Some things can only be pushed to the back. Cultivating tacit understanding in actual combat is also a helpless way. Yi Xiaotian received a positioning bracelet belonging to his team, and then returned to the team, raised the bracelet, and put it on himself. We can set off. Yi Xiaotian said. The teams that receive the bracelets have set off one after another. In this secret realm, they may encounter the resources they need at any time and anywhere, so the earlier they set out, the greater the harvest. Of course, the greater the risk. But no matter how big the risk is, everyone will rush to set out. So after Yi Xiaotian and his team got the bracelet, they immediately chose a direction to set out. Huang Jie, have you ever known about this secret realm before? Yi Xiaotian asked Huang Jie, are there any other beasts in it besides the flying beasts? Huang Jie shook his head and said, the situation in the secret realm is confidential. What I know are some things that can be made public. The information about the secret realm is highly confidential. What's more, this is an S-level secret realm, and the level of confidentiality is higher. Yi Xiaotian felt like he had learned a lot. Sure enough, there are many things that ordinary people cannot understand. After the training camp ended, he learned more than he had learned in his 18 years of life. As Yi Xiaotian went higher and higher, he would learn more and more secrets. For example, he knows nothing about the Fatian secret realm now, but in the future, maybe he can see comprehensive information about the Fatian secret realm. No, he should be able to see more confidential information. Even, the real reason for the fall of the Samsara Tower can be deciphered. Just thinking about it makes me a little excited. Roar! At this moment, they heard a roar coming, which seemed very far away, but the sound was very shocking. What's the situation? Everyone stopped, and Wang Hao couldn't help asking. They had just entered the secret realm. According to the school's previous statement, they shouldn't encounter strange beasts so soon. Although the situation in the secret realm has been changing, there is one thing that has not changed. That is the safe area. The place where they came in from the portal is the safe area. That place has always been there, and every time they come in, it is this place. And the scope of this safe area has always been fixed. But this time, they had only been in for a short time, and they had not walked out of two kilometers, and they heard the roar of the strange beast. And the sound was very far away. This shows one thing, that is, this strange beast is very powerful. Yeah, what's going on? Didn't we just come in? How come we heard the roar of the beast? Chang Xiaoxi also asked. Everyone looked at Huang Jie. In this team, he was the only one who was most informed. Huang Jie said with a puzzled look on his face, I don't know either. This doesn't match what I know. It may be an accident. Everyone thought it made sense. It was just a roar of a beast. It might be that there was nothing strange about the conflict between the strange beasts in this secret realm. But then, more and more roars of beasts came over, and this matter was a little different. It seemed that in an instant, all the strange beasts in the secret realm moved. Is this still an accident? Han Xuyao asked Huang Jie. Huang Jie was about to cry and said, something is wrong. Let's go back quickly. Yi Xiaotian said, don't be too anxious. We don't know what the situation is now. Wait a little longer. It's too late to wait any longer. Brother Tian, let's go back to the safe zone first and see what the teachers say. Huang Jie said. Yi Xiaotian thought it made sense and nodded. They returned the same way. But soon, they found something wrong. We didn't walk this far when we came here, how come the safe zone is gone? Wang Hao exclaimed. Now everyone was panicking. They were less than two kilometers away, and with their current speed, they could get back in less than a minute. But now they have been running for more than a minute and have not seen the shadow of the safe area. There are no classmates around, no teachers, and no safe area set up by the school here. What exactly is going on? Stop first, calm down. 
Yi Xiaotian reassured everyone to stop, but he was thinking quickly in his mind. Have they entered a fantasy world? Is it possible it's an illusion? Mu Bingyan said at this time. Han Xuyao said, it's unlikely. We were in a safe area before. How could there be an illusion? Perhaps, the location of this secret realm has always been changing. Just because the safe area remained unchanged before does not mean it will not change now or in the future. Mu Bingyan said calmly. Then what should we do now? Han Xuyao stopped arguing after hearing that it made sense. Yi Xiaotian said calmly, now we can't tell the direction, so we can only keep going forward. But what if there is danger ahead? How about we activate the help device in the bracelet? Huang Jia suggested. Yi Xiaotian said, it's useless. If there is really a problem here, activating the bracelet help device will definitely be useless. If there is no accident in the secret realm, then there is no need for us to activate it now. Huang Jia nodded after hearing this. I believe brother Tian, I listen to you. Wang Hao said immediately. I also listen to brother Tian. Han Xuyao said. Mu Binyan and Chang Xiaoxi both nodded and said there was no problem. Yi Xiaotian identified a direction and said, let's go this way now, Huang Jia, give everyone agility attributes and watch the time. Chapter 110 Now that the situation in the secret realm is unknown, they can only use their strength to the maximum. Everyone, we may be facing huge dangers now, so we must always maintain the best condition. I will give you attribute increases later, don't be surprised, just bear it silently and get familiar with it. Yi Xiaotian warned in a solemn voice road. Yi Xiaotian took out his staff and started to use his talent skill deer and crane's blessing. Soon, they were surprised to find that in addition to the agility attribute, their main attributes and physical fitness had increased five times. This is a dual attribute designated increase. Mu Bingyan and the others were all shocked. Fortunately, Yi Xiaotian greeted them in advance and did not lose his composure. Now they finally understand why the Demon City Awakening University values Yi Xiaotian so much. Sure enough. Even though they had made all kinds of guesses before, they were shocked when they actually saw this scene. As a result, their team, with the lowest strength, has reached B-level Awakeners. And he is a B-level Awakener with no shortcomings. Although they cannot be like Yi Xiaotian, who can have balanced development of all attributes. But the difference is not too big. And compared to other freshmen, the advantage is even greater. With the strength of their team, if they can't survive in this secret realm, then the other freshmen will be even more so. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian's own attribute increase multiplier was even higher, reaching seven times. Also more comprehensive. Even the agility increase was covered by his own deer and crane blessing. After all, he can increase his agility attribute seven times, while Huang Jie can only increase his agility attribute three times. At this time, he must ensure the safety of the team, so he can only maximize his strength. As for the others, with three times the agility attribute, they can only make do with it. He couldn't reveal any more secrets. Okay, stop staring, get familiar with it quickly, and then move on. It's good that they can find a safe zone now. If not, then we can only investigate what happened in the secret realm first. The roar of the beast continued and became more and more profound. It seems that more strange beasts have been alarmed. This made Yi Xiaotian and the others more and more confused, how could this happen? What's going on? What happened in the Fatian secret realm? Why do you feel that the alien beasts in this secret realm have collectively rioted? Huang Jia muttered. Yi Xiaotian was moved in his heart and asked, Have you ever heard of riots by strange beasts in the secret realm before? No, but it's possible that we are not qualified to know this information. Huang Jie replied. Yi Xiaotian said, It doesn't make sense. How can something like the riot of strange beasts in the secret realm be a secret? This is a life-threatening situation for every clan member who enters the secret realm. Everyone should know about it. Han Xuyao also said with a suspicious look on his face. Huang Jia also frowned and said, What does Brother Tian mean? I think someone did it on purpose. Yi Xiaotian expressed his guess. 
He thought about the situation in the temporary training camp, and it was the same. As soon as they entered the actual training ground, an alien beast riot broke out. That was a plan implemented under the leadership of alien races and with the cooperation of heretical organizations. Are they going to do this again in this secret realm? Then who did it? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiaotian snorted coldly and said, it's hard to say. Now the four famous schools are jointly organizing summer camps. There are tens of thousands of teachers and students gathered here. It's easier said than done to find the enemy. What's more, without real evidence, we can't even find the person to suspect. Are we just going to let him go like this? Chang Xiaoxi frowned. Yi Xiaotian said helplessly, this is the only thing we can do now. What we have to do now is to protect ourselves. The school will take care of other things. Everyone felt helpless. Although they have suspicions, they don't have any evidence. Not even a suspect. How to manage? It is better to ensure your own safety first, that is the first priority. Be careful. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian warned, and then asked everyone to hide under the big tree next to them. The situation was really unclear, so he couldn't be careless. Have you discovered the enemy? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiaotian looked up at the sky and said, It's not clear yet, but it will come soon. Just as Yi Xiaotian finished speaking, the sky suddenly darkened, and a large area of darkness roared past the sky. Are those eagles? Wang Hao asked in a trembling voice. They were so densely packed that they covered a large area of the sky, and they were definitely tens of thousands in number. In this secret realm, encountering such a group of people is definitely a nightmare. How could this happen? Such a large ethnic group is alarmed. What happened? Huang Jia murmured to himself. He didn't believe that such a large group would come out and sweep across the sky together if no one deliberately alerted them. This is unreasonable. This must be a conspiracy of alien races. Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian said, everyone, please be careful. No matter what happens now, we can only save ourselves. Fortunately, after he used the highest level talent skill deer and crane blessing, on himself, his mental attributes have soared to hundreds of thousands of points. So his perception was greatly enhanced, and he could sense many dangers in advance. That is the B-level alien beast group Tianjin Eagle, whose claws are like Tianjin. If you get it, you can use it to refine Tianjin equipment directly. Such a group, and there are tens of thousands of them, how much damage will it cause? Huang Jia was still muttering to himself. He was really scared. If they were discovered by the Tianjin Eagle group just now, they would probably not be enough to fill their teeth. B-level group. Wang Hao was also stunned. No wonder he felt a great sense of oppression just now, it was such a powerful group. Huang Jia said, yes, Tianjin Eagle is a B-level group, and their leader can even reach S-level strength. It is definitely one of the strongest groups in Feitian's secret realm. But groups like this usually stay in one side of the secret realm and will not be dispatched easily. Huang Jia added. Mu Bingyan said, it seems that they were driven out by something. But what kind of existence can drive out such a tribe? Yi Xiaotian said in a deep voice. Everyone was silent for a while. For such a tribe, even if an SS-level strongman came, he would not be able to drive them out, right? So there is only one explanation, that is, the alien race took action. Only the means of the alien race can make such a tribe unite and go out. Brother Tian, what should we do? Even such a terrifying tribe has been dispatched. We may encounter some powerful beasts next. Huang Jie's voice was a little trembling. He was really scared. Chapter, 11 Calm down first, don't panic, move forward first, maybe these are just our own imaginations. Yi Xiaotian quickly calmed everyone's emotions. If this fear spreads, there is no need to fight this battle. They will collapse first. After hearing what he said, Huang Jie and the others calmed down a little. Boom! At this moment, the ground shook, and the fat man Huang Jia sat on the ground. Damn it! Yi Xiaotian cursed angrily, this god, is he against him? 
he just finished speaking, you don't have to be so anxious to slap him in the face, right? Wang Hao pulled Huang Jia up. Set up the formation. Yi Xiao Tian shouted softly, asking everyone to prepare for battle. Wang Hao asked Huang Jia to stand up, and then he and Chang Xiaoxi activated their talent skills and pushed to the front of the team. In the middle were Han Xuyao, Mu Bingyan and Huang Jia, and at the end was Yi Xiao Tian. Now we don't know which direction the enemy will come from, so we can only protect the pure superpowers in the middle. But soon, Yi Xiao Tian found the enemy. Huge body, golden claws, a pair of wings spread out for dozens of meters. I saw its wings vibrate slightly, and then an endless strong wind blew, and countless plants were destroyed. The trembling sound just now was the sound of him landing. This strange beast looks at least more than ten tons. Is this a sky golden eagle? Huang Jia saw this strange beast, and his throat kept sliding up and down. Didn't the group of sky golden eagles pass by? How could a sky golden eagle fall here? And looking at this head, this posture, this sky golden eagle is at least B-level or above. In addition to his claws comparable to the sky gold, and the natural advantage of flying, how to fight this battle. Yi Xiao Tian said, Calm down, there is only one, we can deal with it. How to deal with it? This is a B-level sky golden eagle, and its actual combat power is definitely far beyond us. Huang Jie's voice was a little trembling. Fatty, calm down. If I say yes, then yes. Believe me. Yi Xiao Tian said. He waved the Tianjin sword and said to Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, protect them. After that, he slashed at the golden eagle. The powerful force compressed the air, forming a three-meter-long sword energy, which slashed at the golden eagle. Cry. The golden eagle cried disdainfully. A tiny human dared to show his sword to him. Damn it. It flapped its wings, and endless winds blew up. The whirlwind was like a knife, rolling towards Yi Xiao Tian. Wherever it passed, all the objects were scraped into powder. Even the space was rippling, as if it was about to be torn apart. Swish. The sword energy passed through the whirlwind and tore it in half. Continue to slash at the golden eagle. Puff. The sword energy approached, and the golden eagle stretched out its wings to block it. Tian Jining snorted, as if he didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian's sword energy had some ability. Are the young people nowadays so awesome? Looking for death. Tian Jining spoke human language. Can actually speak human language. Yi Xiao Tian was also surprised. Huang Jie said, many high-level exotic beasts can speak human language. Fuck it. Han Xuyao raised his staff and shouted to everyone. Without saying a word, a thunderbolt hit Tian Jinying. Then the flying snow covered Tian Jinying. Tian Jinying was stunned. Didn't they say that this group of human students were all freshmen? Are the freshmen of human beings so strong now? Just now, he felt that he could wipe out the opponent with his double-wing whirlwind. Unexpectedly, the opponent's sword energy actually cut his double-wing whirlwind, and if he hadn't used his wings to defend in time, he might have been injured. This is unbearable. Just as he was about to lose his temper, countless thunder and snow fell from above his head. It was so refreshing. It was just like drinking a bottle of cold beer on a hot day. The comfortable feeling made people have no desire to move at all, and they wanted to lie down and enjoy it. This is how the golden eagle feels now. The tingling feeling when thunder comes is very exciting. The snow and ice come, so cool. It's a good time to cool down on this hot day and sleep peacefully. The golden eagle was so comfortable that he almost moaned. Crack. Suddenly, all the fantasies of the golden eagle disappeared, and a severe pain surged into his heart. He was injured. The severe pain made the golden eagle completely sober up, and his eyes were full of anger. Damn ants. The golden eagle was completely angry. A few small ants dared to hurt his great golden eagle. He flapped his wings, and the hurricane rose. Countless debris blew towards Yi Xiao Tian and the others, flying all over the sky, making them unable to open their eyes. Yi Xiao Tian raised his staff and directly threw a fire bomb at Tianjinying. 
Then another flame dragon fire ring was thrown over. Then a sea of fire rose under Chen Jinying's feet. Chen Jinying was almost stunned. How could these guys attack so quickly? This is not normal. He quickly flapped his wings to make himself fly. Then, he felt a sinking sensation on his back, and then a sharp pain on his head spread all over his body. This is a trick. Chen Jinying didn't understand how he died until he died. It is a powerful B-class Sky Golden Eagle, the king of the sky. It was just hunting a group of human freshmen, how could it die so inexplicably? Shouldn't they be wiped out by a whirlwind of wings? Huang Jia was stunned. Damn, is their team's combat power so awesome? A B-class Sky Golden Eagle was killed by them just like that. Little fatty, I told you, this Sky Golden Eagle is not as powerful as you think. Yi Xiao Tian jumped off the Sky Golden Eagle and stood with his sword drawn. Then he collected the body of the Sky Golden Eagle. It can't be kept, otherwise it will definitely attract more strange beasts. Huang Jia was about to check it, but he didn't even get a hair. The reason given by Yi Xiao Tian was very reasonable, so he couldn't even say a word. He always felt that something was wrong. Brother Tian, you are so powerful, worthy of being a Sky Golden Saber, it's sharp. Wang Hao gave a thumbs up. This is all Xuyao's credit. Yi Xiao Tian pushed all the credit to Han Xuyao, because she bought the Tianjin equipment. Han Xuyao smiled and said, I dare not take credit for it. Huang Jia was so confused by them that he didn't know what he wanted to do. Mu Bingyan was actually a little skeptical, but Yi Xiao Tian pushed all the credit to the Tianjin equipment, what else could she say? The Tianjin war knife is indeed very sharp, and the Tianjin eagle is very powerful, but the B-level one is even more powerful. But whether its body can block the Tianjin war knife is really an unknown. Before there is more evidence, she can only stand on Yi Xiaotian's side. Chapter, 112 Brother Tian, that is a B-level sky golden eagle. Its strength is at least comparable to our B-level high-level awakened ones. Huang Jia said. Yi Xiao Tian said calmly, you feel wrong. This is just a C-level high-level alien beast, and its strength is equivalent to an ordinary B-level awakened person. And we are under siege. It's not like you don't know Xu Yao and Mu Binyan's magic, which has a certain control effect. Besides, you have increased their agility attributes, greatly increasing their spell casting efficiency. The Golden Eagle hasn't reacted yet. Is that so? Huang Jia looked suspicious of life. What Yi Xiao Tian said made sense, but he always felt that something was wrong. Okay, don't think so much. You are just dominated by the fear in your heart. The Golden Eagle is not as scary as you think today, so stay calm. As long as we are not besieged by a large number of Golden Eagles, we won't have any problems. Yi Xiao Tian said with a serious face. Is that so? Huang Jia opened his mouth, but no words came out. Just when they were attacked, the same scene happened in other places in the secret realm. The student team of Moda University was attacked. The student teams of three other prestigious schools were also attacked, causing them all to suffer heavy losses. This time the attack came too suddenly. They had just entered the secret realm and had just left the safe area not long ago. They were not mentally prepared at all. In addition, their strength cannot be compared with Yi Xiaotian's team. Fortunately, they did not leave the safe zone too far, so the teachers in the safe zone immediately dispatched rescuers. Otherwise, the consequences would be really unimaginable. These students now simply do not have the strength to fight against these strange beasts alone. The scene was very chaotic. When the teachers gathered all the freshmen under their supervision, they discovered that many students were missing. What's going on? Find them for me. You must find them back for me. A senior leader from the school roared. They also realized something was wrong, the attack came too fast. These students have no opportunity to grow at all. He almost came in with a white body and was attacked on a large scale without even killing a low-level alien beast. It was not in line with common sense. Although every change in the secret realm is very big. But in the history of reincarnation, this situation has never happened before. 
they also immediately began to suspect the alien side. The tragedy of the training camp is still fresh in my mind. How could they forget so quickly? The square formation of Shanghai University. Even director he had to show up. This time the matter was too serious. Where is Yi Xiaotian? Who has seen them? Director He's face was so gloomy that he was about to drip. It was the first time that the four major universities jointly held a summer camp. It had just begun and it suffered a head-on blow. This is a conspiracy, a huge conspiracy. Now director he just wants to know where Yi Xiaotian is and is he injured. This was the focus of attention above. If something happened here, he couldn't imagine what the consequences would be. Once a talent like Yi Xiaotian grows up, it can make a legion's combat effectiveness explode. Such talents are not as important as Haokian. In fact, for a large-scale war, Yi Xiaotian is more important than Haokian. After all, the only thing Haokian can change is himself. What Yi Xiaotian can change is countless people. Although top combat power can become a huge threat, foreigners dare not act rashly. But Yi Xiaotian can continuously consume the power of aliens on the frontline battlefield. Today the situation on the battlefield has changed. Both talents are indispensable. Strictly speaking, no one is more important than anyone else. It can only be said that on different occasions, both of them are equally important. Now, because of their negligence, such a talent who may be able to change the future war situation may die here. How could he not be anxious? Director He, I didn't see Yi Xiaotian. I don't know where his team went. After hearing what he said, a teacher quickly replied loudly. Teacher, I just saw Yi Xiaotian's team going in that direction. They didn't go for too long, they were only two to three kilometers away at most. One classmate replied. Yi Xiaotian has become everyone's focus from the outside. After entering the secret realm, many students naturally continue to pay attention to him. Some even plan to take advantage of this opportunity to have a personal relationship with Yi Xiaotian. Impossible, we have searched a 10-kilometer radius, and no trace of them has been found. The teacher from Mata University said loudly. Director he said, are you sure you have searched all the areas within 10 kilometers? Yes, director he, I'm sure. Because we came in not long ago, the students were not far away. As soon as the incident happened, we organized a rescue, covering a radius of 10 kilometers. Because according to our judgment, even the first group of students to leave cannot leave the safe zone for 10 kilometers. The teacher continued to explain. Director he naturally would not doubt this teacher. But why did he say that there was no trace of Yi Xiaotian and the others? Neither the teacher or the student can lie, so what is the problem? Director he did not have time to say more, and began to move forward frantically in the direction pointed out by the student just now. As an S-level strongman, and also blessed with agility-type talent skills, his speed has reached an extreme. Like a phantom. In just a moment, he had already run back and forth several times in a 10-kilometer area. As the teacher said, there was no trace of Yi Xiaotian and his team, and no trace of fighting. What happened, where did they run to? How could they disappear without a trace in such a short time? Soon, the directors of several other colleges came over. Old He, what happened? The old acquaintance Guang consultant asked. Li Chunxing and Jiang Ling were also there. This time, the four major colleges jointly held a summer camp, and the general person in charge was the four of them. In order to ensure the safety of the summer camp, the four of them did not slack off and entered the secret realm in person. But unexpectedly, the accident still happened. Yi Xiaotian and his team are missing. He sure's face turned black, this is his incompetence. What? They all cried out in shock. Yi Xiaotian is one of their most promising talents, but they didn't expect that something like this would happen so soon. According to the student's identification, they left from this direction, but according to the time, they couldn't have left too far. But we have extended the search distance to 10 kilometers, and still haven't found any traces. I judge that an accident has occurred. He sure said in a deep voice. He was almost going crazy. Chapter, 113. Wow, 
I increased my agility by five points. Huang Jie suddenly exclaimed. He attracted everyone's attention. Then they all checked. Ah, I increased my spiritual attribute by five points. Han Xuyao said with a look of surprise. Chang Xiaoxi said with a depressed look, Sister Yao, why did I also increase my spiritual attribute by five points? She is a melee fighter, and physique and strength are what she needs most. Even agility is what she needs. It is the spiritual attribute that is the most useless to her. At least for her at present, it is useless. Han Xuyao comforted, it's okay, this is all random, maybe next time you increase your strength or physique. Chang Xiaoxi felt better after saying this. Wang Hao also said with joy, I also increased my agility. Although it is not physique and strength, Wang Hao is already very satisfied. At least he will not be as miserable as Chang Xiaoxi. Brother Tian, what did you increase? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, I also added agility. Han Xuyao looked at Mu Bingyan again and said, Bingyan, what attribute did you add? Mu Bingyan's answer was very concise, agility. Hey, the four of you added agility, but my Xiaoxi added spirit. Is it because the Sky Golden Eagle is an agile flying beast? Han Xuyao guessed. Yi Xiaotian said, there should be a reason in this regard. The Sky Golden Eagle is a typical agile beast. After that, it should be strength. How can this attribute reward be agility and spirit? Wang Hao said with a puzzled look. Huang Jia said unhappily, this thing is random, but this is only in the S-level secret realm. Otherwise, how can it be so easy? You mean that this attribute drop reward is related to the level of the secret realm? Yi Xiao Tian grasped the key. Huang Jie nodded and said, Yes, as we all know, the higher the level of the secret realm, the higher the probability in points of attributes dropped by killing the alien beast. So that's it. Yi Xiao Tian looked like he had learned something new. To be honest, what Huang Jie said can only be regarded as common sense knowledge for awakeners, but Yi Xiao Tian and his friends have no way to know it. This is the benefit of going to college. If you don't get into college, you will never know this knowledge in your life. But we are lucky. The first alien beast we killed dropped attributes, and all of them dropped them. Huang Jie said with great emotion. I had only heard of the S-level secret realm before. He didn't expect that the drop rate of this S-level secret realm would be so high. No wonder they say that the secret realm is a strategic resource for mankind. Now it seems that this statement is not exaggerated. Let's go and find the next alien beast. Wang Hao was very excited. Let's go. Huang Jie no longer had the fear he had before, but his face was full of excitement. Yi Xiao Tian was extremely speechless. Huang Jie was so scared before that his face turned pale, fearing that the strange beast would come to him. But now, he has to take the initiative to find the strange beast. Sure enough, interests drive people's hearts. When the interests are big enough, even if they are facing the threat of death, they cannot be stopped. The whole team is full of passion, and no one will stop because of fear. Yi Xiao Tian did not discourage their enthusiasm, and walked in the team with a stick in one hand and a knife in the other. Still the same, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi opened their talents and skills and walked in front, and the three superpowers were protected in the middle. And Yi Xiao Tian, the all-round player, walked at the back. In this position, he can support any position at any time. In this team, his four attributes are the highest, his talent is also the highest, and his various talents and skills are also very complete. Although his strength cannot be fully demonstrated to everyone, in this position, even if some actions are very unusual, they can be well concealed. However, his perception was also released, searching for positions in all directions. If there was any danger, he could find it in the first place. At this time, they didn't know that Director He Sure of Magic City University was going crazy because of their disappearance. After they came in, the secret realm could not communicate with the outside. Only when the secret realm was opened again half a month later could the communication channel between the inside and the outside be established. In other words, all the things happening in the secret realm now are unknown to people outside. 
so they can only rely on themselves in this place. And the secret realm cannot be opened inside. This is also for safety considerations. If this secret realm can be opened from the inside, what if it is opened by alien beasts? The means of alien races are endless, and no one dares to take such a risk. So on Blue Star, all regular secret realms can only open the portal from the outside. This can eliminate some unknown risks. Whoosh! Suddenly, Yi Xiao Tian heard a voice. Stop! He quickly asked the people in front to stop moving forward. Brother Tian, what's wrong? Wang Hao was a little nervous. Yi Xiao Tian never made a mistake every time he found it. But they didn't hear any movement at all. Could the gap not be so big? Yi Xiao Tian replied, Is there any movement ahead? Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi quickly formed a battle formation. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were also ready to attack. Huang Jie was hiding behind, silently acting as his assistant. Yi Xiao Tian listened to the sound in front of him, getting closer and closer. Suddenly, his eyes widened. This was actually a rabbit like beast. Is this a nice rabbit? Huang Jie's eyes widened, looking at the beast in front of him, with an incredible look on his face. Ice rabbits are considered low end species among the beasts. They are snow white and can spit ice arrows from their mouths. The attack of ice rabbits is not strong. The only feature is that they reproduce very quickly. And it is a gregarious beast. If you see an ice rabbit here, there must be a large group of ice rabbits around. Huang Jia was not afraid, but it was a pure accident. Why is there an ice rabbit here? Huang Jia exclaimed. Shouldn't ice rabbits appear here? Wang Hao was also confused. Originally thought that there was another big danger coming, but unexpectedly, he would encounter a rabbit. Is this food delivered to your door? Huang Jia said, This is the Fatian secret realm, an S-level advanced secret realm with countless flying beasts. Don't you think it's out of place for the ice rabbit to appear here? I think it's normal. After all, flying beasts also need to live, and the ice rabbit is the perfect beast. Yi Xiaotian said. Huang Jie. What you said makes a lot of sense, and I'm speechless. Chapter, 114. Click. The ice rabbit didn't care so much. When he saw the enemy, he immediately shot an ice arrow at Wang Hao. Wang Hao was confused, what does this mean? Do you think I'm easy to bully? Wang Hao raised his shield, and then slashed at the ice rabbit with his long sword. The ice rabbit let out a scream and finally fell to the ground. Wang Hao was a little confused. So easy. If you are so weak and dare to challenge yourself, you are really looking for death. Unfortunately, no attribute points are dropped. Brother Hao, the meat of this ice rabbit is delicious. Put it away quickly. We will have a roasted whole rabbit later. Huang Jia shouted. As soon as he finished speaking, whoosh, whoosh, they were surrounded. Seeing the ice rabbits all around him, Huang Jia was a little stunned. Are they coming to the rabbit warren? But he wasn't afraid. No matter how many rabbits there are, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the grade of the ice rabbits is too low. Most of them are F grade, with a few E grade. Those who can reach D grade are already rare. So he is very confident. No matter how many such strange beasts come, they will be their meal. Moreover, this ice rabbit is not only delicious, but it can also give them attribute points. After all, no matter how low the level is and how low the drop probability is, once the quantity increases, you will always be lucky. It's just that if you have tripophobia and encounter this situation, it won't feel so good. Several superpower users have applied defensive magic to themselves. Although the attack of these ice rabbits is very low, their numbers are considerable, so they cannot be careless. Protecting yourself is the top priority at all times. This is the first rule of survival for superpowers on the battlefield. In an instant, countless ice arrows were shot at them crazily. These ice rabbits are really irritable rabbits, and they will immediately take action if they disagree with each other. This time, even Huang Jie didn't look at him, but started to attack. 
Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi used their innate skills to kill everyone as if they were in a deserted place. Yi Xiaotian, on the other hand, would float beside Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan from time to time, protecting their safety. After all, defensive magic will collapse if it is attacked too much. Every time Yi Xiaotian flashes by, he will reap the life of an ice rabbit. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan began to prepare large-scale magic. This kind of large-scale magic is useless against high-grade strange beasts, as it is too scattered. But it couldn't be more suitable for dealing with strange beasts like the ice rabbit. Thunder. Frozen for thousands of miles. Both women let out a roar, and countless thunder and ice covered the surrounding area. Except for where they were standing, everything within a hundred meters radius was covered by their magic. One person on the other side, the cooperation is perfect. Obviously, they already had a plan before taking action. Yi Xiaotian was strolling around the two of them, and an ice rabbit rushed up after spitting out ice arrows. He was chopped down by Yi Xiaotian with one knife. Han Xuyao was a little stunned by the flowing movements and elegant figure. Stop looking, your eyes are about to fall out if you look again, kill the enemy quickly. Mu Bingyan reminded Han Xuyao quickly when she saw Han Xuyao was motionless. Han Xuyao was not embarrassed and said, Bing Yen, isn't brother Tian handsome? Mu Bing Yen was speechless, how do you want me to answer? Say he's handsome, and then compete with you fairly? Mu Bing Yen ignored Han Xuyao, raised her staff, and activated the point kill mode. Ice arrows shot out from her staff, and then an ice rabbit died under her ice arrows. Han Xuyao didn't lose her lust anymore. She threw out a series of thunder and lightning techniques, and all the ice rabbits that hit were only beheaded. Huang Jia also killed very hard. It was rare for him to encounter a group of low-level beasts. How could he not take this opportunity to exercise his killing ability? Although there were countless ice rabbits around, the large-scale magic technique used by Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan just now killed 90% of them. The remaining ice rabbits were wiped out by them in just a moment. Get rich, get rich. Huang Jie kept mumbling. Yi Xiaotian asked doubtfully, Huang Jie, what do you mean? Brother Tian, the meat of this ice rabbit is very delicious. It can be said that it is rare to find. We have killed so many now. If we get it outside, we will definitely be able to sell it for a lot of money. Huang Jie explained with a smile. At the same time, he continued to throw the corpses of ice rabbits into the reincarnation space. Such a good thing cannot be wasted. Yi Xiaotian's head was full of black lines. Damn it, you may come from a noble family, but how could you be so excited over a few dollars? And brother Tian, this ice rabbit is a strange beast. Although it is the lowest level, its flesh and blood also contain spiritual energy. If it can be eaten for a long time, it can also increase attribute points. Really? Yi Xiaotian said a little bit. High-grade exotic beasts are full of treasures, and he knows this. Flesh and blood can be used to increase attribute points if eaten directly. Skeleton sinews can also be used to refine various equipment. But if the lowest level alien beast like the ice rabbit also has such an effect, it's a bit fake, right? Huang Jie said, of course, I am talking about long-term consumption. If it is just one or two meals, it will naturally not have this effect. Yi Xiaotian immediately understood the meaning. Although the ice rabbit is a strange animal that lives in groups, it is hard to find because of its low grade. Once it is discovered, the group will be wiped out. After so many years of sweeping, it is really hard to find one outside. We have encountered so many. Once we take them out, we can really make a lot of money. Huang Jie chattered. Yi Xiaotian said unhappily, have you ever thought about keeping them for yourself? Huang Jie said, of course I want to. Such good things can't be bought with money. Then why sell it? Yi Xiaotian said puzzledly. Huang Jie looked at the others, hesitant to speak. Yi Xiaotian understood what he meant and said, don't worry, as long as it can improve our strength, we will use it ourselves first. Really? Now it was Huang Jie's turn to be surprised. Yi Xiaotian said, Of course, although we are short of money now, 
we are even more short of resources that can improve our strength. Money can be earned, but resources are not so easy to get. Brother Tian, your idea is absolutely correct. Money is only a thing outside of the body. Only strength is the first priority. Don't worry, after the school officially starts, we can go to work part-time to make money. Huang Jia said. Part-time job. Yi Xiao Tian was confused. Huang Jia said, yes, college students like us can go to major organizations for part-time jobs at any time. They are very welcome. Chapter, 115 After listening to Huang Jie's explanation, Yi Xiao Tian understood immediately. I didn't expect that students from Shanghai University of Science and Technology could actually work part-time in organizations such as the Night Watch Army and the City Guard Army. It was incredible. After all, these organizations are one of the strongest guarding forces in mankind and are also regular armies. It was hard for him to believe that such an organization would recruit temporary workers. Everyone cleaned up and collected all the ice rabbit bodies. This exotic animal meat, whether you eat it yourself or sell it, is a big harvest. What a pity, not many attribute points were added. Wang Hao suddenly sighed. Yi Xiao Tian said angrily, just be content. Yes. Wang Hao was an open-minded person, so he did not continue to dwell on this issue. Huang Jia said at this time, Brother Tian, how about we take a rest first and eat something before leaving? Wang Hao also strongly agrees with this proposal. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan and saw that they had no objection, so he said, Okay, let's take a rest. Chang Xiaoxi said with great discernment, I'll go outside and observe. After she walked away, Wang Hao suddenly said, Brother, should I also go outside and observe? Yi Xiao Tian looked at him and said nothing. Huang Jia said at this time, Brother Hao, go ahead. I will roast the meat and send it to you later. In a place like this, it is natural to place sentry posts, otherwise if the enemy comes, they will die without knowing it. And next, they will have barbecues and other things, which will make it easier to attract enemies. Originally, barbecue would be inappropriate in this situation. But everyone is consciously ignoring this. Everyone says that the meat of the ice rabbit is very delicious, but they have never eaten it and want to try it. Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan may have tasted it, but they want to eat it even more. Yi Xiao Tian is confident in his own strength. With the explosion of various talents and skills, he was not afraid of even S-level beasts, so he did not stop them. After all, it was rare to see Han Xuyao swallowing saliva, so naturally she had to fulfill her wish. Brother Tian, sit down, I'll do it. Huang Jie called to Yi Xiao Tian and started to work by himself. Yi Xiao Tian was a little surprised. He originally thought that Huang Jie came from a wealthy family and would be a young man with food to eat and clothes to stretch out his hands. But I didn't expect that this guy was very knowledgeable about this dish. It seems that he didn't get this fat while lying down. Huang Jia explained, Brother Tian, I won't talk about other things, but when it comes to eating, to be honest, I am quite knowledgeable. I like to eat, and I also like to study eating. Are you still studying cooking? Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused. They want to study cooking because they have no other choice. It's a bit puzzling that a young man from an aristocratic family like Huang Jia can also study cooking. Huang Jia said, in fact, anyone who loves food will study how to cook. After all, only if you learn it yourself can you eat good food every time. After hearing this, Yi Xiao Tian gave a thumbs up and said, I admire you. This is a ruthless person who is willing to spend time on cooking just for the sake of a bite to eat. It is estimated that his parents spent a lot of time thinking about this. I'm a foodie who pursues my goals. Huang Jia said confidently. Mu Bingyan rolled her eyes. Han Xuyao said, Little fat man, I'm really curious about how you survived to this day. It's a miracle that your parents didn't beat you to death. Sister Han is wrong. Not only did my parents not hit me, but they also supported me very much. Huang Jia said proudly. Impossible. Han Xuyao denied. If Huang Jia was really a loser, it would be okay for his parents not to care about him. 
but it turns out that Huang Jia is not a waste. So before he awakens, his parents will never leave him alone. In this dangerous world, coming from an awakened family, but pursuing eating as his lifelong pursuit, any parent would probably hang him up and beat him. So Huan Xuyao felt that Huang Jia was a tough talker and was lying. Huang Jia said, everything I said is true. Anyway, my parents treat me in a free-range mode. Han Xuyao looked at Mu Bingyan and wanted to ask her, are all of you awakening aristocratic families and training younger disciples like this? Mu Bingyan shook her head, expressing confusion. Okay, don't worry about this. Is it true? Is it that important? Maybe his parents are different from other people's parents? Yi Xiaotian said. Han Xuyao said, what's the difference? Don't they all hope that their sons will become dragons and their daughters will become phoenixes? In the past, when there was no great change in the world, everyone felt that reading good books was the only way out for their children. After the great change, everyone felt that awakening good talents was the only way out. As for awakening good talents, in addition to the influence of bloodline, there is also early training. Look at this little fat guy again. Wang Hao is strong, but he is really fat. Why do I think that if he can exercise in the early stage, he can even awaken higher level talents? What Han Xuyao said makes sense. Yi Xiaotian said, but in the final analysis, it is the power of blood that ultimately determines the level of talent. You see, Wang Hao has been strong enough, but he has only awakened a C level talent. But you can't deny that Wang Hao's ability to use a bottle of B level awakening spirit liquid to upgrade his talent to S level must have something to do with his physique. Han Xuyao said. This, Yi Xiaotian couldn't explain. As they were talking, the aroma had already drifted over. Han Xuyao didn't want to talk about this anymore. She stared at the rabbit meat that Huang Jia had roasted and swallowed her saliva. It smelled really good. Fatty, can we eat it? Han Xuyao walked to Huang Jia and squatted down and said. Huang Jia smiled and said, It's almost done. Wait a little longer. As he said that, Huang Jia took out a bunch of seasonings from his reincarnation space. I say, Fatty, you are really well prepared. Han Xuyao couldn't help but said in surprise. Others go out hunting and bring all kinds of things to assist in the battle. This Fatty, on the other hand, brought a bunch of seasonings. It's really hard to refute the fact that he is a professional cook. After sprinkling the seasonings, the aroma became even stronger. Even a calm person like Mu Bingyan couldn't help swallowing his saliva. Huang Jia said proudly, How is it, very fragrant, right? Yi Xiaotian swallowed his saliva and said, Fatty, have you eaten it before? I've eaten it once and I'll never forget it. It's a pity that this thing can't be artificially raised. Huang Jia said with regret. Yi Xiaotian said strangely, why not? This is just a low-level beast. It shouldn't be difficult to raise it. Even mid- and high-level beasts can be raised, but this ice rabbit can't be raised. It's a bit strange. Huang Jia said, let me put it this way. This ice rabbit is one of the most bred ones. The meat quality is completely incomparable. Do you understand what I mean? Chapter 116 the roasted meat of the ice rabbit was indeed very fragrant, making Yi Xiaotian and the others drool. After Wang Hao came back, he also ate without any image, shouting that it smelled good while eating. Looking at their eating, Huang Jia was very satisfied and said proudly, How is it, I didn't lie to you, did I? Everyone nodded, but Yi Xiaotian's face became strange. You didn't lie to us, the meat of the ice rabbit is indeed delicious, but for the strange beasts, it is probably the same. Yi Xiaotian sighed. He had guessed before that the aroma of the roasted meat would definitely attract the strange beasts around. But Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi had already patrolled the surroundings, so he thought it shouldn't be so fast. At least, they can finish this meal with peace of mind. But they didn't expect it to come so quickly. What's wrong, Brother Tian? Han Xuyao immediately became alert and stopped what he was doing. Others also reacted and quickly stopped, looking around vigilantly. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, You guys keep eating, I'll go outside to take a look. 
I'll go too. Han Shuyao said immediately. Yi Xiaotian said, no need, it's not a strong enemy, it's just a small thing. No, you want me to go with you. Han Shuyao insisted. Yi Xiaotian said helplessly, okay, you go with me, the others continue to rest here, we'll be back soon. The others originally wanted to go, but after being glared at by Han Shuyao, they had to give up. The two of them went there sweetly, and it was really a bit of a downer to follow them. Han Shuyao was immediately happy, and took Yi Xiaotian's hand and rushed to the direction where there was movement. What kind of strange beast is this? When Yi Xiaotian brought Han Shuyao to the place where there was movement and saw the appearance of the strange beast, Han Shuyao was a little dumbfounded. This strange beast is more like a ball, and on this ball, there are eyes and a mouth, and the mouth is very big. So ugly. Han Shuyao defined this strange beast. To be honest, this beast, in addition to not looking like a beast, is really ugly. What's more, there is drool in the huge mouth of this spherical beast. Too disgusting. Han Shuyao said nothing and directly threw a thunder spell at it. No matter what kind of beast it is, it is so ugly that it must die. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. They are all awakened, why are they still so naive? Even if this beast is ugly, it is still a beast. Can you figure out what it is before making plans? Although the initial feeling is that this beast is not strong, it can even be said to be very weak. But Yi Xiaotian always feels that it is not that simple. Boom! The thunder spell fell on the head of the spherical beast, and bursts of green smoke suddenly rose. The beast did not dodge and was hit by the thunder spell. Roar! After being hit by the thunder spell, the spherical beast roared, and then his spherical body began to swell. A moment later, a spherical beast that was more than ten times larger than before appeared in front of them, exuding a terrifying aura. What is this thing? Han Shuyao was confused. Yi Xiaotian was also a little confused. What on earth is this thing? It looks like the legendary beast Tao Tai, but it is not quite the same. At this time, the difference between them and Huang Jia, who came from a big family, was reflected. Their knowledge reserves are simply incomparable to Huang Jia's. If Huang Jia was here, he would definitely be able to recognize what race this beast is and what special abilities it has. But they can only be in the dark. But one thing is certain. This is a beast. Then there is only one result, that is to kill the other party. Xu Yao, be careful, I will kill the other party. Yi Xiaotian told Han Xu Yao, and then rushed towards the spherical beast with a knife. When the spherical beast saw Yi Xiaotian, it jumped up angrily, like a huge ball constantly bouncing, looking very funny. But when the spherical beast fell and hit the ground, it exploded with the power of a high-powered bomb, a huge pit appeared, and the shock wave scattered. Yi Xiaotian was not prepared at first and was blown back by the shock wave. Brother Tian! Han Shuyao exclaimed, raised his staff, and a thicker thunderbolt hit the spherical beast. The spherical beast saw the thunderbolt and roared continuously. It seemed to be saying that it was the thunderbolt that hit it before. It just wanted to find delicious food and didn't want to be an enemy, but someone attacked it invincibly, so it naturally had to fight back. Yi Xiaotian shouted, Xu Yao, I'm fine, don't come over. Yi Xiaotian stabbed his long knife into the ground and stabilized his figure. Unexpectedly, the attack method of this beast would be like this. Hit people. Once it misses, it will cause a huge shock wave to attack the enemy. Sure enough, knowing yourself and the enemy can ensure victory in all battles. If he had known the attack method of this beast from the beginning, he would definitely not have suffered this loss. Fortunately, the grade of this beast was not high, only A level. If it was an S level beast, he would have been injured just now. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian felt his body sink, and an invisible pressure pressed down on him. What the hell is this? Gravity talent skill. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused again. What the hell is this? Bounce and hit people, shock waves hurt people, and then gravity suppression. Xu Yao, don't come over, this beast can also suppress gravity. Yi Xiaotian reminded Han Xu Yao again. 
Upon hearing the ability of gravity suppression, Han Xuyao's face changed suddenly, and he quickly pulled away. At this time, Wang Hao and others heard the noise and rushed over. They thought it was a small problem before. But the loud noise behind made them unable to sit still, so they hurried over to help. What's going on? Wang Hao's voice came before he arrived. Han Xuyao said, hurry up and help brother Tian, be careful, the other party has a talent skill in gravity suppression. Wang Hao paused when he heard it. Then he resolutely activated the talent skill and rushed towards the spherical beast. Chang Xiaoxi was not willing to lag behind, and was about to help, but was stopped by Wang Hao, Xiaoxi, you stay here to protect the three of them. Chang Xiaoxi had no choice but to stay. There were only three psychics left at the scene, which was indeed a bit dangerous. Little fatty, what kind of monster is this? Han Xuyao asked Huang Jia hurriedly. Huang Jia observed it carefully for a while, then shook his head and said, I haven't seen it either, and there is no record of it in the book, but it looks like a Tao Tai. Is this what a Tao Tai looks like? Doesn't it look like one? Mu Bingyan asked doubtfully. It does look a bit different, and Tao Tia's innate skills are not related to gravity, so I'm a bit confused. Huang Jia said uncertainly. Never mind, let's kill it first. Han Xuyao said very straightforwardly. Chapter, 117. Kill it first. Han Xuyao took out the magic wand and prepared to take action. Fuck, what the hell is going on? At this time, Wang Hao exclaimed. Everyone looked over. At some point, the one spherical beast in the field had become two. But it can be distinguished that the second spherical beast is smaller. The two beasts madly hit Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao dodged frantically. The ground was blasted into big holes one after another by the spherical beasts, and the air waves hit the surrounding plants constantly tumbling and shattering. The momentum was very terrifying. How could this happen? Han Xuyao and the others were dumbfounded. When Yi Xiaotian was alone, there was only one beast. Wang Hao went up, and then two beasts appeared. If they took action again, would the beasts become more and more? Little fatty, what kind of beast is this? Han Xuyao asked Huang Jia. Huang Jia cried and said, Sister Xuyao, I really don't know. I've never heard of it. This Fatian secret realm is too bad. It's supposed to be a Fatian secret realm, but why are there only some weird land beasts? Han Xuyao complained. Huang Jia whispered, Sister Xuyao, the group of golden eagles we saw before was at least tens of thousands. Is it time to worry about this now? Han Xuyao glared, and Huang Jia didn't dare to refute. He just wanted to tell Han Xuyao that this secret realm is still dominated by flying beasts. Now there are two spherical beasts, will the gravity suppression be doubled? Chang Xiaoxi said at this time. Huang Jia said, we haven't entered the gravity field yet, so we don't know. Then ask brother Tian. Han Xuyao said. No. Mu Bingyan hurriedly stopped him. Why? Han Xuyao asked Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan didn't say anything, Huang Jia explained for her, we don't know what the innate skills of this beast are yet, nor do we know how many individuals this clone can split into. Once we alarm this strange beast now, it will split into more clones, which will be bad. Han Xuyao heard it and it made sense. Then what should we do? Han Xuyao said anxiously. Sister Xuyao, don't worry, let's observe it first. Huang Jia said. Han Xuyao suddenly said, no. I have attacked this beast before, and it doesn't seem to have split into clones. Ah, uh, is that so? Huang Jia was a little confused again. Could it be that as long as you don't get close to it within a certain range, it won't split into clones? Huang Jia muttered. Han Xuyao said, we will know if we continue to attack. Huang Jia thought it made sense, so he nodded in agreement. Maybe the trigger mechanism of the clone of this strange beast is the number of enemies around it. As long as you don't get close to a certain range, this mechanism will not be triggered. I hope this speculation is correct. Boom! Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were both a little embarrassed. 
the ability of this beast was too weird. It bounced very well, jumped high, and then fell down. And it was unknown what level the skin of this beast was. It was very tough. His B-level Tianjin knife was hit, but it bounced back. How to fight this? He didn't have any problems after all, his attributes were there. No matter how much the spherical beast hit him, it couldn't really hurt him. But what should Wang Hao and the others do? Seeing Wang Hao fleeing there in a panic, Yi Xiaotian's mind turned frantically. This beast can actually split. Is this the same as his second soul? Looking at the strength of the second beast, it is indeed slightly weaker than the first, but it doesn't seem to be half as weak. It seems that it is not a magical power like the second soul. The duration of this kind of split must be limited. Howzi, hold on for a while and see how long the split of this beast lasts. Yi Xiao Tian shouted to Wang Hao. Okay, brother Tian, I'm fine. Although Wang Hao was hiding in a bit of a mess, he was still not in any danger at this stage. After all, a stronger beast was dealing with Yi Xiao Tian. At this moment, suddenly, there was a buzzing sound in the space. Then Wang Hao's figure stagnated, and the slightly smaller spherical beast directly hit him. Puff! Wang Hao vomited blood and retreated. At this moment, Han Xuyao's thunder technique arrived. What was the situation just now? Why did Wang Hao's figure suddenly stop? Chang Xiaoxi said anxiously. Huang Jie said, it should be that the beast has activated a new talent skill. If there is no mistake, it is still gravity suppression. You mean, both spherical beasts have the talent skill of gravity suppression? Han Xuyao said in surprise. Huang Jie said, if there is no accident, it should be like this. How can we fight this? Han Xuyao looked bitter. Mu Binyan didn't say anything, raised the staff, and a piece of ice and snow fell towards the spherical beast. It seemed that he wanted to see if he could temporarily freeze the beast. The ice and snow condensed into frost and then into ice. The smaller beast suddenly stopped moving. Hey! It works! Huang Jia exclaimed. Then a crackling sound was heard, and the beast that had just been frozen broke free from the ice, and ice cubes fell to the ground. The small spherical beast seemed very angry, and its eyes were also cast towards the place where Han Xuyao and the others were hiding. Oh no, the beast has noticed us. Chang Xiaoxi exclaimed, ready to attack at any time. Crack! Han Xuyao's thunder art fell on the smaller beast again, and the electric snakes ran around, making the beast stiff for two seconds. It's a good idea. Han Xuyao said with surprise, Bing Yen, let's cooperate. Mu Bing Yen also saw it, nodded, and cast the magic again to freeze the smaller spherical beast, and then when he broke free from the freezing, Han Xuyao's lightning magic also arrived. The two people joined forces to control the smaller beast for at least three seconds. In this time period, it was enough for the two of them to cast this small single magic. But this magic has almost zero damage to the beast, so they have to find another way. But fortunately, Wang Hao is not in danger for the time being. The big spherical beast was so anxious that it turned around, but there was nothing it could do. Wang Hao stood up again. Brother Hao, are you okay? Huang Jia asked loudly. Wang Hao said, it's okay but the defense of this beast is too strong. Our attacks are useless against them. Even Yi Xiaotian's B-level Tianjin war knife couldn't break the defense of the spherical beast, let alone him. Facing such a beast, they could only hide. Haozi, you retreat first. Yi Xiaotian was relieved when he saw Wang Hao stand up again, and hurriedly asked him to retreat first. Anyway, he couldn't help much if he stayed here. Instead, it would distract him. Chapter, 118 If Wang Hao stayed here, he would only cause trouble for Yi Xiaotian. And the ability of this spherical beast seemed to be that the more enemies there were, the more excited he would be. So Yi Xiaotian also thought about letting Wang Hao withdraw first and test it. Sure enough, knowledge is the most valuable. If they knew what kind of beast it was from the beginning, and knew the innate skills of the beast, they would not be so confused until now. Wang Hao did not understand what Yi Xiaotian meant, and said, Brother Tian, 
I can still hold on. Yi Xiao Tian said, this is not a question of persistence or not. This beast is very strange. I want to test it first. You go back first. If you stay here, I will be distracted. Really? Wang Hao was a little unconvinced. Yi Xiao Tian said, don't worry, I can handle these two beasts. Seeing this, Wang Hao did not stay for long and immediately withdrew from the battlefield. Han Xuyao saw him coming back and immediately said, Haozi, what's going on? Why are you back? Wang Hao said, Brother Tian asked me to come back. He said that this strange beast is strange and asked me to come back so that he could test it again. Test it? What does that mean? Han Xuyao was a little confused. Wang Hao said, I don't know much either, but Brother Tian said that if I stay there, it will distract him. You can't just not help, Bing Yen, let's launch the attack quickly. Han Xuyao said worriedly. Huang Jie stopped him and said, Sister Xuyao, wait a minute. What are you waiting for? Brother Tian is so dangerous alone. Han Xuyao got angry. Huang Jie said, Sister Xuyao, don't be angry first, look at the battle situation first and then make a decision. Han Xuyao looked at the battlefield, and then said with a puzzled look, where is the smaller strange beast? Huang Jie said, after Brother Hao left the battle, the smaller spherical strange beast disappeared. Brother Tian's decision was right. This strange beast is indeed very strange. Not only is its appearance very strange, but its ability is also very strange. Huang Jie explained. Bing Yan, you don't know what kind of beast this is. Han Xuyao looked at Mu Bing Yan. Mu Bing Yan shook her head and said, I don't know, I haven't seen it, and I haven't seen it in the book. The two people from the big family and the big base city didn't know, so Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi didn't know even more. As for Wang Hao, there's no need to ask. He even relies on government assistance for his own life, and there is no way to learn this knowledge. Don't worry, let Brother Tian try slowly, and with us watching here, nothing should go wrong. Huang Jie said. Fatty, if it's not you, of course you won't worry. Han Xuyao said unhappily. No, Sister Xuyao, look, Brother Tian is so relaxed against that beast, look at Brother Tian's body movements, so elegant, so handsome. Huang Jie said. Han Xuyao looked at Yi Xiao Tian, and then said, you still have some vision. Huang Jie's mouth twitched for a while. Mu Binyan rolled her eyes. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi looked at each other, as if they had known this would happen. They understood that even if Han Xuyao was angry, as long as she praised Yi Xiao Tian, everything would be fine. However, Chang Xiaosi still admired Han Xuyao. Although she was a face lover, she had to admit that she had a good eye. She immediately saw Yi Xiao Tian as a potential stock. It is said that fat people are potential stocks, but Yi Xiao Tian is a top-notch young meat. The guy next to him, with a sturdy figure, is more like a potential stock. But to be honest, she really didn't expect that Wang Hao could jump from a C-level talent awakener to an S-level. Look at Huang Jie, the little fat man. Sure enough, if it can be passed down, there is a certain reason. It is said that there is a fat man next to every protagonist. Is Yi Xiao Tian destined to be the protagonist? Chang Xiaosi shook her head. Xiaosi, what's wrong? Wang Hao asked when he saw Chang Xiaosi shaking his head. Chang Xiaosi said, It's okay, I just feel a little emotional. What emotion? Do you think Brother Tian is awesome? Han Xuyao heard their conversation and asked without turning her head. Chang Xiaosi rolled her eyes and said, Han Xuyao, can you stop talking about your brother Tian all the time? No, my brother Tian is so outstanding, how can I leave him? Han Xuyao said casually. You are really hopeless. Chang Xiaosi complained helplessly. You are just envious and jealous. Han Xuyao hit back. Chang Xiaosi said, Han Xuyao, you should be a human being. Okay, stop arguing, concentrate on watching the battle, and help Brother Tian at the critical moment. Wang Hao reminded. Han Xuyao immediately said, Yes, 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 you can't be distracted, and you must not let Brother Tian get hurt. 
It's all your fault, Chang Xiaosi. If brother Tian gets hurt, I won't forgive you. Chang Xiaosi. Forget about this fake sisterhood. Chang Xiaosi wanted to die. After more than ten years of sisterhood, at this moment, Chang Xiaosi has completely given up. There is no cure. Xiaosi, don't be sad. My brother of more than ten years was snatched away by her. Wang Hao looked like a fellow wanderer. After saying that, he took the opportunity to hug Chang Xiaosi's shoulders. Chang Xiaosi nodded first, then realized something was wrong, elbowed Wang Hao in the ribs, and warned, Just talk, don't touch me. Hey, what's wrong with you two? Huang Jia noticed their little movements. Nothing. Chang Xiaosi said flatly. Wang Hao covered his ribs, his face almost twisted with pain. Don't pretend, don't I know how much force you used? Chang Xiaosi exposed his little thoughts. Xiao Shi, this rib matter can be a big deal. I see that brother Hao is really injured. Huang Jia said quickly. Ah, uh, no way, I really didn't use any force. Chang Xiaosi was also a little confused. Huang Jie could be regarded as a little knowledge expert in their team. Xiao Shi, do you know that there are several parts of the human body that are the most vulnerable? Even with the smallest force, it may cause serious damage. Huang Jie said seriously. Really? Chang Xiaosi was a little anxious. Did she really hurt Wang Hao just now? Wang Hao, are you okay? I'm sorry, I really didn't mean it just now. It was just a subconscious reaction. Chang Xiaosi explained while stroking Wang Hao's ribs. Now, it was Wang Hao's turn to feel awkward. He didn't expect Wang Jie to be so good at making up stories. He just pretended to be pitiful and wanted to gain sympathy. He didn't expect Wang Jie to actually bring up the serious injury. Now Chang Xiaosi really believed it, what should he do? They lied to you. Mu Bingyan's voice rang in Wang Hao's ears, and his heart sank. He was finished. Chapter, 119 Chang Xiaosi, who was angry and embarrassed, pressed Wang Hao and beat him up, but Wang Hao didn't even dare to fight back. After beating up Wang Hao, she beat Huang Jia again, which was considered to be venting her anger. However, she was also measured in her attack and would not really hurt them. Now they are in the secret realm, under the crisis, if they get hurt again, they will be courting death. These two dogs are really hateful. Xiaosi, I really didn't lie to you. I was just hit in the ribs by the strange beast before, and it still hurts a little. Wang Hao explained with a little stuttering at this time. Originally, he didn't want people to know, but he was afraid that Chang Xiaosi would look down on him because of this. After all, Chang Xiaosi looked very angry. What if she ignored him directly in a rage? After that, he lifted up his clothes and asked Chang Xiaosi to prove that he was not lying. Fuck, brother Hao, aren't you pitting your brother? Huang Jie was no longer able to complain. He originally just wanted to lend a helping hand to Wang Hao, but now, he is in a difficult situation. Chang Xiaosi was unmoved, but Han Xuyao said, Xiaosi, you really misunderstood Wang Hao. Look at his ribs, they are all purple and blue. Chang Xiaosi took a serious look after hearing this. A little embarrassed, a little uncomfortable. Are you okay? Chang Xiaosi said after holding back for a long time. Wang Hao tidied his clothes and grinned, it's okay. Roar. At this moment, they heard a shrill roar of the beast and hurriedly looked towards Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian saw the B-level Tianjin war knife in his hand inserted into the mouth of the alien beast, nailing the alien beast directly to the ground. After being severely injured, the spherical alien beast let out a series of shrill screams. The body jumped up and down, as if it wanted to get rid of the restraint of the war knife, but the more he struggled, the more painful it was. Everyone took a breath of cold air. Such an injury, it's painful to think about it. Yi Xiao Tian was unmoved, watching the strange beast struggling constantly, a lot of blood covered the ground, and finally stopped struggling and died completely. This is war, a war between humans and aliens. Either you die or I live. There is no such thing as cruelty. As the teacher said, if you feel cruel, 
then you will die. In the race defense war, there is only winning or losing, no cruelty or not. Yi Xiaotian took back the sword from the corpse of the alien beast, and took the corpse of the alien beast back to the reincarnation space. Congratulations to the Awakener, killing the alien beast Tao Tai Defender, obtaining the A-level talent skill Gravity, obtaining the A-level talent skill Nightmare, and obtaining 6 points of physical attribute points. The reminder of the reincarnation system arrived as expected. Yi Xiaotian was a little stunned. This is fucking, getting two talent skills at one time, and they are both A-level. This is really a wave of wealth. And these two talent skills, you can tell at a glance that they were used by the alien beast before. Yi Xiaotian looked at his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Haokian. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Diamond Body Protection A Level, Berserker A Level, Bull Demon Power A Level, Strength S Level, Swiftness S Level, Deer and Crane Blessing SS Level, Constitution S Level, Dragon Elephant S Level, Gravity A Level, Nightmare A Level. Title, Novice Super God, after wearing it, you will get a 10 effect on all attributes. Constitution 51020, Strength 51830, Spirit 50631, Agility 50513. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skills, Explosive Bomb 1D Level, Star Flame Skyfall B Level, Fire Wall E Level, Resist Fire Ring E. Equipment, Hao Tian, Star Flame Staff B Level, Purple Star Vestment E Level. Magic Power, Second Soul. Life Essence, 1400930 Points. Reincarnation Points, 1003390 Points. Awakening Level, B Level Awakener. Although the Awakening Level is only B Level, his strength and combat power can be compared to S Level, or even surpass S Level. Specifically, he has never burst out with all his strength. After all, he has too many talents and skills, and he has not encountered an enemy that requires him to burst out with all his strength. The awakening level is determined by physical attributes. This level is actually very watery. So their teacher also warned them not to believe in the awakening level, because it is all false. At this time, Yi Xiaotian learned the real name of this strange beast, Tao Tai Protector. Brother Tian, are you okay? Han Xuyao and the others ran over and saw Yi Xiaotian standing still, and they were very worried. Yi Xiaotian came back to his senses. This time, the harvest was really huge. It also greatly improved his actual combat power. Two talents, gravity, talent can control the gravity multiples in a certain area. The specific range and multiples are related to the grade of the talent and the strength of the awakener. The other talent nightmare, is also called enemy's nightmare. When fighting against the enemy, the same number of clones can be differentiated according to the number of enemies. The strength and existence time of the clones are related to the grade of the talent and the strength of the awakener. This talent is somewhat similar to Yi Xiaotian's magical power, the second soul, but the difference is still very large. The second soul can exist forever and can continuously update various powerful equipment. But the clone is not, his existence is time limited. The more talent levels, the stronger the awakener's strength and the longer he can exist. And Yi Xiaotian can't prepare so many equipment for the clones he summoned temporarily. The most important thing is that the clone cannot exist independently. I'm fine, I just added 6 points of physical attributes, and I was a little absent minded. Yi Xiaotian forced an explanation. Ah, uh, you added six points of physical attributes, why don't I? Han Xuyao said with regret, do you have attribute point rewards? Others shook their heads to indicate that they didn't, only Wang Hao grinned and said, I also added six points of physical attributes. What's the matter? Why are only you two adding attributes? Did you participate in the battle? But that's not right, Xuyao and Bing Yan also participated in the battle, and I gave you talent skills, which is also considered participating in the battle. Why don't I have it? Huang Jie said with a miserable face. Okay, attribute point rewards are probabilistic, not 100% guaranteed. You have a bad character, who can you blame? Chang Xiaoxi said sarcastically. She still remembered that the fat guy had lied to her before. 
Huang Jie immediately put away his miserable expression and replaced it with a bright smile. This lady is really not easy to mess with. Although his talent is one level higher than Chang Xiaoxi, in terms of actual combat power, Chang Xiaoxi is far better than him. Chapter 120 Huang Jie was so angry that he couldn't say a word. He could only look at Yi Xiao Tian, hoping that he would save him. However, Yi Xiao Tian would not intervene in such matters. He was in a good mood now. With these two new talents, his strength would be taken to a new level. Although they were only two A-level talents, the effect of these two talents was very great. Whether it was the gravity talent or the nightmare talent, they were very practical in actual combat. Imagine what would happen if two people were fighting and suddenly the gravity of the opponent increased several times. At that time, Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao were both caught off guard by the gravity suppression and were knocked away by the spherical beast. With the nightmare talent, he no longer had to worry about being besieged. More importantly, he could use the essence of life to strengthen these two talents. Now it is A level. What will it be like when it is strengthened to S level or SS level? Even if there is enough life essence, he can strengthen these two talents to SS level. By then, how many times can his gravity suppression be increased? And what will the strength of the clones be? Yi Xiao Tian is not sure how high the upper limit is, but it is certain that it is definitely much stronger than the previous Tao Tai defender. The effect of the talent skill increases with the grade, and the gap becomes larger as the grade increases. Perhaps at the A level, it can only be increased by two or three times. But at the S level, it may be five or six times. Then at the SS level, it is more than ten times. Of course, the increased coefficient of the talent skill is not only affected by the grade of the talent skill itself, but also by the strength level of the awakener. But the biggest influence is the grade of the talent skill itself. So what Yi Xiao Tian wants most now is to save more life essence. Where does the life essence come from? Kill the beast. Have you rested well? Then continue hunting. Yi Xiao Tian is very excited now. He needs life essence, a huge amount of life essence. If he could strengthen all his talents and skills to S level, his strength would change dramatically. If he could strengthen all his talents and skills to SS level, he could dominate the world of reincarnation. In the world of the heavens controlled by the reincarnation tower, there is no doubt that talent determines everything. Brother Tian, wait for me. Huang Jia hurried to catch up, fearing that Chang Xiaoxi would trouble him again if he stayed. On the way ahead, Yi Xiao Tian led Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan in front, followed by Huang Jia, and Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi at the end. Next, they encountered several attacks from strange beasts, some alone and some in groups. But they were all dealt with by their team. Two days later. In these two days, teachers and students from the four major universities gathered together to prepare for emergencies. But these two days seemed very calm. It seemed that the riot two days ago was just an accident. On this day, they gathered together again to discuss the next things. It was impossible to go out, but they were unwilling to stay here and wait until the time was up. Just let the students take risks, they are worried about danger. It's really too difficult. You have seen the situation in the past two days, what should we do in the next ten days? Director Heesher spoke first. The other three directors all bowed their heads in thought, and for a moment, they didn't dare to say anything. These students who came in can be said to be the most talented part of Xia country this year. If they have an accident here, it will definitely be a huge loss for Xia country. Although there is now a Blue Star Human Alliance, the competition between countries has never fallen behind. The country that has more geniuses will get more resources. This kind of competition is benign and is what the senior human leaders of Blue Star are happy to see. Under this premise, they naturally don't want to fall too much because of this action. But if they stop here and don't take any action, then these Xia country geniuses will have a certain gap with the geniuses of other countries. At that time, what should be done with the global university competition? Every year, how to allocate resources, the ranking of the global university competition plays a decisive role. Now the talented freshmen from other countries have entered the secret realm to improve their strength. If they stay here, 
How will they explain to the top leaders of Xia country if they are defeated? No, we can't stay here any longer. We have to get them moving. Director Guang Gu said. But what if the incident two days ago happens again? Jiang Ling is a woman after all. In terms of courage, she can't compare with Guang Gu. Guang Gu said, we can't wait here all the time. Although half a month is not a long time, it is enough to open up a big gap in a place like the secret realm. Director He sure also nodded and said, I also tend to agree with Director Guang's opinion. Jiang Ling looked at Li Chunxing and said, Director Li, what do you think? Li Chunxing pondered for a while before speaking, we definitely can't wait forever. What we need to consider now is how to better protect these students. When Jiang Ling heard his words, she knew that the next action had been decided. However, each school has thousands of students, and there are nearly 20 students in total. How many teachers are there? What's more, no one knows what happened in this secret realm. The first day they came in, a riot of strange beasts occurred. This strange change made her feel uncertain. In fact, what she wanted to say most was to leave here immediately. But this is unrealistic. Perhaps, what happened two days ago was an accident. Director Guang Gu suddenly said. How sure are you? He sure asked. Guang Gu rolled his eyes and said, I'm not a divination, I'm just talking casually, how sure can I be? This damn guy always goes to work. If he said this wrong, he would have to take the blame. He sure looked disappointed. It's not that he didn't take the blame. But he thought Guang Gu had discovered something special. Li Chunqing said, there are too many students. It's impossible to protect them completely if they act separately. But if everyone acts together, it's not realistic. Director Li, what do you want to say? Jiang Ling was confused. Li Chunqing said, what I mean is that in any fight with alien races, there will be sacrifices. After this, everyone fell silent again. They all understood what Director Li Chunqing meant. Sacrifice is inevitable, but who to sacrifice can be chosen. It's just that this choice is too difficult to make. Chapter, 121 This decision is difficult to make, but it has to be made. The top four prestigious schools in the country include all the talents in the country. If these people are abandoned, Xia Kingdom will definitely suffer heavy losses this year. Behind each of the five most powerful men in mankind, there is a force. These five countries are the five pillars of the current Blue Star Human Alliance. The competition for resources every year is dominated by these five countries, and some other countries can only play soy sauce. As for Xia's strength, among the five great empires, it can only be regarded as average. This year, the Xia Kingdom gave birth to a genius monster named Haokian Great God, which gave the Xia Kingdom the capital to aspire to the top. It's a pity that so far, apart from knowing that Haokian is from the Xia Kingdom, nothing else is known. No one can guarantee whether Haotian is among the students of the four famous universities. If even he had an accident, the consequences would be. No one can afford it. However, if they cripple Haotian. They also cannot afford such consequences. So now they can only provide selective protection. They believe that because Haotian was so strong, his talent level must be high. Therefore, the first thing to protect is the students with high talent level. Then there are students with good backgrounds and good talents. The four directors are also action-minded. After making a decision, they start taking action. Although some students were frightened, under their strong request, no one dared to stay because the teachers had already dispersed. It may not be safe for them to stay. And what the teachers said makes sense. It may not be safe to stay here, but you may gain nothing. But going out is not necessarily dangerous, but there will definitely be rewards. As an awakened person, it is definitely not possible to live a comfortable life. Give it a try, they also know the truth of turning a bicycle into a motorcycle. And such an opportunity is really rare. I want to enter the S-level secret realm next time, but I don't know when it will be. It is said that the probability of dropping rewards from S-level beasts is very high. On the other side, Yi Xiaotian directly chopped off the head of a strange beast, 
and then very skillfully put the body of the strange beast into the reincarnation space. The reincarnation space is the personal space that every awakened person has. Depending on the strength of the awakened person, the size of the reincarnation space is also different. The reincarnation space of an F-level awakener is only 100 cubic meters, but the reincarnation space of an E-level awakener is 100 cubic meters. After that, with each awakening level, the reincarnation space increases tenfold. However, although the reincarnation space is large, the bodies of the alien beasts are also very large. The size of a B-level alien beast is tens of meters high and more than a hundred meters long, and it requires a lot of space. Awakened ones whose awakening level is not high enough really can't hold much. But Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation space doesn't have to worry about this problem. At least you don't have to worry about this problem for the time being. After all, his awakening level has reached B level and can be upgraded to a level at any time. Brother Tian, there is something going on here. At this moment, Wang Hao ran back and reported to Yi Xiao Oceanhui. Have you seen what kind of strange beast it is? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Wang Hao shook his head and said, It's not a strange beast, it's a student of our school, and it's an acquaintance. Acquaintances? Yi Xiao Tian was a little surprised. They didn't seem to have any acquaintances at Shanghai University, right? Oh, except Huang Jie's cousin Huang Wei. Could he be Huang Jie's cousin? Yi Xiao Tian guessed. Wang Hao shook his head and said, No, it's the guy who made rude remarks to you twice before, and his team. It's him. Yi Xiao Tian was very surprised. He didn't expect to meet this guy here. Han Xuyao's eyes shone brightly, and he said, I have long been unhappy with him being squeezed by him outside and in the safe zone. Now the opportunity has finally come. We have revenge and revenge. Yi Xiao Tian pulled Han Xuyao and said, Xu Yao, don't be impulsive. What are you afraid of? This is a secret realm, not outside. Han Xu Yao said without fear. This guy won't report to his parents when he returns, right? Han Xu Yao said with a suspicious look on his face. Yi Xiao Tian said dumbfounded, this is not a question of inviting parents or not, but we are now in many crises and it is too late to deal with strange beasts. How can we have the time to do these things? Upon hearing this, Han Xuyao felt that what Yi Xiao Tian said made sense, and said a little unhappy, okay, let's let this guy go this time, and then deal with him after we get out. Huang Jia said, Sister Xuyao, this Shen Ao is a direct descendant of the Great Awakening family in the Demon City, and his status is very important. Aren't you afraid of the Shen family behind him? Han Xuyao said with a proud look on his face, what do I have to be afraid of? I am a student of Shanghai University of Magic. Do the Shen family dare to rush into the school and cause trouble for me? Huang Jie. Is this still possible? Of course the Shen family would not dare to provoke Shanghai University. But it is impossible for Shanghai University to protect Han Xuyao for the rest of his life. A big family like the Shen family has too many tricks to get a college student. Although Han Xuyao has good talent, he is definitely not outstanding. Once she really confronts the Shen family, it is unknown whether Shanghai University will completely turn against the Shen family because of her. Most likely not. Although Han Xuyao was born in an awakening family, the Jiangqing Han family is definitely a small witch compared to the Magic City Shen family. Jiangqing Base City is just a small base city. But the Magic City Base City is an internationalized large base city. This difference is reflected in the family, that is, ten Han families are not as good as one Shen family. So in Shen Ao's eyes, Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao, who came from small base cities, are indeed bumpkins and country bumpkins. Although it sounds bad, it is not wrong. Sister Xuyao, listen to Brother Tian, let's go. Huang Jie persuaded. Of course, he would not directly say that it is best not to offend Shen Ao, otherwise it will be very troublesome. If Han Xuyao comes up with I don't want to eat this, it will be a headache. Let's go, where do you want to go? As soon as he finished speaking, a voice came from behind, it was Shen Ao. He walked out from the back with his team members, the joy on his face flashed, and then he returned to his poker face. 
Shen Ao, what do you want? Han Shuyao said angrily. Shen Ao glanced at Yi Xiaotian and the others and said, I didn't expect that you are still alive. It's such a pity. Watch your mouth. Wang Hao was also indignant. Shen Ao said, but it doesn't matter. There is still a long time to go. I believe this secret realm will not let me down. Yi Xiaotian's face changed slightly. This guy wanted them all to die in this secret realm. Chapter 122 Since time travel, Yi Xiaotian has always adhered to the principle of keeping a low profile. If others do not offend me, I will not offend others. But now, someone insists on riding on his head and acting wild, even endangering his life. This touched his bottom line. Classmate, I didn't recruit you, I didn't provoke you, why are you targeting me? Yi Xiaotian frowned. Shen Ao sneered and said, just because you come from a small place, this is original sin. I understand. Yi Xiaotian nodded. He came from a small place, but he directly occupied six places in the Demon City University. It's no wonder that these talented people from the Big Bay City feel uncomfortable. In other words, even someone with Shen Ao's status does not receive the same treatment as Yi Xiaotian. Why? This made him, Mr. Shen, very embarrassed. The family behind him was very embarrassed. It even made all the awakened aristocratic families in the Demon City lose face. And Shen Ao is just a microcosm. In other words, he was just the instigator. There is someone else who is really dissatisfied with him. No matter what the situation was, Yi Xiaotian had no reason to back down. He waved his hand and said, You guys should step back. Brother Tian, I'm coming. Wang Hao was the first to stand up and said. Before anyone else could express their stance, Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, Okay, you don't need to say anything. This is between me and them. As long as I don't take action, they won't be satisfied. I hate trouble, but I'm not afraid of trouble. If there is trouble, I can just solve it once and for all. Everyone could hear the firm consciousness in his words. Shen Ao had ridiculed him several times before, but he was still a little confused. Now, he finally understands. This contradiction cannot be resolved in one or two sentences. Only strength can make them surrender. If Shen Ao refuses to accept it, then beat him. If the family behind him is not convinced, then defeat the family behind him. What's the big deal? Isn't it just a top awakening family? So what if there are experts? What Yi Xiaotian is least afraid of now is the so-called Master Ruyun. Now he is a master like a cloud by himself. He has decided that in summer camp, he will go on a killing spree. After the summer camp is over, he will enter the reincarnation tower and blast through dungeons. Now that he has the capital, he no longer needs to keep a low profile. With strength, so what if it is more high profile? He held the sword in his hand, pointed at Shin Ao's group, and said, As long as any of you can defeat me, my team and I will quit the Demon City University. After hearing this, the first thing that showed on Shin Ao's and others' faces was not joy, but anger, boundless anger. What does Yi Xiaotian mean? Is this looking down on them? Does this mean they can't even take a blow from Yi Xiaotian? This is no longer a disparagement. This is an insult to them. What a huge insult. You are looking for death. On Shen Ao's side, a warrior with melee talent stood up. He also used the Tianjin sword. The B-level heavenly gold saber is the most suitable weapon for freshmen. Of course, the prerequisite is that you have money. Naturally, these legitimate sons from wealthy families don't have to worry about money. Therefore, B-level equipment has become their standard equipment. Boy, if you can take my sword, I will spare your life. The other party jumped out, pointed the tip of the sword at Yi Xiaotian and said proudly. Yi Xiaotian didn't waste any time. He directly raised the sword and struck at the opponent straightforwardly without using any moves. The clown. The other party roared, showing great disdain for Yi Xiaotian. As expected, he is a bumpkin from a small place, and he has no clue when it comes to fighting. That's right, country bumpkins like them, 
who have no knowledge in knowledge, cannot even guarantee the most basic living security. Where do you get the money to learn martial arts moves? What's more, in a small place, there is no advanced martial arts. He made a trick with his knife, then raised the knife at an angle and struck at Yi Xiaotian. Boom! Two swords collide. The terrifying power struck, and the family member felt as if he had been hit by a moving train. Puff! The family member vomited blood and flew away. Wu Yen! Mo Qian exclaimed, taking a few quick steps to catch Wu Yen. But as soon as his hands came into contact with Wu Yen, he felt a huge surge of force, flying out with him. With two bangs, two figures fell to the ground one after another, vomiting blood. One knife, just one knife, seriously injured one, and the other rescuer also suffered serious injuries. What kind of magical power is this? How could this country bumpkin be so strong? This unscientific. Aha. Aha. Two green rays of light bloomed on Imo Qian and Wu Yen, and their injuries were recovering at a speed visible to the naked eye. Soon, the two people who were vomiting blood stopped vomiting blood, and a lot of blood returned to their faces. Yi Xiaotian was so excited that he cast his eyes on a girl next to Shen Ao. It was the skill she used just now that cured Imo Qian and Wu Yen. This is a person who has awakened the healing talent, but I don't know what level her talent is. However, to be favored by Shen Ao and Mo Qian's team, his rank should not be low. Let's take a step back and say that even if her talent is of low grade, with the background of Shen Ao and Mo Qian, her talent can be enhanced. Healing talent is a very rare talent. Among a million awakeners, there may not be one awakener with healing talent. Therefore, every awakener with healing talent is very valuable. They are also the focus of training of the human alliance. Although the healing psychic has almost no combat power, it doesn't matter, as long as there is healing talent, that's enough. The grade is not high. It doesn't matter. Just strengthen it. Is the talent spirit liquid too precious? It doesn't matter, no matter how precious it is, it is not as precious as the life of the awakener. In the Blue Star Human Alliance, healing psychics generally do not take risks. They are all protected very well. They usually work in major hospitals. Even if there is a big battle on the front line and there are too many wounded to be transported in time, a field hospital will be set up behind the front battlefield to provide heavy protection. The working and fighting areas of healing psychics can only be safe places. Every death or injury of a healing psychic is a huge loss to the Blue Star Human Alliance. Yi Xiaotian did not expect to meet a healing psychic here. He has always wanted to get a healing talent, but unfortunately, he has never met one. The number of monsters he has killed is already an astronomical number, including in the Samsara Tower dungeon. But he has not encountered a monster with a healing talent. Not even an F-level one. Chapter 123. Compared to the healing system, the number of auxiliary systems is too much. That is to say, Yi Xiaotian has the abnormal auxiliary skill of Deer Crane Blessing, otherwise, the four famous schools would not value him so much. The importance of his auxiliary skill is even greater than most healing skills. But don't worry, he has already obtained such an awesome auxiliary talent skill as Deer Crane Blessing. Then he will definitely be able to get the healing auxiliary skill. With the supreme talent infinite growth, he has unlimited possibilities. However, when seeing the opponent's healing teammate, Yi Xiaotian's eyes still showed envy. If there is also a healing auxiliary in his team, it would be perfect. The number of members of a small team is about 5 to 8 people. The minimum is 5 people, because only with this number of people can the configuration of a team be complete. As for the upper limit of the number of people, there is actually no upper limit. The reason why 5 to 8 people are said is more because they are afraid that there are too many people and it is difficult to command in battle. After all, not every captain has the talent for command. Sometimes, too many people become a burden. Not every captain has the talent to command a large army. After research, the predecessors found that a team of 5 to 8 people is the easiest to command. Or the requirement for command ability is the lowest. Yi Xiaotian's team now has six people, and it is completely possible to add more people, 
but there is a position that must be reserved for a healing assistant. Now Yi Xiaotian has an idea, which is to dig the opponent's wall. See if he can pull this healing assistant into his team. After all, with the strength of Shen Ao and Mo Qian, it is really a waste to have a healing assistant. If Shen Ao and Mo Qian knew about this idea, they would probably vomit blood. What's your name? Yi Xiaotian asked the other party. Han Xuyao's face changed. What does it mean? In front of me, you actually flirt with other girls. Yi Xiaotian shook her hand to comfort her. Shen Ao and Mo Qian's faces changed drastically. This guy actually set his sights on Sun Yao, who was their favorite. They searched all over the magic city and finally found it. It hasn't even warmed up yet. Shen Ao stepped forward and stood in front of Sun Yao, proudly saying, Yi Xiao Tian, you dare to set your sights on Sun Yao, you are looking for death. Oh, so it's Sun Yao, what a good name. Yi Xiao Tian praised. Shen Ao's face was stunned, and then his handsome face flushed. Ha ha ha. Han Xu Yao and the others laughed when they heard this. Although the conversation was simple, it was full of humor. Puff. Even Mo Qian, Shen Ao's best friend, couldn't help laughing. His smile directly ignited the other laughing souls, and they all laughed. In their team, except Sun Yao, the others were Shen Ao's friends, all of whom were from the awakened families of the Magic City. If it wasn't too funny, they really wouldn't laugh. They had all held back at first, but after being led by Mo Qian, they really couldn't hold back. After all, they were not professionals. In such an atmosphere, Sun Yao's mouth corners also rose slightly. Beautiful. Huang Jia couldn't help but say, Brother Tian, work harder and dig her over. Wang Hao mocked, Little fatty, people should know themselves. Brother Hao, you don't understand this. Such a beautiful teammate is good even if it can only be a feast for the eyes. Huang Jia whispered. Little fatty, you look so wretched, what are you talking about? He told Han Xuyao directly that he didn't say anything good. Huang Jie said, Nothing, Sister Xuyao, I told the captain that our team is still short of a healer. You know, healing abilities are too scarce. Han Xuyao heard this and thought he was telling the truth, and nodded, It is true, then do you know what is the situation of this Sun Yao? This, I don't know either. This is not the real world, and there is no way to check it. Huang Jie said with a distressed face. If he were outside, he could still use his connections to investigate Sun Yao's social connections and background. But here, there is no other way except to ask Sun Yao herself. Just looking at the way Shen Ao and the others are protecting their children, they will definitely not let them get what they want. Brother Tian, beat them and snatch Sun Yao away. Huang Jie urged. Yi Xiao Tian was very upset and complained, Fatty, if you can't talk, just shut up. This is not the old society. You talk as if I am an evil person. Miss Sun Yao, let me introduce myself. My name is Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian greeted Sun Yao. Sun Yao nodded and said nothing. She had heard a lot about Yi Xiao Tian before, but this was the first time she had close contact with him. She didn't know what kind of character Yi Xiao Tian was, so naturally she didn't want to communicate more. Although Shen Ao and the others were very arrogant, to be honest, they were quite nice to her. Although she knew that Shen Ao and the others' purpose was because of her healing talent, who in this world doesn't look at talent? Yi Xiao Tian did not feel embarrassed and continued, Our team really needs a healing awakener like you. I hope we can become teammates one day. Yi Xiao Tian, I'll kill you. Shen Ao couldn't keep calm anymore. Although Yi Xiaotian had just injured Wu Yan and Mo Qian with a knife, which made him very afraid. But under the stimulation of anger, he didn't care about much. Raising the staff in his hand, a large piece of wind blade cut towards Yi Xiaotian. Shen Ao is an SS level wind type talent awakener. Among the freshmen of the same grade, his strength is absolutely outstanding. Unless he meets someone with a higher talent grade than him and a background not lower than him. It is possible to suppress him. But looking at the entire Xia country, there are really very few who can meet these two conditions. 
according to official data, there are no more than a handful of SS-level talent awakeners in the country. But who they are has not been announced. The information of each SS-level talent awakener is top secret. It's really that the destructive power of the heretic organization is too amazing. But even so, every year there will be top geniuses who fall into the hands of the heretic organization. After all, the confidentiality of the awakening ceremony is too poor, and the heretic organizations can still obtain certain information from various channels and then carry out precise attacks. Fortunately, the Blue Star Human Alliance also has countermeasures, so more assassination activities have ended in failure. This is also the biggest reason why the top leaders of the Human Alliance are unwilling to find out the identity of Houtian. Once the identity of Houtian is exposed, he will face endless assassinations from alien races and heretical organizations. Chapter 124 Faced with Yi Xiaotian's blatant poaching, Shen Ao finally overcame his fear and chose to attack Yi Xiaotian. He raised his hand and attacked Yi Xiaotian with a wind blade. Yi Xiaotian chopped the wind blade with a knife, and then he was in front of Shen Ao in a flash, and put the knife directly on his neck. Shen Ao only felt a sudden pain in his neck, and was immediately scared. He thought Yi Xiaotian was going to kill him. The pain in his neck and the feeling of blood oozing out. Death came, making him completely confused. His eyes were empty and dull. Mo Qian shouted, Yi Xiaotian, you dare. After drinking, he found that Shen Ao's head was still growing on his head and did not fall off, and he was relieved immediately. Yi Xiaotian said disdainfully, what am I afraid of? This is Fatian's secret realm, and it's normal for a few people to die. Why, you are allowed to set fire, but I am not allowed to light a lamp. Mo Qian was a little numb. Damn, what is this saying? Is there such a metaphor? Just by contacting Yi Xiaotian's cold eyes, Mo Qian knew that Yi Xiaotian was not joking. If you annoy him, he will really kill them all. They no longer doubt Yi Xiaotian's strength. Wu Yan is not a match for him. He didn't even catch the aftermath. If Sun Yao hadn't taken action in time, the two of them would still be lying on the ground. Just now, Yi Xiaotian split Shen Ao's wind blade with a knife, too lightly, without any pressure. What does this show? This shows that there is a big gap in their strength. No wonder Yi Xiaotian was able to become famous in Modi University on the third day of enrollment, and beat those seniors to submission. This is not a slack, but he is really capable. Those guys who said that the school let the seniors slack off should go to the brain department. He had no doubt that Yi Xiaotian really dared to kill them all. In this secret realm, it is normal for a few people to die. When they first came in, the secret beasts rioted and many people died. Not to mention the students, even the teachers died several times. At that time, they all thought that Yi Xiaotian and his team must have died. Unexpectedly, they met here. Don't forget, we have teachers to protect us. Shen Ao came back to his senses at this time and said calmly. With the identity and strength of their team, there must be teachers to protect them in the dark. Really? Then why didn't they come out? Yi Xiaotian asked. He had secretly checked before, and there was no one following Shen Ao and his team. In other words, at the beginning, there were people protecting them, but now, they have been separated. Yi Xiaotian didn't know what was going on, but he always felt that there was something wrong with this secret realm. Their team had only walked a few kilometers before, and in a blink of an eye, they couldn't find the way back. Now Shen Ao and the others should be in a similar situation. They must have been separated from the teacher who was protecting them. Or they were separated by the secret realm. We are from the Great Awakening family of the Demon City. How dare you touch us? Our family will never let you go. Shen Ao said again. In a hurry, all the coldness was thrown aside. If he died here, he would have nothing. So what? I killed all of you, who would know it was me? Yi Xiaotian said casually. Mo Qian and the others took a breath of cold air. Damn, just for such a small matter, you want to kill everyone, why are you so murderous? Yi Xiaotian, don't be impulsive, it's not worth it. Mo Qian had to speak. 
there is no deep hatred between us. It's just some minor verbal conflicts. There's no need to make it so serious. How about we each take a step back? Yi Xiaotian said disdainfully, why should I take a step back? What did I do wrong? Mo Qian opened his mouth, but couldn't speak. Just now, it was just a matter of words. You don't have to be so stubborn, right? Then we take a step back and apologize to you. Is that okay? But seeing Yi Xiaotian's knife on Shen Ao's neck, Mo Qian could only say helplessly. Yi Xiaotian said, what kind of compensation? What apology? Mo Qian felt a thick phlegm blocking his throat and almost suffocated. Pay money, we pay money. Mo Qian said very wisely. Yi Xiaotian said, do you think I'm stupid? I'll give you one more chance. If you don't, the next time you get the wrong answer, this person will suffer some physical pain. Mo Qian was anxious and said, then what do you want to compensate? Wrong answer. Yi Xiaotian said in a cold tone, and then turned the big knife in his hand, shook it, and slapped Shen Ao's face. Bang! The huge force hit, Shen Ao only felt a buzzing in his head, and when he regained consciousness, his head had hit the ground. Shen Ao fell to the ground with his head on the ground. There was a rumbling sound in his head, and his consciousness was in chaos. Yi Xiaotian stepped on Shen Ao, pointed the big knife, and said to Mo Qian, think it over. If you get the wrong answer next time, I will cut off one of his arms. After that, he turned around and asked Sun Yao, can the severed arm be healed? If the broken limb is still there, it can be cured. Sun Yao actually answered this question seriously. Mo Qian's eyes went dark. Where did this damn guy come from? Didn't he think about how much trouble he would have after he went out if he offended the awakened families in the magic city? How could he gain a foothold in the magic city in the future? Even Xia country didn't have a foothold for him. Although Yi Xiaotian was very talented, the magic city university paid a huge price to recruit him. But in comparison, the contributions made by the awakened families to Xia country were nothing. There was no comparison at all. At least for now. He believed that the Magic City University would not risk offending several of their awakened families to protect Yi Xiaotian. To take a step back, if they couldn't deal with Yi Xiaotian openly, couldn't they deal with him secretly? All in all, such a simple truth should be thought of by anyone with a normal brain. But it doesn't seem like Yi Xiaotian was pretending. He just slapped Shen Ao's head like a pig. I believe that after this incident, Yi Xiaotian and Shen Ao will definitely fight to the death. After today, if Yi Xiaotian doesn't kill Shen Ao, Shen Ao will definitely kill Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian, if you dare to hurt Brother Ao, I will kill you. Wu Yan said sternly before Mo Qian spoke. Yi Xiaotian sneered, Very good, your answer is wrong. Ah! Yi Xiaotian's long knife fell, and one of Shen Ao's arms was cut off. Shen Ao, who was still drowsy, let out a shrill scream. Chapter, 125 Yi Xiaotian's set of tricks completely stunned these noble sons of the magic city. They thought he was just talking, but they didn't expect him to really dare to cut off Shen Ao's arm. Even if Sun Yao was there to treat and reattach his arm. But the healing ability is not omnipotent, and it is impossible for him to recover completely in an instant. Moreover, the huge pain of having his arm cut off was not something that Shen Ao, a son of a prominent family, could bear. A shrill scream came out of Shen Ao's mouth, and blood seemed to be a fountain. Shen Ao's originally muddled mind also suddenly became clear. He immediately understood his current situation. Mo Qian and Wu Yan were all shocked and forgot to speak for a while. Sun Yao didn't need anyone to say anything, and directly cast a healing spell on Shen Ao's arm. A mysterious force pulled the broken arm together, and the bleeding stopped. Under the effect of the green light, his arm soon grew back, leaving only a white mark. If Yi Xiaotian's knife was not still bleeding, no one would believe that he had just cut off Shen Ao's arm. Yi Xiaotian's face was full of envy. This is indeed a magical world with such magical power. This is a completely severed arm, but it was connected just like that, and there was only a white mark on the wound. Apart from that, 
there was nothing unusual. He had no objection to saying that this arm had never been broken. You say, if this arm is broken ten or a hundred times, can it still be connected? Yi Xiao Tian suddenly said. This time, not only the people on Shen Ao's side were shocked, but even Yi Xiaotian's teammates were stunned. Sun Yao also opened her cherry mouth and said, I can't perform so many healing spells. This woman is really honest. Shen Ao even wanted to die, and his cold personality completely collapsed. Who can bear this? He wanted to die just after his arm was broken once. It's really unbearable to do it ten or a hundred times. Yi Shao Tian, we admit defeat this time. We will agree to any conditions you put forward. Mo Qian was really scared and quickly expressed his position. Shen Ao did not speak and wanted to insist a little longer, so as not to become a coward. Yi Shao Tian sneered and suddenly said to Shen Ao, How do you think you should apologize to me? Shen Ao was silent. Although his mind was a little confused before, he still knew the process of his arm being cut off. Isn't it because Mo Qian did not answer this question correctly? Now, Yi Xiao Tian threw this question to himself. If the answer is wrong, looking at his bloody sword, I am afraid that his arm will be broken again in the next moment. Thinking about the heart-wrenching pain, he never wants to taste it again. Sun Yao is yours. Shen Ao swore that after he got out, he must cut Yi Xiao Tian into pieces. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, Sun Yao is not a gift, why do you make decisions for her? Shen Ao was confused, what do you want? You should let Sun Yao make her own decision on this matter. Yi Xiao Tian added. Shen Ao stared at him, wanting to tear Yi Xiao Tian into pieces, but he couldn't do it. What is killing someone and destroying their heart? This is it. Yi Xiao Tian robbed their people, but asked them to join voluntarily. This is too much fun. Sun Yao is a person, not your property. You are not qualified to make decisions for her. Yi Xiao Tian said again. Shen Ao and Mo Qian all wanted to die. Han Xu Yao and Mu Bing Yan admired Yi Xiao Tian's methods. This man, if he didn't take action, it would be fine. Once he took action, it was thunderous and people couldn't find the slightest flaw. Even after leaving the secret realm, no one could say anything about this matter. After all, everything was voluntary, what did Yi Xiao Tian have to do with it? Although the process was a bit bloody, who knew? Shen Ao was forced by Yi Xiao Tian's eyes, and could only look at Sun Yao helplessly and said, Sun Yao, are you willing to join Yi Xiao Tian's team? Sun Yao did not speak, and remained silent. Mo Qian did not want to speak, because he did not want Sun Yao to leave this was a talent they had found after searching all over the magic city. But now, the situation is stronger than the person, and they have to reluctantly give up. But it doesn't matter, after leaving the Fatian secret realm, they can still snatch the person back. Let Yi Xiao Tian be proud for the time being. Sun Yao, Brother Ao's life is in your hands. Mo Qian walked to Sun Yao's side and whispered. Sun Yao looked up and looked at Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xu Yao, and she felt very complicated. If she followed her heart, she would certainly be willing to join Yi Xiao Tian's team. Not to mention anything else, just because there are three girls in Yi Xiao Tian's team, this reason alone is enough. She is the only girl in Shen Ao's team. Many things are inconvenient. But can this kind of thing be just her wishful thinking? She knew very well how powerful the power behind Shen Ao and Mo Qian was. If she joined Yi Xiao Tian's team now, it would be hurting others and herself. But now Yi Xiao Tian was holding a knife over Shen Ao's head. If she didn't agree, then all the pain Shen Ao suffered could be said to be given by her. So it was really difficult for her. Sun Yao, for Brother Ao, just agree to it. Wu Yan also came over at this time and said to Sun Yao. Sun Yao, don't worry, we will never cause you any trouble. This is my promise and Brother Ao's promise. Mo Qian added again. Sun Yao looked at Mo Qian and saw that he didn't seem to be joking, so she could only nod and said, Okay, I'll listen to you. Mo Qian smiled and said, Thank you, Sun Yao. People have to bow their heads under the eaves. Yi Xiao Tian, the killing god, really dares to do it, 
not just talk. Just now, when Shin Ao's arm was cut off and the blood splashed, his heart was tightened. He couldn't imagine if Shin Ao really died in Yi Xiaotian's hands, would the anger of the Shin family burn towards them. Forget it, Feitian's secret realm loses some benefits, it's better than being killed here by Yi Xiaotian. When they leave Feitian's secret realm, they have the final say. At that time, they can slowly settle the account with Yi Xiaotian. I hope that by then, Yi Xiaotian will still be as tough as he is now. Mo Qian was thinking about these things in his mind. Sun Yao agreed to join Yi Xiaotian's team and got Mo Qian's promise. Yi Xiaotian followed his promise and let Shen Ao go. Wu Yan stepped forward to help Shen Ao up and returned to his own camp. Yi Xiaotian, remember, the shame you inflicted on me today, I will definitely return it to you a hundredfold one day. Shen Ao said gritting his teeth. Yi Xiaotian raised the sword in his hand and said, Oh, really? Then I will kill you now to avoid your revenge. Chapter, 126 However, Yi Xiaotian didn't kill them in the end, because Mo Qian was afraid that Shen Ao would say something to seek death again, so he quickly pulled Shen Ao away. Yi Xiaotian put away his knife and said disdainfully, You guys ran fast. Sun Yao's eyelids twitched wildly, and she began to regret it. Is there really a future with such a reckless captain? Although Yi Xiaotian's strength was far beyond her expectations. But she really didn't think highly of Yi Xiaotian's style of doing things. Aren't you afraid that they will retaliate against you after they go out? After a while, Sun Yao couldn't help asking. Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay, I'm not afraid. By the way, let me introduce you. Soon, Sun Yao got to know the members of this team and knew what their talents and abilities were. The configuration of this team is very complete. No wonder Yi Xiaotian and his team can make such a big name. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian said so confidently, Sun Yao thought that Yi Xiaotian also had a great background behind him. Okay, since you are not afraid, I have nothing to say. My name is Sun Yao, you already know this, my talent is healing, and I only have one healing spell, which can heal external injuries and certain internal injuries. Sun Yao also introduced herself. Yi Xiaotian asked, your healing talent is very powerful, you can even heal broken limbs. Sun Yao said, it depends on the injury. If there is a missing part, it will not work. And the time of broken limbs cannot be too long. Also, the consumption of reconnecting broken limbs is very large, I can't use it many times. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, that's enough, our team will only suffer some external injuries at most. I was still worried before, now that you have joined, I am completely relieved. Are you so confident? Sun Yao said strangely. She didn't know where Yi Xiaotian's mysterious confidence came from. By the way, everyone thought you were killed before, but I didn't expect you to be still alive. Sun Yao said again. What do you mean? Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Why did they die? Was it a curse on them? Then after Sun Yao's explanation, everyone knew what was going on. We were also confused. We had only walked a few kilometers, and when we walked back, we couldn't find the safe zone. Yi Xiaotian said. Sun Yao said, this time the secret realm is really weird, and I don't know what happened. Did you encounter any strange beasts? Yi Xiaotian asked. Sun Yao shook her head and said, No, you are the first group of creatures we encountered after we came out. Creatures. Damn, can you change the term? That's not right. We have encountered countless strange beasts along the way. How come you didn't encounter any? Wang Hao said in disbelief. Then how should I know? Sun Yao said. Wang Hao looked at Yi Xiaotian and always felt that something was wrong, but he couldn't tell what was wrong. Han Shuyao held Yi Xiaotian's hand tightly, and they also felt that something was wrong. It doesn't make sense. Although Sun Yao just said that the casualties were not small, so far, no bodies of the dead classmates have been seen. It was just because they were not seen in the safe zone and were not found when they went out, so they were considered dead. But what if their situation was the same as Yi Xiaotian's team? What if these student teams missed them because the terrain in the secret realm suddenly changed? Sun Yao suddenly had a bad feeling. 
Could this team have a physique that would attract hatred? Otherwise, how could they encounter so many strange beasts? Otherwise, why would Shin Ao and the others not go looking for trouble with others, but only for Yi Xiao Tian? Okay, it's useless to say so much, let's keep going. It's better to encounter strange beasts. Without strange beasts, how can we get rewards? Yi Xiao Tian said calmly. Brother Tian makes sense. Wang Hao was the first to express his support for Yi Xiao Tian. Wang Hao, you took my lines and you have to change them in the future, do you know? Han Shu Yao said unhappily. Wang Hao quickly said that he would definitely change them. Others also said that there was no problem. Sun Yao was a little confused. Did this group of people have their brains stuck in the door? They are in such a bad condition, but they are still so excited. Don't they know how to write the word death? You know, in this secret realm, the most powerful beast is S level. Let's go, I don't believe it. My luck is bad. I have been doing good things since I was a child. How can my luck be bad? Huang Jia said in a high pitched voice. Okay, let me go. Shen Ao shook his hand and shook off Emo Qian and Wu Yan, then walked to the side and sat down. Panting, obviously very angry. Emo Qian and Wu Yan looked at each other, led people over, and sat down. Brother Ao, we can't beat them here. If there is anything, wait until we get out to talk about it, okay? Emo Qian advised. He was really scared. He knew Shin Ao's character too well. When he was stubborn, he didn't care. And what about Yi Xiao Tian? He was also a guy who didn't care when his brain was hot. He really didn't expect that Yi Xiao Tian would dare to cut off Shin Ao's arm. Although he had asked before, Sun Yao could treat it. But after the treatment, does it mean that the matter no longer exists? Doesn't he know that this will make him and Shin Ao a mortal enemy? But even so, Yi Xiao Tian still did it. At this time, if Shin Ao really went to trouble Yi Xiao Tian, once Yi Xiao Tian got angry, he would really kill him with one knife. Then, in order to silence them, he killed them all. Yes, Brother Ao, take a step back and the world will be wide open. Wu Yan also said. Shen Ao did not speak, breathing heavily quietly. You say, how can Yi Xiao Tian be so strong? Wu Yan suddenly said. His strength is definitely among the top ones among the freshmen. But even so, he was crushed by Yi Xiao Tian. He could feel how terrifying Yi Xiao Tian's strength was. Even so, Yi Xiao Tian had not used his full strength. As for how much strength he had used, only he knew. It stands to reason that everyone is in the freshman period, even if there is a little difference in talent, it is not so big. It can only be said that Yi Xiao Tian has an adventure that they don't know. Do you still remember Hao Tian? Mo Qian asked. Of course I remember. Wu Yan answered without hesitation. Who among the freshmen of this year can forget Hao Tian? Then you should also remember the few people who went to the dungeon with Hao Tian, right? Mo Qian said again. Wu Yan widened his eyes and said, What do you mean? It should be correct. Those who went to the dungeon with Hao Tian should be Yi Xiao Tian and his friends. Mo Qian said with a wry smile. He just guessed it. The only reasonable explanation for why Yi Xiao Tian's strength crushed them. Chapter 127 Understanding that Yi Xiao Tian and his team were teammates who went to the dungeon with Hao Tian, Mo Qian and the others understood why Yi Xiao Tian was so strong. Why was his team so strong? It turned out that he had the support of the great god Hao Tian. With the great god Hao Tian leading the team to go to the dungeon, the early advantages were indeed much greater than theirs. But so what, as long as they left the secret realm, the magic city would still be their world. At that time, a small Yi Xiao Tian would still be at their mercy. This shame must be washed away. Yi Xiao Tian started his journey again. Just as Sun Yao had guessed before, Yi Xiao Tian was completely a physique that attracted hatred, at least in this Faitian secret realm. But after a while, they attracted enemies again. Fuck, it's another group of Sky Golden Eagles. Wang Hao exclaimed. This time, they encountered a group of Sky Golden Eagles again, 
but the number could not be compared with the last time. The last group of eagles covered the sky and the sun, with a number of over 10,000. This time, the number of eagles is estimated to be only a few hundred. But for these students, this is already a very terrifying enemy. Hundreds of B-level and C-level sky golden eagles, Sun Yao was almost scared silly when she encountered them for the first time. It was Yi Xiao Tian who was quick-witted and pulled her to hide her figure. But soon they found that hiding was useless because the group of sky golden eagles had already discovered them. But in a moment, hundreds of sky golden eagles landed and surrounded their hiding place. There is no other way, we can only fight. Wang Hao and Xiao Xi, you two rely on the position of the cave to protect the few superpowers, and leave the sky golden eagles outside to me. Yi Xiao Tian ordered decisively. Brother Tian, I will help you kill them together. Han Xu Yao said immediately. How can you kill so many? Once you leave the cave, there are sky golden eagles all around, and you will die in a moment. Although Han Xu Yao and others have reached the standard of sea level awakeners in their main attributes. But the other physical attributes are too different. In addition to determining the corresponding active effects, the amount of attribute values also has passive effects. For example, strength, in addition to determining the warrior's attack power, also affects the warrior's ability to resist attacks. However, in addition to strength, the level of physical fitness also has a great impact. Unfortunately, Han Xuyao's two attributes are very low, and her resistance is also very poor. Even with Yi Xiaotian's innate skill deer and crane's blessing, it is useless. The base is too poor, even if it is multiplied tenfold, it is useless. But Yi Xiaotian is different, his four attributes have always been developed evenly. The four attributes of the main body have exceeded 50 zero zero points, even the second soul, the four attributes are more than 25 zero zero points. With the increase of auxiliary skills, there are not many threats to him from the Golden Eagle these days. Moreover, he has a bunch of other innate skills that can be amplified. It is because of the team that Yi Xiao Tian does not want to expose more. Otherwise, just an A-level innate skill Vajra bodyguard, can make the Golden Eagle unable to start these days. It's just that this kind of innate skill has an external effect, so he will never use it unless it is absolutely necessary. In fact, during this period, he has not used other talents and skills, and it is not unreasonable to use Deer and Crane's Blessing. One is that everyone knows Deer and Crane's Blessing, and there is no need to explain it. Another is that the current problem can be solved by Deer and Crane's Blessing. Vidra Body Protection has external effects, and in fact Bull Demon Power will also have external effects, and the body will undergo certain changes. The same is true for Dragon Elephant. Only strength, swiftness, and constitution, have no external effects. Now even the last three talents without external effects have not been used, not to mention that they will make people suspicious. In a word, in this secret realm, Yi Xiao Tian is not worried about safety at all. His biggest goal in this summer camp is to plunder more talents and skills. As for attributes, they are secondary. After all, attribute points can still be brushed in the Samsara Tower copy, but the drop rate of talent skills in the Samsara Tower copy is really touching. In his eyes, the hundreds of sky golden eagles in front of him were all talents and skills. If he killed these hundreds of sky golden eagles, he should be able to drop flying talents and skills. But how can you kill so many sky golden eagles by yourself? Brother Tian, otherwise we can hide here and defend and attack. Han Xu Yao suggested. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, No, don't worry, the sky golden eagles can't hurt me these days. Brother Tian, otherwise you should think about it again. I think what Sister Xu Yao said makes sense. Wang Hao was also worried. To be honest, he was not sure about facing so many sky golden eagles. If he went out alone, he would probably be torn to pieces by these sky golden eagles in less than three seconds. Yi Xiaotian's auxiliary talent is indeed awesome, but it is not awesome to this extent, right? What's more, his warrior talent is only C level. Even if his warrior talent is also SS level, but without basic attributes, what's the use of a high talent grade? All enhancements to talents and innate skills are based on the basic attributes of the body, 
and no one is an exception to this. Even the five supreme masters of mankind today are the same. Yi Xiaotian didn't waste time talking to them, and told Wang Hao, remember, protect them and guard this cave entrance. After that, Yi Xiaotian rushed out with a knife. His figure was very fast, like a shadow, and in just a blink of an eye, he had disappeared in a cave, and a few dozen meters away from them, a sky golden eagle let out a shrill scream. 1. Yi Xiaotian cut off the head of a sky golden eagle with a knife, and then put the body into the reincarnation. Fuck. Wang Hao cursed again. Brother Tian's speed is so fast, when did you practice it? After saying that, Wang Hao looked at Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao glared and said, You ask me, who should I ask? Puff. Huang Jia laughed. Han Xuyao said, Fatty, what are you laughing at? Nothing, I just smiled and didn't say anything. Huang Jia explained. No, you must have thought of something. Tell me now. Han Xuyao pointed her staff at Huang Jia. Huang Jia said with a wronged look, Sister Xuyao, I really didn't laugh at anything. I just thought it was great to see Brother Tian kill a golden eagle with one knife without any effort. Is that really the case? Han Xuyao looked doubtful. Yes, definitely, absolutely. Huang Jia raised his finger and swore. Han Xuyao still looked doubtful, but there was no evidence. He could only let him go for the time being. Chapter 128 Yi Xiao Tian has gone crazy. These B level and C level sky golden eagles are no match for him. The martial arts in the world are indestructible, only speed can't break. This sentence is not just talk. It is fully demonstrated on Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian's elegant speed is like a ghost and those sky golden eagles can't even touch the corner of his clothes. But every time Yi Xiaotian drifts, a sky golden eagle falls under his sky golden saber. His saber is originally a B-level sky golden saber, and the sky golden eagle's defense is not worth mentioning in front of his saber. There is no suspense in the result of such a battle. In the cave, a group of people have been dumbfounded, and they all opened their mouths, not knowing what to say. Now they have only one sentence in their minds. Brother Tian is mighty. Sun Yao, who has just joined the team, is even more brainless. Although Yi Xiao Tian has shown his super strength before, he beat Shen Ao and the others so badly that they have no temper at all and can only bow their heads and admit defeat. Even her, a healing psychic, was sent away. But the strength displayed by Yi Xiao Tian at this moment was completely different from what she imagined. This is completely a killing god. No, it should be a handsome and elegant killing god. Even, Yi Xiaotian had time to store the bodies of the killed golden eagles into the reincarnation space. Those golden eagles could only see that their companions were getting fewer and fewer, but they did not see a single body. So they still attacked Yi Xiaotian desperately. Unfortunately, it was useless. They could only attack Yi Xiaotian's afterimage. In just ten minutes, more than three hundred golden eagles had all fallen under Yi Xiaotian's knife. Yi Xiaotian stood on a tree, holding a golden sword. If he had another cigarette at this moment, the atmosphere would be even more perfect. Wang Hao and Han Xuyao came out of the cave and approached Yi Xiaotian carefully all the way, fearing that a golden eagle would suddenly appear and attack them. Came under the tree. Brother Tian, are you okay? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian came back to his senses, smiled, and said, What can happen to me? This time, I have gained a lot. How about your harvest? This time, Yi Xiaotian not only gained more than 100 points of physical attributes, but also gained two talent skills. One is the A-level talent skill Golden Sharpness, and the other is the A-level flying talent skill Eagle Soaring, that he has been thinking about. After Golden Sharpness, is activated, it can be used on weapons to increase the sharpness. For example, the B-level Tianjin War Knife in Yi Xiaotian's hand, after adding the Golden Sharpness skill, the sharpness of his War Knife can be comparable to the A-level Tianjin War Knife. What is the concept? That is to say, Yi Xiaotian's talent skill saved him 1 billion. And talent skills can be upgraded as long as there is enough life essence. 
And the talent skill eagle soaring, is even simpler, which is to give Yi Xiaotian the ability to fly. Of course, this skill will consume a lot of physical energy when it is activated. The higher the physical attribute, the longer the flight time. Strengthening and improving the talent grade can increase the flight height and reduce the consumption of flight. Yi Xiaotian looked at his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Haotian. Talents, Infinite Growth Advanced, Diamond Body Protection A Level, Berserker A Level, Bull Demon Power A Level, Strength S Level, Swiftness S Level, Deer and Crane Blessing SS Level, Physical Fitness S Level, Dragon Elephant S Level, Gravity A Level, Nightmare A Level, Sharpness of Gold A Level, Eagle Soaring A Level. Title, Novice Super God, After Wearing It, You Will Get 10 Effect on All Attributes. Physique 51062, Strength 51865, Spirit 50651, Agility 50576. Free Attribute Points, 2. Skills, Explosive Bomb 1D Level, Star Flame Skyfall B Level, Fire Wall E Level, Resist Fire Ring E. Equipment, Hao Tian, Star Flame Staff B Level, Purple Star Vestment E Level. Magic Power, 2nd Yuan Shen. Life Essence, 14145300 points. Reincarnation points, 10033900 points. Awakening level, B level awakener. The four attributes increased by more than 100 points, and the life essence increased by more than 100,00 points, which can be almost ignored. These two rewards still depend on the reincarnation copy. The addition of two A-level talent skills makes his capital even stronger. He now has a new plan. The second Yuanshan can just follow the team forward, and the main body can act alone. The opportunity is too rare. Whether it is talent skills, attribute rewards, or life essence, it is necessary to hunt a large number of exotic beasts. Although there are many alien beasts in the reincarnation copy, the probability of dropping is much smaller. He can't go to the front battlefield for the time being. So he seized the two months of summer camp and improved his strength as much as possible. Maybe after school starts, he can go to the alien battlefield. After Yi Xiaotian's reminder, Wang Hao and the others checked. Then they all exclaimed. My attributes have increased. Han Xuyao was the first to exclaim. My attributes have also increased. Chang Xiaoxi was also very excited. The others also said that their attributes had also increased. The one with the most complicated feelings was Sun Yao. Following Shen Ao and the others, I wasted several days, but I didn't encounter any strange beasts and didn't gain any attributes. But following Yi Xiaotian and the others, I gained more than a hundred attribute points in just half an hour. How can I compare? No wonder the people in Yi Xiaotian's team are so powerful. If the attribute points continue to grow like this, one day she can be as powerful as them. No, I am a healing psychic, which means that the number of times I can perform healing can be greatly increased. And once the awakening level is increased, the effect of the talent skills can also be improved. Now that I can regenerate broken limbs, can I bring the dead back to life and turn bones into flesh in the future? For a moment, Sun Yao was a little dazed. Sun Yao, let's go. Han Xuyao's urging voice came to her ears. Sun Yao came back to her senses and said, Here we are. The group continued to move forward. Didn't they say that there are precious materials in this secret realm? Why didn't I see it? Wang Hao said with a confused look on his face. Huang Jia said unhappily, Brother Hao, if it's so easy for you to see, is it still a precious material? Wang Hao had nothing to say. Yi Xiaotian walked silently in front, and at this time he had changed to the second soul. He had found an excuse to go out for a while, and then summoned the second soul. The main body had gone alone. Without Han Xuyao and Wang Hao around, Yi Xiaotian could start his crazy hunting plan. Chapter 129 Sun Yao has been holding a question in her mind. She was so shocked before that she forgot to ask. Now, she wants to ask. Captain, how did you do it? Sun Yao didn't believe that the gap between them would be so big. Yi Xiaotian answered casually as he walked, 
what, how did you do it? Although he is now the second soul, there is no difference between him and the original body, both mentally and physically. But his strength is not as good as the original body. The second soul is a magical power that is much more advanced than the clone technique. He led the way, with several superpowers in the middle, and Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi behind him. There are at least three or four hundred golden eagles in that group. The worst ones have C-level strength, and nearly half are B-level. How did you kill them all? Sun Yao asked again. Yi Xiao Tian said, the martial arts in the world are indestructible, only speed can't break. What? Sun Yao was stunned. She had never heard of this before. Why does it sound a bit unfathomable? Yi Xiao Tian explained, it means that no matter how powerful martial arts are, there are ways to break them. But the fastest speed cannot be broken. Sun Yao was even more confused. What does this mean? Is it related to the question she asked? Yi Xiao Tian continued, let me ask you a question. If you can't even catch up with the enemy, how can you defeat the enemy? Also, two superpowers fight each other. One can cast two superpowers in one second, while the other can only cast one superpower. Who do you think will win? Sun Yao said seriously, it depends on the strength of both parties. If the strength gap is too big, even if ten superpowers can be cast in one second, it will be useless, right? Then can't the one with fast casting speed run? Yi Xiao Tian asked back. Sun Yao was instantly stunned by the question. Yes. In this case, agility is the most important attribute. So you mean agility is the most important? Sun Yao asked again. And Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan also pricked up their ears and listened carefully. They also saw Yi Xiaotian's performance before. They didn't know how Yi Xiaotian did it. But now, they seem to have some idea in their hearts. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, It can't be said to be the most important, but it is relatively important. Or, the agility attribute has been ignored by most people. It seems that this is really the case with Sun Yao and the others. The first thing everyone considers is the main attribute. Then they will consider the attribute of physique. Physique represents endurance and the durability of fighting. If the physique is not good, it will be exhausted after fighting for two minutes. What's the use? Warriors are mainly based on strength and physique, while psychics are mainly based on spirit and physique. Then, the agility attribute. But Yi Xiaotian's words opened a new door for them. It turns out that the agility attribute is so important. But where did you get so many attribute points? In fact, this is the question that Sun Yao wanted to ask the most. They are freshmen in the same class. When she came in before, she was just an F-level awakener. A massacre of the Sky Golden Eagle allowed her to advance to E-level. So the question is, where does Yi Xiaotian get his attribute points when he is so strong? Judging from Yi Xiaotian's strength, he has at least several thousand points in several attribute points, or even more than 10,000 points. Otherwise, even if his equipment is strong and his talent skill multiplier is high, it is impossible to do it. Yi Xiaotian suddenly stopped and said, everyone take a break. Let's take this opportunity to introduce ourselves. Since Sun Yao has joined our team, she is our teammate, comrade in arms, and someone who can trust each other with our backs. To do this, the first step is to get to know each other. I'm the first one to come. My name is Yi Xiao Tian. I have SS level auxiliary talent and A level warrior talent. Yi Xiao Tian introduced himself first. Are you a dual talented person? Sun Yao exclaimed. Has your frenzy been upgraded to A level? This was the exclamation of Han Xuyao and Wang Hao. Yi Xiao Tian said, Yes, I am a dual talented person. Didn't I tell you before? Did I tell you? Wang Hao said with a puzzled look. When I gave you the talent spirit liquid, I told you, but you didn't remember it. Yi Xiao Tian said. Really? Wang Hao scratched his head, a little confused. Okay, stop talking nonsense, and introduce yourself quickly. Yi Xiao Tian interrupted him. Next, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan introduced their talents and grades in turn. 
Finally, it was Sun Yao, who said, My name is Sun Yao, and my awakened talent is S-level healing. Okay, now that I have introduced everything, I will explain the question you just asked. The reason why my physical attributes are so high is that we have Haokian God to lead us to the dungeon, and we have obtained a lot of reincarnation points, which can be exchanged for physical attributes. Yi Xiao Tian explained. Haokian God. Sun Yao exclaimed again. This can be said to be the most famous ID in the reincarnation world this summer. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiao Tian and his team actually had this great god to lead them in the dungeon. They were so lucky. I really envy you guys. Sun Yao said with envy. Han Xu Yao said, don't envy us. As long as we are in the same team, you can join us next time when Hao Tian goes to the dungeon. Really? Sun Yao said in disbelief. Yes, Hao Tian is easy to talk to, and he likes more people. Han Xu Yao explained. Sun Yao said, why? Isn't it that the more people there are, the more difficult the dungeon is? Sun Yao was stunned. This short period of time shocked her too much. He just likes difficult dungeons, many exotic beasts, and more rewards. Let me tell you, when Hao Tian took us to the dungeon, we didn't do anything. It was all Hao Tian alone. Han Xu Yao also liked Sun Yao very much, so he told her about going to the dungeon with Hao Tian. Sun Yao's eyes lit up when she heard it. I didn't expect that he was such a Hao Tian. When Mu Bingyan saw Sun Yao's eyes, she felt a sense of urgency inexplicably. Because when she saw Hao Tian, she seemed to have the same look. After chatting for a while, Yi Xiao Tian felt that the time was almost up, so he said, let's keep going. Everyone stood up, and Wang Hao asked, Brother Tian, where are we going now? We can't figure out the direction now. Yi Xiao Tian said, I don't know either, let's take it one step at a time, and hope to meet other classmates or teachers as soon as possible. Anyway, the main body has gone out to hunt, and his current task is to ensure the safety of Han Xu Yao and the others. As for the harvest, it doesn't matter. This time the secret realm is too weird, so safety is the most important. When the next secret realm comes, I will take Han Xu Yao and the others to improve their strength. Chapter 130 now they are in the dark and have no idea about the secret realm. If they can meet teachers from the school or other universities, they can also ask what is going on in the secret realm. If it is just Yi Xiao Tian alone, he does not have to worry about safety. But now, his team has seven people. Although the team is well equipped and the combat effectiveness is not weak. But this is an S-level secret realm, not a C-level or B-level secret realm, so he has to think more. It is really beyond their expectations what happened in the past few days. In addition, there is another Sun Yao, Yi Xiao Tian does not want his team to have an accident here before it has fully grown up. Sun Yao snatched it from Shen Ao at great risk. In addition, he always felt that something was wrong with this trip to the secret realm, so he also wanted to communicate with the school leaders. The summer camp has only been over for a few days, and there are still nearly two months. If the secret realm behind is also like this, will he still be alive? The incident in the Samsara Tower instance had just passed, and he was not so naive as to think that the aliens had given up the assassination attempt on him. The human leaders could think that he would be among the students of the four famous schools, so could the aliens and the heretic organizations not think of it? So the possibility that they would make a move in the secret realm was too great. Don't forget that the heretic organizations were all human awakeners, and there was no difference before they transformed. And if they came in with alien treasures, it would be really easy to stimulate the alien beasts in the secret realm. Yi Xiao Tian must communicate these speculations with the school leaders to avoid such a situation in the next trip to the secret realm. Although such an action did not have any effect on him personally. But it had a huge impact on his team. He wanted to take this opportunity to make his team bigger and stronger. Han Xu Yao and the others had no doubts about Yi Xiaotian's changes. The physical attributes of the second soul were constantly growing. The main body was constantly hunting the alien beasts in the secret realm. It was just that because there was no team, his team members could not get attribute rewards. Otherwise, they would go crazy if they got the reward out of nowhere. Yi Xiaotian couldn't make such a low-level mistake. 
Yi Xiaotian led the team to move forward. Because the main body opened the way in front and cleared some threatening beasts in advance. So Yi Xiaotian and his team encountered some beasts below sea level, and B level was very rare. This made his team members feel relieved. I was afraid of encountering a group of beasts above B level again, which would be too scary. Although Yi Xiaotian is very strong. But if they don't participate in the battle, how can they improve their actual combat ability? Improving physical attributes is one aspect, but actual combat experience is also very important. In the next two days, Yi Xiaotian's team had a good harvest. Everyone increased more than 200 points of attributes, although they were all random attribute points. However, for an Awakener, none of the four attributes is useless. Even for a superpower, it cannot be said that the strength attribute is useless. Because the Awakener has requirements for the improvement of the main attribute in the later stage. The four attributes must reach a certain balance so that the brain can control its body well. Once the four attributes lose balance, the body will be uncoordinated. This is common sense that every Awakener knows. But generally speaking, this situation will not occur in the early stage. Only Awakeners above level B will have such troubles. As an Awakener, everyone wants to push their main attributes to the extreme. For them, improving other physical attributes is a wasteful behavior. The overall strength of the team has improved a lot. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan have not felt much, after all, their own attributes are already very high. But for Sun Yao, the new teammate, this is completely a pie in the sky. She has now broken through the D-level Awakener, although there is still a long way to go from the C-level. But she is already very satisfied. When she first came in, she was only an F-level Awakener. It took only a few days to join Yi Xiaotian's team and she was promoted to a D-level Awakener. Such a promotion speed is no different from riding a rocket. So she is really grateful now. At first, she joined Yi Xiaotian's team only out of helplessness. She even thought about leaving their team after she got out. She knew the identities of Shen Ao and Mo Qian very well. Once they retaliated, Yi Xiaotian and his team would have no power to resist. But now, she didn't want to leave. She felt really comfortable staying in this team. Five days passed in a flash, and the four attribute points of Yi Xiaotian's second soul increased by an average of more than three zero zero points. In other words, in five days, his main body attributes have increased by more than six zero zero points. As for whether the talent skills have increased, the second soul is not very clear. After all, the talent skills of the second soul need to be given by the main body. Now the two sides have not met, so it is not clear. Everyone take a 10 minute break before we set off again. Yi Xiaotian found a place with a mountain as support and asked everyone to stop and rest. In a few days, everyone had experienced a lot of battles and had grown a lot. The most obvious thing was that their breath was more stable. There is movement. Wang Hao suddenly said at this time. As a warrior, he was on guard around, so he could be the first to discover the movement. Yi Xiaotian stood up, and the others also stood up one after another, and then according to their respective professional positions, they were ready for battle in an instant. This is their growth. There is no need for the captain to give orders, they will naturally make all these preparations. Yi Xiaotian came to Wang Hao and said, what's going on? There is movement over there. Wang Hao pointed in a direction and said to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian looked up and listened attentively. Sure enough, there was movement. But the movement sounded more like the sound of human walking. It should be our own people. Yi Xiaotian said softly. Brother Tian, how did you know? Wang Hao asked in confusion. He had only heard some plant friction sounds before, and if it was before, he would not have cared at all. But after nearly seven or eight days of training in this secret realm, he has also grown a lot. He knows that in such a dangerous place, any clues cannot be missed. If it is the sound of the wind, then it is good. But if it is the sound of the movement of the strange beast, then you must be alert. Chapter, 131 Director He, how could it be you? Yi Xiaotian was really shocked and he saw He Shu and someone appearing in front of him. 
If he remembered correctly, Director he did not seem to have entered the secret realm at that time. For a moment, he suspected that Director he was someone else pretending to be Director. In the era of talent, there are all kinds of strange things. There is nothing surprising about the emergence of a talent that can pretend to be someone else. But the moment he sure spoke, he no longer had this doubt. Yi Xiao Tian, it's really great to see you. Director He sure was stunned for a while when he saw Yi Xiao Tian, and then said with a face full of joy. When the two parties met, Director He sure said, It's great to see you again. I thought. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, I didn't expect to see Director He here either. He sure explained, I brought people in after you all came in. The purpose is to ensure your safety. But I didn't expect that I would encounter something like that as soon as I came in. I couldn't find you in the safe area at that time. I was almost anxious to death. God bless you, you are all still alive. Hey, who is this classmate? Director he sure saw the extra Sun Yao in the team and felt that he looked familiar but didn't recognize him. Yi Xiao Tian said, Director he, let me introduce to you. This is our new comrade Sun Yao, a healer with auxiliary powers. Therapeutic department. He sure looked stunned. If he remembered correctly, there was only one member of the therapeutic department among this freshman. But he seemed to remember that this healing superpower was a member of the fourth young master's team in the demon city. Why did he join Yi Xiaotian's team? Are you trying to steal people from the fourth young master of magic city? He sure was a little confused. He knew the names of the four young masters of the demon city very well. Four freshmen from the Great Awakening families in Demon City formed a team, which was very rare in history. But this time, it appeared. And they also found a new student from the healing department to join their team. As for whether this auxiliary healer was really willing to join their team, he wasn't sure. He only knew one thing, that is, Yi Xiaotian actually robbed Shin Ao and his teammates. This is no small matter. The four people behind Shin Ao represent the four major families in the Magic City. Even the Demon City University would not dare to offend this force easily. Classmate Yi Xiao Tian, is this student Sun Yao a member of Shin Ao's team? Director He sure asked. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, Yes, it was before, but not now. What happened? My brain felt dizzy. Now there is no chance at all. Classmate Xiao Tian, why are you trying to steal people from them? He sure said with a look of hatred for iron. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's not that I want to steal people from them, but they bully people too much. Director He, although I come from a small place, my principle is that I will not offend others unless they offend me. Shen Ao and the others wanted my life, but I didn't kill them, I just robbed one of their team members. Am I going too far? What's the matter? That's not how things work. So young and energetic. I don't know how to endure the calm for a while and take a step back to open up the world. Standing behind Shin Ao and the others was a giant that even he was afraid of. How could Yi Xiao Tian, a new student, fight with them? Yi Xiao Tian is very talented and has an unlimited future, so he sure doesn't want him to be affected by this kind of thing. If someone has a great background, they just bully you. What can you do? Besides, even if you want to take revenge on others, don't use such childish methods. Do you think that everything will be fine if you snatch the person away, so you take revenge on the other person? So tender. When you leave the secret realm, you will know how stupid the things you are doing now are. The energy of the four major families in the magic city is very terrifying. Not to mention doing it themselves, even if they came out, there would be countless people working for them. When the time comes, Yi Xiao Tian will not even know how he died. Yi Xiao Tian was a genius he recruited personally, so he couldn't just watch him die like this. But he is a small admissions director. S Class Awakener. If you put it in a small place, it would look like a powerful and powerful person. But in a large base city like Magic City and in front of the four major families, it's not enough. Let alone him, even the principal doesn't have much confidence when facing the four major families. Too difficult. Director He, don't be in trouble, it's okay. Yi Xiaotian's eyebrows were squeezed together when he saw what was going on. 
He was so worried that he hurriedly spoke to comfort him. He sure rolled his eyes. It was already this time and he still wanted to joke. After glancing at Sun Yao who was not far away, he said, I will report this matter to the principal. After you leave the secret realm, you'd better not leave the school casually. He was really afraid that as soon as Yi Xiao Tian left school, he would be poisoned by the four major families. As long as there is no evidence, who dares to say that they did it? Just blame the heretical organization for the matter. This kind of thing is too clear. Director He, I have some speculations that I would like to tell you. Yi Xiao Tian changed the topic and told Director He his speculations. After listening to this, Director He frowned and said, We had some speculation about this before, but we just didn't have any evidence. Director He, it doesn't matter whether there is evidence or not. What matters is that if the next secret realm is the same, then we will be too passive. I know that every time we open an S-level secret realm, it consumes a lot of energy. If we come in and don't gain much, wouldn't it be a waste? Yi Xiao Tian explained the interests involved. Director He sighed, we know this, but what can we do? The people in the heretic organization are too cunning. And they have aliens behind them, and we don't know some of their methods. Okay, leave these things to us, we will follow up. It's not that easy for the heretic organization to destroy our summer camp. After hearing what he said, Yi Xiao Tian could only ignore this matter for the time being. Then Director He, will you follow us next, or go find other students? Yi Xiao Tian asked. He sure had a headache. If there was no robbery, he would naturally follow Yi Xiao Tian. But now, he still has to help Yi Xiao Tian clean up his ass. This matter can be big or small, and the key is Shen Ao and the others. If he could convince them to give up their revenge, that would be the best. If not, he would have to make plans early. And the importance of these four young masters is no less than Yi Xiao Tian, or even more. Before, he had led people to follow Shen Ao's team, but he didn't expect that in the blink of an eye, they were gone. It was then that they discovered that the geographical location of this secret realm would actually change. Before leaving, he reminded Yi Xiao Tian, if you encounter a danger that you can't solve, immediately activate the rescue bracelet, understand? Chapter, 132 Compared to harvesting, he sure hopes Yi Xiao Tian can get out of the secret realm safely. Now this secret realm is indeed too weird. Now that Yi Xiao Tian has been found and it is confirmed that their lives are not in danger, why should we investigate more? Let's take a look at this secret realm. Is it a natural riot of alien beasts or man-made? If it is really man-made, then the next summer camp must be more cautious. He is very aware of the madness of alien races, and he is also aware of the madness of heretical organizations. To achieve their goals, any means necessary is their basic principle. After separating from Director He and the others, the second soul set off again with the team. At this moment, Yi Xiao Tian encountered another battle. Opposite are three very ugly beasts, walking upright, with curved horns on their heads, big mouths, very fat, and holding a staff with a devil's head carved in their hand. The top of the staff is also inlaid with a pair of wings that are about to fly. As soon as the three strange beasts saw Yi Xiao Tian, they made a howling sound, and then tried to sense the formation position and launched an attack on Yi Xiao Tian. The three-headed little demon phantoms waved their wings and rushed toward Yi Xiao Tian. A three-headed mage-like beast. Taking advantage of his speed, Yi Xiao Tian ducked in front of one of the beasts and struck the opponent's right arm with a knife. The opponent's arm and staff fell to the ground, and he let out a shrill roar. Then he roared angrily at his companions. It's more like communicating, or giving them orders. Then, one of the alien beasts continued to attack Yi Xiao Tian, while the other alien beast raised its staff, and a little devil flew towards the alien beast with a broken arm. Then something happened that shocked Yi Xiao Tian. The little devil's shadow flew to the side of the severed arm beast, then picked up its severed arm and quickly connected it. Then the little devil's shadow merged into the severed arm and disappeared. After that, the severed arm of the alien beast was reattached, waving the staff in his hand, and began to attack Yi Xiao Tian again. What the hell, is it actually a healing technique? Yi Xiao Tian's eyes almost dropped to the ground. 
he never imagined that this little demon shadow could actually play a healing role. No matter how you look at this, it is all a means of doing evil. But soon, Yi Xiaotian's eyes lit up. If he could acquire this innate skill, wouldn't he also be able to become a healer with awakened powers? Although in public, this ability cannot be displayed casually yet. But he can keep it for his own use. He has a second soul and a talent skill like Nightmare, so he can form a combat team by himself. Although his second soul and Nightmare, talent skills are awesome. But if you encounter a powerful alien beast group or legion, it is still very dangerous. It would be much safer if there was a powerful healer present. Thinking of this, Yi Xiaotian's eyes began to shine when he looked at the three strange beasts. We must capture these three strange beasts. No, to be on the safe side, it would be best to find all the groups behind them. There are only three strange beasts, but there is no guarantee that the healing talents of the strange beasts can be obtained. That's wrong. Yi Xiaotian suddenly discovered a problem. That is, although the opponent's three strange beasts are all exactly the same, it does not mean that they all have healing talents. Or, only the strange beast standing behind the inverted triangle has the talent for healing. Therefore, one must be left behind and taken back to find the tribe. It's not easy to encounter a group of alien beasts with healing talents, so you can't miss this opportunity. After making some calculations in his mind, Yi Xiaotian picked up his knife and started fighting. Poof! Although his speed is not as increased as Huang Jie's innate skill, he does have the innate skill of Swift. Therefore, his speed at this moment is the same as after being blessed with Huang Jie's talent skills. In fact, Yi Xiaotian's awakening level is higher than Huang Jie's, so the blessing is even greater. He dodged and killed the healing beast before the three beasts could react. Yi Xiaotian stepped back, then checked, and then looked disappointed. He had just killed the strange beast with healing talent, but he did not obtain the other's healing talent. He could only look at the other two strange beasts. However, the next scene almost made Yi Xiaotian's eyes hit the ground. I saw one of the living beasts raising a staff, and a little devil flew out again. Instead of attacking Yi Xiaotian, he flew towards the beast that was killed by Yi Xiaotian. Oh, now he knew the beast's name. Void Chaos Beast. This is a very domineering name, but the appearance is not flattering. It's true that he looks a bit ugly. The little devil's shadow merged into the body of the beheaded beast, and then the beast with its head cut off unexpectedly came back to life. Nima. Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but swear. Resurrection. In this world, there are actually such talents and skills. What is the origin of this void chaos beast, that it has such awesome innate skills? These little devils are simply omnipotent. They can attack, heal, and even resurrect. I saw the strange beast stood up and recovered as before. On the contrary, the beast that performed the resurrection spell was very depressed, and seemed to have consumed a lot of energy. Then it switched positions with the resurrected beast and confronted Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian did not take action for a while. This scene really shocked him. Seeing this, the three beasts did not continue to attack Yi Xiaotian. Instead, they threw the staffs in their hands behind them. Just when Yi Xiaotian thought they were going to use their ultimate moves, the staffs actually merged with their bodies and then grew wings. Fuck. Yi Xiaotian cursed again. Such operations are really eye-opening. I can only say that this world is really amazing. There are all kinds of magical operations that can only be imagined and not done. The three fat beasts grew wings and flew high. When they flew up, they also roared at Yi Xiaotian, as if they were laughing at Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was not angry either, but stared at these void chaos beasts and followed below. Although he also had the flying talent, he did not use it immediately. He wanted to follow these void chaos beasts, but he did not want to alarm them. Anyway, they also thought that Yi Xiaotian could not fly and would definitely not be able to catch up with them, so they would fly back to their nests. This was exactly what Yi Xiaotian wanted. Yi Xiaotian was running on the ground, although the environment on the ground was much worse than in the air. But his speed was too fast, so he did not lose him. Chapter, 133 
combat skills, healing skills, resurrection skills, this void chaos beast is simply a divine beast among alien beasts. He didn't know if others had encountered such an alien race, but this was definitely the first time he had seen it, and it could be said that it completely overturned his worldview. Moreover, the divine level alien skill of resurrection was also the first time he had seen it. He had never even heard of it before. This is not a game, this is a real reincarnation world. In the world covered by the reincarnation tower, if you die, you are really dead. Only in the reincarnation copy can you have the opportunity to resurrect, but the price is also very high. However, everyone's consensus is that the reincarnation copy is a real game copy. And the outside is the real world. Or, the rules of the world covered by the reincarnation tower are like this. In any case, if you can have the reincarnation skill, then Yi Xiaotian really doesn't have to worry about his safety. He has a second soul, and he also has the nightmare, skill that can split himself against the enemy. At least in terms of saving his life, he is already the best among humans. Flying over the mountains, over the rivers, and over the grasslands. Arriving at a mountain, three void chaos beasts fell into the mountain. Yi Xiaotian looked at the mountain from a distance and did not act immediately. He did not know where he had run to, but according to the time, they would leave Feitian's secret realm in two days. Half a month passed in the blink of an eye. He had been running with the void chaos beast for a few days. He did rest in the middle, but Yi Xiaotian did not dare to make a big noise, for fear of alarming the void chaos beasts. There are many opportunities to hunt other beasts, but this kind of beast with healing and resurrection talents may be his only chance in this life. If he missed this opportunity because of his mistake, he would not be at ease for the rest of his life. If he was not afraid that the three void chaos beasts could not obtain their most precious talents and skills, he would have killed the three void chaos beasts long ago. After wasting a few days and being exhausted, the other party finally returned to its nest. Damn, if someone else were to do this, they would definitely not be able to catch up. Perhaps this is why these void chaos beasts returned to their nest without hesitation. Because they did not believe that anyone could catch up with them and find their nest. What's more, their king was in this nest. The extremely powerful king, even if humans came here, they would only be killed by them. This kind of thing has happened before. So after they returned, they did not even mention this encounter to their own people. They thought it was unnecessary. If it were not for Yi Xiaotian's strength being too strong and his speed being too fast, they would have fallen outside if they did not return. They could not have returned in such a disgrace. Although they have the resurrection technique. But there are conditions for using the resurrection technique. With their current strength level, they can only use it once a week. Even their king, an S-level strongman, needs to rest for three days before using the resurrection technique again. The Void Chaos Beast has a very high IQ and knows how to judge the situation. Yi Xiaotian walked around the mountain and did not find any other species of beasts nearby. It can be judged that there is a very dangerous existence on this mountain. Beasts have a very sharp intuition about this kind of danger. So they will consciously stay away from here. Yi Xiaotian has already made some judgments in his heart. Moreover, this mountain looks very high, and it can be said to be straight into the clouds. On the top of the mountain, the clouds and mist are lingering, like a fairyland. Yi Xiaotian did not take the risk to go up the mountain directly. Instead, he began to wait at the foot of the mountain. Now that the nest has been found, he still needs to know more about the situation on the mountain. And the best way is to hunt the void chaos beast. However, Yi Xiaotian thought of another problem that gave him a headache, that is, he did not understand the language of the alien race. It would be great if he could plunder a beast with language talent. But he didn't know whether there was such a talent. After all, it seems that no one among human awakeners has heard of such language talent. But it doesn't matter. The mountain is the lair of the void chaos beast, but it should be much better if we lead them out of the mountain. After all, he was not sure whether the void chaos beast had any special arrangements on the mountain. He remembered very clearly that he could not underestimate the alien beasts. That was something the teachers had repeatedly told him. Although the alien races were all beasts, many of them had IQs that were not inferior to humans. 
so it was tantamount to suicide to underestimate them. Humans knew to leave many arrangements in their lair, so why couldn't the alien beasts? At this moment, Yi Xiaotian saw three void chaos beasts coming out of the mountain. Why three again? Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Could this be their battle team? The human battle team was at least five people. Could this void chaos beast be three people? It was very possible. He recalled the previous battle with the void chaos beast. The three alien beasts cooperated very closely. They stood in an inverted triangle and could support each other. If his strength was not so much stronger than theirs, the three void chaos beasts would not have retreated directly back to their nest. Yi Xiaotian did not act immediately, but followed for a while before launching an attack. His movements were very fast and neat. The resurrection technique of these void chaos beasts was really terrible. Once they reacted, they might fall into a dead loop. He didn't know that the resurrection technique had restrictions on its use. After killing a void chaos beast, he put the opponent's body into the reincarnation space. In this way, even if the opponent had a resurrection technique, it would be useless. By the time the opponent reacted, Yi Xiaotian had killed two void turbidity beasts. The last void chaos beast discovered Yi Xiaotian, the enemy, and let out a shrill roar, then raised his staff to attack Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian dodged the attack of the little devil and chopped off the head of the last void chaos beast with another knife. After collecting the body of the last void chaos beast, Yi Xiaotian returned to the mountain. But when he just approached the mountain, he found that the atmosphere was a little wrong. The whole mountain was silent before, but now, it seems to be alive. The plants on the mountain shook, making a lot of noise, and all kinds of roars were heard. It was as if someone suddenly poked a hornet's nest. Then, one after another, the void chaos beasts flew out of the mountain, identified the direction, and flew out. And that direction was exactly where Yi Xiaotian killed three void chaos beasts before. Is this, discovered? Yi Xiaotian was shocked. This is too alert, or is there any special warning method? Yi Xiaotian was confused.